one last time. Right. Is not a fucking beloved character. Literally every death that happens after the first game is Winnie the Pooh is a beloved character. It's time to finally forgive Ryan Johnson oh, no, and start reason. embracing him as one pretty damn good ride. Grab him like a little clown boy. But how did it make you feel? The famed Bilbo Baggins once said, it's about content. I'm doing my part. Is this guy supposed to be Alfred? Ray Skywalker. I feel like my brain just snapped in half. Ahoy, baby! Then I'll drink it, then I'll eat it, then I'll chew it, then I'll poop. Arguably, why was I raping Bilbo? <laughs> the nipple. You've never made a logical decision in your life. Never. So is the message nobody should be on meds? Are they always a negative? I think the world is better off for dinner. Joker has a problem with black women. You can't yeah. overlook. I hate it, I hate it, I hate That's it. It's in the fridge and now it's gone. The Lord. <laughs> in my subjective opinion, <laughs> Men are ruining Star Wars. Oh, it's a little black one. Epic celestial bulge. Oh, that's Goliath. One point two pirates. Billion. Most people do not know what a Y wing is. What a shitty fucking point. He's a ball. There you are playing the PvP in your World War II shooter, and all of a sudden you're a Nazi. Men are fucking horrible. Men ruin everything. Men I think we need to make. Germany great again based on my superior logic. There's no arguments being made here. You're so titanically ugly. Bad Asian bitch. Objectivity. Get to look at a women. A review is nothing more than this a description is, this of this experience. Is. Dr. Bob Eating movie in this space was not at all common. You have boring taste and I don't want to be friends. No one seems to actually know what a plot hole is. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, all my N-words. And I'm Rags. Belgium. I promise that I will watch The Lord of the Rings by EFAP 100, which essentially gives me a year. Hello there. Hi! We did it. We, did, we, <laughs> we, we made it. We, we did it. They How's said it couldn't be done. They said it wasn't possible. Everyone told us. No way you could get to 100 episodes. All of the people said it. Every guest. It's hard to believe that they're that we are the the longest running podcast in history. human history. Yeah, all of them, all the history. This is it. Most of them stop at episode ninety nine. Like... You know, oh. it's just one of those uh, one of those things. Yeah, someone said nice transition. You know what? I thought so too. Doesn't it? It's just so smooth. Right now, you think we yeah. might even be pre recorded? Well, we're not. We're not. This is this is all live. Um, we don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. No, nope. we're lost. We're confused. We don't know what's going on. We're winging it. It's our signature. Our signature move is that we're always prepared to improvise. Absolutely, which is going to be EFAP 100 in a nutshell, I imagine. Um, gosh, the the audience is so excited. It, I'm excited. It, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be able to do stuff. Stuff, things have got to happen. Uh, and they gotta keep happening for thirty hours. You, well, you say that as if as if that's the that's the goal, but it kind of is, you know. Ultimately, if we don't make it to uh, to thirty hours, at least we'll have fun. That's that's the, okay, everybody, because everyone's like, oh, you gotta you gotta beat the last one because it was twenty nine, I believe. Which means if it's we get it's not a contest with ourselves. No, okay, racist. That's what that is. Disgusting. Um, I well, yeah. I mean, we we who knows what'll happen. Chat's going so fast. How do you expect me to read it? You're also, you're also mean. Um, so, oh, we ne we never, you know, one of the one of the things we planned to do for EFAP ninety nine was literally cover nothing and just chat about like EFAP. It's, 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 you know, it's been a long way. It's been a while. It's like we could we could just do that for this intro. You know, this intro to EFAP one hundred. Be like, oh look, we did it. Because um, uh, well, I mean, it's it's been a while. August 22nd, 2018 is when we started. Do you remember that shit? Remember that day? It was an interesting day. No, it was rain. I don't. Oh. 
but uh, <sighs> more of a uh, joke. It's probably because we don't know when. It, it's hard to tell when it specifically began. I uh, guess. Hello. Because we didn't get the e oh, it's it's metal. Yes, yeah. it's me. <laughs> hard to believe that he's going to be here with us in this call for thirty hours, like he <laughs> promised he would. That's it. Yeah, just the thirty. Uh, uh. Uh, Might extend it to 300, depending on how everything feels. Well, lucky for you, my internet got fixed today, so I'm all good to go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was here this morning. and Oh, it's actually kind of a funny story. There was Your two internet arrived this morning. A man knocked on the door, and he was, like, he, hey. he was in this little box, and I had to open it up, and the internet just it's filled the out. room. Just I was like, I can feel it in my veins. Like Pandora's box. How does it make it sense? Was, How do you feel that in your veins? Plot hole. So apparently someone was uh, uh, connected to my internet connection on the switch on the outside. So either some technician fucked up or someone was just stealing my internet for a bit. Well, like, did, like they, a... uh, did they get you anything good? I, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> you check it out when it's I... like, oh my god, this is some good porn, jeez. <laughs> my origin account got hacked once and they bought some games and uh but it was with like their own money it was where i and, and then i then i got the account back and i got to keep the games so hmm. you know thanks random russian person <laughs> weird of them but kind hello shad how do you do hi i am wonderful and how are all you massives I'm it's good. Refreshing yeah, I'm good. start to a wonderful day, I'm sure. You uh, you recently saw the the super meme, right? What what'd you think? Oh my goodness, that was next level. I was <laughs> I was in awe. That was amazing. Awe. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> funny. You guys, you know, with the new meme with Fringy and stuff, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I, I I with that as an Aussie thing now and then. So oh, if I sure, end yeah. up doing it, you got to call me out. Oh no, if Shad, if you decline something in any way, shape, or form, or deny they something. Are real, like, they are like, oh no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the I worst I've ever I, I, I try not to do it, I'm all self-conscious, guys. <laughs> he doesn't no. want to fuck up saying no, no. as an Australian. No, guys, no! <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it for the, for my country. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fringy would be proud. Nailed it. Like, you did good. You did good. Ah, thank you. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. <sighs> oh, it's good to be back. It feels weird. It it's just like we did it. It's achieved. We have, we've achieved the thing. Now we can rest. <laughs> it's like, wait, no, we got a whole show. It's like, oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, all kinds of things to cover. You know, we, 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 that wonderful backlog, as I often reference, is, is just hanging out as it does. And, uh, I was thinking, mm -hmm. since last year we covered, uh, uh, well, I say last year as if it was like, this just always happens. This is the first of the, you know, anniversaries from the start of them, of these long-ass streams. But, um, yeah, well, we, we, we covered Jim Sterling first. Mel, were you there for that? I think so. Uh, remind me, what was that about? <laughs> it was about how VR goggles are privileged goggles. I don't know if you were there. I don't think if I was there for the EFA, but we did watch that video at some point. I, I, I know of that video. Shocking. That video was like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, Very topical, because I got my VR set this week. Well, <laughs> too bad. If you could rewind by a year, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can go and cover it. I've been trapping myself in the, in the VR. It's good. Yes. It's good um, Showing a privilege to everybody. It's fucking fantastic. But uh, good old, good old Jim had a video out recently that you know I saw and I was like, oh my god, this is uh, this is interesting. He's, uh, he's he's got something to say on the all the thing with with Abby in uh, in The Last of Us Two, and I think Shad, you have familiarity with such things, yes? Somewhat, somewhat. 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 Um, yeah, like because I did, a, you know, I I tried to do some research on golf clubs, <laughs> and I uncovered some <laughs> disturbing things uh, in the process. And I have heard of some disfigured monster that has been <gasps> wielding golf clubs and killing off beloved, you know, individuals and people, which I think is just atrocious. We've so... been told that no one beloved was killed by a golf club. <laughs> no one beloved. <laughs> no one beloved? Okay. No well, one beloved. 
<laughs> I mean, I see, been told. it's like we, we, we're joking around. We're just like, wait, you have you, you have you heard about that, Shad? That uh, that uh, a, a certain YouTubers are uh, upset at the idea that Joel is 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 loved as a character. They're like, no, he's not. That's ridiculous. And it's like, uh, I feel like <laughs> feel, feel, feel like if someone's gonna be able to tell you whether or not they love a thing, it's gonna be them. That seems to be the running trend. It's like you will like this, and if you don't like it. Or, and in this case, no, you don't like it. Well, if you do like it... We're supposed to be the ones that do that. We're supposed to be the naughty lads who say, hey, no feelings allowed. But they, they like, will openly be like, you do not feel this way. You're like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're constantly hated for the things that the people who hate us say. It's an odd world. Yeah. Da, 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 but a wonderful da. world, nonetheless. Uh, let me see about... Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I think things are all right. We're gonna we're gonna um, let me just set up this this watch together. We're gonna jump right into it, you know. Instead of I don't want to be delaying people. You realize once we cover one video, we'll be through most of the stream anyway. So we've gotta be <laughs> gotta be quick with this shit. I'm gonna be like, hey, wow, so it's, a, so it's a five minute video. Sick. Oh, if only, right? Um, <laughs> and yeah, I guess uh, chat. I know everyone keeps saying wolf cameo. No pro. Like so, the thumbnail was made by a fan who had no idea what was happening in this stream, so he's on the front of it, okay? Like, that wasn't... <laughs> like, the, it was... It's... But... The, the, you have this, to do what the thumbnail says. The, 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 it goes the same for literally, like, anything, be it the Blessed Pipeman, Mr. Tonald, or Walt, there's... The, it, things will go the way they go, no promises for anything, because you know how everything can fall apart suddenly. It wasn't planned that Shad would be here, you just burst in, he paid what do you mean it wasn't our planned? managers and yeah, you just went. You didn't want me to do all that. Forced himself in. Rags was in tears. He said he couldn't come in, and he said no, no, no. I'm no. coming in anyway. See, that's the thing. You can actually you can use that sound and attach it to anything that kind of ends that way, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and uh, go further with it. We'll so see, like when you're cooking with can... dough. Dough, and we'll see what I can do with the tic tac toe three in a row. It's all oh, guys, you got it all, and, and then you say exactly, we got it. Lightning McQueen, McQueen, <laughs> McQueen. I don't think Citizen that's that one Kane. Oh, Citizen Kane, we watched that recently, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Oh, really? we, we didn't tell anyone. I was gonna, I alluded to it because I was, I was feeling the, I was feeling the room. Which is mostly, which is really just me, kind of Who are you soft feeling? asking Stop you it. if we needed to talk about it. But yeah, we saw Citizen Kane, and it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I hadn't seen it since I was a young man because I remember my my sister had to watch it for her media studies, and I was in the room just like, "This is old. Look at it, it's so <laughs> ugly and old." Boo! Back in nineteen forty one, I watched it as a young man. It's uh, it's the black and white. It's it's, it's about old pretty people. Good. I would recommend people give it a look. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty good. Hot take, it's pretty good. I don't know if that's a hot take in this in this world. Are, are we allowed to say that it's okay? Is that know. is that one of the opinions <laughs> we're allowed to have I don't about know. the cinema? I feel like that we're we're dealing with a movie that is is pretty well liked, you know, or at least by by the correct people, you know, the intellectuals, they think it's good. So yeah. we'll be alright. Um, You're definitely not allowed to not like it. So I think with that, we could be able to get this video started. Unless you know, there's anything any of you guys wanted to talk about. Uh, come yum. Ew. <laughs> Chat is right there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> A little giggle was weird. Had it. to go there. My bad. Okay, here goes. Does Australian Santa go ho ho ho? Oh my god, what the fuck am I looking um, at? Oh, <laughs> so what the fuck I guess, is this? Oh, once again, Watch Together have changed the fucking tism, so now I gotta change it for the screen. Well, you know, oh my god. at the same time, I can inform you as to this character. It is it is Jim Sterling's, like, um, uh, sort of affluent ruler of royalty character that the idea with the character is um, whenever someone says say say for example something really snooty about video games and elitist or something he'll 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 read the quote out as this person so oh. hang on 
Is it, is it racist if a white person does whiteface? Um, nope. I don't think so. That's totally fine. The same if oh, a black wait. person does blackface, right? That's also cool. <sighs> but is it, do we know if Jim is white? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you I sure? think just white people are, are just sure? racist. So it doesn't, I mean, the white face is pretty relevant. What if he was wearing white face this whole time? Do we know, do we know what gender he is uh, portraying himself as? I believe a male. <laughs> okay. He's, I guess he's supposed to be role-playing as some super highfalutin yeah, French like monarch an, royalty uh, type. Ah, well, well, if he's not a highfalutin French monarch, that's just French monarch appropriation. Mm. Racist. It is appropriation. And, I mean, yeah. if you're going to act something, you need to be that thing. Uh, otherwise, you know, what are all the French monarch um, actors going to do? I feel like they wouldn't think it's very funny themselves. No. No. It would be all of the upsets. But, you know, either way. I'm offended? Uh, I this... feel like, yeah, I, I feel like I have a duty to be offended on behalf of the other people who sort of kind of look like me. This is called the muscle, well, muscles of the apocalypse. So, who knows what the, the yeah, subject will Abby's be about. Yeah, because Abby's arms are fucking insane. No, then, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm just here for the ride, I guess. <laughs> It's too hot. Just, Justin! Justin, it's too hot! My face is melting away! My face is melting away! Like the wicked witch of the forest. Ah! Also, I have no idea if that's copyright or not, because he doesn't do a uh, monetization, well, I mean, so... Uh, yeah, if you want to skip to... It's, it's kind of long, so... Oh no, I think this is um... going to be... He does, like, short ones. And I'm muted, by the way, so we're ah. fine. I've noticed that go. that Fall Guys is a very good game, and I know that some brands have noticed it's not only good, but also I heard quite it's popular. Terrible. And unlike Fortnite, it's fifty-fifty. <laughs> <laughs> some Never of the, heard of it. Some of the games on it work. Some of them really don't. Jay's video subs it up pretty perfectly. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. He likes Fall Guys a lot, though. He wants, um, I think he wants to have, like, his own little Jim Sterling Fallout dude in there. Also, the idea of... Uh, could you imagine? Look at that. Look at that Walmart. Uh, no. I want to... What I, I figure what a lot of people probably want to do is once they get off their eight-hour shift at Walmart, they want to go <laughs> home and play <laughs> Fall Guys and not have to take off their uniform. They want to proudly sport the Walmart vest wherever they go. Because working at Walmart isn't just a job, it's a lifestyle. Absolutely. Like where they got on the train late, they want to get in on the ground floor. The brands are thirsty, thirsty for fall guys. And I want in. I mean, it's not even for promotion or, or, or money or anything. I just really like attention. So can we have, I mean, yeah, you know, no. it, it would appeal to, you know, 0.3% of your player them. base. And the rest of them, the ones who hate me, you don't even have to tell them it's me. Anyway, do you remember The Last of Us Part 2? Yeah, I could That game told. that came out like <laughs> 10,000 years ago. Well, some people haven't forgotten. Well, there's a particular aspect of the game they haven't forgotten and haven't I don't forgiven. Know, I think there's a lot of parts of that game that people <laughs> haven't forgotten. I feel like you're already on the wrong track here. Oh, hey, now, There's just that one thing people can't get out of their heads. Yo, say hello, you Because nerd. you see, I just what? said hello. You gotta do it oh, louder. Hello. Say it again. Hello. Fine. Hello out there. Greetings. Hello. Out there. Greetings. The hello. Um, you've not missed anything yet. We're about to discover the, 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 the subject matter of the video. He was just doing a Fall Guys ad at first. Oh boy. I've that got bastard. a few guesses from the title. Mm. <laughs> there are muscles in The Last of Us Part 2. It, to be fair, it does make sense to me why he would be afraid of the idea of muscles. <laughs> Look, I'm it. still confused on what the video's about. Because well, he's morbidly obese. We're starting, <laughs> we're starting with... I thought there was Fall Guys for a second, but yeah, I no, well, that was he, he just likes Fall Guys. So the, the, the we're That's starting, funny. we're opening with people are afraid of, of like... This is, this comes back, hasn't there been like a few statements about this in different properties where... Uh, the directors or producers or writers or whatever, they're like, they're afraid of the women being straw. It's like, you chill out, like... <laughs> yeah, that's definitely it. We're, we're afraid of strong women. 
They just want to take it to the nth degree in the opposite direction straight. And this is where I mean, like, first of all, if you want to convince anybody, you're like, good start. We're afraid of her. Okay. Mm, tell me how I feel. That's a good way Always to do endearing it. to hear. Lady. Muscles. And some of the comments I've been receiving whenever I've talked about this uh, wonderful little topic uh, have been so incredible uh, they could only be delivered to you. Wow, by, uh, actual comments that I've got. Literally, he could make these up and I believe him because yeah, you, get, to... you get comments. It's anything. Anything. It's the internet. <laughs> yeah, right. it's the internet. Is this, is this the case where he's going to find, you know, sift through the comments to find the one or two <laughs> utterly outrageous ones and then present them as the majority of well, the feedback? This is the thing, you can fucking find anything. You can find someone in my Star Wars video so, like, section talking about their gardening. Like, it'll be there. Yeah. Someone. <laughs> for, for any statement, there is some idiot talking about it in YouTube comments. For any statement that exists. I wonder if you can find someone saying, I fear strong women. If you can, if you can just <laughs> get that one. That'd Aristocrat. The character design of Abby sucks, and a majority of gamers agree. Um, I mean, what do they mean by character design? <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, it's probably it. yeah, her, <laughs> her personality, the construction of her journey, I would the say... way that she's a fucking walking flesh tank. Oh, <laughs> characters are talking about just like her appearance, right? Like, well, character design couldn't that be aesthetic or uh, writing? I've used, I've seen, I see it used primarily with reference to, like, physical traits. In that like case, um, well, I mean, before he gets onto it, I'll, I'll just say, like, the Hypermuscle Abbey is, like, problem 206 on my list for The Last of Us 2. <laughs> like, yeah, it's annoying and stupid and silly, but, like, whatever. Uh, I'm more distracted by all the other issues. Um, the, but the, yeah, like, a lot of people... Uh, I think may have focused too hard on it because it may have distracted from the actual issues in the or the bigger issues in the game rather. Because like to, I think this is a fair categorization at this point of people like people really hate Abby, yes. right? Oh yeah, so people, people they, Abby. they are going in to find everything about Abby that one could possibly hate or dislike or pick apart in any sense, because that's what you it's... do when you don't like something in media. And when it's an aesthetic thing, um. It's really easy to hone in on because it's so unmissable. Yeah, it's yeah kind of like she's kind of huge. Yeah, it's like really hard <laughs> to not instantly face. see her and be like, "Holy shit, that is a huge person." <laughs> well, um, that's the. I mean, because I didn't know a lot about a lot of this, and you can see it in my playthrough when I first see her, I'm just like, "Whoa, okay, nice, I guess." And then once once you spend more time and see more of because there's this there's, there's several points in the game where they're like enormous because sometimes they look a little better and then there's some promotional art she doesn't even look like she has hyper muscle arms some of them look kind of normal it's kind of weird um but then you're like wait this is a post apocalypse how are you doing this and and all, obviously all the natural questions start to flow in but I guess we'll um we'll let him get to those himself I, also I don't think it's no am I oh, to... sorry what. Yeah, I was just going to say, I don't think it's just about the arms either, because it's uh, how they've framed the entire design of her character, because uh, in the traditional sense, she doesn't, when you first see her, she doesn't look like, you know, the conventional figure that a woman has. And, uh, like, you can have really muscular women that look like, you know, the conventional uh, type that, you know, you can have a muscly girl that looks really hot, is basically, and... Uh, they certainly didn't go that way with it. So it's, I don't think saying guys have a problem with girls with muscles, that's not true. Um, uh, it's also the way it's executed is kind of what I'm getting at here. I mean, a lot of people reference uh, Sarah Connor. She she goes through her, um, uh, her ordeal in Terminator 1, and then by 2 we see that she's been training and exercising muscle tisms all over the place. And uh, she's bound by real life, so... She can't, like, look like... She She can't get Arnie muscles. Like, it's I don't even know that it's possible. She would have to do some crazy stuff to be able to pull it off. Not that Abby has well, yeah, exactly. Arnie muscles exactly, but they're, they're certainly of a, a size that makes everyone go like, wait, what? Oh, wow, okay. Jeez. Yeah, there's an element of realism because it's just a biological fact that women have more difficulty putting on muscle mass than men. <sighs> and Sexist. so 
I know. Racist. Isn't that a horrible thing to say? But this is the thing. Homophobe. Even if, I know I'm, I'm Spanish now for saying reality. But if you had a guy in a post pocket setting who was just as jacked, you wouldn't question it nearly as much because men can put on muscle mass a lot easier. But when you have a girl, it's just like, oh, that's – it's not – out of the realm of possibility, but it's very exceptional. Ooh. And it raises the question is in, okay, how is that? Because usually for that level of muscle mass to be achieved in the real world, there are some exceptional conditions or supplements that need to be taken. I would you still call like bullshit if, yourself to it. if we saw an Arnold Schwarzenegger type in The Last of Us 2. I'd be like, come on, how? What's going on there? <laughs> like, like, even the scenario, there's not enough nutrition, I would well, say. Even if there were, there. I would call it like they're fucking wasting it. Like, like you're building a body that enormous. You're probably eating <laughs> three people's meals per day. Like, what are you doing? And it takes a lot to maintain that as well. That's a lot Having of to spend a lot of the time, A, in the gym and B, resting that isn't you know, doing things that are necessary to have a community survive and expand, necessarily. Crying and whining you do will change that! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry that I don't like Oof. unattractive people! What's weird is that these are the least snooty comments on the well, internet I could imagine. Yeah, I was, I was waiting for... I was expecting something a little bit more scathing than... These, these are very, you know, meh. Yeah. Yeah, these are these seem to be extremely mundane comments. Certainly nothing that I would associate with elitism. Yeah, and it's also making me wonder to what level could you fault someone for not finding something attractive? Look at this man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this this is pinnacle humanity, okay? We worked hard to get here. People oh, oh, oh. I don't like muscular women! What the hell is wrong with that statement? What's wrong with that? I don't like muscular women, it's a turn-off. What's wrong I mean, with that? I, I don't know, know, maybe some people have bought into the, the lie that beauty comes in every size. Well, I, but this person's clearly making it a personal preference, which is totally fine. I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, what's wrong with this? Um... I, I just want to take the conversation further and say, okay, then what's your point? But of course, yeah. we're talking about random YouTube comments from random people that he's regurgitating, <laughs> so fucking who cares? It's a turn off. <laughs> Those arms are realistic. On a man! Sure, yeah. women can bulk up like this, but in reality, it's far less common than having large breasts. Yeah, I mean, that's. I mean, that's uh, the case. Okay. Can confirm. I've been outside, so <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah, I, I can. Yeah, sounds about right. Some of this what? stuff, I'm just like, all right then. That's yeah. Okay, it's, but <laughs> some of these things is like him trying to repeat fairly normal comments, and you know, in a dumb way, but it's like. The sun shines with light during the day. How silly is that? <laughs> like, oh. Could I, he, this is the thing. Not only could he have found worse comments, it's like, I guarantee you there's worse comments than this. There's gotta be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, really cruel things rather than sort of like weird. Like, the, you, mean is the most you could say about some of these, but most of them, the people are saying them just sound like they're like, yeah, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. You're like, all yeah. right then. Whatever! I was never in the target demographic for this game! Clearly okay. not aimed at men who- Okay, so <laughs> whenever- so when they say, um, when they say that something wasn't meant for you, which is something I hear every once in a while, this game wasn't meant for you, this movie wasn't meant for you, this thing yeah. wasn't meant for you. So when somebody says, oh, I guess this game wasn't meant for me, now that's elitist? It's generally not elitist to say something wasn't meant for you. Or well, is it? I don't know. What, what are the rules? The famous uh, quote from Brie Larson. This movie wasn't made for you. Yeah, You're like, okay. It apparently wasn't made for Fringy or Jay Longbone either. No. That movie wasn't made for anybody. No. That, that movie was made for the one person who just happened to have an Oprah Winfrey connection. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she was in that movie. So, wrinkle in time, everyone, go watch it. It's uh, ooh, no, it's a roller coaster. Men who like feminine women. Royston, Royston, 
I decide what is. They what? Well, you, individuals do decide. Yeah, well, yeah. that is. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> I mean, if you want to be super uh, anal and say people don't really decide what they find attractive, right? I think we know what you mean, but yeah, everyone gets to say what they do and do not find attractive. Of course, the I'm telling you, man. Yeah, I don't understand. Once the shoe's on the other foot, they totally abandon all of the stances that they have in a fucking heartbeat. Sexy. Oh! All right, I'm sorry about that. Jeez, uh, uh, <laughs> he's trying so hard to make these comments sound dumb, like really, really hard. When a lot of yeah, it's just people's opinions. I don't need to get the alcohol. So. <laughs> I just minutes in. I can't really do anything with any of this. Yeah, of course yeah, not. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll get into dumb. the content any minute now. Oh, 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 oh yeah! Again, sorry. You got you got, you got any right. more? I did not need to see Jim Sterling having another. <laughs> May I have another? <laughs> do some yeah, people, yeah. I guess some people really find that hilarious. What do you mean? Well, it is I think hilarious. he was. Do, I think he's trying to do a Macho Man Randy Savage impression here because he's into wrestling, but it That's doesn't like fit at all. Jim Sterling well, does I mean, ooze virility. Over the top <laughs> characterization can absolutely work when you you know pull it off and apply it in the right way. Just look at Monty Python, but he's really missing a mark because he's. But Chad, don't you, don't you know? More yelling means more funny. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> Ghostbusters told us that. Oh yes. Oh boy. You're gonna hit play and he's gonna do it again, isn't he? Yeah. Please <laughs> <laughs> stop yelling at me. The things that oh God, gamers, gamers decide to be upset about will never not be fascinating. When I talk about the ways in which games are deliberately designed to manipulate and prey upon people, I'm told I'm beating a dead horse. Even though li All right, to be fair, Last of Us 2 is one of the most manipulative games I've ever seen. Oh, so you mean maybe marketing that should be yeah. you, you talking about marketing wise? No, not marketing-wise. Like, emotionally. Oh! So they try and get you to like Abby? Well, I mean, I would say both, right? Yeah. He likes dog people. I mean, it, it's absolutely false advertising. <laughs> um, what they did... <laughs> you know, they probably would have done it for The Force Awakens if they could have. Uh, like, say, when, when Rey met Luke, she saw him on the, the thing, then they went inside and talked for about one minute, and then the credits happened. We would have seen, like, it's the equivalent of showing that, different shots and, and like half the trailer is just shots of Luke and then Luke grabbing the lightsaber when it flies through the air and just just artificially throwing him in places and I feel like people wouldn't have put up with that the Star Wars it would have been big enough that it would have caused a huge controversy yeah. and Last the fact that it's a movie I feel like movies are still kind of more I think more people would have gotten upset about it gamers have a tendency to be very forgiving with a lot oh, of stuff. I hadn't even seen when people were referencing it. I was, I was just like, uh, you know, like what did they do exactly? And when I was shown it, I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is <laughs> oof. That's big. That's big oof. Some, uh, some tism. Literally, nothing's been done about the problem. Also, yeah, I don't mind Jim Sterling. "Quote unquote," beating a dead horse with uh, loot boxes. I feel like we need people constantly banging yeah, that drum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, agreed. It's the only thing stopping them from getting way, way worse. Because uh, th there was the thing with Battlefront. Gotta stop buying them. Battlefront Two, mm -hmm. right? That was like a huge moment where everyone was like, oh, "Okay, yeah. you, we caught the hand has gone really far down the cookie jar now, and you can't even get it out." So <laughs> everyone got pissed. Have you seen? Have you guys seen where the new Marvel game is heading? The Avengers one with the. The prep work for all the microtransactions, they're gonna sink into that thing. Yeah, uh, the, and the, the um, game. And, you won? and all yeah. the that's uh, the one that has the pre order bonuses for like your internet service provider. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Horizon <laughs> special skins. I feel, yes, I get my... the fucking Comcast DLC bundle for free as long you as I it. sign up for a one year plan with Comcast. Get that sick ass Comcast skins, like fuck yeah, mom, I need a Comcast thing. Fine, because the game looks <laughs> meh at best, so... Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I, have you Well, that's because you didn't get the unlimited collector's Comcast <laughs> oh, edition bundle service. That's... Uh, I've said it before. You have to that's elevate a... your game. We, we, we go way too... Why would they even, like... Oh, the idea that you're, you're like, my team is Verizon. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> mm. Iron Man, fire uh, the Verizon laser. <laughs> you almost feel the boardroom full of out-of-touch old people in suits, like, coming it's, out of it. 
It's the I mean, it's only acceptable thing. to root and attach yourself to corporations when they play a sport. Yeah. We haven't normally <laughs> gone to ISPs yet, but it's nice that, you know, we're branching out as consumers. Mm. <laughs> that yeah. DLC is the exact type of thing that someone would make in a parody video to yes. mock the concept of DLC. <laughs> and it's, it's real life. We're, um, we're through the looking glass now. It's unbelievable. Is there even... Because I, I haven't seen the boys in a while now. Is there like a superhero that has ads on their suit? Because that's just... You need that now. They need to do it in season Booster, two. <laughs> Booster Gold is the classic one. Is from DC Universe. Yeah. That's it's like a superhero that always promotes and has, you know... Um, sponsorships and things. Green Lantern, but he just puts ads everywhere. Like, everywhere. Well, he, like, shines them at people, the ads. Yeah. <laughs> Ev oh. Eventually, superhero characters are just going to turn into, like, NASCAR, <clears throat> you know, cars, where they're they're just oh, yeah. covered in nothing but logos <laughs> and ads. Everything from Giddy oh. Up 409 to Drano to Scrubbing Bubbles. People are referencing Mystery Men. I watched that like a year ago or so. Yeah. Yes, Mystery Men has it. Uh, this is the thing. They need to do it in Boys Season 2 now because they're actually... Life imitating art is, is too late. You have to actually catch up with life. You have, you have made fun of it enough. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to Boys Season 2. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I hope, it's, I hope it's as good as the first or even better of predatory monetization. In fact, it's only gotten worse, but I'm the one beating a dead horse. When I discuss the issue of very real men in very real life, you- Hello, Upper Band. Howdy. Alorms. Hello, hello. Zooming. Hi. <gasps> when was the last time you were on EFAB? Like, it was in the 20s or 30s? I <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why I'm on the EFAP trailers at, 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 even well, at all, because I was barely on EFAP. That's well, you've left I, a depression. I, uh, Impression yeah. on people. I, I don't, I don't um, <laughs> necessarily tell like the artists that I get to, to make them exactly who should be on what. They get to decide it. Maybe you, yeah, maybe you just, you know, made an impression. Yeah, when I saw the trailer for EFAP, the moment when I saw when I saw my head, my old head and my old avatar, and I, and I was like that meme with Leo on the... Uh, I once put a time in Hollywood pointing at the screen. <laughs> That's me right there. Oh, did you see the did you see the super meme, the big one? The one Yeah, I saw that. The one the one the with the the one with the end game. Yeah, I saw that. That was pretty insane, wasn't it? <laughs> 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 we don't uh well, yeah. So everyone in chat who doesn't know about that, uh, you will eventually th throughout through through Moopa Mo Moola, uh, you'll find out about it. But um, <laughs> if you go to efap.me. And look for the um mm. I can't remember what it's let me find out what it's called. Uh it's, seriously, holy shit. It's it's basically a meme that all the all the one all the people you know made. Uh where is it? Christmas versus Halloween? No, that's not it. Meme videos. EFAP one hundred collab meme. Yeah. Made by Meme Repository, Creamy mm. Sheave, Zed, E Man Gameplay, Spook, Amusing Moose, Plague Creations, uh, Grith Phoenix, Source Rex, that's the Spooderman guy, Lil Potato, <laughs> Thor's Hammer, Goga, uh, Omega Ridley, and uh, Samuel Kim. Apparently, uh, that's that's for music credits. Um, Kim. So it's 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 findable on there. It, it, we may have recorded a reaction to it yeah. already, and uh, you'll see it eventually. That shit is. Um, Mind blowing. It, it's no. a meme. You know your show is good when you have a database of memes. The <laughs> the meme quality is like Hollywood level. <laughs> yeah, only. the meme's so good you have an entire website on it. No your meme can't even compare. Yeah, they they're trying to keep up. Um Alright. Uh, wait, so you, yeah, you got the uh, the link to the watch together, I assume. Yep. Sweet using their positions of power and authority to mentally and physically harm others, I'm shouted down for being too political, seriously. Well, no, that's different. Well, why would it... Why would yeah, it be considered well, political if you're, if you're about... talking about... Movie, but, uh, I know you're one of those weird fucking people who think everything's political, but, um, yeah, like, you, you talking will... about loot boxes, that's not what people... If you just talked about loot boxes, people wouldn't say you're being too political. I've never heard of someone you're call that political. Being political, people say you're being too political. Yeah, he really leans into the anti-capitalism stuff lately that I've been noticing. Yeah, uh, but when he's just defending the consumer, he does a good job. But oh, yeah. absolutely, yeah. This is this is why mm -hmm. Jim Sterling's like a hit and miss content creator. But like, this isn't a new thing. He really always has. He's always like, he takes steps. Sometimes he goes really far with a 
And he pisses people off with ratings every once in a while as well. He gave uh, <laughs> he gave to do a sacrifice a one. He gave it I a believe. one. That was my game of that <laughs> year. I adored Senua's sacrifice. Hellblade. Do you remember though? His, so his logic good. was there was a game breaking bug and it got I had doubt. He encountered oh, an astronomically oh, rare uh, bug. <laughs> and he's like, ah, the game's one out of ten. I'm a professional game reviewer. I'm so fucking good at this. I'm gonna mock elitist people. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. Hmm. It's, it's, it's a weird one, but like I said, I've never heard of someone say, like, stop shitting on loot boxes and microtransactions, you're getting all political. <laughs> I'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to lump it all together, and he wants to mock people who say, please don't get political, I just want to play video games. And which, you know, bleed, it bleeds all over the place, the degrees I'm of I'm in it. that camp. Yeah, we like Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm like, fucking, I don't want to hear about politics. Oh, I hear about gay. them everywhere. Yeah. I play video games. Just want to play my video games. Just want to grill. <laughs> <laughs> but by the clammy wet hands of God, so help us all. When it comes to a woman in a mushroom zombie oh video God. game having oh. big up. Look at them veins. Holy shit. It's insane. We'll see. <laughs> like, the reason it happened, I assume, is because her gameplay is very punchy. She like beats the shit out of zombies. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'll admit, I think uh, Angry Joe said this too, It's it can be pretty fun. Like, you, you just fucking hulk out and just beat the shit out of not only people, but, but zombies too, obviously both. Um, and so how do you justify that in a game that's supposed to be grounded and realistic? It's like, well, let's give it fucking bulky ass arms, let's do it. It's like, yeah. can, we, can we make that a thing in universe? It's like, ooh, that'll be tough. And they do mm. give an attempt, but it's not, it's not enough. And um, I think Jim will go over it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it as it comes up. Arms, it'll be an outrage that burns for months on end. Abby in The Last of Us Part 2 is proving to be one of the most controversial video- See her arms there? Kind of look like mm -hmm. almost normal. Yeah, they don't, yeah, they don't Isn't that like, like a there. promo image or something? Well, see, this, yeah, this that is... was from like the first trailer, I think. Yeah, uh, this is what I mean. It, it really depends on which which part you're talking like like if you because something that he does uh, I saw him do it on Twitter is he'll throw up like the most normal looking photo of your arms and be like people are complaining about this and it's like well no <laughs> other stuff yeah, oh, wait, really wait, wait, scratch that. Abby in The Last of Us Part 2 is proving to be one of the most non-troversial video game characters. Also, controversial? I feel like Dude, this game is extremely what? controversial. Well, this is what people I mean. fucking hate it. He'd have to be disingenuous as hell to pretend that this is what people are talking about uh, as a whole about Last of Us 2. It's like, Again, it's come problem on. number 206. So, the, the screen that we have right here, right? If you were to show this picture to a, a person who knew nothing about the game or anything, and you showed them that picture, what gender would they think they're looking at? Just, I'm just throwing that out there. What would be their first impression, it, you think? Hmm. I think you'd get a toss-up of answers. I think Reckon? so, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, it's not yeah. a, it's not hmm. a very, it's not a feminine woman. It's, it comes across as a feminine uh, it comes across as a man with some a feminine face in some aspects. If I was putting money on it, or like you know, gonna kill me, and I have to choose one of the answers, I'd probably go with girl. I'd be like, I think I'd be more likely to stick my life on girl. Than see, I would see, say if so I was too. seeing this for the first time, I would think, all right, those are uh, arms with some muscle on them. So I would Stand then naturally opinions. equate the bulges at the chest as pecs, and I would probably say, uh, oh, it's a guy with a bit of a you know narrow jaw, that like. And so if you want, if Jim is wondering why a lot of people, a lot of guys don't find Abby attractive, that's exactly why. Well, he's already covered it. There was a, there was a literal comment yeah. that was just like, yeah, this yeah. is it's not, I'm not into that. <laughs> not like, into oh that. my God. Yeah. And I'm not saying everyone, I'm saying just most guys, because there is actually a conventional beauty standard. Um, in, in fact, you could even call it an objective standard that mm -hmm. um, well, most guys, not everyone I'm saying, but most guys generally find attractive and it's actually there are biological roots to it standard. like yeah well shape well yeah shaped hips is what i'm talking about the, oh, it's uh, there's common. a golden ratio and stuff um really common. yeah and so i think that's called the patriarchy <gasps> yeah, like, <laughs> well, yeah, how dare them. like i said i would just like i would be pushed into saying maybe it's because i've played the game that it's harder for me to like say exactly what i'd say first impression but it's be like yeah it's a really fit girl apparently like she's uh and if you like post-apocalypse, we're like, oh, okay. 
It's, like I said, there's more shots with... I had a picture of it before, but her arm is like twice the size of what it looks like right now in some shots. And it's just like, holy fuck. How did you do it? Of all time. To ordinary human beings with some sort of purpose in life, or at least more than one hobby, is Abby a is a protagonist in a video game. To the gamers TM, you know the ones I mean, she represents no. the downfall of the no. gaming medium. Well, hang on. <laughs> huh? The gaming medium is falling Wait, down because what? of Abby? <laughs> it's certainly not because of her character appearance. If somebody wanted to make the comment, the story like, of the game, yeah. for the most part, how shitty it is. And if they were to point to all the examples that we've discovered for sure over the past like two plus, well, since we 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 talk about what is the genesis of it, and uh, ah, Terminator Genesis is often the genesis of it, but there's there's a couple of uh -huh. other further examples. But like, if someone was like, yeah, this is just indicative of the downfall of writing, I wouldn't actually, I, I'd be okay with that. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah I think it... <laughs> I'd say this is definitely part of the rot. People wanting a theme it... and not making it work actually in the material. I mean, it's staggering how many properties have been destroyed under the guise of, but it's, but the themes though. It's like, wow. I don't think they even, I don't think they even wanted the theme though, because I think he wanted to, um, I think he wanted to do something different than just a revenge story, but I, he... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what it was going for because it's such a jumbled mess. We were kind I don't of know what it wanted. been over the um, the theme itself, just just fighting itself. So, <sighs> cycles of violence—that's what I was going for. Okay. Yes, but no. Make of the rest of it what you will. Also, I don't recall anybody wanting to play as Abby. No, uh, that's probably why they kept her out of all the trailers. <laughs> that's why they lied to you. Yes. The play testers were probably like, "This is garbage and painful and boring," or a lot of them were, and then they were like, "Ooh." Oopsie. Which, by so the way, she's, just, she's a force protagonist. Not cool, okay? <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Not <laughs> yeah, cool. I don't know if Jim's made a video about mm. that, but you'd expect him to, but I feel like this is a game that he can attack. Um, well, uh, f f I think it was Smiler who mentioned, uh, remember the battlef uh, Battlefield, which was the controversial Battlefield again? Five? Battlefield 5. Yeah, the, he, five, um, the last one, one, which they have stopped supporting, by the way. I've been playing Battlefield 1 a lot recently. Uh, there's been an uptick in uh, in, in servers uh, just in the last couple of weeks as I've gone back to it. I've oh. seen more and more servers kind of popping up for it. And Battlefield 4 is still swinging with people. Mm. Like, everyone's it's just gone back to the good Battlefield. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Battlefield 4 was fucking awesome. It's awesome. Was that the Battlefield that got... Uh, which was, Wasn't there one that got, like, super fixed over time? Like, it, it launched... A bit tizzy, and they that's added another shit. Four, yeah, yeah, yeah that's four, right? Four launched really badly, but it eventually became insanely good where it is now. Um, though I just got burned out on it. I have like sixteen hundred plus hours in Battlefield Four, so <laughs> I can't really go back to it. So I play Battlefield One now because it's just different. It's great. It's is fun. anyone still playing you? Bad Company Two? I do not know. Ah, yes, I the real Battlefield. Back. Oh shit! Battlefield Bad Company Two is good stuff. We got asked the question, stuff. Ranks. Uh, d d well, Chad, have you answered this yet? The Christmas versus Halloween? Nice segue. Remember. Yeah, I know. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it, just, it just came to me. What question is this? Which is better, uh, Christmas or Halloween? I already know what your answer is going to be. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that question is rather odd. Because it's plain to see beyond any doubt that Halloween is the retarded inbred cousin simping beta cuck to the alpha chad that is Christmas. Wow. Halloween is the festering pussy boil on the otherwise pristine shining ass of Christmas. Halloween is shepherd's pie <laughs> made with crap where Christmas is the glorious spaghetti bolognese. Halloween is Captain Marvel where Christmas is the dawn. I would rather be tied to a pole and have a horde of rats eat off my balls while having Cardi B's music injected into my ears, interspersed with Brie Larson giving me a lecture on my toxic masculinity, with movie Bob doing a strip tease in front of me, than only get Halloween in lieu of Christmas. Words cannot express oh, the no. exalted, wondrous glory that is the greatest holiday of all time, space, and existence, which is Christmas. Peace on Earth and goodwill to men, bitches. Um, I like Halloween, though. <laughs> so, um... I agree. Um, so I like Christmas. 
Rags is I mean, like, I'm how much of that Christmas, do I agree with? Uh... Christmas is definitely the best holiday. Good. Good. I do like Halloween, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you... What did Halloween do to you, Shad? Yeah, I feel like Halloween really... You, you saw a really scary costume as a kid article? and it sucks. Did you... Ha was that saved? How did you do that so well? <laughs> We're streaming this. <laughs> this is not pre-recorded. <laughs> wow, that's, uh... That's pretty... <laughs> yeah, I think some you got something. For, uh, you got it out for Halloween. I don't know. Um, I mean, hate it, hate it or love it. I mean, it is still free candy. Yeah. Well, so it's my. It's because people are trying to have Halloween challenge Christmas, and if something challenges Christmas. Oh yeah, I know. I the yeah, uh, the fucking yeah. audacity. But I know uh, it's a clear winner just, from the get go. Red, but yeah, people still do it. And I can't. I can't hold back. <laughs> Right, Happy bed. Which Hell. one do you think is what? better? <laughs> well, I'm uh, glad which we one gives me more anime titties? Which one has more anime titties? That's a good question, actually. Oh, Christmas. <laughs> is that true? I don't know. Christmas? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. No. I'd say it's Halloween. <gasps> Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> Explain yourself. Stop asking why? why every time. <laughs> he demands to know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's very simple. My, my standard is very simple. Which one gives me more anime titties? How do you know that Halloween's the one that does that? <laughs> oh, you I know, don't know. You know we have an internet. <laughs> the amount yes. never changes. It just goes more and more as time goes on. Yeah, but Christmas is a very wholesome day, though. Halloween is very crazy and wild. What's wrong with wholesome breasts? There's nothing wrong with wholesome. wholesome breasts. There's nothing wrong with being breasts. wholesome. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I think we should disqualify this answer. <laughs> no. So the question why, becomes what well, like do you prefer Christmas? To... And then it just adds. <laughs> uh, but why though? Because you don't like Christmas because I don't you don't like me picking wow. Halloween. Damn. No, I, I like Halloween. Halloween's great. Yay! No, I li I like both. I like I both yeah, too. Like both Christ too Christmas just... is all right. I'll tussle Christmas's hair. Good job. <laughs> I mean, like all oh, Halloween, you try. Oh, I'm holding back. <laughs> that, I'm holding that, back. That five-hour period, that one meme... night that often happens on a school night that people kind of sort of care about you a little bit. The uh, the meme for like EFAP oh. two hundred will be this hyper animated like war between Christmas and Halloween. <laughs> So anyway, back to Jimson. AWs have taken over video games by erasing attractive women and replacing them with attractive women. She is in their perpetually self-martyring worldview. Yet another example of look. If we're gonna go as far as saying her attractive. if I and the beholder sort of shit, then because all he's doing is the same in the reverse, right? If if he has yeah. an issue with. And I don't think people. I th Can we like? I don't care. Can we move on to the actual problem? Yeah, Do you know what I mean? I, like, yeah. I don't really care to touch that with a barge pole. It's like, is yeah, is Abby care. conventionally attractive or not? I'm like, why? Why is this? Why? I don't are you... think so. No. Yes. <laughs> it's just so stupid that they all boil it down to the looks of the characters, even though that's not the problem well, at all. He would like, argue that he's been drawn into it by these trolls, and I'd be like, so what are you doing then? Like. Yeah. Why why don't you refocus the conversation? You're like, no, I got several comments that said, Yeah, I don't I don't like it when women look like that myself. And he's like, Oh and he's like, oh. oh, I have to defend those massive muscular women by saying that they are actually very beautiful or something. I don't Which know. Again, he I he's totally fine to, to, to find it, but it's like it's so weird. What is because I know this video gets to other topics, but it's just like, all right. Yeah, I, I think it does play uh... It plays a role, the uh, appearance of the character. It's not going to be the thing that will break a th uh, like the movie, because if Abby was a truly enjoyable character and the gameplay was fine, people will probably still enjoy it and things. Uh, but it does play a part. I mean, one of the reasons why Tomb Raider was so popular, you know, early back in the day, is that it had a really hot main character. And so those things can actually attract, um, uh, an, you know, a wider audience at times, because... When a guy or a girl, you know, when you're playing a video game, if you get to watch someone attractive doing all the cool stuff, that can be an extra enjoyable thing that you can enjoy out of it. But it won't be, the, like I said, it's not the thing that 
destroys it either. If it's still a good game, people can enjoy playing a really ugly character and have a great game as well. There's been plenty would, examples of that. It would be interesting if the writing was almost like airtight and the payoffs were the kind of things that the audience wanted and still the game was half Abby and she looked exactly the same. I wonder what people would be saying. It yeah, probably would be there would be nearly as much. Yeah, barely that. mention it. I mean, yeah. most people say that Fat Geralt is hyper hot, so, you know... <laughs> he is hot. He's a fucking daddy, man. Well, that's I want what him I'm to saying. hunt me into a garage door. He's a bear. So, like, what, what's going on there, mm. hmm? What's going on? I think it's just because he... <laughs> He's the hero in the story, that's why. <laughs> he is. Okay. Little gamers, straight little white boys, are being ignored. Oh, boy. Uh, that's that's racist. <laughs> Just saying. My bisexual ass that has a huge mm. problem with Abby's gargantuan monster arms. Yeah. yeah, but you are white, and that's the problem. Yeah, I don't know. You see, he can he can literally target you for your sexuality and your race, and it's totally fine. Like, yeah. Okay. I, just, I think that lesbian black women just need to fucking chill out. You know. Yeah, I wonder. Can't say that. <laughs> just... <laughs> so interesting how it works in favor of the non-real gamers anyone who isn't a straight little white boy in short abby yeah, that's is us. the yeah. final yeah. Mm, that's, that's us you know that thing that we always say yeah, yeah. our parents there compared to that's what i mean like, her arms are so much bigger than that in many portions of the game it's weird Aerith games bro a huge portion of the controversy. Why are you use Aerith when Tifa Wait. has more games? <laughs> Tifa's the one with the black hair, right? Yeah. D yes. Yeah, she's hotter. Tifa's the one that actually punch people and have yeah, she's actual time. games. Way more attractive than Aerith. Aerith's I haven't the magic played the girl. fucking games. i just seen the pictures. <laughs> That's all I need. I look at them pictures. I look at them pictures. Tim hasn't played we, the seven This was asked on a super chat. What? This is asked. To do. Someone, someone has asked me if I think Tifa or Aerith is more attractive. Uh huh. And it was clearly Tifa. Do you agree, Appa, or do you think not? Yeah. <laughs> At least we can yeah. we can be on the same page on that, Rags. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aerith is super basic looking, and uh. <laughs> wait, well, you you've done a, a wrong, probably. I don't know. I don't, that's Jim right. Sterling's gonna make a video. All right. <laughs> It's rooted in something so utterly pitifully simple. They don't like that a non-conventionally attractive woman dared to be a playable character. Non-conventionally ugly. Hey, just ugly. Well, no, 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 no. Because that? he Did just he said that. It? Yeah, he said it. No, he, he just said it. So wait a minute. It's like non-conventionally <laughs> attractive. Yeah, it's, ugly. It's so yeah, obvious ugly. that he couldn't even dance around it. He just Dude, I am fine. I'm fine with sticking to the idea, like, if, if he says, like, oh, just, like, you're, you're being absurd, she's just not conventionally attractive, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. If, you, if that's the categorization you want to go with, I'm fine with it, but I'm just surprised that he said it. Mm. Isn't, I thought he was fighting that throughout this video, but okay. I know, that's, what that I seems mean? to be the categorization that the comments he was reading out were saying, that they didn't find her attractive. Like, I don't think anyone... Would care if they didn't already hate Abby. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would either. I and think they'd just like, be like, yeah, she's simple. really strangely but ripped for some addition, weird reason. I think they would have liked her more on top of that if she was more conventionally hot. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, with sure. all things being um, equal. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just. Think about it. Did anything happen earlier in the game that would have made players biased against mm. her? Can you guys think of anything? No, no, certainly not by design, because that would be really an odd design choice. Yeah, like, it's not like they did it to make you hate her, themselves for no reason. and then had her play fetch to make you like it. That's not something they did right now. That's a different thing. about that time she talked to Owen? Is that what you're referring to? Yes, the time she talked to Owen. On the boat, okay. where Peepo yeah. had to save me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> in a mainstream video game. And that is literally it for the vast majority of them. Oh, they'll dress it up. The whinging little lads who are still weeks after launch trying to invalidate Abby. <laughs> Not this person, this person just share it. Yeah, just share the screenshot then. Crop it out. What's what's the issue with that? Also, I need context. Was this person... So, hang on, I'll let him go a bit further before this... I make this point, because there's, there's, a, there's a larger point to be made about this discuss because i hate this framing like the discussions we've been having about the last of us on any efap the majority like 99.9 percent .9 of it has nothing to do with her muscles like it, there's so much to, to to talk about in I, terms of stupid I, I just don't care about her muscles seriously 
there's plenty more I would much rather talk about with regards to the game. Although, could I ask a question on there? Because we are kind of all talking about the whole Abbey appearance thing. Um, I haven't played it, but I've all, I've heard a lot of the commentaries and things. Um, and no, I know I don't plan to play it either. Uh, <laughs> but you guys, you, though, you know, Maul, you have, right? Um, yes. Does the game seem to try and push a, a message or a, um, a thing that is almost subliminally telling the player that they should be attracted to Abbey? Because there I is mean, a sex they, scene. They do have the sex scene. That's the thing that comes they to mind They do have first. the sex scene, yes. Yeah, the sex and, scene is no super like, fucking awkward. Yes. If so, there are yeah, I, to I make them more attracted it. to her, they have not done that. The sex scene doesn't help. It's also completely yeah. unnecessary, oh. the sex scene. Like, and you, you might be like, well, what's a necessary sex scene? I'm like, well, we, we could we could talk about that, but like, something? certainly yeah. not the one we had in... in the... It's just really uncomfortable. It's really weird. It I was really, really, really weird. I have not seen a single reaction to that scene that's positive. Every single reaction has been, <laughs> like... Same as most video games. Dude, I think... Just really uncomfortable. I think most people who love the game would still be like, all right, that was... Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. I feel bad for all the console gamers who have to put everything on speakers. That's when their parents come in the room to ask. Are they I don't know. I think the console gamers might win on this one because they're... Um, no, wait. All of, the, all of the people who play The Last of Us 2 are console Never mind. People got the worst. What I was going for was the fact that it, it looked worse on console, so maybe they came <laughs> out ahead easily. because it wasn't as high definition and clear. I just like, but, did you, did you, um, like, oh, yeah. did you ever see the meme where it's like, are you winning, son? There's just a little peepo on a chair and he turns around, it's that scene. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, no, no, I'm losing horribly. <laughs> The reason this... why I ask is that there has been a, a kind of a, a big push in recent, you know, years of uh, almost shaming guys for liking attractive women, right? And uh, and so I, I just that's what I wonder. I suspect that there might be an even stronger backlash to Abby's appearance that might not have even existed, say, if a, a character that looked like Abby appeared in say the eighties or nineties, but a stronger backlash now, where it seems like it's an additional. Uh, almost dogpiling on the things like, no, you're not allowed to be attracted to conventionally attractive women. We're going to throw this in your face and you will like her. And here's a sex scene just to show you that you should like this. And it's weird because when you look at like Sarah Connor and um, Ripley, they're not hot. You know, they're kind of like, yeah, it's, I mean, especially Ripley. Ripley is a pretty, she's not ugly. She's not attractive. She's just very average looking, you know? And she's one of the most beloved female uh, characters in media of yeah, all time. I think I think yeah. they have the potential to be hot, though. So, like, if they put makeup on and other things like that. Yeah, yeah, the potential to be her. hot. But if you need makeup to be hot, then... <laughs> but it's like, no <laughs> one cares. You, you know, no one ever talks about how hot Ripley is. Oh, I've heard it. There's a lot of guys that, you know... Think okay, Ripley's well, hot. they're weird, but... <laughs> I, it's it's not it's not generally her her physical attractiveness that people are like yeah man she's so awesome and amazing and uh you so know, one of the on, greatest on, female on a scale of one to movie. ten rags on a scale of one to ten what would you rate Ripley well, probably around a five is average looking you know I, See, I would uh, happily rate higher than that myself yeah I, like I think. If, you, if I'm being critical, a seven, but for some guys, I reckon um, she reaches a nine or ten, but, you know. Yeah, I, I think she's, you know, a, a very comfortable comfortable middle middle road, fairly just average-looking person in terms of uh, attractiveness. Well, that's the, well, that's the interesting thing. There, there's so much personal preference that comes into uh, when, it, when you're in this kind of ballpark. If you have, a, you know, a girl that's healthy and, uh, and fit, then uh, they j usually have the potential to reach a nine or a ten for anyone, depending on that those preferences. And for other people, they could very well be a five. I will um, say her character is like eleven out of ten, which probably helps boost it quite a bit. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. undoubtedly. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Just put it out there. Ripley's awesome. She is great. We watched Aliens not long ago. So Sorry. good stuff. Mm -hmm. So throwing that question back to you, Mola, do you it, it, it is that element in the game? Like, is there a, almost a preachy undertone of uh, saying you should feel bad for being attracted to conventionally attracted women and you should be attracted to this? It, it, oh, being completely honest, I didn't necessarily get that sense. Mo most of the, the girls are much more conventional compared to Abby. I think Abby's like the only one that's like Schwarzenegger sort of thing. 
Um, is is the only sex scene with her in it, or is there yes, other ones? The, 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 I don't think there is any. Oh no, wait, there is. You see the beginning and end of the one with Ali and uh, Dina. They faked to black there, but why didn't they? <laughs> why didn't they fade That's to black? That's interesting. Why did they fade to black? It's like I don't know. So. For those, yeah, that's what I think. For those people who feel like this is, uh, there is a preachy undertone, I think there's a stronger backlash against her appearance because of that very reason. They don't want to feel preached to or shamed. Um, and that might be, um, yeah, an explanation of the large backlash. Just just thoughts I'm having about it. Distance as a character will try to tell you it's not about something so surface level, but it is. People hate Abby because she's reasonably muscular. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, All right. Really? All right. That's... Bro, I am of the last person on the face of the planet to tell me what's reasonably muscular. Also, geez. <laughs> but I was going to say, like, people hate it because I'm, like, careful. There's, like, essays on why Abby is hateable. It's, <laughs> like, if someone said, first point, her muscles, I'd be like, you're not being honest. Like, that's <laughs> not even close to why people fucking despise this character. Why would you despise somebody for having muscles? Like, that's not even... That's, that's a I... weird point compared to their character. Because the, because some people want muscles and they can't get them and they don't want to put the effort necessary into it, so they're jealous of the fact somebody else actually went through the work and the time and the effort. That might be a reason. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a problem is Abby's muscles for the rest of you? One. Um, I mean, it's just like this... It's weird... Um, definitely not in the top aspects. It's just one of the things on the pile. See, honestly, for me, the muscles actually, it, that's not a thing. It's the, if I was to, you know, rate it on a, a physical attractive thing, it would be the lack of chest and the lack of figure and the lack of hips. Um, you can have, uh, like, I, yeah, a girl who has muscles on them. And if you give them a figure and stuff like that, a lot of guys are still going to find them very hot. And so it's not the muscles. I, I generally don't think that. Yeah, if I was going to be transformed into a lady, um, in the in, in the in the witch who is do casting the spell because that's the scenario that I'm inventing for this. <laughs> right. They're like, oh, which which what body would you like, little dearie, little, little like, hey, hey. and she'd cackle and everything, and, and I'd be like, not Abby. <laughs> for starters, just so we're clear, I oh, did we'll show her a picture of Abby. He's like, not this. We we want to we want to not have this. The like for, so, her having muscles. How how is it detrimental to the mechanics or the story? But like, well, it's to enable her to be Hulk Smash in her gameplay, which I think is a tad inappropriate for a game that's so grounded. Um, she needs to be as huge as she is to Hulk Smash. Also, oh, fuck well, like, well, well, they just have her be. Well, here's you could have had her be a male character. And had her be Hulk Smash. Well, yeah, I don't see why more, you couldn't just had her be. My brain would have um, accepted it a lot easier. The Doctor's son, like you could have just had that. Yeah, or you have her be a, a, a skinny, scrawny chick, and she's um, mostly stealth. And maybe she's like her crafting stuff is different because of her background. Like her father was, while he was saving zebras, he taught her all sorts of cool, different things that you know she could craft with stuff that maybe Ellie couldn't and you can make the gameplay different because of that. Or Hulk Smash, you know. That's well, this is the thing, the too. gameplay is f almost funny at that point, because you just go whoosh, 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 you, like you actually teleport <laughs> sometimes, or, or you know, you drag yourself along the floor to, to land punches. And of yep. course, with um, Ellie, it's not quite like that. E Ellie's much more like how you'd expect everything to run. So it's like, oh, well, we can't have that gameplay unless we give you hyper muscles. And you're like, all right. <laughs> so, Sorry, so that, you know, that's what presents the issue for me. It's less to do with can I believe a person can exist in this world with muscles? Even though I, I, we're, we've been talking about that as well, because I think that's a fair thing to bring up. My issue more lies with just, huh, I wonder if mm. all of this is just to justify the mechanics, because of course they can't have silly mechanics like. Falcon punching enemies everywhere in a game like this. Like, you could do it in, You know, like, you have a game like called Explosion Bros, and it's just giant dudes. <laughs> Explosion Bros. They, like, shout bullets at people, and they can punch buildings down. You're just like, yeah! But with with The Last Treat of Us, it. I'd be like, well, you can't, have, you can't do that at The Last of Us. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, is it? I love that so one I'll of the be... mechanics that the game developers give to us 
whoever to play Last of Us 2 is to kill Abby deliberately. Bless also, that was more of a monument to failure with making people endeared to a character. Also, hello, it. Aiden. How would you do? Oh, hello. Hello. Hey. Sleeping um, all right. Oh, hey. We are. We are. Uh, this is probably what I would call max capacity a seven, because uh, uh, that that probably is good, right? <laughs> what do you think, Rex? Seven is max capacity. Listen, we're the max capacity of Abby's arms could fit way more than seven people. Yeah, def. You, you but this, but but right, Discord will never be as thick and strong as Abby's arms, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. I mean, seven is a lot, and we can be rather uh, loquacious. Yes. Uh, also, uh, Aiden, if you grab that Watch Together link, you can jump in and uh, take a look. See a, a Jim Sterling's video on The Last of Us Two. It's been really good so far. Amazing. Oh, the boy. last point you made. Was, I am sure it's great. He, the last point you made was that people hate Abby because of their muscles, and that they try to pretend it's for other reasons, but really it's that. And, and oh on yeah, that as note, about Christmas and Halloween. <laughs> oh mean, shit! Yeah, uh, Aiden, you what do you prefer, the, yes, Christmas yes. or Aiden, Halloween? What's your favorite well, of of the two? Which is the 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 best holiday? The is it Halloween one. or is it Christmas? But it's Halloween, one thousand percent. It's like we <laughs> departed from the real world into know, reality. Yeah, yeah, that made I'm, sense. Yeah. Mu mutually, you need to adjust your Discordisms on. No, that ain't happening. Uh, it's it, it, things fall apart if I do that. This is why oh. this is max capacity. You can still see Theo and Upper Bend. It's just that they're half faces. <laughs> oh God, we're not. All right, <laughs> brilliant. Never mind then. Um. All right. Let us continue. And uh, anyone who doesn't get the video coming in, let me know. And uh, before we continue, oh my god, stop it! Stop oh my, oh my god. You're trying to say stuff for ages, buddy. Oh no. my god. No. Well, no, it's just because well, we're on the muscle uh, topic. I've been trying to think of a uh, famous video game character that's just a chick that has heaps of muscles because I know there was must be several good examples. <laughs> and, yeah, I saw it in chat. Uh, just to uh, really debunk, you know, nail in the coffin this, um, this myth that they hate Abby because of muscles and therefore people must hate female characters of muscles. Chun-Li, she is jacked as anything. Like, have you seen the muscles on her? And... Heaps of people love her as a character, and well, um, people find her odd as well. Mandalorian, did Gina Car Carraro, Carrero, Carino? I forget her surname, but uh, pretty sure everybody really liked her outside of obviously Rags and I. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not because of her muscles. It's the once again, because that's it's a little bit more complicated than that every time. It's not just there's a reason though. why Dim like used spider female character. Cammy is more upper body strength, although you know she still has like a lot of leg moves. But it's like every street, every fighting game character for the, not well, maybe not some of the it's, more it's, anime ones, but has much like a dedicated with it. fighting yes, character in a martial art based video game. This is a woman in a post apocalyptic world where people are trying to survive and food and all that stuff. And is they super comment limited. on how burritos are a common food item. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right, the the meal. All um, who's that? Uh, who's that Olympic swimmer? Uh, the... Phelps. Dan yeah, burrito? Michael Phelps. Nothing but he got there on the burrito diet. <laughs> It's all burritos for Michael Phelps. All burritos, all day. Four years of burritos, boom, gold medal machine. All I, I can think it. of is our Rat Chef, the Filthy Frank video where he finds uh, the rats and puts them in a tortilla. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, it's not a good rat. Or maybe it's a great rat, I don't know. Also, uh, Apo, are you going to say something? I, I caught your, your light for a moment there. Yeah, I was about to say, there's a reason why Jim was about uh, showed Arift in a video instead of Tifa because Tifa pretty much disproved his entire argument. Oof. Mm. Yeah, because Tifa's the more athletic looking one and she's more attractive. <laughs> I mean, I still think Sarah but it Connor... appeals, But it appeals to the male, to the male gaze. That's right. why it's problematic. That's why you can't have it. What about... Uh, no, about the male lesbians? gaze... She appeals to the lesbian gaze, but that's... Fine. The lesbian gaze? It's the male gaze that's bad? Oh, right. The lesbian... Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> lesbian gaze. I was like, wait a minute. Lesbian gaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the lesbian gays, this this damn gay <laughs> lesbian. Why can't all these lesbians be straight lesbians? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna I'll roll this this back a little bit. Here we go. Character, we'll try to tell you it's not about something so surface level, but it is. People hate Abby because she's reasonably muscular. And when I say oh, reasonably, that's, 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 there's something no, wrong with that statement. Uh, no, it's already <laughs> been disproven. People yeah, on. Telling people what they, you know, here's really why you hate it. Is it because of the Joel thing? No, it's not because of any of that. No, no. Because she's got she fucking said reasonably arms. muscular. No, not no. <laughs> reasonably in the real world. Come on. Well, let's Look find out. Growing. I think he, he doesn't does, think muscles are reasonable. He does start presenting arguments for why it's it's reasonable. So we're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna get told. You guys ready for this? Reasonably muscular. That's the extent of it too. She is not as some people who even like her described super mega jacked. Maybe it's because oh I spend a lot God. of time. Oh my God! Yes, she is. Uh, she is. Though. Yeah. Yes, she is. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Man. I think maybe Jim, and this is not to bully Jim, maybe has a warped perception of what jacked is. Well, he's about to explain. Harry and Arnold Schwarzenegger or something, and is expecting like ripped, popping muscles right. on every single thing. As I mentioned earlier, like she's not that big, but if he were walking around in this game, I would, I would have issues too. It's, it's like the, this is the thing. Um, her arms are very large. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. With actual professional wrestlers, but I see super jacked human frames on the red. Fucking hell! Look at that balloon. Okay. Um, but the people who, that is insane. Well, that is so, yeah, he just said in his profession, or well, partial profession, the uh, the wrestling thing, he sees women that are jacked to this level, I suppose. It's like, well, wait, so how would that be regular Where? then? Where? Yeah, I, that I, seems I can, like I, a very specialized thing. Also, I don't believe you. <laughs> because it's not true. I watch wrestling all the time. They're not jacked like this. That's maybe three. Oh, yeah, I can't yeah. tell you. It's maybe not. three. <laughs> I can only think of, like, Tara La Rosa, and even she's not built like that. Oh, you see, you see, some female bodybuilders reach that size. Sure, um, but that's the that's kind of the point, isn't it? That it's yeah. very you irregular. You have to be a devoted bodybuilder to get to this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And at that point as well, right? Because if you if you're training to be strong and to be fit, those are different from bodybuilding. As in, like bodybuilding is very um, well, it's in the name. You're building up the body like aesthetically. You want to look really big, really buff. It's not necessarily like. Oh, it's yeah. having. Is, you're is, absolutely right. If you're, all right, if you're impregnating someone, is that bodybuilding? <laughs> <laughs> by definition, mm, by you the have definition created a of body. Words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So actually, my, my no, point, you're, building two, you're building two bodies, actually. My point is, you'd have yeah, to be kind I, of absurd to bodybuild in the post-apocalypse. Like resources are tight. Like you really want to pursue bodybuilding. It's like yes, yeah. Oh, okay. Again, like, I don't even know that they would be allowed, like, rationing-wise. You'd be like, I'm sorry, you can't have all the protein you <laughs> it's need. It's the Abbey, and they're like, okay, so I think we're finding out who's sneaking away all those extra burritos at night. <laughs> <laughs> they're clearly well, doing pretty also... well for themselves, but not to that extent, right? Surely. Mm -hmm. But bodybuilding is also building up the glamour muscles more than it is actually becoming stronger, necessarily. Yeah. Like, it's, hey, it's those not aren't, those aren't my glamour muscles. Hey. No, seriously. <laughs> have a look at a bodybuilder and have a look at the guys in the World's Strongest Man competition. Their bodies are very different. Mm -hmm. um, World's Strongest Man, if you're in the chat, let us know if we're missing <laughs> anything here, because I know you watch EFAP. <laughs> no, those guys in the World's Strongest Man competition amaze me how strong they are. And you see them, and they have these massive kegs for guts, right? But it's just muscle. And they like are fat gir they're all like fat girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are tanks. They're absolute <laughs> units. Regular. And Abby, while very clearly built up. Oh, oh look at that. Her arm is like the size of her shot. head. <laughs> oh, it, that's what I mean. There are some shots in the game where you like you're running with it. I wish I still had it. I had this screenshot. It was it was a drumstick it was enormous well like a drumstick isn't big but you know what i mean like <laughs> relative size drumstick mm, it's drumstick. the kind of thing where um oh did you guys remember in the uh, short of the dead where uh the the daffs gets pulled through a window and his leg gets ripped off she uses it as a club i picture ripping off abby's yeah. arm you could fucking wreck somebody hitting them with that <laughs> slam yeah, it into their face the abby arm, yeah. upgraded abby arm <laughs> 
the mm. top when it comes to getting ripped to fuck. Which, of course, is fine. Be as built up as you want look, to be. Look, this is much smaller this time. Yeah, look at that. This is bigger. Yeah. What the fuck? This is what I mean. Their arms, like, they're not quite consistent. Different yeah. ratings for every different yeah. screenshot. Yeah. Mm. The way some people talk about it, it it's, it's like they've never seen muscles before. <sighs> What the point? Uh, I would argue that I, Jim Sterling, the expert on musculature. I would argue that the reason they're saying this is because they've seen muscles of that size before, and they know what, like, where it comes from and how they're made. Like, it's not it, n an ignorance on b bodybuilding slash muscle building would would probably make you be like, oh yeah, this is normal. That's fine. It's totally normal. Uh, oh, gosh. Mm, yes this... and no, but also no because it. I guess, in some sense, violates what you'd come to expect from looking at a woman. So, you know, it it raises eyebrows, so to speak. Well, but if so if you know nothing about it, and you're told, yeah, sorry. If, if you know nothing about it, and you're told this is a woman plus, uh, you know, weightlifting, and you'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, I didn't, yeah, yeah, huh. yeah, sure. Then you'd be like, yeah, fine. Well, if you know a lot about it, and they go, this is a woman plus weightlifting, you're like, yeah, nah, that's not. Yep. <laughs> it takes a bit yeah, more than that. Fair. But of course. Everybody from all different walks of life will have issues or not have issues for different reasons. It's just, yeah, hyper focusing on it. The thing of all the things you could talk about with The Last of Us Two. <laughs> Later is Brock fucking Lesnar, but she does put Naughty Dog's no, intricately shame. animated no, weapon upgrade system to shame by having the sweetest guns in the game, and other gamers can't fucking handle it. Your children, haha! Ha, they're children. See, they're yelling. They're angry little white boy children, and they're yelling. Yeah, they, they ha, I'm Jim Sterling. It. I'm uh, a video I game commentator. Anyone? I made fun of the correct race and gender. It's not racism, guys. I don't think anyone really cares all that much, and people who I do, don't well, that much. It's just weird. <sighs> yeah. I I don't care else. enough for it to be like. <laughs> Continuously brought, like, say for example, there was no video, we were discussing it. I'd be like, Are we, is this done now? Have we done have the conversation? We no, like, we, we've else. nailed it, right? Like, we've gotten, we've explained the problem, we can move on. But, like, yeah. it, you know, before this video starts to repeat itself, I think he does move on. Which is why, despite the rest of the world inevitably having moved on to the next hype fueled AAA distraction, we still have a subset of hardcore gamer boy types who are diligently working to they're bust all, them. They're all little mm -hmm. white boy children, guys. Why, yeah, why? Well, Stop doing my, my that. Subtle, also, my subtle imagery. Also, there are plenty of people who are talking about all kinds of things for all kinds of reasons. The idea that he's like, everyone's moved on except for this one set of white males. You're like, okay, that's weird. Mm. Anyone still talking about TLJ? They're probably white males. <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh. Myth that a muscular woman could be in their favorite video games. Spoilers time, time for early spoilers Ooh. in The Last of Us Part 2. Content? Published by Sony. On the it's not like people weren't predisposed to hating Abby as her- Whoa, now. You well, said earlier. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh, is he speaking sarcastically here, though? Well, I'm assuming he's about to get into the Joel thing, and it's just funny to me, because I'm like, wait a minute, you said they hate her because of her muscles, not for, like, any other reason. Which, by the way, if you want to make the argument, her killing Joel is a shallow reason to hate it because there's a lot of narrative behind it, which if you didn't know the context, you could probably agree with the argument. Um, but that would still be the reason they hate her, not the muscles, if you know what I mean. Mm. The killing of the suddenly beloved video game character of Joel Watt. Suddenly what? beloved. Suddenly again beloved. What? Cosmonaut said this fucking retarded thing, too. We, we gotta Where do is this, this again. From? <laughs> we gotta do like, this again. Like, all of a sudden, people... Like, people are just inventing that people didn't like Joel, one of the most <laughs> beloved like, characters uh, in video gaming. I, I guess because... I, I guess because love for The Last of Us 1 has cooled down a little bit in recent years, suddenly it's getting years. erased from history. Yeah, because well, it's been fucking forever since it came out. It's yeah, like, people um... don't talk about it because it's not topical, because <laughs> it's been seven years since that game came out. It but once like, you like... start mentioning it, everyone's like, oh yeah, fucking Joel and Ellie, what a great team. What a great... Yeah, that's what oh, I mean. Great. Yeah. How many conversations are there about how Terminator 1 is a horror action movie? But if someone started saying, well, it's a comedy in loads of videos, the conversation would start to uptick about how it's not fucking comedy. What are you talking about? They'd be like, whoa, why is everyone talking about this now? Like, what, why is this coming up? It's like, because everyone keeps saying it's not beloved, which is not true. What the f where have you been? Like, what, 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 what <laughs> who have you been talking to? Have... Joel is really liked, okay? Yeah. Yeah, where did they get together in this fucking meeting and all decide, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna lie and say that people don't care about Joel. 
I don't know what happened, but yeah, we, we, that, that means have we got a pattern yet? It's only it's only Cosmonaut and Jim, right? They're the two people who said he's not beloved, which is such a so weird far, thing to declare. Yeah, the also, Again, remember when the trailer that, came oh. out and we saw Joel and everyone like cheered their asses off? Well, yeah, I mean, I can tell you like because I was always intending to play the second one because I fucking liked it with the first one. What it was like, he's in the trailer. I was like, cool. Uh, good. Yeah, I, I, I they would did like the to play the reveal trailer. We had the crowd and everything. And then at the end, they had Joel come in or whatever, and everyone's lost their shit. Everyone was like, oh my god, it's Joel. I'm so happy to see him again. It's been so long. I love him so much. Tell me, if he isn't beloved, then why did they hide so hard that he's not in the game and that he died? Hmm. <laughs> was it one, wasn't the first few trailers that the game didn't even show Joel? Um, oh, I'd have to check, but I'm in my head, I'm just thinking about the one where... It, I've, I've mentioned this yeah, before. Yeah, the first screen, few but... trailers of the game, I remember people complaining that Joel is in it, is not in it. Yeah, the, um... And then that they, I think in one of the trailers, they had him come in at the very, very end. The the trailers were implying this is very Ellie-focused, which is, I think, fine with fans of The Last of Us 1. They'd be like, yeah, Ellie's game, sure. It. And then they were like, she's got someone she's interested in. The, the, that trailer where she's with that girl dancing, like, okay. And then there's the, the trailer that I mentioned where I was just kind of blown away by how fucking manipulative this was. Dina's wearing a bracelet, and then we cut to a scene where Ellie's wearing that same bracelet, and she's angry, and she's looking for vengeance. You're like, ooh, I guess that girl died then. And then you have Joel being like, do you think I was gonna let you do this alone? It's like, ooh, ooh. And everyone's like, oh my god, it's Joel, they're gonna go on an adventure. And you can, you can ah, see so the happy. story threads. You're like, oh, so that person's gonna die, and then she's gonna go crazy and want to get re revenge, and Joel's gonna look after her, and who knows what'll happen to him in the game. But it's like, no, that's, that's not even, <laughs> no. Um, and yeah, so why would they have done that if Joel was this character that no one likes? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's fucking Joel, there he is. Ugh. No idea when news of the story from. leaked before launch, enough for many people to preemptively decide she was awful and refuse to ever see her perspective, which is hilarious. What do you mean her perspective? I've played the game. You don't you don't get any like they never give you any um context as to why she fucking tortured Joel. <clears throat> oh, she turns into a different person at that point in the game. And and I still don't get why she called him a stupid old man too. I just <laughs> After he saved her life, it's like, yeah, that was pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty dumb. <laughs> Definitely fucked up there. Not even a second uh, thought to the uh, fact that he... Ah, jeez. And he said people preemptively decided to dislike her, and if he's referring to the leaks, that's actually... No, they justifiably decided they disliked her after finding out what she was going to do to Joel. And so, it's not like they're making this up out of thin air. Well, yeah, because like I knew um, before playing it that Joel was going to die and the golf club was going to be involved, and I knew very little about a character called Abby being something that is annoying everybody. Um, I still don't think knowing that or not knowing that wouldn't have made much of a difference after that scene happens. It's like, well, now I'm going to have real trouble liking you. That's, that's just essentially what, mm. what's happening there. Um, but people knowing it going in and disliking her from this scene, like, you know, the, her introduction, it, it, what is it, like 15 minutes from when she does the thing? So, I don't even think there's about that much of a difference. Um, they knew people weren't going to like her, that's why they had her play fetch with the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Needed to reel them back in. I'd love if it was true, if those dog sequences weren't in the game until playtesting. They were like, oh no, people don't like it. <laughs> Get the, get the puppy. The dogs didn't like her either. They just didn't want to get punted by her massive arms. We gotta get her to play with the doggos. When you consider what the game's narrative was desperately trying to do. But anyway, Joel was a shithead and a selfish character. And no, he was he wasn't. always going to meet a violent um, comeuppance. No, he wasn't. Not necessarily at all. I mean, that's. So, no. <laughs> you just made that shit up. <sighs> Wasn't the point of the first game is to make us to sympathize with Joel and his actions, even if what he did was monstrous? I would argue that uh, we, when we meet him, he's almost entirely pragmatic. Like, he won't even... his heart is sealed over in carbonite, nothing's happening there. He won't make decisions it's that It's as if won't... the first game is fake news. Yeah, no, well... No one remembers the first game. 
And this is the thing, even when you meet him in the first one, you have to respect the pragmatism, but at the same time, you're like, you're kind of a dick, though, because he's kind of just, he's cold with everybody. He's like, <clears throat> ooh, mm, yeah. And the same, and Ellie's the opposite. She's just like this bouncy fun and wants, wants to have good times happen and also get along with people. And so putting them together, you get this whole campaign of her chipping away at that heart until it opens right up and he starts deciding to do things based on looking after her instead, which is really endearing. It really works on an mm -hmm. audience. And then you have people like this going like, he did it because he's a selfish shithead, he deserved to die. You're like, oh. <laughs> where do, I don't know where this idea... Especially, you see it nowadays, because you, in order to prop up Abby, you have to make Joel as shitty as you can. I just, I don't know what this, like, the idea that he's like, have you seen a lot of people say that, um, you know, he, he's delivered so many uh, brutal murders to people and he lives in this horrible universe, you shouldn't have expected him to have anything but a brutal ending. It's like, whether or not his ending what? was no. brutal is, is, there's no, there's no book that says he has to die a brutal death. Yeah. He can. It yeah. really depends he, on what else he's he having. Die like a fucking Possible. retard. He could have had like a heart attack and fallen over. It was like, oh. Yeah, like, do you think that all people, even if, if, even if he was described as the way that Jim Sterling was describing him as, that doesn't mean that he necessarily was owed that. What, you think all bad people just never get away with it? It's called excitation transfer in media psychology that basically says that people get more aroused by media and, and part of the justice be served or seeing a character grow or, or anything that, that comes out of the things that we think are satisfying in media. So people like seeing someone who starts out as kind of a jerk become a better person. It increases their excitation, therefore they're positive. <laughs> oh, sorry. In, vain, in the same vein, though, when you introduce a character as completely a piece of shit like Abby, then people want to see that character be punished. And when they don't get any kind of recompense from their viewing or their playing of the game, then it leaves them with a bad taste in their mouth. It's, yeah, it's, people it's want justice. Type. And people will argue she did get, like, punishment. I'm just like, that was completely unrelated. Like, the she she just happened to walk into a bunch of crazy people who crucified her. Like, that's, that's got nothing to do with what she did to Joel. And, you know, Joel has to suffer vengeance for his choice to rescue a girl from being murdered against her will. Oh, of course, that would that would happen with definition, but it's it's just fascinating that uh, I don't think this was the narrative whatsoever. Like, Joel was a monster um, until no. people were like, hey, it was pretty fucked up what happened to Joel. It's like, why? He was a monster. It's like, whoa, no. Let's, Whoa! When did this happen? Let's let's talk <laughs> about it. Let's go over it. Let's, yeah. But but he's so sure of it. It's like all right. That he died horribly was a natural story beat. I pointed this out before. That anybody felt otherwise Wrong. is shocking to me. There's nothing about Joel that ain't loathsome. He <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's shocking. What? what an interesting. <laughs> wow! We've got to shit on Joel to make Abby even begin to approach areas of likable. Well, yeah, otherwise it doesn't fit in narrative, so... I, it comes from that era of video games, too, where there were so many characters that were this dad figure. I mean, Geralt also, The Witcher 3, came out, you know, around the same time as, as some of the earlier Last of Us games. People like the dad figure. People don't hate Joel. That is so off the mark. He's, um... Joel started the dad archetype thing being incredibly popular. Well, yeah, people... People say that like, God of War 4 came because of The Last of Us, that Logan came because of The Last of Us, like it was inspired in some way, shape, or form, you have to agree. And it's just like, I'm more than happy to, I just think that all those stories have their own uh, pros and cons as well, but... Yeah. Fucking hell, talking about Joel as a character is really interesting because it's hard to nail him down as a bad or a good. It's like, there's mm. so much about him that's um, hard to be definitive about. And the, one, the thing that always people always cite is that he would attack and steal from you know, different scavengers and, and survivors of the post-apocalypse. He admitted to doing that, so it's like, damn, so he would have... He's definitely got some uh, some dubious n nature in that heart of his, but, like, following him through the first game, you're hard-pressed to be able to find an event he does that isn't justifiable in some way, shape, or form. Jim yeah, is right. it's very I've fair to say that he changes ever. over time, and especially as we see him in The Last of Us 2, he seems to be a very well-adjusted person who tries to do right by the people he cares about, and yeah, I mean, how... he gets shat on for it all the time. That's great to see, but, uh... Thinking about it, how is it that you would call him loathsome with this shot, too? The entire museum section? Like, really? He's... he's a cute person in this whole thing. He puts a hat on a dinosaur. <laughs> 
He's, he gives- this is all for her. Like, fucking hell, Jim. I mean, the- yeah, the level of danger that he takes upon himself and her to go to the museum. <laughs> just- just so she can have some fun. Yeah, what a- what a horrible person. And this is the thing, you might be like, well, that doesn't make a person non-evil just for doing that thing. Like, he described him as everything about him is loathsome. <laughs> Holy everything shit. Everything about him is loathsome. Wanting to make Ellie happy, standing up for her, defending Saving himself, her life. defending her. <laughs> Putting himself at great risk to save her life. Yeah, what a loathsome piece of shit. Yeah, what a... What a dingleberry. Even his fatherly character growth is rooted, as the end of the original game demonstrates, in self-interest. But some... What do you mean by how that? How is that self-interest? Uh, that, how is that how can... part self-interest? The way that he... But, what, does... I've got to explain that one, because I don't get Yeah, it. I'm baffled. So, loving a person and not wanting them to die, and therefore doing things that prevent that event from happening, makes you selfish? We're expanding out the definition of selfish to... Oh, yeah. wow, he just, he just wants her... He just wants, It makes like... me feel good that she feels good, therefore, it's all selfish. It stops it, there, exactly. there's nothing else to discuss. Yeah, he gets out- well, he gets stuff out of it, because he gets her love, and that's- that's just selfish. <laughs> I was going to say, if, we're going, is selfish. if we're going that yeah. far, then yeah, there is no decision that isn't selfish well, at this yeah, point, then. That's Which I agree with, to a degree, but not yeah, in a bad way. It's that, the same as the fucking... That people hold. Yeah. Psychological egoism, that every decision people make is ultimately self-interested. But the problem with that, well, one of the problems is it kind of erases the use of the word selfish. Doesn't yeah. really mean anything anymore. You can't not do things without thinking about yourself in some way. So you're like, okay, <laughs> well, fuck it. I guess we're all what just it, horrible. What would just it even need to be selfless at that point? Is that weird obsolete? Also, uh, I don't what? recall Ellie <laughs> consented useless, in basically. being killed or having her brain extracted and then get killed. Did she ever actually say that she wants to have her brain extracted no, and get it, killed by the doctors? No. No. Is that the selfish thing Jim is referring to? That yes. Joel was selfish in that he didn't let a possible cure be found with well, the murdering. Of yeah, so yeah. in the very, very nuts and bolts, simplistic and contextless view, it was her or the world, and he chose her. Which, by the way, is a conversation on its own. But when you really dig deep into the everything that happens in The Last of Us 1, there wasn't a huge amount of choice to make. In fact, seems like there was an obvious one to go with, let's just say that. Well, I would say that the whole point of The Last of Us is that you start out with this this character that is disaffected and, and you know, a kind of a jerk, and then he comes to, to love somebody. So the whole point of the game is learning, both as the player and through Joel, that it's it's maybe not always about the greater good. It's about loving an individual person. It's about well, relearning humanity. Or as we like to call it, selfishness. humans back into, like, animals. <laughs> that's the, that's yeah. the game. The, the last of us referring to what is left of humanity and it's saving yeah. saving Ellie. She's like some of the best humanity has left. Because yeah. um, she saved Joel's humanity as well in that sense if we want to get very English literature about it. I'm glad that the world hasn't adopted the Jim Sterling position of the most <laughs> altruistic you could be is to not give a fuck about anybody. Well, well, it's also there's, there seems to be some deeper, like philosophical, almost political kind of things that are going on here because it seems like Jim um, values the uh, welfare of the group over the individual. Well, Where, it's in, a bit in contrast. To that, yeah, exactly. In contrast, the message of The Last of Us One almost seems to be the uh, that the value of the individual, especially if you are have, if you love them, is priceless. And yeah, and. And so right then you actually see two very opposed ideological positions, the sovereignty of the individual versus the collective value or collective um, uh, group mentality. So interesting. Have you seen the bike cuck meme? That's what I'm reminded of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, um, it's just fascinating to me because it's, uh, it's so cut and dry for the people who are defending this game. Like Joel was a monster. What he did was wrong. Abby, you don't understand it. <laughs> like, Pulling it okay. cut dry either way is to miss the point. But do you know what I mean though? Because like, we're yeah. on the team of Joel is complicated, if not pretty heroic uh, a lot of the times in the game, and very respectable. Abby though, she's kind of a monster and possibly a psychopath because she doesn't seem, she like switches it on and off. And then their take is, no, you don't understand Abby, also Joel is absolutely a disgusting monster. Like, huh. Way to miss the point of the game. Well, they would say that about us. Well, we all missed all the wrong. points. Everyone did. 
Well, I mean, like I would go back and, and look at even very basic media analysis, the, the Joseph Campbell's hero's journey. It, it is a journey. You're supposed to start out with a character that maybe is flawed and then comes around to, to being a better person. And that's the thing you get with Joel, but you don't get that with Abby. It's, it's well, the, the most truth. basic wants versus needs thing. Wait, are you, are you referring to, um, are you talking about Joseph Campbell's hero soup? What? Oh, I get it. Campbell yeah, is there we go. popular. Uh, super, super oh my god. Uh, right. Yo, yo, um, I found a review. Somebody somebody on the Discord sent a review from Jim Sterling talking about The Last of Us 1. And he said in the review that Jill is a likable character. Uh oh. Well, uh, let's get that on screen. That's Whoa. interesting. Have a look at this. Uh -oh, it's all in how likable the characters are. It's about how Joel is harsh and impatient, yet understandably so. It's about how Ellie annoys her companion in a way that entertains rather than irritates the audience. It's about how themes of compassion, tolerance, determination, and common selfishness are woven expertly into the familiar narrative structure. You've seen most of the elements of this story many, many times. You've not seen them all threaded so well together. It is an overwhelming quality that Naughty Dog triumphs against the risk of genre fatigue. Hey, this isn't this isn't a quote I, I wanted. Oh, I guess he says the likable characters are, then says Joel. True. So, yeah, but this was written in a time before we had to defend Abby. <laughs> against all logical reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to take that into account. Poor Peepo, look at him, he's so scared of that. Peepo. <laughs> Some people treat him as if he was one of the all-time lovable protagonists. Even if you disagree with my read on the character, he wasn't fucking that. Some even talk about him like they're mourning a loved one, like he was their own father figure and darling, let me tell yeah, you. you. Um, <laughs> yeah, he literally, first off, he was to Ellie, so he was already, he already got that. Dude, this is super fucking awkward, because there was that streamer who like lost his shit from the opening because he said that it wasn't wasn't it something like uh he saw a lot his of his dad, dad had died and... recently and joel was like really reminded him of you yeah know, it was just like, like jim avoid this that. area of discussion please like talking about what, what how it's wrong to see stuff in f fiction or write it's like, dude back away back away <laughs> <laughs> tyranny is great i love it Oh, it's just like, why, why are we the ones doing this? Why are we the ones saying, hey, let people have feelings, please? <laughs> it's, it's fucked up that you're stopping them. Not very difficult. If you look up to Joel from The Last of Us, well, yeah, well, you're probably exactly the kind of person who thinks it's okay to harass and... Why the... What? Oh, oh, my God. It totally God. has nothing to do with anything. We all get distance and gone someplace far, far away. <laughs> he just what? jumped over a chasm. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Logically, wow. those two things do not follow at all. There's... I, I'm speechless, actually. <laughs> Holy shit. We constantly cover these crazy lefties who do all of the terrible things that we get accused of and for being horrible things to do. It is fascinating. Bad, bad, right. is bad. It's like, okay, he first takes the hot take of like, nobody likes him. Then he says, you shouldn't like him because he's a horrible person. And you know what? At the end of all this, if you do, you're probably the kind of person who abuses people in real life. <laughs> like, wait, what? I'm just like, man, wow. Given such like, psychological manipulation, right? So that if you disagree with Jim, you're a bad person. That's absolutely why he did that. Jeez. Uh, oh, 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 like, never what, never uh, fails to well, bet me when someone says something like this. It, it's like, you're being wow. generous to that. Yeah. <laughs> it's more raised. like argue, it's claimimentation. We were just asserting yeah. something. If this is the case. Why? Mm, uh, you know. Shut up, abuser. I don't talk to people who abuse people because you like Joel, the video <laughs> game character. Did you really have to go this hard to well, convince in fairness, me that maybe it only Joel makes did sense. bad things? Joel has hurt people in the video game, thus you would hurt people in real life if you like him. Ah, uh, yes, the, the yeah. entire dude, uh, absolutely, completely not debunked theory that video games have any effect on the real world or anything.
I don't know about you. I just I feel like it's an anti argument, and if you disagree, you probably abuse people. <laughs> you're probably you're I probably a child the molester. Day, and I tried to air combo someone in real life, so you're wrong. Stalk and attack a voice actor for something her character did. Yep, I think that's stupid. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, some crazy people out there. Focus on them, please. There's so many stupid people in the world. I hate like, actress for playing characters. Like, okay, yeah. You can't get uh, through all of them for any given stupid thing to say. There's someone saying it. It's another very basic uh, media psychology uh, effect. It's deindividuation and toxic disinhibition. So it's just because people type. are anonymous. Yeah, because people are anonymous, right? They feel uh, emboldened to do crappy stuff, but that has nothing to do with anything other than media effects. That happens to everyone on the internet every single day. And 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 any group of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, there's going to be some shitheads. Yeah, it's just a statistical. Well, I like it's it when inevitability. The, you get those videos that say the same people who abused Kelly Marie Tran abused Ahmed Best back when the prequels came out. It's like, I doubt it's the same people. That <laughs> was 20 years ago. <laughs> they're still at it. <laughs> their internet connection's just faster now, but they're still the same. Still waging their war. Still waiting. Right. It's I can't always... wait for the next minority in a Star Wars movie. I can't It's harass. always the actors, okay? It's never anything else. Th those are those kinds of people. They just can't handle it. The actors. Also, I'd like to mention one point that, again, the EFAB Discord bring up is the fact that the people who brought up the death threats to the voice actor are the fan. I even got one screenshot of it. Oh, oh yeah. You cut it um, so what he's talking about is that one of the people who abused the, the, the actress uh, was a fan of the game. Are you saying it's a what? false flag that really gets my noggin jog? And how well, could that possibly be the case? I'm more than happy to agree at the idea that whether or not people like people liking and disliking it both uh, added to the fire. Uh, but it's just it's just funny how it's always used this way. It's like if you disliked it, stop sending mean things to the actors. Like no, it doesn't matter I can't if you stop disliked doing it or something not. Something I never started. I'm well, this is the thing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you liked it or not. Don't do this to people. It's just mean. It's cruel. Yeah. It's rude. It's, there's no. It's there's nothing it is, to it. It is an unfortunate reality of mediated society, such as it is, is that because it's de individuated, because we don't see the person as a person through a screen, we just see a facsimile of them, that it, it dehumanizes them and de individuates mm -hmm. them. So it's always going to happen. It's unfortunate. It sucks. It feels terrible. But this happens, again, to everybody every day online, and there, I don't see any way it's going to stop. So, yes, it sucks, it's terrible, but it's a reality of being on the internet. What is this picture? Let's see. Um... I think this was the... Um, the oh, person... it's the person apologizing. Well, yeah, the person who said, fuck you, you should die, and then they go on to say that... Uh... Like, they like the game. <laughs> this is like, oh, okay. It's, um, it's a weird world we live in. Also, mm. is, that, saying... is, is that what they were saying was the death threat? Because I don't mean to be a jerk, but it's not technically a death threat. Oh, well, yeah, saying hoping someone die? dies isn't a death threat. Well, yeah, that is yeah, like just being an asshole. That's all. And, and mm -hmm. this is the thing. I feel like more um, people who get into social media need to be made aware of this because apparently they they're completely blown away by it whenever it happens. But um, mm. yeah, people online they can say whatever they want because they can make like you know false accounts or burner accounts and just say horrible things just because mm -hmm. they want to see what happens when they say horrible things. It's like, look out, and then Jim Sterling will be like, these are the people who think her muscles are silly. And it's like, oh, okay. Man, they're pretty silly, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Character. I don't give a single care about her. I just want my Joel to not be ghost to do death. He has a reasonable yes. thing to... Yeah, that yeah. seems like a good yes. thing. Yes, yeah. unironically, yes. Okay. <laughs> if the, yeah, what's, listen, what's if the game about that? if the game was perfect, like writing wise, and it still had him getting golfed to death, as as it put, and I had a friend who was like, "Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't really have a criticism like functionally or structurally, but I did not like watching him getting beaten to death with a golf club." I'd be like, "Yeah, I think that makes sense." It harmed my investment. I, I, I don't. Well, like... exactly. <laughs> Parks 
investment's a very big thing. People get emotionally invested in characters. And then when you kill them off in a disrespectful manner, it it hurts people's parasocial relationship with that character, their psychological bond with that character. So yeah, it doesn't ha even matter what happened with Abby. The fact that they killed Joel so unceremoniously, it hurts people. I mean, oh, whenever they oh, flash to how... But guys, guys, he said it in a funny voice, so it must be dumb. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, again, he shows a, a comment that's specifically about the person's feelings. I want, like, I just want. It's like, so it's clearly them. Like, there you go. Oh. Hmm. Why highlight this comment? There are so many worse ones you could do. And I was just going to say, um, whenever they flashed to Joel's bloated and beaten corpse, I was always like, hmm, that's fun. Mm. Thanks for that. <laughs> hmm, lovely. And, we, uh, they show they 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 went out of their way to really show a, a dead, bloody, beaten up Joel, but not not. You know what? I was gonna say something about the lesbian sex scene, but <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Fine. <laughs> oh yeah, Bell, what were you gonna say? Uh oh yeah, it's it's not only that he got gold to death, just a whole thing where how it leads up to it. It's like he just. Tells him their names, like, hi, here's my ID <laughs> number and everything. Like, you can shoot me oh, now, dude. pretty much. It's like, it's like so stupid. Because There's like 15 of those like this... types of issues. That's the thing. A lot of people yeah. like to pretend that all of that is no one actually cares about that. You'd be surprised when you have everything lead up in a sensical way to a character's death. It's strict tragedy. You're just like, no. Yeah. Well, with that, yeah. you're like, I don't, this shouldn't be, this shouldn't be happening. None of this should be happening. This is wrong. Boo. I don't like it. And then you have Ellie just waltzing in there's like, no, and gets to speed up as well. Like I, said, it's like, man, oh, I wanted wow. to so throw... you both failed horribly at scenarios you normally excel at. It's like, good job. I wanted to throw Molotov. The game didn't let me. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're then abusively disconnected from reality... Abusively disconnected from reality. <laughs> it's just, man, every, every sentence is a hit. Every hit's a smash. No, you... No, like, you... I mean, that's so <laughs> insulting to the audience. Abusive. That's mm. a strong word. It's, it's not just this disconnected from reality. Abu that, that puts so much onus on the person that you are abusive if you don't like it. Jeez, like, sorry. <laughs> like, well, I'm not even sure what he means. What does it mean to be abusively be disconnected? Spouse, like, the disconnection you suffer is almost abusive to those around you? Is that what he's saying? I guess. I, I I I have actually no freaking clue what it means, but the implication is that you're a bad person if you don't like it. Yeah, because to clarify, he said if you didn't, because if you go from the comment he just said, if you didn't want Joel to be beaten to death at the golf club, you are abusively disconnected from reality. Yeah, don't you know that the moral thing to do is to want to see Joel get beaten to death? I don't, you know what I mean? Like, you look at that statement and you're like, is this a joke? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to. I... Well, he he might contextualize it in his following sentence. Right. So, hey, hey, All right. Ubisoft's hiring. We already discussed. Oh, okay. No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh. oh, was that all in service of a there you go. not he's good already, joke? He's already got a video talking about how it's bad when you abuse people online for their fictional characters. It's like it doesn't surprise me. It's like has he talked about anything in terms of the actual issues with the game, or has he only talked about the not mean yet. things it's people have said? We're terrible people. Hmm. Like, J Jim, seems like you should take some issue with the false advertising. Seems like you should take some issue Surely. with... Surely. You of all people, you'd think. Mm. Uh... Wait, wait. Is, 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 this, is this his account? It, it, um... it, did he like his own videos? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I remember when I did that, like, the when I was very... When I was starting out on YouTube... Oh, he and every like was precious. Video. I would do it, but then I was he like, he searched you know himself and he liked his own videos, it, it, hey, assuming that this is his account. This could be his yeah. editor's account. Every like counts, I suppose. <laughs> why would why would anyone like this? I video? mean, either way, that's that's kind of sad. Even if it's if it's his editor's or his, I've never liked one of my own videos. What the heck? <laughs> in in three years of doing this, <laughs> that's your problem. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I like Joel and I'm a hateful person doesn't like my own Abusive! Videos. 
discussed in a previous video how Abby's performer Laura Bailey has been attacked online by weird and fucked up Last of Us fans who have maybe spent too much of their squalid rotten lives playing violent wow. video games and can no longer decide. Playing violent that. video Whoa. games. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Tell the difference between reality and weird. Whoa. The new age uh, Jack Thompson. Thirty years. We did it. Video games. Oh, thirty boy. years of research. Thirty oh. years of research. I'm so mad. This one. This gets me so irate because thirty years of research. 20 meta-analyses or thereabouts, not a single shred of anything beyond basic correlational level data that supports the idea that games cause violence. I am so sick. That is literally Jack Thompson tear crap. Just read any research on this. There was a meta-analysis published this year and last year that consistently found nothing beyond correlational, no causal level data. Just, ugh. Uh. Jim Sterling of all people saying that. I was gonna say, I feel yeah, like right? I feel like he's one of the people who would have said not five I, years ago that that's bullshit. Yeah, this is. I, I I don't have anything concrete on this, but I can swear I've heard him like joke about that idea before. Well, that's the thing when the when he <laughs> needs to say it for his current argument in the current video, then fine. But what a, there there's no consistency with any position. There's no principled position here. Because you yeah, can't even. Yeah, you're 100 right. That's it wouldn't it. even like he's if he said like, oh no, I'm just saying like a possible reason for why they might be crazy people. I'll just be like, but it doesn't even make sense. Like you, you know that that doesn't do that. So, mm. I, the idea that violent video games make people violent. So, can you imagine the world? What it would be like if that were true? No. What what games do is they cause increased arousal, which can be related to increased. Not from arousal. Abby. No. <laughs> <laughs> Psychological arousal, not physiological arousal. I've never felt my penis invert. Ooh, that's, well, a, and... that's, a, that's a good trick. You're just sexist rags, how dare you. Oh, Jim from reality. And while some of those still negatively obsessed with Abby will tell you their hate is rooted wholly in the character's actions within The Last of Us yep. Part. Mine is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, I, feel, you... I feel like we have a lot of act. <laughs> Abby was like, oh, she's pregnant? Good. So that when I murder her, it'll be a fucking two for one. Like I'm the fucking <laughs> villain from Quest for Camelot. And yeah, everyone's like, like, oh, well, oh. I, guess I, I guess it's all just because she's got big arms. It's like, oh. Give him, give, him a, to die on. give him a tourniquet because we don't want him to die too fast. I need to make him suffer. It's like, oh, you're a mm. great person. Holy shit. You're, you're pleasant. I hope nothing bad happens to and you. And then Why we flash over to her being like, aw, I'm really happy with all my friends. Aw, cute doggo. Aw, we gotta fight to save mm. our faction. Aw, my friend I'm gonna cheat with. Oh wait, that's not a good thing, damn. <laughs> well, it's so fundamentally not how media psychology works, right? Like, people are, for all of our advancedness, we're pretty simple when it comes to how we perceive media. So once you've set up a character as being fundamentally hateable, you're not going to change the audience no matter. You could then show that character being literally Mother Teresa, and it doesn't matter. It's so hard to, it's called the primacy effect. It is so hard to replace first opinions. It's nearly impossible. Yeah, so whenever mm. we talk about The Last of Us 2 over and over, I wonder why did they make it so difficult for themselves? Because <laughs> they're trying to prove a point about how <laughs> we 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 are too biased in favor of one direction. We need to realize that people are. It's just like no 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 no. I just <laughs> you guys just really made it well, so nice. hard on By yourself. By the way, I like the idea. If like, they had reversed the game, oh, sorry, if they had reversed the game order where you get all that stuff with Abby first, it might have worked. Oh, but yeah, like, I think that would have been way smarter. Yeah. I, but wasn't I, that I still really out of easier. character for it? Yeah, so this is the thing. Even if you do that, we still have to alter the scene with Joel. I think it would have been way better with Joel for her to execute him, like, just almost cleanly. And then mm -hmm. for her to, like, struggle and shake after doing it and be like, oh, my God, I've done it. That's it. I've done it. And he just falls to the ground. Instead of beating him over and over, and, and you're just like, what are you, okay, this is, hmm. And then you're like, oh, you're but she's such, a, she's such a golden person, though. You're like, no, no, no. It's um, it's like that girl, I forget her name, but she accidentally released that video on YouTube where she sp spat on a dog after throwing oh, her around yeah. and stuff. It's like, there's nothing you can do at that point. <laughs> 
Like, you, you, everyone's gonna be like, yeah, we've seen you when you think the camera's off, so... You're the dog spitter! Like, yeah, this, even if... <laughs> I think I said this to Free before, I was like, even if the dog was, like, eating my, my face off, and I, like, kicked it off, or shot it off, killed it, it's on the floor, I still wouldn't spit on it? Be like... You fucking yeah. tried to kill me. I killed you. But the the spitting is like, ooh, all right. It's 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 very um. It just makes you it makes your brain start racing about the kind of character they are. Spit on you and give you AIDS. Yeah, I find that there are certainly things that are irredeemable. That it, like it's too far, and then the ca then that character, even sometimes people know they're a scumbag. No. I'm not sure I could ever no. get it. No. <laughs> ever get over that but there are interesting cases where narratively you can push it to a certain level and still bring them back and you kind of see that with yeah, redemption yeah definitely. arcs and other things like that but if if you go too far and killing joel definitely seems to be one of those things as nah that's that beyond the pale well yeah we no were way you come back from that we're like one tier away from having her cackling while she pulls off his fingernails and we're like um this is gonna. You're gonna tell me I'm gonna like her by the end of this? Like, hmm. <laughs> I don't the know. entire ambition seems really misguided to me because why are you going? With that being the case, why are you going for making her sympathetic? Like, I don't think you need to like make your audience. I don't think you need to make them see her side in as much as they support her. I think all you really need to do in that regard is get them to the point where they are like able to see or understand her perspective. Right, which would have been aided by having all of her backstory told mm. first. And then we would maybe have some clue as to why Abby has done this. But because mm. of the order of the game, it is contemptible. I, I, guess I still, that's I still think like, the execution needs to be changed as well. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Like, I think uh, I want to see this like done correctly. I like the idea of having a character do something so incredibly mm -hmm. reprehensible, then trying to not redeem them, specifically not redeem them, uh, but show us more about that person to the point where maybe we may can be invested in them as well. May I direct you to the Star Wars prequels? Ugh. Go <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah. Theo, yeah, it's okay. Ugh, no. It's not okay. <laughs> no, I, I meant it's okay that you feel that way. It's okay. Yeah, of course it's okay. I'm right. Wow. Press F for Metal for being disconnected. Oh yeah, yeah. Mel wasn't booted, guys. He got. He, remember how he said his internet was fixed? That was a lie. Too. Even yeah. a cursory glance at the discourse will reveal that's all complete and total bollocks for most of them. Oh, there he covered his ass. Wow. Finally, finally covered his wow. ass for most of them. Hmm. But this okay. means but even, if you bring up even most of them, that's well, no, no, no. Massive. It means if if you bring him up a thousand examples of it, not he'd be like, yeah, but there's a million of it actually, and you're like, oh, okay. Oh. Then you bring up a million, he's like, yeah, but there's ten trillion of the bad ones. So Abby is not a traditionally conventionally attractive video game character, and they Ugly. despise her for it. No. He really no. thinks people hate it again. him. People, people, he really thinks that people hate Abby because she's not attractive. Just because of that. that That's it. There could be no other reason. This game presents us with no other reason why people might not like her. All of the stuff about her appearance is nine times out of ten, I want to say, completely subordinate to a previously engendered dislike of her because they think she's a horrible person rather justifiably. Well, and, yeah, when, exactly. and when you feel that way about something in media or someone in media, you start looking for everything possible to pick it apart. If if she was conventionally a like hot as everyone would still hate her for what she did to John. Exactly. Like, exactly, it doesn't matter how as fucking attractive you, know... you are when you do what she did in the game. <laughs> and they'd be throwing similar insults, appearance based, in like not in the sense of what they're calling her now, but they'd still be probably throwing insults based on her appearance that way. Maybe. It depends on how hot she is, I guess, but the, though people They're, can find anything. They would try and find anything. <laughs> Rem remember how there was a... Uh, this is going to take it way back, and I hope I remember it. Y'all remember Jimmy Neutron? Um, yes. <laughs> there, was a, there was a character in Jimmy Neutron <laughs> named Beautiful Gorgeous, and she was a... Um, she was like a, a, a spoof of the evil super hot spy... To the point where her name was Beautiful Gorgeous. Let me let me make sure I'm I'm trying to. Think. 
Jimmy Neutra. Oh, it auto feels good. Um, beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah. Um, extremely attractive. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. I just, you could be totally villainous and super hot, and everyone's like, yeah, that's a bad person. Well, villainous. okay. So there's there's a, a bipolar effect in psychology. It's the halo effect and the horn effect, right? Which is that yeah. when someone is bad, we associate. So this is the horn effect. They associate all kind of bad things with them. They're ugly. They're, you know, nasty in every kind of way. And then the halo effect is that because someone is good in one way, then they must be good in, in all ways. And Abby just is has the horn effect. She, you, she's introduced pretty much by killing the beloved main character. So then everything else about her is going to get that horn effect. It's going to be lumped in as a negative quality. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <sighs> I, I, there's, there's barely anything else to it. This is the funny thing. You'd be like, ah, oh, but you're missing out the part where she's ugly. You'd be like, I, well, that. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> no, the umpteenth time, I don't care. I just, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's what I, she's I do done. think her. Yeah, I do think her looks can be an issue, uh, and a, honestly, a fair issue for players. But I think it's a separate issue to her dislikability as a character, uh, and. When, uh, you know, you hate her so much for what she's done, everything then will compound like what Aiden was saying. And then, you know, when you are wanting to disparage her, the looks can come to the forefront like, of the thing. Cause we have examples of saying? conventionally unattractive and yet beloved characters beloved for characters. women. Absolutely. Um, Brienne of Tarth, her whole, like, thing in Game of Thrones is yeah. supposed to be that. Like, all the, the world refers to her as, like, you're a guy. That's actually a great example because here you have a very unconventionally you know appearing woman who honestly looks very manly she's tall broad shouldered and things and people love her character everyone it's a really Brienne. good comparison yeah it is everyone loves Brienne Brienne's I awesome proud of her <laughs> Captain Phasma less so <laughs> she, yeah not so much yes Captain Phasma <laughs> she is unconventionally attractive Captain Phasma so huh. she, she's unconventionally characterized being that there isn't really any unconventionally perfect. That is quite unconventional. Yeah, it's a bold, but they <laughs> tried it. You don't even have to look very hard to see their real problem with her. It all comes down to the muscles. At first, do they try to argue Abby? No. No, she, the no. muscles. <laughs> Why would you argue She looked manly. She looked so manly there. Like, it's like but she's that's got not, It's not why people think hate her as a character. Oh, God. Who's, I know. Who's I know, but it's... Up? Like, seriously, it is like a slap in the face, though, when you see, like, a shot that we just saw. Oh, well, this is the it's thing. When you're watching this, you, you do sort of, like, you know, a lot of people might just go, like, wow, those arms, though. Fucking hell. <laughs> Very hard to see their So, wait, real... what is this? Some people who defend an unrealistic body proportion in the game for you suddenly grow, and then they got them. No, you can't, like, big titty anime women. It's unrealistic. Sexy women in games are problematic. You're a pervert if you like cute girls. Also them. When someone says Abby from The Lost of Us 2 is ugly. Well, isn't that a fair thing to bring up? Like, um... Yeah. Because yes. I didn't read this at first because I thought it was just going to be a, uh, what's it called? Nut, nut picking? That's, that's what, um... That's what Jay has wanted me to start saying more. Nut picking that's is when you... That's a pretty you, good you, name for you, it. Yeah. You pick the crazy one out and then you go, haha, this is the... Yeah, it's, it's called the nut picker's fallacy. And so, uh, but the this is this is this is a fair, I would say, counter. So if you're gonna be like, no more giant titty ladies, because that doesn't happen in real life, and it's like, oh wow, okay. Except and then, it does. And then they're and like, wait, you're a, stop complaining about giant muscle ladies. That's totally a thing that it's like, fucking hell. All right, it's hard to keep track now. It's so funny. The whole Uzaki Chan controversy, if you followed that at all, is so indicative. No, of this. I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's part of the animu. It's part one of the my Japanese animes, but it, it's so indicative. It's like all these women online getting so angry that this anime character is petite and has big boobs, and so all these women are posting videos of themselves and they're petite. Oh, and have I big know what you're talking about. Oh, you said petite with big boobs, and now I know mm. what you're talking about. See, um, gotta gotta proc that part of the memory. That's the um yeah. The, the I, I remember her organs she's memes a very as well, silly right? looking character. Yeah, the gray-haired, blue-eyed, big-titty anime girl. Which is just wonderful because it, it, it is so funny and there's so many memes that have con uh, absolutely contrasted the reaction to Abby to the reaction to Uzaki-chan, which is, have been the 
to, to quote Jim Sterling, the same people, or so it seems at least, <laughs> to who are furious about The Last of Us not being the most, uh, to not being the most beloved game of all time, but also hate this big titty anime girl. <laughs> Interesting. And yeah, I, I think he should have picked someone way stupider or crazier for this shot, but uh, he didn't. Like, Alright. Seems like he's been... Because, I, like I said, I believe there are crazier people in this. So I don't know what... what he's, he's His nut-picking game is off. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. And this problem was based on the idea of if... Are we... what Who who are we allowed to find attractive? Which, yeah. I guess with these people. Um, well, Jim's the arbiter we, of that. Yeah, well, that's what this video's been. <laughs> We Abby, can't find you must Abby find ugly. Abby attractive. You know, you're yeah, allowed to we, find her unattractive. Yeah, we can't find Abby ugly, and when we see women that are more conventionally attractive, and a really good posture and shape, and, you know, the tits and the arms and the legs and the whole nine yards, is like, well, now we're objectifying women by finding them attractive, but if we don't objectify the ugly ones, they feel bad, because secretly <laughs> they do want to be objectified. So now we're at a little bit of a catch-22, or well, it, now, it's but it's like, even worse because it's like, uh, we go from that in this video to admit it. The only reason you don't like her is because of it muscles. It's like what? Where? Where have you been? <laughs> like there's been so uh... with her. It all comes down to the muscles. At first, they tried to argue Abby wasn't a realistic portrayal of a woman simply because she was well-built and rather than acknowledge the existence of people outside of their tiny idea of what- I would just, no, quali no. I would just qualify yeah, it did. with post-apocalypse and that degree. Yeah. Just just make sure it's qualified. No. Yeah, we already Our problem is that we didn't acknowledge her existence. What? What? Well, that's what he said. But- She's not that's real. Why, that's why everyone hates her, because we don't acknowledge her existence. So she's uh, in the game. It's no, we, getting... don't, we don't acknowledge her existence. Uh, Wasn't he saying it... uh, acknowledging her, the existence of people like her in the real world? Oh, because... Well, it's like what they do uh, about how you, you're, you're denying the existence of... What, what do they say? Well, they they say back. that weird thing um, about, like, trans people and gay people and all that, where we're... Like, where we're... We're denying... experience, yeah. It's, it's, it's something about how we're, I don't know, maybe it'll come back to me, but they say this weird thing that's something along the lines of we deny yeah, their existence, their or we're, oh, we're invalidating their existence, or something like that. All right. Yeah. Let me just, I'm going to run back to anyway. Abby wasn't a realistic portrayal of a woman simply because she was well built and rather than acknowledge the existence of people outside of their tiny idea of what people can be, they- Yeah, again, this is- oh my god, that arm. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that is insane. And this is the, like the first you see of her after the, you know, the, the golfing. It reminds me of like, you know, like a column of kebab meat? That spins. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just, just a leg off of some yeah, beast, some animal. Just leg. like I expect to see a bone sticking out of it. Like, um, like this is a food pickup from Power Pete. No one's gonna get that reference. Someone in the chat will remember. Is it Power like Popeye Pete. with a spinach? Or Thank what? you so much. I, whoever you are in the chat, I don't know who you are yet. You'll remember Power Pete. And thank you so much for validating my existence by remembering <laughs> Power Pete. Oh. Your brother's like kebab wheel shaved me off a slice of that juicy <laughs> Abby meat. This is really that shot compared to other ones. It's like, whoa. Uh, yeah, anyway. He decided it wasn't <laughs> realistic that a woman could be so stacked when it it's was pointed out that. But. but <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's All right, the... so you got two That's ugly chicks, a... and they're both really ripped. All right, but but uh, no, that arm isn't as thick as what we but... see how thick Abby's are in certain shots. This is what I mean. <laughs> like we have to be specific about what parts we're comparing. If you just take like because several sections of Abby's campaign are where she hasn't built up muscle yet. You got to be careful. Like the one That's that they got where... here, I'm pretty sure is from when she's built it up. But again, like look at the shot though. It's it's like eh, she's. I would describe her as fit like, rather than super muscular at this point. It would Who's like still? take time and effort to make a different model. <laughs> I just I'm... also post apocalypse. That yes, women can get that swole and more besides. When it was pointed out that yes, the very woman Abby's design was based on was fucking hell. <laughs> was on the left though. Okay. <laughs> I've for a second there, I thought that the you know, to the left of her arm, like, the, her actual torso was a part of the arm for a second there, and I was just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs>
was equally, if not more muscular, the outraged gamers changed their tune. Now, no, the popular didn't. argument yeah. persists. Oh, it's God. not that she because can't the person be in real life lives in a real modern world with access oh, to basically unlimited calories and lounge time in order to build one's body and, up to that point. Yeah, there's there's loads of options in real life with plentiful I, resources to be able to do stuff with your body, but like in post-apocalypse. I mean, can we, we be real and honest here, too? I, I And this is not meant to disparage the, the female bodybuilders who do put a lot of work and effort into this stuff. A lot of those people that you see, and I don't know about any of the pictures that Jim posted, but a lot of that might be from steroid use. Um, it, it is not necessarily natural for women to have that kind. Women don't gain muscle as easily as yes. men. That is a biological truth. All right, counterpoint. Yeah. Counterpoint, there's no anti-doping laws in the post-apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, even skill. though there are women who can get that, you know, tanked, basically, it's very exceptional and out of the ordinary Did you say tanked? The average. Yeah, you tanked. Say tanked. All right. <laughs> is that an Australian term? No. To be tanked as in to be muscular? More. Oh, no, no, no. I, I <laughs> Carry on. It's all good. No worries. What are you about? Most people say tanky, Shad. They say tanky. Fine. There's, it's a, there's no reason for anything. <laughs> tanky. Tanky. My apologies. God, get it right. It's supposed <laughs> to be a game. It's almost like you're not abusive. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Wait, did you, was this something else? Or... <laughs> what? I had already said what I needed to say. Oh, okay, go, go, okay. Ah, uh, it's that she can't be muscular in The Last of Us Part 2! Post-apocalypse, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. You see, the same group okay. of status quo warriors yeah. who have spent years say. in this status so-called culture warriors. war Ha-ha. defending unrealistic body types is Some suddenly things are an good arbiter to be status quo. I hate it. They say, oh, status quo, like it has a negative connotation. I'm like, eh, some things are pretty well, good to have to be status quo. Well, he's, he's yeah. suggesting that they've been the status quo warriors for a long time, meaning there's reason for her to be muscular. See, I think yes. they could but, justify it in a post-apocalyptic world, but they'll need to justify it. They'll well, need they need to don't. show it this... downing food and well, working out. Yeah, this is what I mean. They they can, they don't. You're just going to have to work your ass off in order to do it. So he, his it first is... piece of evidence is it's a world where she's a warrior, and it's like, okay, that's not enough. Keep going. Yes, agreed. It's not enough. Of what is it, and it isn't is... believe. Sorry, okay. it, is, it is just physiologically easier for men to gain muscle than women. That is a basic biological fact. The amount of work and effort and training that Abby would have to put in in order to become as jacked as a dude is multiple times. I mean, why much. do they even and, call and it not, that word? Know, jacked? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Like, it, it's, that's just a physiological reality. And that's why it, it, people are, are suspect of it. I mean, we can all envision the world where... <laughs> You have all maybe it's a shame that human beings are sexually dimorphic. Is like if only we were all just thing. Oh stuff. Oh reasons things. Oh, but that ain't the world that we're in. And I they say it like we're blaming women, well, like it's their fault and they have to be punished for it. And besides, know? like the, the conversation, I feel like is over. But he's still going. It's like okay then. Let's see what else you got. What other arguments do you want to bring up? Believable oh. character design. Maybe After all the defenses of chainmail bikinis and everything Rob Liefeld did. Okay, this is. Oh, oh god. <laughs> so, Jim, oh my god. god. Jim, yes. Jim. Is Jim. Really right. if, if this oh my. was That's in The snake. Last of Us 2, you can bet that people would be pointing it out. Yeah. <laughs> the first can person who would point that out would be Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I actually Jim have a whole. Definitely point that Dude, out. Dude, what a comparison, though. Like, hey, you don't complain about this. <laughs> <laughs> the record, everyone complains about Rob Life. Yeah, as a comic book nerd, literally everyone co makes fun of Rob Lifefield. He is the joke of the comic book industry. <laughs> yeah, no one does that. Captain That's America why this he drew is a big meme. Oh, the Captain yeah. America one's funny, yeah, I don't America know. America has gigantic tits uh, and yeah. yeah. Is he's he, I mean, he's even worse than the person who drew Gotham High. Oof, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Oof. like, we were saying this near the beginning, but like, the, the, we're not playing, what, what did I call it? Explosion Bros? Like, that's the, this the thing. <laughs> Last of Us, very <laughs> grounded. <laughs> ...to artistic concepts of human proportion, suddenly the question of Abby's large arms in a 
So just while we're on the subject as well about the whole chainmail bikini things, I actually have a whole video that's a defense of the chainmail or barbarian oh. bikini based on <laughs> historical yeah. based on yeah. historical precedent. Historical okay. precedent, everyone. So, okay. okay. so if anyone okay. wants to know the historical justification of how you could work it into one, there's a video on my channel going into the detail. I will so, 100% uh, check it out, man. Shed. <laughs> you know, um, Abraham shed. Lincoln was a historical president. He was. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um. So yeah, he's, he's. I like the whole. We're suddenly complaining. He's like, wait, what? What? Do you, what? No. I feel like this is this conversation's happened many times over. But all right. Uh, suddenly complaining. Everything Rob Liefeld did to artistic concepts of human proportion. Suddenly, the question of Abby's large arms in a mushroom zombie video game have turned every. There it is. Other than zombie stuff, Last of Us uh, is built on being more realistic and grounded than other video games like Uncharted, you pawns. I would say Uncharted is relatively, like, it, it guns for recreating uh, a realistic look as well, but I'd still agree with this point. Of course even, The Last of Us is realistic and grounded. Even the zombie yeah. stuff is drawing on something real, Cordyceps fungus. I, I, but... I guess my question is, is that why is it always the critique of, of games like this is to... Um, boil them down to their most basic elements in order to delegitimize them. A zom zombie mushroom game. Really? Okay. But the the reason why they went with that was to try and do a realistic take on zombies, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. Cordyceps fungus. So when people are like, lol, zombie fungus, stupid, like, wait, no, though, hang on. It, they, they think that's stupider than your standard zombies, which are far harder to believe because it's just disease that makes you go nuts and die and also eat people's flesh and walk around. It's like, okay, that, that seems very specific. <sighs> Two bit gamer with a Twitter handle into an expert nutritionist who can scientifically argue that no women could get so hard in a post apocalypse. So if you're gonna- no! I love, love how the nuts that you pick are the responses from him. <laughs> if you're gonna do this, right? The conversation starts out with, why don't you like the game? And someone brings up, among other points, the arms. And then he's like, you do get that women can get that big, right? And then the response is, yeah, maybe, but not in this fucking uh, environment. Yeah. And then his yeah. response is, yeah, well, where were you complaining about this before? It's like, okay, so you moved the goalpost, but I'll allow it. Uh, I've complained about this <laughs> in other things, too. I'm just saying it, it doesn't change the fact that this is a problem, too. And then he goes, okay, well... It is possible if you consider that she's a war, blah, 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 and then they go, actually, no, and then they counter with their experience or understanding of protein diets, workouts, and stuff, and then he's like, wow, you big nerd. What are you doing? <laughs> I, mean, I really think it's really bizarre for Jim Sterling, of all people, and again, no bully, but Jim Sterling, of all people, to talk about diet and health. I'm, okay. <laughs> hey, he might know about it. You go there. Yeah, he's heard about diets before. Yeah, he's heard about it. I don't know. No bully. I mean, look, I mean you bully. saw him no <laughs> in that outfit. I mean, look at his hair. He knows how to diet. <laughs> so. No bully persists the bully. Love it. Yeah, all right. Let's see how he counters this one. Apocalypse. You see, there's no food in a zombie apocalypse, so nobody can get the... No, no it's not that there's no food. It's the, the it's food required food. to maintain this is an impossibility. Yeah, being pushed well, into one person at the expense of other people. Yeah, like I said, even if the stadium they live at has enough food, it would still be something they'd be like, no, Abby, Abby, stop, stop. You Abby, can't. Well, it is a Quit. stadium. They definitely have the steroids. And she's just shoving the fucking burritos down, like, Abby, no! And they're pulling her arms away, and then she bats them off. <laughs> Ease. You're the starving child in the corner. Every day. Abby, I stop! I want a burrito! Abby, look at that starving child! She's like, I don't care. I'm gonna eat it. Starving <laughs> <laughs> child. Sure. I'll child. eat the steel. <laughs> Abby, stop, oh, it's dude. my horse. I don't care, I need my protein. Oh no, you've triggered a memory. I was I was on my phone last night, going through Reddit, and there was this... Do you know Nature is Metal, the subreddit? It, like... Not in reference to you, Metal, don't worry. Uh, it, <laughs> it, uh, it's all about how nature, when left alone, holy fuck, it could do some stuff that just makes you go, oh, and some of the stuff is awesome. Like, um... There was a lion getting attacked by a pack of hyenas, and then this pack of, well, I don't even know if it's considered a pack of lions, come in to defend. Um, the lion's like a big war, and then all the hyenas run the fuck off, and it's like, yeah, it's like it's a fun little like movie moment. However, there are some other things that happen. In this fucking video, uh, Komodo Dragon had like wounded uh, a fawn that was pregnant, 
enough and pulled out the kid and swallowed it whole. Oh, Jesus. But like, what I saw, I was like, Jeez. okay, uh, this, this is... I've heard of real, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> the dude, and like, it just starts eating parts of the, the mother as it tries to crawl away until it dies. It's like some of the, it's, it, nature, you no, scary. No, mother nature's beautiful. Well, I was eating my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because in the comments, some people were like, "This is honestly the most horrifying thing I've ever seen." Then some people were like, "Oh, you should see this." And it's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, there's probably there's probably an insect that does something more gross. Oh yeah, well, this is the thing when looking up the cordyceps stuff, it's like, oh, it's based on a real thing yeah. where a mushroom infects an animal, makes it climb to like a really high Mind area, controls it, then makes it climb mm. up. It's horrifying. Um, which, which nature's scary, humans need to make sure nature don't get out of hand, okay? That's why we're here. We're like, hey nature, stop it. That's rude. <laughs> and nature's like, lol, no. <laughs> Komodo yeah, dragon, y'all. I used the environment until I learned about the environment. There was a comment that was like, Komodo dragons are not familiar with the concept of cruelty, I assume, but still. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem a little unsporting. <laughs> Jesus. They see it as a vending machine. They punched it and something fell out. They're like, sweet. Oh, nice. <laughs> like, oh man. That that Komodo dragon was Abby. He's like, oh, she's pregnant? Good. Oh no. Also, I like the that is the image on screen right now. It's very suitable. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> this this image right here of an empty plate is Jim Sterling's worst nightmare. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Such a such a low blow, right? Such an easy fat joke. Well. I mean, if you no make booty. it easy, I don't know. Well, it sounds like you're being pretty fat phobic Being right abusive now. and homophobic. Oh, I'm not afraid. I'm the opposite. No, I'm it not brings afraid. me joy. Afraid of strong women. <laughs> Nourishment they need to build up their bodies to get muscles in the first place. That's logic that's suddenly been applied to a video game. I mean, yep. sure, she's what? not even that yeah, extremely we muscular and has no more meat on her. Well, okay. But also, let's be frank. People... Um, People call this out because if the game is trying to be really realistic, then people are going to think about it much more realistically than Super Mario. If this was a 2D, if it was a 2D side scroller game or something that was highly stylized, no one would give a single shit if they yeah. it had featured a female character that was super buff. In fact, it would have a lot of fans. And let's be honest, why? Oh, I mean, yeah, but if you want to play the realistic game, then you're gonna have to put up with the realistic consequences of people critiquing your game as if it's realistic. And you it's can't just be like, oh, I just want all the good stuff and I'm just gonna ignore these aspects when they're criticized. <laughs> if this is the game and you want to all... play, then you're gonna have to be ready for it. Yeah. And did you hear his comment where she, where he's like, she's not that you know, unrealistically built or something like that. I forget the exact wording now. It's like, no, she's still pretty on the high end of the spectrum well, there, mate. Yeah, um, like, so um, this may come as a shock to EFAB viewers and EFAB people, people who hate EFAB as a whole. We all do go outside. It is a thing. I know I've... Oh, I have, I have, I have advised I against it. Outside. You it's, bet a, I was. it's a scary I world. Listening. There's this thing in the sky cover. that shines <gasps> light at you aggressively it's it's sure. terrifying but um yeah uh, uh i would say 99.9 percent .9 of the women i see uh do not have arms that exceed or even match yeah. abby's length uh good most of the women <laughs> that i've seen have not actually been in my bedroom shocking as it is to believe damn it yeah. to my knowledge i think every single woman i've ever had you know contact or met in my entire life has not been that built not it's, even close. it's of a low likelihood that's yeah that's if i saw yeah. one do a double take it's not even a bad thing that's what i don't get it's not an insult to women it's not a slight to women just to say that this is an unrealistic female body type yeah you just gotta it, be like wow that's weird it'd be like that's if unfair. you saw if if they put a man in a game who had boobs Delphi and wide Delphi. hips you would go what yeah. <laughs> that's very Men true video games. now that's a trend that'll never catch on well we live in a 2020 world i'm not so sure about that nothing's impossible i suppose <laughs> donald well, trump signs an executive <laughs> order to allow men in video games Whoa. As he skewers the gamer vote not my logic that's 
suddenly been applied to a video game. I mean, sure, she's not even that extremely muscular and has no more meat on her than many of the men, but we're not here to question... Yeah, name one man, one man uh, in that game uh, that's more ripped than she is, other than Fat Garrett. Well, even then... <laughs> like, I say that, that, and now I have big. to stop myself and think. Yeah, who is more built than Abby in modern video games? Even of, of guys. I mean, she's way up there. Yeah, I feel like she well, could beat... Well, it depends beat... which video game, because, like, no. Street Fighter, of course, has... Yeah, most uh, of I think she'd beat Nathan Drake in an arm wrestle, okay? I'm putting it out there. <laughs> and, and, okay, that's the same company. Right? Oh yeah, the so, same company. They would not allow Abby to lose. But in the context of the game world itself, Maula, was there any in-game character more built than her? Um, they probably. I'm trying to think. Like we got, because Ellie obviously not. Uh, even Tommy obviously not. Manny no. <laughs> uh, what's his name? The one that she uh, sexes no. Um. Oh, there's got to be no, no to Isaac. I mean, Joel might be physically was, larger. He might was, be physically wider, right? But it was the Friar Tuck woman that uh, that she was big, but she wasn't muscular. The Friar Tuck woman. She just she was dressed like fucking. I don't know. I've heard people call her Miss Trudge as well. Friar Tuck woman. I don't know Actually, her name. Know. She had the, She was the first like boss interaction with the pickaxe. Uh, but you know. Here's a really good idea. If someone has access to the game files, take Joel, the masculine manly protagonist that we're all supposed to worship or whatever, and put his model next to Abby and see which one is wider and fitter in terms of mu like defined muscles. I, I think there's one that beats the other. Just having looked at the images casually, Abby looks way more built. But like this is, it's again, it's a video game, so someone can get into the files and do this, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, probably. Man. Most likely, actually. They can't just keep getting away with this. <laughs> <laughs> Happy. Played us like a damn fiddle. Male body types, are we? Get out of here with that commie logic. And sure, we could say right. that in a game about mushroom zombies, <laughs> the size what? of the character. Whoa, how is that? Commie logic. Commie, commie like logic. Commie is <laughs> okay. people. Is he making a caricature of people criticizing him? That yeah, that's it. It's just because he's a commie and he's mad. <laughs> like lol, commie mad. Like I just like I the idea that fuck. you if take is mad. you take a hot take on a game and then like you just don't like it because I'm a commie. <laughs> like wait, what's oh. happening? What? Excuse me. All right, no, let me add that to my list of reasons. <laughs> Fucking shut the fuck up, communist. a weird world we live in um but yeah i was gonna say how long have we been, so we're at we're at four, three, we're at two and a half hours already jesus christ time time is traveling um we got oh, wait, um then. what does someone just fucking rudely interrupt me abusively yes yeah. wow i'm upset now uh, we better apologize for your abusive interruption <laughs> yeah we got no. um we, we might be... yeah, get out of here with your commie logic <laughs> People say I should condelb that. It's like, yeah, I guess so. What? What even? Like, do you just randomly say like you you disagree, or do you consider my arguments copy logic? I don't even know. Should I just say copy logic? Interrupt your conversation. More like interrupt our conversation, comrade. <gasps> da, 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 I ought to leave. I I was uh. I was watching because because they're they're ta they had in the in the Black Ops Four the new uh, that's going to be the Cold War Call of Duty and in the trailer they had Yuri Bezmenov and he was talking about communist subversion oh, yeah. and all the stuff and they did so and all the all the communist tears so upset that the game <laughs> might actually portray the USSR as really fucking bad. Um, wow, I'm a <laughs> the, one of the comments of the tweets was I can't wait to see all the starving Russians. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Here's so the, great. the funniest shit about that, right? Is um wow, I'm a communist and I can't support this game that makes millions of dollars for this multi-million dollar company because it insulted communism. But that's the yeah. only reason why I would have bought it otherwise. I, I was just like, uh, shut the fuck up, communist. I need to, I need to get just the thing, just a badge made. Let's shut the fuck up, communist. This is so funny. They would have been one hundred. Silence, communist. Communists 
would have been completely on board with, again, a multi-million dollar video game made by a massive company that rakes in profits if they just hadn't insulted communists. You know, um, the, the I knew a guy who was actually, he did uh, he did yard work, and he would rake in the profits. Oh, whoa. Mm. Oh, Jesus. I think oh, my God, what happened? What oh, is no. this? Um, wait, um, Mel, oh, jump geez. out in case that's the reason we're getting fucked over. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's I it. I will, because uh, this is going to be a whole rotation thing. Um, yeah, no. Mel was the first, and now <laughs> he is to, the first to go. I'm so sorry, my my my, my German. Uh, yeah, but uh, we'll pop you back in probably at some point later when everybody's yeah, I'll be around. Yeah. I'll be See around. you later. Bo -bo Avenge me. Later on that one. <laughs> Okay. Tell my story. So something, something must be happening. Internet oh, historian, no. are you are you like streaming a video? <laughs> oh, there we go. It's back. Yep. Oh, oh I must have been. Hello there. Oh, sorry. Howdy. Hello. What have you? Greetings, oh, sir. I walked into a room full of abusive gamers. <laughs> 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 I'm tired of you saying things about my favorite channel, Jim Sterling, I'm and so my favorite sorry. video game character. Abby. <laughs> Abby and Jim Sterling, and well, I don't know what would be the third prong on that holy trinity. Um, I guess the third prong might be uh, the my most hated character, Joel. <laughs> the, you know, oh yeah, and, my, and oh yeah, the the character no one actually liked all along. Yes. The most hated character in video <laughs> games, Joel. How you been, Mister Historian? History. You've been watching some of this video in the in the chat there. Been yeah, I've it. been sort of shit posting for the last <laughs> half hour. <laughs> Just saying dumb shit. I mean, you oh, you you played the game. I you, you mainly hated Abby for her I muscles, loved right? It. What? It was no, I loved the game, and I really especially loved it for the. I loved it for the muscles, and I loved it for that uh, romantic uh, sex scene. <laughs> um, not at least a couple times there because I got a high IQ. You got a... and. Um, you put that the one on the sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> you can't understand the sex scene. To be fair, you have to have a high IQ to understand the sex scene. One of these days, you'll understand why this sex scene is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, dear. It's been a yes, Can't wait for the remastered version so that we can watch it in 4K at 120 frames per second. <laughs> Say that like it going backwards happen. and forwards Dude, with I, no if, motion blur whatsoever, it'd be brilliant. If they release uh, Last of Us 2 remastered on PS5, I can't wait to see the sales. That's gonna be so much fun. Well, you know, I'm how very curious for that. Th there's sort of a trend now to do all kinds of retro PS1 style games. I would really prefer if they release it back in like 380p or whatever, 320p, just just <laughs> complete blocky <laughs> style sex scene. That would be much better for me. Can you get Peepo DLC that can cover it? I think that would be like something consumers might want, might tempt them to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. Just sort of rough polygons, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's just colliding with each other <laughs> over some some bad eight bit music. Yeah. And it says, "Think of the themes as it as it <laughs> plays out. <laughs> the cycles of sexual violence." So uh, oh, yeah, if you um, we might have to start reposting it with all this junk in the chat. If you see the the link to the old uh, watch together there, we're um, we're just we're just oh. checking out some of his thoughts on um, on this wonderful game. And the latest argument right. is uh, that okay. he he would assume that we would claim he's using communist logic. What? Not, not sure what um, you guys are communist. I just, I don't know where it, yeah, let's, let, I'm going to play it again so that we can, yeah. It's extremely muscular and has no more meat on her than many of the men, but we're not here to question male body types, are we? Get out of here with that commie logic. Oh no, because and sure Abby we... isn't a man. Commie That's logic. That's just objectively wrong. She has more meat on her than the other men in the game. You can see it. Just side by side. It's I like, wish she had less wrong. meat in her. I get it. <laughs> All right. I like that. I like that. That's very good. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he could Not say that best, in a game but... about mushroom zombies, the size of a character's arms aren't the biggest suspension of disbelief out there. But that 
Is they it, are though, but, but, because and I in my my evidence is that people aren't talking about how one of these things is unbelievable, and they're talking about how the other thing is believable. Congratulations, you made the shape of a woman's body less believable than a mushroom zombie apocalypse. Good I mean, job, Naughty Dog. You did it. It's the thing they they based it on cordyceps, and it is fiction. Like, it's a thing that hasn't happened. They're calling it a thing in this world that did happen, unless they want to be like. Yes, there are women now who are like built like trucks. That's just a thing in this universe. I'd be like, okay. But they didn't. It's just the one. Well, women. to dig into that idea a bit further, it's the fact that there is a direct call, like point of reference that people exist in the real world, people exist in the game. We can compare the people in the game to the people in the real world, see how realistic they are. Are there, you know, fungus zombies in the real world? not for people and so therefore you know you can make up what you want and there's not really anything clashing with our understanding of reality there so yeah. that's how it works basically jim well, that's why don't you find well, it fascinating I... I'll, I'll be quick i swear just that we're now appealing to whether or not something is realistic when previously he was appealing to the possibility and that it should be accepted like which one is it you can't have well, both right, right. Exactly. It's it, it's fantasy. It's fiction. It's it's unreality. You can do whatever the heck you want. It's only because The Last of Us it has presented itself as so grounded in reality, as so grounded as being a realistic kind mm. of game, that it then makes people laugh when they see something that is so clearly unrealistic. This reminds me of when Battlefield 1 came out, and they had... Well, Battlefield 5, even. We'll, we'll take it up to something more... Um, uh, we'll talk about the newest discontinued ga game from DICE. Uh, but when Battlefield Five came uh, up and they had this, uh, the, the pro woman, the sniper, the woman on the front lines with a face paint and the prosthetic arm in the trailer oh, of right, this yeah. World War II game, <laughs> people were like, wait a second, this is really fucking weird. Like, wait, what? And everyone said, oh, you, you can't believe that. But duh, 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 duh. And so I had to get into the whole aspect of like, people respawn in video games. They reincarnate after death and then continue on fighting a battle over and over. But we accept that for the purposes of a game and playing it's it in the mechanics, and it's a very common... Yeah. yeah, things are ranked differently on our suspension of disbelief o meter mm -hmm. And seeing a bunch of women run around in a World War II game is uh, definitely lower in... The, or, sorry, higher in the disbelief rankings than actual reincarnation because you know games and the aspects mechanically of games that we have um but be aware. To yeah, or just or just that you have to live with if you want to keep playing the game yeah like but people are people's level of suspension of disbelief is so high that uh, you really have to push the boundaries and it is i think context dependent right like people don't go, if you're if you're playing Skyrim or whatever and you install your big titty mod, it's not going to break anybody's suspension of disbelief in playing yeah, Skyrim. But it's totally different <laughs> in a game that purports to be realistic. By the way, I'm not sure if it's on the, the monitor for, for everyone else, but this screenshot you've got of the <laughs> quarter <tip> to <laughs> lady, by the way, I just want to point out she's got nicer tits than Abby did. Oh, the the cordyceps lady. Hang on, let me roll it back because everyone was calling about this dude. I see a guy. I see an evil white yeah. man staring yeah, at me. Logic. Oh, well, I'm sure we get that off there, of there. There you go. <laughs> oh, she reminds me. Her tits remind me of the tits of that one chick from that what, that death spa movie where she had her tits burned in the tanning booth. Oh, I oh, yeah. Final Destination Three. Oh, <laughs> I had seen that one. Yeah, she's going sun are you talking about, bathing or whatever. Are you talking about something covered That's by Red Letter Media, or are you talking about Final Destination? Yeah, too? yeah, that thing. Because, yeah, there's more than one movie where a girl gets her boobs burned off. Listen, burns <laughs> tits are a trope in media that needs to end. Yes, it's a communist trope. I want my tits rare. No, I want common, but never mind. <laughs> He could say that yeah. in a game about mushroom zombies, the size of a character's arms aren't the biggest suspension of disbelief out there. And but that yet, kind of Bolshevism isn't going to get those cocks jerking, is it? And sure, they <laughs> I just like the idea what, you that... you think people are masturbating to Ellie in the first yeah. game? Well, they probably I guess that, is that, is that what his, his, is, is really that his thesis? That's it. Is that the only reason that people played The Last of Us the first time is to jack it to Ellie? In which case, I have more questions about you, Jim, than anyone else. I, I, honestly, I think that That's he's weird, he's dude. like you fuckers. You you just want to wank to the main character, don't you? That's it. That's weird, See, dude. Well, like, can I just ask, and being being like really honest with yourselves, right? 
if Abby was like cute anime character with big titties, <laughs> would you probably be more forgiving of her character by the end? <laughs> no. 100% honesty. Be honest with you, she was it. like, oh, Abby, you know, so sorry. <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, low cut top and all that stuff. Um, would you maybe just have a tinge more sympathy? No. If it could be qualified down to like, if you spell the... it S I M P, I think maybe, but I don't know. If, if, I don't. I don't know. I'll say if she was really kawaii, I might um, have some sympathy. Oh, Joel, oh, Joel, Joel Senpai, can I hit oh, you with no. a golf club? <laughs> if, if we were yeah. all in the one, I, I, I think I think that would open up another podcast. Out of here. If I think we that would open up an the... additional. Additional realm of enjoyment for a group of people, for her. Yeah, like, like what she did, it didn't matter if, like I said, she didn't matter if she was hot or not. She's going down. Like we're, we're taking that cutscene death every opportunity we can get. <laughs> and there was quite a few, thankfully. <laughs> but hey, if if there was a sense that we could like her a little bit more, it's gonna be if it were on the scale, right, of a thousand points on the scale. And she's at like mm. a one in terms of hatred going from zero most and 10,000 to loving. It might have ticked mm. up by one, maybe one, maybe a half. A you know what? You gotcha. know what I think would help? You know what I think Each would help? gives her half a point. Yeah. What, if, what if Abby was just irreconcilably evil? Uh, just completely evil it's and an rebel. Yeah. And, 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 but no, I mean, anime character style of just laughing it up and, and, and reveling while she's, uh, you know, golfing Joel. I think that might that even be a yeah. more enjoyable yeah, character. I actually yeah. agree. The fact that yeah, they were trying villain, to yeah. make people like her and make her trying to be, oh no, she's really a good person in these other sections of the game. But if they just they, died, they I'm morally gray, they would have worked very well. But it is you me, could, evil. You could just imagine her like when she was she was about to go off on the boat, and then instead she's doing like Joel impressions. Oh, just kill me now, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, instead <laughs> like, oh, yeah. off on the boat. <laughs> also, it would have worked. As the screen points out, apparently alcohol and rag equal uh, health kit. Is this true, Rag? I think we all know what happens when you mix alcohol <laughs> with rags, and it's not a health kit. <laughs> One might even say it could represent the opposite, but I bet that's neither here nor there. Go uh, ahead, Jim. There are supplement pills found in every drawer and cupboard that the protagonists chow down without hesitation. But that's just video- Wait, are we- is he using that as an oh argument? She's been eating steroids, so it's okay. Yeah, that- <laughs> is, is that what oh, This reminds me of the- the- what was the group when- when Kingdom Come Deliverance came out? They said, oh, things can't be realistic because I can chug a health potion and my health bar goes up? Was that Inside Gaming? I don't know, but if he wants oh, to yeah, go this... Familiar. That was Funhouse, wasn't it? Well, let's just be realistic about what the pills you find in the game are. They're presumably like acetamiathin, right? Yeah, they're um, not They're not steroids. <laughs> uh, something that you would actually find in every person's average house. Some kind of painkiller or maybe, maybe, well, maybe. Let's go even further. Antibiotic. They are supplements that give you things like... Uh, more Molotovs. <laughs> like, wait, that doesn't make any sense at all. It's like, well, uh, shut up. Oh, it would be great, though, if, <laughs> like, you know how in Fable, like, as, uh, in Fable 1, at least, like, as you do more bad, uh, good deeds or bad deeds, your character changes. It'd as your great, character as... likes Joel more, you become more and more evil. Yeah. Or as your character takes just more, like, pain pills, they become more buff. Just yeah, max pain. up. <laughs> oh yeah, actually. Okay. Oh yeah, it's basically so you your chug, health is just yeah. pain pills. You fucking chug them pills in Max Payne. No game logic, and we shouldn't be looking for uh, too much realism in a in a game. Believability, yeah. and don't pull Wait. this bullshit about well, how he's... all things on the realism chart are exactly equally weighted. This is what I mean. That's but, bullshit but he... nonsense. I don't you don't expect think... this argument from people it... like him, but they make it. In his crazy world, though, I don't think it still it still doesn't work. He's like. uh you're saying that she wouldn't be able to do it without being like, like she's got access to steroids, and then the, he invents the counter argument of, yeah, but those are just mechanics, though. And he's like, oh, so is that how it works now? When it's like, no, the counter is, I don't even think those are steroids, and this is certainly not a part of the game. And what, what are you even, what, where are we going with this? That Abby wants to right. just take steroids, like well, regularly. He started this argument by just saying, by not inducing or introducing a steroid argument at all and just saying she works at it. And then he introduces the steroid argument as a supplemental to his original uh, critique. 
So it seems basically in, in research, right? You're supposed to start out with a hypothesis and then find data that support it rather than <laughs> starting out with a um, hypothesis and, and then finding, and basically like going through and, and picking out things that support your hypothesis if I'm explaining that correctly. Any reasonable person would be able to say, shut up, it's a video game. The reasonably muscular arms are among the more believable suspensions of disbelief in a mushroom zombie video game. And that's even if you think They're it's not, unrealistic. Though. Well, then I mean, why didn't that happen? The evidence for that is the fact that we are talking about these Yeah, why didn't arms. it happen? Why didn't everyone believe yeah. it more so than the zombie mushrooms? Why? And, and his explanation? We, we said the same thing when an big anime deities come up and you said misogyny. Well, that's the thing. His answer will be, well, because you guys fucking hate women. You're like, ugh. Nailed it. I also just find it, it odd that he goes up. back to this zombie mushroom game. It, it's so dismissive. And yeah. From what I understand, they put a decent amount of work into trying to make it uh, grounded, the Cordyceps thing. That was their whole goal. They were like, we don't want to just have zombies. I definitely think that's a triumph for the game. I think they did a really good job with that. Neat. ...in the first place. But that doesn't do enough to counteract the sheer hypocritical stupidity of a group of little... Oh, do you remember What's when the... the pregnant lady has been shot in the back and she didn't even notice? That was great. <laughs> oh. Mm. What's the hypocrisy? And it's just a game. You can get shot and not die, so oh, it's fine. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted his um his little rant there. I'll roll him back. Game, and that's even if you think it's unrealistic in the first place. But that doesn't do enough to counteract the sheer hypocritical stupidity of a group of literal wankers who only ever shout realism no, when it's convenient, when they're trying to no, get an you. unconventional video game protagonist erased, or falsely claiming that black people weren't around in the olden days. <laughs> Oh, oh my hell. God. Yeah, that's, that's what was argued that black no. people black literally people were, were there was a magic the barrier on the north edge of Africa. Oh, oh, yeah. I, that's such a straw man, Shad, holy fuck. <laughs> what a straw man. That's amazing. Black people oh, weren't around God. in the olden days. Nobody's ever fucking said that. What do you yeah, mean? The it's CIA about the invented black people in the 70s. We all know. Yeah. So. Uh, Come on, this is what I mean. Like, it's like Jim, you're not, you know, you you know what you're doing. Like, you know full fucking well. No, well, he has either. He, I don't actually think Jim is stupid, right? So he has to know what the hell he's saying. In that oh yeah, he knows what he's Mordau, doing. Yeah, in that the critique of Mordhau isn't that there weren't black people during the Middle Ages, but maybe not in in these regions. It is yeah, it's a game based off of you know European. Uh, you know, medievals, renaissance, like, you know, that era. And there were, to Almost be fair, if... there yeah, were. Yeah, there were. Traders, like, you had the Moors in Spain and all that stuff, but rare, this isn't yeah. based on that. But what a minority they at, at that point in time. And if you're making a, a, even if it's a fantasy game, if it's a historically based fantasy game, there's no reason to, uh, to, to um, veer that far away from history. And one thing that they need to realize, and they don't, which is weird, because you'd expect people who talk about games a lot to understand games more, is that if you get, if you say, okay, well, yeah, it, there, there were black people in Europe at the time, I'm sure there were, or yeah, some women did fight in World War I, uh, so, you know, sure, that, that, so that should be a thing you could pick as an option, is that you're going to get 30, 40, maybe 50% of players choosing to play as women, or you know, whatever percentage of players who will choose the black person option when you're playing a historical European fighting game, and that will destroy the immersion. Because not just one person in a server of 64 is going to choose the black guy. Well, I, I don't even know if I, I care about the immersion bit too much personally, but oh, I, yeah. I just, yeah, I guess. I, I just, because it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily bother me, but... um. If you're, well, maybe on the online space, if you're playing the the on, not online version of a game, uh, would make uh, less sense to incorporate that kind of stuff. But um, with online stuff, I do get the I do get it. People want to customize characters. People want to make their own thing, and that's fine. But, but it should be thematically consistent, right? So I don't know. I I agree with Jim. Um... <laughs> Game is racist. <laughs> game is sexist. <laughs> I, just, I just like I agree with Jim, but it's just yeah, okay. <laughs> Can I be part of the the cool kids club now of the correct video game opinion havers? It is true. <laughs> game or bad. Well, I'm hoping to score a collab with him soon. So, 
That last oh, comment yeah. derailed everything that he said before, because now I can't remember what he said before the... Um, oh, uh, don't worry too much about it. I don't think it matters. <laughs> oh, no. Every frame of pause. Are you I kidding me? Let's do this. ...of a group of literal wankers who only ever shout realism when it's convenient, when they're trying to get an unconventional video game protagonist erased, or falsely claiming that black people... See, that's... Oh, so I'm getting her erased. Oh, man. It's like... I, I rag on unrealistic things all the bloody time. And it's just like, oh, no, they only do it when it's, you know, I mean, against... I'm, I'm trying to think of an instance where gamers didn't call it out. When like when it was going the other way, way, right? Well, no, it, again, with, like, with high fantasy games or games that are... are set in a completely different universe, no one has a problem with stuff that's not- Yeah, like, like Skyrim. You could play as the Red Guards and no one gives a shit. They have curved swords. I- I still criticize wrong swords. By the way, the Red Guards well, invented the nukes in the- uh, invented actual nuclear weapons in the uh, Elder Scrolls universe. It's called the Pan Kratos Sword and is literally a nuclear weapon. <laughs> What is this whole like? Oh. You're, you're so on, on the matter of um the swords in Skyrim, you have to have to look at their weight balance and then also the structure and proportions and the hilts are a bit too big as well and the hand size and then the great swords. I'll I'll stop. Dude, are you like obsessed with swords or something? <laughs> maybe, maybe something like that. Fucking hell. Next you're one of those team. literal wankers I've heard Jim Sterling talk about. <laughs> literal. literal. Abusive. That's what they are. I'm somehow, somehow, I'm only criticizing the realism because it's, it's, it's I'm targeting women and I'm sexist. Must be. No, apologize. Well, God. it just seems to always be they want to put, dare I say it, women and minorities into places where you don't expect to see them, or it doesn't make sense, or it's not immersive, or it isn't historically accurate, or something, and that's why it pops up. Because I'm sure well, if we had a, like if if Sekiro was a game where you were just randomly a white guy like people would need an explanation for that you know yep. like um the thanos's weapon that shad tore to pieces um i don't think i caught anyone's video saying like shad you're preventing the existence of that weapon like what <laughs> why are you uh, denying if, the if thanos was a female then that no one like shad you sexist how <laughs> dare you so again, because what I think, like, I'm trying to explore the statement because it's so strange to me. Is he saying that by us being like, hey, her muscles are a tad silly, we are then uh, preventing people who look like her from existing in real life, like, uh, socially or something? Probably. There's there's another psychological um, thing I didn't mention before that's been called an expectancy violation, uh, which makes people psychologically uncomfortable. When you expect one thing and you see something that conflicts with your expectations, it actually makes you feel upset. So uh, this necessarily doesn't mean anything in terms of whether it's right or wrong, but it explains why when you see a big muscular woman, it makes people feel kind of uncomfortable because it's just violating their expectations. Re. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, people are going to hear that. What they're going to do is they're going to hear that and they're going to say, so that's why you didn't like The Last Jedi, because it subverted your expectations, therefore, well, uh, violation no. of something, something, something. Expe when you, when expectancy you... violation. Expectancy violation. It, it is just a psychological process that means that when you see something that really freaks you out, that, that does not meet what you expect to happen, it's an uncomfortable psychological state. Uh, and this is why it, it does mean that it's why media that that does quote unquote uh, violate expectations or or breaks the mold in some way, people don't tend to like it because, uh, to a degree, people want some logical consistency. <gasps> Otherwise, it is literally psychologically uncomfortable. Was it literal was it wankers? Like, was it unexpected <laughs> or psychological more just like, like a sort of uncanny valley sort of thing? Because I thought I, when I first saw Abby, I wasn't like, "Oh, it's a surprise," and you know what I mean. It was I just think kinda... Abby might be more of the uncanny valley kind of effect than expectancy violation. <laughs> I, I, I when I first saw Abby, I actually thought it was a guy. She was a guy. Um, it's like I didn't. I was just like, "Whoa, yeah. look at those yeah, arms!" Yeah. Similar response, just really striking. You look at it, it's like, "Wow, okay." Um. <laughs> But anyway, the point that Jim ma is making here that is it's just uh, such bullcrap that we're saying that gamers only rag on realism when, you know, they're trying to push an ideological position or something like that. Absolute 
bull crap. Go have a look we at my channel. Never, I mean, Jim would never want to push an ideological position himself. No. That would be... Nah. No, that, that just... That wouldn't be right. He's above that. It's not like Jim actively says that he's a political actor or anything in any way. Well, I, 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 like I said, I, I'm pretty sure this is entirely fueled by that. He's not talking about anything to do with the game, and it seems like he's done another video that's only about harassing people. It's like, have you, have you explored anything about this game that's like fucking flawed? I'm guessing not. Uh, and then you combine that with, uh, pretty sure he, he avoided the, the coverage. He avoided the coverage of Battlefield Five in like a negative light because of that. It's like it's a mm -hmm. game that ew, don't go after that one. Actually, that's. Mm, anyway. It's a it's a plus for us, so let's not. It's like even if it has really controversial elements, anyway. Moving on, <laughs> it's like hey, which um, is a shame because his integrity when it comes to microtransactions and, and loot boxes and stuff is is part of what you know gains him a hell of a lot of respect. I would imagine. Yeah, when I respect Jim one hundred percent for his um, strong stance. For not wanting to get fleeced. Yes. Well, because uh, any defense that... Epic Games exclusives. He it, does. It is an issue. He does. Oh, oh fuck really? Me. Oh man. Oh. I haven't been paying enough attention, I guess. Yeah, I haven't paid attention to a while uh, to him in a while. So this is a break in the streak of my blissful ignorance of well, Jim Sterling. <laughs> the last time he was covered was actually to to a T to the very minutes a year ago on uh, EFAB. Mm. So how about that? Once mm. once a year is all I can handle of of Jim Sterling. Just one a year. That's the thing. There's already another video of his I want to cover. So see you next year for that, guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Falsely claiming that black people weren't around in the olden days, which is why mm. games set in medieval Europe should only have white characters. Idiots. What makes this situation so absolutely I'll absurd? Show you not know, just so the much more. Yeah, I mean, should, they should be all black people. I'd say. He knows thing. plenty if... about the movement of populations within, you know, medieval and early modern times. I was just going to say, wow, guys, does how... he know about all of the black people that lived in England in 1300? Didn't you know that Shakespeare was black? <laughs> well, that's, that's that... the narrative. Do you remember that meme uh, that was like, I want to portray Hitler as he was meant to be a proud African American woman? woman. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> Um, and yeah, oh. we have we, we, we have another uh, guest to rotate in, and thus someone has to rotate out. I, I like how we're maintaining seven. That's uh, fucking juggling like crazy, but that that ultimately a, a, a good. And uh, just a moment, I shall I shall get them in. You you know them well. The, it's not well. No, it is the weekend, so it counts. <laughs> That's a big clue as to who it is, by the way. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna say. The, uh, you know how like, people who hate EFAP, they might casual check out here and then be like, ugh, look at this. And then they're like, ugh, I, I don't like that argument, but I guess they made one, at least. J Jim's attempt at getting people to his side, I imagine, is just idiot. Abusive. <laughs> You're like, man, this is not convincing me. I feel like this is just a war cry for the people on your team already. That's about it. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Think, I don't think he's got any interest in convincing anyone. Which is a shame. Fact then that it's a mushroom zombie game and a pair of above average biceps are the least of the fiction. It's that even within the world of The Last of Us Part Two, even Naughty Dog went out of its part. way to show that Abby actually. What if what that if was... Abby had a third arm? <laughs> let's, let, let's imagine. What if, well, what if Abby had a third arm? It's really right? really transphobic of you to not assume she doesn't, or to assume she so doesn't. So I maybe one of her legs identifies as an arm. I don't know, but. The thing is, if we had something that was really blatant, like Abby just having a third arm for whatever reason, oh, and he could make the same arm. argument about, oh, it's the mushroom zombie apocalypse, but you think it's really weird for her to have a third arm? Ugh, gamers. Idiots. Uh, hold on. They've got, a, they've got a pause here on the schedule, like she works out a lot, but she does... Maybe only one, I can't read all of that, but it looks like one off a body day, one day of jogging, one day of legs, and I can't squiddly diddly, I don't know what that one, middle one is. Three, like three days of rest. And, and three rest days. How's she getting that body with one or two days of upper body? Uh, yeah, so that's, she that's... can't, is, is the point. I'm doing more than that. 
The thing That's is, it's a fairly normal normal workout for a guy. And again, as I said before, like for women to get this buff requires so much more work because women don't gain muscle as easily. Um, so that's not going to cut it. <laughs> someone, someone actually sent me a message and said that uh, the Abbey body model is one of the best CrossFit athletes uh, in the world. Uh, but she spent like 10, maybe 15 years getting there. Yeah, I believe that. And that's again, in a non um, starvation level society. Uh, where she probably has all kinds of very specified uh, routines, not just uh, physical, but also in terms of, of what she consumes in order to be able to achieve that. Well, uh, I've, I, this is an interesting development, you see, because I, I followed this around a little bit because uh, Smudboy got into trouble with this on Twitter, but tweeting out that this is... So So the, the way the conversation goes, right? Unrealistic, not possible, blah, blah, blah. And then a lot of people posted this. They were like, aha, the game actually accounted for these nerds doesn't do, they didn't realize this game says exactly how she's doing it get fucked and then someone who does this stuff looked into it and was like yep nope not possible with this uh workout schedule with and the, three and days the, the, a week the, that big reddit the, post the people that brought it up were like what the fuck do you mean it's not what are you doing? It's just like i'm you sorry you were supposed to be on our side yeah like they're like they brought it up it was countered by someone, and they get pissed when that happens. And they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you, you, you obsessed. You look at, oh, look at me. I'm going to go look at the piece of paper in a video game. What is wrong? And it's like, you guys brought it up. What do you mean? We're looking at the information you brought up. A large the part of it, from my understanding, is that you have a shitload to do in this society that isn't building muscle. So those you rest have, like, days work. are kind of fucked. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I, I'm sorry, I can't rebuild defenses, Hello. I can't stack supplies, I can't no. organize our, our no. food stuff. This is one of my rest days. Sorry, guys. Oh, what a bunch of racists. Also, Hello. Hi, hi, hi Weekend Warrior. Hi, hi Whitey. <laughs> I just came here to say that you're all racist, yeah, and how how dare you? How dare you not allow Abby to, to be who she is? <laughs> a, a buff lady in the midst of an apocalyptic zombie event. How dare you? How how dare all of you? Hey, look. Really we're well, abusive, okay? We're, we're abusive people. Your team. Yeah, team, <laughs> team Abby. Hey, no we, team we, swapping. Team muscles, team muscles in Apocalypse. <laughs> you can swap teams until the EFAP is over. Those are the rules. Is that team muscles in the Apocalypse? Or is that team yeah, muscles in the Apocalypse? Apocalypse muscles. Apocalypse. Apocalypse musks. Pocahontas? <laughs> Yeah, what? sure, why not? Problem oh, I just, I, I went just through Pocahontas to... yesterday, uh, a few days ago. Oh, no. I just want to point out, like, I don't know if anyone has said this in the chat or in, in the discussion, but Abby is the only fit person in her team, and all the other people that are <laughs> fit oh. are in the other side. Like, Fat Gerald, Pickaxe Boys, I think Mahler mentioned the Pickaxe Boys. Exactly. The final boss in the island is like, freakishly muscular and they don't even the game actually like I, I i'm actually replaying it now and seeing the footage i have they got these farms right and they got meat and and they got this workout sheet for abby but abby is the only person in her team that is as fit as her so it actually highlights how improbable her whole scenario is so yeah yeah wow. well, so I mean, the other thing that actually the workout sheet doesn't answer, and we have touched on it just tangentially already, is that to build up that level of muscle, your food intake is like three times the average person or more. Like, it's crazy. It burn it. Like, those bodybuilders, they eat stacks. And so that's the thing that, like, yeah, okay, she could work out heaps, but if she's not having the intake, the protein and the calories mm -hmm. and stuff, she's not going to put on the muscle. And mm -hmm. in a post-apocalyptic, you know, zombie setting, it's like, yeah, we were joking about the starving child in the corner of the food she would have to eat, but that's actually a legitimate thing. Would they give her a triple to quadruple portion of food when there's other mouths to feed in a setting like that? Well, it's not just food. It's like specific foods as well, like protein. Yes. I don't know where you're going to get whey powder or creatine. Burritos. In, um, <laughs> in the <laughs> yes, well, with the burrito. <laughs> the burrito, remember, burrito diet. Remember, you don't know um, what's in those burritos. Spanish, Spanish Neil Druckmann takes two burritos <laughs> and Abby only has one. It's a, at least eight, oh, eight seven or eight. Communist, well, yeah. Again, they are set up in an old football stadium, right? So... Mm -hmm. 
so like presumably a, there's a lot of probably like a cracker jack diet <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but even if they did have a lot of food, it would be portioned out and rationed and be given the same amount. Why would she, you know, it get is three times the amount? Of skips the yeah. line. Abby needs well, this, more this... whey protein than if, others. If we were like a little Abby council Ash. that organized the whole stadium and they're like, is it okay if one of our participants eats three times the amount of rations to build up muscle? We'd all be like, uh... I, mean, I don't know. That seems a little... I, I don't... Do we have that to spare? I... I, mean, I say three times, it's probably more than that. I, I guess, like, okay, because, again, this is not to be sexist, speaking as a woman, but you would have to not give that much to a man to build up the same amount of muscle. So it would make sense if you were like, hey, we need to build up this warrior class, essentially, if you want to talk about like, a Spartan-esque society. We have to build up this warrior class to defend us because we live in this post-apocalyptic hell. But why... I why would you pick a woman who needs so much more <laughs> energy uh, in terms of k calories why no it, it completely lost aiden that. aiden that's your internal <laughs> misogyny talking yeah i, I feel like you just excuse morning. me stop being so misogynistic on your own species okay oh, i expected this from, from you species <laughs> <laughs> Yes, women are a different species to me. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that is oh, very true. Can, can like, confirm. You, you can sort of imagine it. What's what's that? Horizon Zero Dawn, right? It's about this mm -hmm. like lady, and and she's um like on the outskirts of the of the tribes, and so she has to go it alone. And it would sort of make sense why you know she would be the character to do that and get super buff. But Abby's always joined by a group of people with guns anyway. So like, what is the motivation to get super swole? Compared to everyone else, like, people argue. she shows up with a group of eight to take on Joel. People argue it's because she question. wants to hunt down and kill Joel. It's like that's not even in the game. There's no scene where she's like, "I'm getting buff to get that fucker," you know, like that sort of thing. There's nothing. Yeah. It's just, oh yeah, I've just been getting buff. You're like, oh. But no, that sir historian raises a really good point. If she, if her goal was to kill Joel, getting swole wouldn't be that. Like maybe getting fit so she could run. Oh, and then you better be careful. Really... You're dangerously close to rhyming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, oh, indeed. Um, but getting really good with her guns, aiming, practicing, because yes. like guns happen to be far more lethal than muscles. Mm, lies. Saying, you know? Lies. Can I tell you what, uh, what? I think martial art movies have clearly disproved that. No, Rags, we watched something recently. The most lethal is to have a gun that shoots dinosaurs at people. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> what get what was that? <laughs> we we watched we watched Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Oh my god. And I can safely say it is one of the worst movies I've ever watched in my life. Wait, is there a gun in that movie that shoots the, dinosaurs? They the ultimate <sighs> de design is to have a gun that shines a laser at someone and you press a button and the dinosaur will will attack the person you've shined a laser at. Now it's a laser pointer. I need you yeah, to so... think for five seconds about what alternate I... things you could do if you were aiming a gun at someone and you've got them on a laser pointer. Is there yeah, any other so... action you could take? <laughs> Yeah, so like know, as guys. some of you might know. not know this, but I as a firearms know. enthusiast I myself, I also have guns that have laser pointers on them, and Me. bad I can make bad things happen to whatever the laser is pointing at. It, it's also can not you make like weapons attack them or something. Well, I don't know. You got to make well. it inconspicuous, you know, make it look like an accident. <laughs> yeah. like, it wasn't me. The dinosaur <laughs> just came out of nowhere and mauled the guy. It's weird. Yeah, I didn't shoot him. <laughs> well, I mean, well, it, you should have been there, guy. In Portland, they've been actively putting laser pointers into cops' eyes to try and blind them. That alone would uh, kind of mess your stuff up. Imagine they had a dinosaur gun. Yeah, if you had a dinosaur gun, that's way better. <laughs> and I, Sounds I like point a based movie. That, uh, I don't know, guys. Sounds Aiden, pretty based. Aiden and Weekend Warrior both halves on the screen, but they're both the correct halves. I don't know how it happened, but you could oh, yeah. Yeah. make them both out. Hell yeah, Aiden! High five, virtual well, yes, let's, let's high five all the way through it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, because any of the other people getting cut in half would, would just, it would work. This is, yeah. this is one hell of a coincidence. EFAP is poorly written. This, this is a Christmas miracle. Halloween miracle. We've cut off the... Oh, Actually, yeah. The yeah. Christmas, yeah. Miracle. <laughs> Christmas as miracles. There you mm. go. Wow. Halloween has point, death, people. decay, Get destruction, and pissed. excitement. <laughs> actually does have access to regular meals and a fitness regimen. Narratively, of course, the game establishes that Abby spent the past few years specifically training herself physically for the task of wreaking revenge on Joel. No, it doesn't. 
She there's never anything for that. She it, 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 it almost comes I, across she just fucking happened to do it. Yeah. I mean, to be okay, to you can be infer fair to the it, game, but like, maybe I'm wrong. Is like, there a scene oh, where she says that shit or is it just in No, food? no, she she says once that, "Hey, I benched 185." And Owen goes, "No way." And then after I know, that, right? we're no supposed way. to assume for that no she becomes a behemoth. We're supposed to assume from from that line that, oh, okay. Like, that, that that would be a game I would have preferred. The campaign of her <laughs> building yourself up, and she actually like does dangerous, semi dangerous things in aid of like preparing for the task mm -hmm. of finding and killing Joel, and that she knows that her team will never let her do it, so she's gonna have to break away from them as well. Like I feel like you could make a really interesting campaign out of that. Um, but never What's mind. What's the, the modern version of Wii Fit? I, I can't remember what it's called. The, the Ring Wii. Fit. Ring, the Ring Fit. Fit. It's just you have to yeah. get get bulked with Abby. Abby oh, discovers the only Burst working Nintendo Wii in the world, and she uses it to go on a journey of working. But you'd think that they would have focused a little harder on that, right? The whole, like, she's this way because she's been, like, crafted over time by a desire for vengeance, as opposed to... No. Hopefully people will pick it up, I guess. <laughs> No, Mahler. She just think... bumps into him during winter, and she just kills him in the beginning of the game. Th oh. That's it. <laughs> All right. I think it's even like just a bad inference to make because it doesn't seem to draw on anything. It, like yeah. your only reference would be just connecting two well, disparate elements. Yeah, because you and you'd be like, what about counter references? Like, well, the fact that when she they find out Joel is a thing, she's like surprised, and she tells mm -hmm. people like, oh shit, we got a thing on Joel. It's like so. Were you just were you just bulking up just in case this whole time? Is it a hobby? <laughs> Apparently, like <laughs> if I bump into Joel, I want to be strong enough to beat his ass. Like, to me, it looks like it's just a hobby, but like, well, no, I mean, that ain't, that's that's more than a hobby. I, I, I know, I know, that's a but... lifestyle. <laughs> she does live in a post-apocalyptic zombie hellscape, so I, I guess it doesn't make sense as to why you would want to be as strong as possible. Yeah, there's so right? many benefits. Oh. Yeah, sure. Oh the, yeah, she just the, the, the whole thing is she wouldn't look. Doing it, I guess just look at Sarah Connor from T two. That's what she should end up looking like. Really yeah. lean and tough. The muscles mm -hmm. are just it's what, it's what you'd end up with instead of to get a, a woman's <laughs> arms to these levels of thickness. It's like damn, you got to get some shit going. Sarah Connor is a perfect um, comparison because it's like okay, we look at a woman in a in a very desperate situation. Yeah, she actually did it, too. Like, she, she's a, a real man. Yeah, exactly. A real man. <laughs> Sarah Connor is a real man. <laughs> yes. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Everyone should watch T2. It's really awesome. Just saying. On top of that, we see very early in the game that the settlement Abby lives in has a fully functioning. Can he please decide if he's going to argue in favor of it being completely realistic, or that we shouldn't care whether or not it's realistic? No. Mm. <laughs> you can't have he, both. Because, yeah, he has proposed an argument that defeats exactly what I'm saying here, which is that lol, it's a zombie game, why does it matter? Uh... That's what I mean, man. Like, you got, what do you believe, Jim? Do you believe we shouldn't care about it, or do you believe that it is realistic and so caring about it is important and that it works? Five seconds before this line, he said it's a stupid zombie mushroom game, and now here's how it's going. <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, they're, they're ridiculous to try and take this realistically. Here's all the evidence that I will now be presenting for why it can be taken and should be taken <laughs> yeah. realistically. General agricultural system. You know, farms and shit. She's eating fucking burritos part way through. That's an argument oh, against it, not for it. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> no, guys. Fucking burritos. The burritos have all the protein she needs, you know. They're just Obviously. like shoving protein powder into the burritos. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, what are you talking God. about? Calories are calories, right? <laughs> I feel sorry for that poor starving child. She's like, no, oh, I mean... look at that. Look at, look at the dude to the, to the back to the right there. It's like, fuck you for taking an extra burrito. That's fucked up. <laughs> That was my best burrito days. That is the post-apocalypse. That burrito is all I've been looking forward to. <laughs> and that, and that cook is like, damn, you just took three? Okay. Like, holy I guess, shit. Uh, I worked, like, no. no time on those. Hey, look at the size the of that dude. Is... The chef's arm, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the funny thing about that scene, Weak. everyone hates Manny. Yeah. Like, yeah, fuck Manny, so. What do you mean? Manny has a father who's got arthritis. Oh, my God. Uh, 
Oh no. It makes me feel oh, bad I for feel his bad father, for not for Manny. Well, yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, well. Manny's also a ladies man for some reason. Oh, oh. he has a character. Oh. oh. Oh, he likes the dog. Oh. 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 Dude, when he, when he gets his head shot off, it's such a just like, oh. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, like, oh. Thank <laughs> you. So, this is for me. At that point in the game, I was like, okay, game, you do like oh, me I a just... little bit, don't you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she could have seen it coming. How does she know that those burritos aren't bigot burritos? Oh. <laughs> that, that's concerning. Because, you know, yeah, that, that's who, a, that's who would a eat point. a bigot burrito? Well, no, Abby not... eats nothing but bigot burritos. And, and Ellie would have turned out like Abby if she ate the bigot sandwiches. Yes. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. I want to know how she knows they're not rat burritos. Well, they're okay. they're wrapped. No rat, as a as in oh. Mickey Mouse burritos. Well, if it's good, rats, Mickey Mouse burritos. Are we right. finding <laughs> stadium rats for our burritos? <laughs> I I'm also disappointed with the depiction of this game's um, the farmland to people ratio. It's almost like the people who made this game know absolutely nothing about farming. <laughs> Hey. Like or, about to, or about workouts in general also. And they have a people gym, think you could make a, a five by five Minecraft wheat field and it will just <laughs> it, it will just keep a population thriving and alive. Yeah, like you wouldn't care you... you wouldn't cut you totally wouldn't cover every possible tillable piece of soil and food. Yeah, all you need is is just a couple I mean, have you seen have a the, um, the past? <laughs> Did you see the Chaz Garden and stuff that they set up in yeah, the Yeah, it's basically I mean, Chaz Garden. That's, that's this, Gar basically. Garden. In so many quotes. Garden. Yeah, there's, there, there are gardeners throughout this world that are cringing at you. I mean, we that. need to be garden it because it's all we've got. Oh, shit. Through the game, just after asking what's for lunch to indicate that they have, if not a fully balanced diet, then lunch? certainly a diverse enough. No, 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 There is a comment. She says burritos again. Gentlemen, burritos. Burritos again. Burritos are a fully balanced diet. Fully balanced diet, my ass. I don't know if you guys have had a food stuff. It's unbalanced because some days they don't have burritos, which is technically an imbalance. <laughs> so, I just—he would have—he—he's lying. Like he would have played the scene. There would have been no, the moment he... where they say like, "Oh, burritos again." The implication being like, "Yeah, we don't have the greatest variety of food here." Then he's like, "They have a fully balanced diet." <laughs> no, they well, don't. Let's be fair. To Jim, it probably is a fully balanced diet. It's got carbs. <laughs> It's got meat, the end, balanced. <laughs> Enough one to where they're eating different stuff. On top of all that... Eating different stuff equals <laughs> balanced <laughs> diet. What right. a great, great image, <laughs> too, to put. Ugh. She's hungry! She's I'm hungry, the burritos! <laughs> <laughs> but Abby's role in the settlement is a physical one. She goes out, patrol... <laughs> You know, oh my god, what a disgusting one. image, though. She's, so when she's I got a physical at, role, she oh goes god. out. So the, the body of a hiker <laughs> she goes out. is going to be though. a bit different than the body of an abbey. Look, you know, like if you go out hiking to the Grand Canyon and stuff like that, and you just take a look at all the people that you see, they're not going to look like abbey. No. Yeah, I don't know, Google hiker, and uh, Google hiker woman, and I guarantee they're probably going to be slim right. and 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 fit and, and yeah they're lean but they're strong lean. and built for yeah. endurance and stamina and you know carrying stuff on their back and not tiring out they're not going to be what abby's not a big fucking hole hey, i'm uh, scrolling right. google images as we speak and there's not one that looks like abby oh my i'm so shocked wait you're this telling me of uh, all the people who do the well. exact same job she does none of them look like her and therefore this point is moot what are you what 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 no, what? No way! Stop that! Racist, what? abusive. Uh, on top of all that, Abby's role in the settlement is a physical one. She goes out, patrols, all physical things are the same. Entire job. To Jim Sterling, I guess. I was going to say, Again, going outside that's quite a physical task. You have to admit. For Jim, for Jim, <laughs> for Jim. that's a major <laughs> yeah. task. I can it's imagine just... Jim Sterling at the front door, trying to turn the knob. <laughs> oh, did you... <laughs> <laughs> Holy didn't you recently? 
he recently moved to like Atlanta or something, didn't he? He moved to the South and, and as a Brit bong, apparently he, he's completely suffering from the heat. I remember watching some video of him just just suffering from it being warm outside. Oh, <laughs> Which, oh, I'm the beginning of this video had a skit of him complaining of it being so hot. So <laughs> oh, yeah, the beginning yeah, of this very video. Part. His face was melting. Yeah. This is the Jim's curling activity scale, guys. So going out is like <laughs> top tier. <laughs> I just a lot of work. he really shouldn't yeah. have said because he, he goes on to say fights and patrols. It's like you should have just gone with that. You shouldn't have said she goes yeah. out. Going like, out. Oh, <laughs> well, just guys, please let's be fair. Remember what it's like to go out as Jim Sterling. You gotta put on your whole suit and all your buttons and your mm. big yeah. uh, steampunk hat. Right. It's gotta be hot. I'm a dance, That's I'm a true. Dance job is physical she is fed and even if even if that's not enough to 100 percent explain how I muscular she research in it i'm really disappointed it's quite a long video oh, that's so... a research. look at Abby oh, eating that. no look, or no, look, look at, at ellie's Ellie. face like i don't know it's she, looks like she's she, she's having a moment <laughs> Maybe it's like maybe Abby it. or mm. Ellie's thinking if I oh. if I eat a part of her I will become as buff as yeah. her. Exactly. That's the it. Biggest, <laughs> the biggest secret she's eating. You are what it. you yeah. eat, right? <laughs> Make me strong flesh. Seriously, her arms are so big. I'm surprised she can't just close and Ellie's head pops off. Like you just, just no, do it. No, that's the oh, that's another problem with the boy. Abby boss fight. It's so unrealistic that yeah, the fight you, even lasted that long. The second that you get tangled in a physical conflict is over like abby should be yeah, able to just her? crush ellie yeah yeah just pile driver ellie and gg it's did anybody like, play that section like happy like yay i get to play as the character defeating ellie like why would why I are you doing this well oh, i got i got into a twitter con conversation with a person that actually likes the last of us 2 but she did not like that part of the game like I think everyone who even like The Last of Us 2 don't doesn't like the part where you have to fight Ellie as Abby. Right. Uh, again, so I, I agree with you. Uh, psychologically, again, it's counterintuitive. You're set up so much to identify with this one main character and see the other character as a villain, even if they give her a backstory and force you to play as her. The, the backstory is placed so far after all the terrible stuff that she mm -hmm. did that no matter what they could possibly do you are set up inherently as a participant to view this character negatively and then they make you play as her there is no at that point there is no incentive as a player as a participant to want the character you are playing as to win it, it is counterintuitive to every aspect of gameplay from from a gameplay and psychological point of view it is counterintuitive I a lot of sexist, deep. abusive language. That's yeah. why it's ingenious. Yeah. Yeah, it because converted your <laughs> contemplations or whatever. Yeah, because you see the bad guy has a motivation, and that's deep, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. That So our game is a meaningful experience, even though it doesn't make sense. Thank you, The Last of Us Part Two, directed by Neil Druckmann. Also, this, this image on the previous one, the... The teeth and like gum from from Abby really remind me of Internet Historian's avatar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this, this freeze frame right yeah, here—it's a, it's a bad gum ratio. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, um, what we've paused on right now. Hmm. If Abby was a guy, this would be depicting sexual assault. Oh yeah. Well, oh, I thought the red on your avatar was lips. It is well. <laughs> yes. Oh, look. oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. No, it's not the gums. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. She's yeah, just coming on her gum. Yeah. We tried it before. Yeah. I had to rearrange yeah. my entire worldview. I just wanted to. Make sure, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. PSA. Yeah. No, it's not the gums. Oh God! Now I can't stop seeing it that way. Oh, somebody in chat said Abby historian. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my God. That that's a good oh, point no. though. In that, did they make the villain Abby? Because if they made uh, the villain a man who had all the same characteristics of Abby, it would be sexist or rape or whatever. Is that really the mm. onus of this decision? I don't know. It wasn't. Uh, didn't people say in concept Abby used to be? Um, uh, she was definitely a girl still, but um, I think she was black as well. Like that used to. That was like the first. Oh, you can't. But, um, <laughs> but the doctor. That would make people mad. No, 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 no. But if they'd made a a white male after that, that would have been. Oof. That would just. 
damn. I feel like it actually would have, if this is the point they want to go with, um, I, I feel like making her a white man probably would have actually sold their message better. I, I don't understand it. It's still more explanation than any other video game gives for any other body type in any other fucking in video. Wait, Gears of wait. War. Gears of War. Oh. <laughs> yes, where we think that it, that is insanely silly. Yes, no, we, uh, we've all we've all accepted this years ago. Yeah, we they, just they, roll with yeah. it. You know it's, that it's, space marines are very unrealistic body type. We, no, and also. Even though you have an explanation, the explanation is bad. I was so gonna say, I why, why are we celebrating their shitty bonus. explanation? It's like, oh, but they, yeah, they so sort of tried. It's like, what? In Gears <laughs> of War, I always thought in Gears of War that it was just a universe of like these like chungus people. I was just like, why are they? <laughs> why do they look this way? They all have tree trunk necks and stuff. It's super far into the future as well, isn't it? Well, well, I mean, in a sci-fi setting, it's just almost taken for granted that there would be an advanced technology that would help people get buff, and it's not that hmm. much of a, you know, thing. It's like, but, yeah, um, okay. That's well, I want to clarify, Gears of War is not, a, like, a game that's like, we are grounded and realistic. It's like, nah, the game's often absurd. It's no, fun it's as fuck. It's very silly. But it's I, good, but it's very silly. Oh, so guys, silly. it has burritos for people, okay? <laughs> I know. So that makes it make sense. They decided to feed their things. army a pure burrito diet. But, <laughs> but I guess, I, again, I would compare it to, to 40k, right? Where, like, it would be getting mad that all of the space marines in 40k are super buff when there is... And it's not so much... They're not even but, human. They're no, not they're not. They're, they're genetically engineered to be that way. And as far... I mean, everyone is like that in Gears. You just so just why would space you just burritos. Do? That it's oh that's it space burritos excuse me yeah that's what all those new organs are just there to pr process the space burritos that's what they, they, they need to be extra indeed. extra thick to process those space burritos I just find it amusing that he's referencing Gears of War it's just like, of all things really okay. the thing that we all agree is very silly forever for how wide everyone is uh, yeah. no Marcus <laughs> Marcus Phoenix is the most realistic game character ever invented yes I've never seen a neck that's actually thicker than the face but you know <laughs> there, there you go yeah. there. he's two people stapled together <laughs> there's another smaller person inside of him oh, wait. Yeah. using Marcus as like a oh, flesh mech like the, um, in Men in Black in Men in Black where there's a the little alien inside <laughs> <laughs> what's the argument yeah. this time though if we if we're going after a dude saying all this stuff do we are we bigoted to oh god what's happening we, yes. we, oh no we screwed it it's up there's a simple out be bigoted towards everyone oh, right. there you hell, go. Yeah. hell yeah video game and it's still <laughs> just a fucking video game and the last of us part two did uh, so much visual game. and literary legwork uh, here yeah. that disbelief should be more than fully suspendable unless no. you're actively Surely we all agree. No, it's that, not. I don't yeah. think you're the arbiter of when, disp yeah. when disbelief yeah. is suspendable. I'm not even the arbiter very, of my own suspension of disbelief. It's very well, subjective. When we do research, when we do research on suspension of disbelief, we ask the participant, "Was your belief suspended? Like, did you feel <laughs> as if you were you were transported? It's called narrative transportation. Did you feel as if you were transported into another world? We don't just assume. We ask the participant in the in the post hoc test. That's how this research is conducted. Dumb fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> want to draw attention to historians' avatar there. It's a it's a scary side. It's it's the vagina from teeth. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at it sideways. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no. Have, look at these suspensions of disbelief as a necessity, though. It's not. It feels like in this game, it's just been put in arbitrarily. What? I agree you with the I mean? vagina I mean, with teeth, guys. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm I'm stuck all the way back. As someone says, yeah, I I I was pulled out of it. And then Jim goes, no, you weren't. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Jim should be the arbiter. Sorry, of that. my bad. But, uh, right? Historian, you're you're right. Like, absolutely, people get belief. Their belief is suspended all the time. That's an inherent and natural part of media. It just because people's uh, suspension of disbelief wasn't activated in this particular media only means that this media was a failure. That's all it means. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
He seems so convinced that people wouldn't criticize a male character that suddenly got buff without any explanation. It's like, no, of course we would. Because yeah. that would be unrealistic as well. Yeah, and, and in this case, we'd be like, point to him. Point to him in The Last of Us 2. Find that person. And you'd be like, uh, mm. <laughs> okay, fine. Abby is the most buff human in the world of The Last of Us 2. That is a bit strange. Fine. You're like, yes, Jim. Did it. Did it. Though you would never say that, so trying to be upset which let's be honest is what the people still performing their crusade for realism are i mean how else do you explain oh, really? this almost oh, deliciously audacious realism. stretch where one highly educated doctor found abby's in-game workout schedule and used it as proof that abby shouldn't exist the schedule by the way is not a major plot point didn't or... he just use this as proof yeah. he, he, he brought it oh up my God. this is oh, what i yeah. mean i'm really confused what's happening so you you he have him bringing up this information to defend his points and then someone defies them with like facts and logic and he's like wow look at you sad nerd. look out look out look yeah how silly no, he's they literally are. said the only reason that you would go to such lengths is to be angry it's like what no i'm explaining to you why i'm it he acts like all of these things are just stuff that we can control first off like i can just control my own suspension of disbelief like it's a switch that i could just flick on and off and now i believe things which, by the way, you literally can't. It is yeah, a, a, a paracognitive. It is a paracognitive function. You cannot control um, it. I will say you can influence it by how much you know. The more I've yeah, learned about, absolutely. say, absolutely. physics and history and stuff, um, mm -hmm. my uh, suspension of disbelief is far more fragile whenever I see something inaccurate. But like it goes swords. into again uh, narrative transportation, which is this this idea that you are transported into the world of a narrative. And we we found that like really high IQ people and and people who are very well educated can be transported into a completely fictional and crazy world that that defies all the laws of of logic and physics because it has a uh, logically consistent uh, world. And th and that's completely possible, but you have to be logically consistent. <laughs> Internal consistency? What is this? A, a fantasy, apparently. Why is, finding this, why is finding this schedule suddenly a bad thing? <laughs> well, he did it, and now it's, so, like, it's not I'm cool so to do it. so confused. That's what I mean. Anything. No, it is good and it's not bad. Anything. <laughs> it's a background asset, uh, something yes. cobbled together for the scenery. Like You brought it oh up as a defense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've never, I don't even know that we've come across this before. Yeah. Someone trots out a piece of information, says, look at this. It gets shat on. They're like, why would you bring it up? You're like, but you <laughs> brought it. What? 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 I, I, I don't know what to do. It's just a no, bit of background asset. It's not important, according like, to Jim. Wait, yeah, this, for real, why did he bring it up in the first? He brings it up. This is not the first time. This is the <laughs> third time he's brought it up. He, he has brought it up three times. One uh, time to support it, essentially, and then now to defend it, essentially, or, or, or discount it. I'm it picturing, like, sense. he is a stage. He trots it out, then he runs into the audience and boos it. <laughs> 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 Throwing tomatoes at it. It's like, what the fuck? If, if a fitness... So apparently, like, a fitness expert looked at this regime and said, well, you can't get that buff that way. But no, discount that, because... This game's not about realism, but it's totally about realism. But it's not about realism, but it's totally about realism. What the hell? <laughs> mm. Are you, Eden, are you saying that Jim De Sterling doesn't really have a point? No. I would never say such a and, thing. And to just, <laughs> re just to reiterate something that um, Aiden <laughs> brought up already, is that that workout routine, it seems like the guy that was querying it was basing it on a guy doing that level of workout wouldn't have even achieved it. And therefore, a girl doing that level of workout would have taken even longer and it would have been even more difficult to put on that level of muscle mass. She would have Makes needed to even... rest four days, not three. They replaced all the rest days with arm days. I wonder if it would have worked. I think she just Never forget arm day. destroys herself. <laughs> oh, no, uh, Abby will win because she's Abby. That's, that's right. That's basically it. Oh, like, no, I'm going gonna, gonna to give this one to, to Jim. It's like, <laughs> there's... <laughs> Hold on. There's... there's uh... <laughs> no, because like the, there's a workout regime, right? Yeah. Um, and it shows that Abby works out regularly, so she's got mm -hmm. a big body. And you know, there's people criticizing her for having a big body, and and saying that their workout's unrealistic. But that doesn't matter. 
He's got it. No, what? I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced. Hang, 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 hang on, hang on. What does it matter? Good Work argument. Out routine doesn't matter. Well, I just like we're gonna get to ten. Two plus two, four plus four, eight plus four, ten. Two plus two equals five now. Wow. Just, Listen, just, you guys are you just obsessing about math. I can't believe it. I, mean, like, uh. I, I would like to see though. Here's something I really want to see. Somebody go take the Abbey workout and do it for like, I don't know, do it for a year and see the kind of results you get and see if you start getting jacked like that. Uh, I would be sus. It's not just about the physical, it's about the spiritual as well. You have to have the motivation of a good father. <laughs> you have to and work the, out your will for revenge for it to work. Oh, yeah. The, the revenge fuels her power. Oh, to, no. To Abby be, gave into the dark side. Ripped. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. It makes sense now. Yes. Round that Thank you, Internet Historian. And it was historian. by no means intended to be paid attention to. But wankless wonders <laughs> stuffed you paid attention to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> this video wow, not did real. He, did he insult us by calling us wankless? That is transphobic. Wow. Wow, exactly. it really, I'm wow. extremely offended. Oh my god. As For someone anything, who does have a wank, I... I... I it, so rags, do we? Rags, piss, so we're literal, rags, we're literal rags, wankers, piss, but we're also the wankless wonders. I, I'm so confused. I, mean, I don't know what wank. I'm doing. Person of wank. How? That's what you're supposed to say. That's Person the Person of wank. Thank you, Jesus. These wonky, wacky, literal wanker, wankless wonkers. Whoa. Willy Wonker in the Willy Wonklet Wonker. factory. I don't know. <laughs> The wanking factory, oh no. The wonklet factory. I don't think that the wonking factory is, is safe for children. That wasn't chocolate in that river. Hey, fucking, ah! the children went safe in the regular factory. They got drowned That's and true. shit. For the scenery, like background assets are, and it was by no means intended to be paid attention to. But wankless wonders stopped oh, hey. for anything. You know when video games put things into the game that you're not supposed to pay attention to? I love that. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a weird choice. Like, the guy who made it and popped it in there, he was like, hope nobody sees this. Oh, man. <laughs> I, hope no one, yeah, I hope no one notices all these models and all these textures and these animated and, and characters the that we put in in this area. Oh. Hundreds of thousands of hours that underpaid employees put in to make all this crap? No, don't pay any attention to that. Oh, we should have just made this a wall, but I don't know what I was thinking, making mm -hmm. it like an entire... The most bizarre shit. Someone shins, hand like... wrote that schedule as well. Did you notice it was like handwriting in all those little boxes? I uh -huh. the most I detail. Detail. <laughs> no, ignore, the most ignore that wall? detail, man. Just It's just background it's just shit. Details, Why are you paying like attention so. to that? Like... Usually this kind of thing gets praised. Sure, in here it's not working because, you know, it's not enough. But, like, usually... Even if you even if you don't know it's not enough, say like do people normally praise this sort of thing, like ah, nice little detail that justifies something in the in the thing. No, are mm. we supposed to ignore these? Uh, oh, well, he brought yeah. it up to make fun oh, of us geez. for noticing who brought it up. It's particularly My egregious because it's Jim Sterling, right? Who who has continually fought for the rights and for the respect of people who work on video games. And when he comes in here and goes like, whatever about all this stuff, <laughs> it, it completely delegitimizes all the work that went into it, right? I think mm -hmm. you, you would expect someone like Jim Sterling to have certain opinions and positions about games based on the fact that he has been talking about games and is interested in the industry for as long as he's been. But you actually listen to him talk about this stuff and you just be lost. Like, do you do you know uh, do you know anything about games or don't you? I don't under. Hey, he's been playing it's them like professionally for like fifteen years. So <laughs> fuck you, you wankless a... wonder. Oh, thing vaguely resembling a bullet for their logic gun. People who must have been scouring the game for weeks what? trying to find anything. What are you talking Wait. about? <laughs> Wait, you're gonna Wait, you rewind this you little more. It's, it's halfway through a sentence, and I'm lost. A lot. No, logic it... bullet. For your... So what he's doing now is the thing he used to defend his argument, he's using it now to strengthen his argument well, by dismissing uh, it the because, it's, well, because it's logical. The, the, <laughs> what the fuck? 
The meme format we can go with is the one where it's like, this is mine now. So it's like, look what I made. And then the guy, so, so like, Jim's like, look what I found. And the guy picks it off him and goes, I found this. And then Jim's like, wow, you fucking nerd. Look at you. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand I what's this. happening in this meme. It's so confusing. Anything to back up their laughable anger. Have leapt on this throwaway meaningless asset as if it's pure argumentative dying. You were you! It for your argument. What do you mean? No, and the funny thing is, <laughs> this is he's surreal. right. It actually does go against Abby's physique in the game, and he's just well, dismissing it. It would be so I like don't... a gun fires, you know, fucking twenty bullets, and then Rags is like, "Wait, does the model and make allow it to fire 20 And we get the records, and it says twenty-one. And I go, "Ha ha! It can fire 20 And then Rags is like, "No, that's the wrong make and model. This one is the one. It's sixteen. And I go, "Wow, you fucking nerd! Like what?" <laughs> Why do you care so much, you fucking weirdo? It's like, what, it, it's only fair when it benefits you? It's like, okay. No, th that is the sound of someone who has lost the argument and just like, oh, you're an idiot. And he was, they I don't can't believe in the recourse. same video that he was using it to benefit him, <laughs> and as soon as it's like proven wrong, he's like, no, fuck it. It's like this, this video was made in real time, because he was like, it's working, it's working. <laughs> oh, it's not working anymore. Fuck this argument. Well, I get that kind of vibe from a lot of Jim's videos, that they're made very much in real time without a lot of, like, uh, you know... Uh, Redrafting? <laughs> yeah, but he just kind of stays <laughs> off the cuff. It's not an excuse, it's not an excuse, but it does explain some of the weirdness of it. Dynamite. The image shows she does not work on her arms to the capacity. What is wrong with this statement? What is wrong yeah, with exactly. this statement? No, he's just dismissing it because that would destroy his argument. It's all that that's shit about if, doing. If angry you say it in a whiny way, then the argument crumbles. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Saying something in a silly way means it must be dumb. Yeah, it's oh. argument Therefore, I win. Yeah. Especially if argument, you're too. dressed like a French aristocrat. Anything you say must be absolutely ridiculous. I think a lot of this does come down to, I don't mean to be mean again, but I think a lot of this does really boil down to the fact that Jim has probably never worked out in his life. And I don't mean to be mean, but I think there's some physical evidence to suggest that that wow. might be realistic. Well, I'll have you know, he considers the VR system as a whole to be privileged goggles because people who are very fat can't use them very efficiently. What? Really? What? You guys need and to watch EFAP 50, okay? You guys, everyone's gonna watch mm -hmm. EFAP 50. This, this is like his best video ever. He, he's like, it's unfair that you have to move around when using VR. He says that? <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Oh, God. This, oh, dear. There are many Wait, memes why, about privileged why goggles. Why physical... Wait, his physical inability to to do the thing that the thing was made to do makes the thing bad? We we, we went yeah, through all of this. Know. All of sports have to be privileged sports, I guess. Because uh, anyone without <laughs> legs might have trouble doing certain sports. Uh, so basketball gym? is bad because the, the, the ring is too high, so what I you can't mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Privileged ball. Privileged <laughs> ball. How about... Let, let me tell you... Some, some real research. This is some real shit, Jim Sterling. Uh, data have evidenced thoroughly that people who are burn victims and suffer from constant pain as a result of their burns when they are in, uh, injected into a vr environment and put into an environment that looks cold and cool actually experience less pain so get fucked well we had um when we were covering that on efap 50 someone sent in that they like uh lost a, i believe it's um marcus cyborg i think is his name it, um, it, it can help with, with all kinds of recovery therapy it's well, an he's... incredible tool He's he lost he's lost a leg and he loves VR and it's just like Jim stop. <laughs> like Jim's this, is, <laughs> this reminds me of the, the I'm, I'm aware of some data, huh? <laughs> it's another guy. No, I was I was <laughs> talking saying I I remember some data that seems to show that whenever I'm injected into an environment full of Jim Sterling videos, my pain actually <laughs> increases. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get this noted down for science. Check the numbers. <laughs> Capacity an average woman would need two Thursdays, four times every two months. Is he like really annoyed because they're talking about fitness schedules, like yeah. uh, accurate ones? Is he just like, fuck yes. that? Do you remember I that? cannot. Do you guys remember that video of the woman who beats a weighing scale to death with a hammer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And she was like, this isn't true, while well, she's visibly having difficulty hammering the weighing scale. Breathes heavily intensifying. 
Yeah. I just think it's, it's really worth it. It was beautiful and brave. Yeah. It's worth Stunning mentioning even. that in all the all the videos that we've covered on EFAP, never have I seen someone more out of their element than Jim Sterling talking about workout schedules. Yeah, and, and I think it's an EFAP first for someone to trot out evidence in their favor, recognize it doesn't work for them, and then disparage the information being used. I've never seen that before. Wait, this is Wait, doesn't Jim Sterling have a wrestling thing? Yeah, yeah. His whole, his whole quote shtick, unquote wrestling. His shtick though is that he's a big fat fuck. That's his oh. wrestling shtick. Oh, good job. So he doesn't really work out then. No, because he doesn't it, compete in actual wrestling. Yeah, it's not like UFC or anything. Oh, oh could you imagine? <laughs> Joe wrestling. He they he's they Joe punch him and it gets stuck inside of his. Uh, never mind. His, uh... <laughs> Stuck inside gun? of his never mind. <laughs> Go ahead, Aiden. What were you going to say? I just called it a gunt, that's all. Oh. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. That's so weird. <laughs> oh, no. The English language is beautiful. Shut up. <laughs> it's, a, it's not a rude word, okay? Additionally, <laughs> food is rationed. <laughs> uh, huh. That's, that's where we are with this shit. Some you boys out there it. are so eager, so frothingly, gleefully eager to invalidate mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. existence of even a fictional woman. Th good, what do you want? What how do that? we invalidate the existence of a fictional woman, Jim? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't know how to do that. And he really so has no argument here. He's just like, me. he reads out no, a logical he, he argument, went. and he's like, that's where we are, guys. That's where we are. It's like, logical <laughs> arguments. No. So, He's okay, let's appreciate wonders. Let's appreciate what Jim Sterling did, okay, guys? What he said was, there was a doctor or a fitness expert that went, oh, her workout doesn't make sense for her to be that fit. And then Jim goes, oh, you don't like this woman in the video game. That's what he did. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I'm still Where stuck at... I? What does he mean, <laughs> yeah. invalidate her existence? She's not yeah. real. That doesn't even... Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's very insensitive for you to invalidate her fictional existence. Um, oh my god, how dare you? <laughs> you guys are just acting dare like you? Harry Potter isn't real or something. I'm definitely lost I on this. I can't believe it. Real? Oh my god. Oh, you how validated you? Harry Potter's existence. That is so offensive to the existence impaired. When you say that Harry Potter isn't real, Daniel Radcliffe suffers. He's like, eh. <laughs> Oh, Every time you say that Harry Potter isn't real, Daniel Radcliffe appears in another horse fucking film. Well, Daniel Radcliffe oh. can Swiss Army his ass over here and tell me about it if he needs to, all right? I've, I know that movie. Putting mm. down background images and zooming in and enhancing them like they're in a Tom Clancy fucking... Like a workout routine on a wall, literally, for instance, zooming in back and clipping it. <laughs> <laughs> like the work, like the workout routine that you yourself used earlier in the we're getting, video. Hmm. We're getting to parody because he's he's like they did CSI shit. It's like they took a screenshot. Okay, <laughs> that's in the game. <laughs> I don't like. Yeah, I'm getting. Wait, he's literally, he's literally at the point of the you're doing the stupid thing now. The it's like what? if Is if that, that... Where your argument has come to where you're just gonna belittle the other side and say if look this... how stupid you are for going all this effort. It's like. If the schedule benefited him, this wouldn't be in his video. He'd just be talking about yeah. how they don't understand reality. Yep. Don't look at the video game too closely. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> Everyone wants me to Goodell, but are you asking me to Goodell the the whole... When you... <laughs> What's the most absurd character that I could say you're invalidating their existence? Happy. <laughs> oh, absurd go. character to invalidate the existence of? Like Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like it would be like a fictional character in a fictional game. It would be like oh, not um, even a character, Kevin a fictional Spacey. creature. Uh, Kevin Spacey uh, in that one uh, Call of Duty game. I don't know. Star Ocean Three. Star Ocean Three. Everyone in Star Ocean Three is a fictional character within the Star Ocean game. Oh my god! Aiden, spoilers! Oh my god! <laughs> spoilers! Oh my god! That, that's spoilers. Chat. Aiden oh, just spoiled the plot of Star Ocean Three. <laughs> Twenty-year-old game. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I was really shocked. Like, holy shit, that's the plot point of the game. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking book. And all because, despite their sudden and convenient interest in realism, a group of gamers don't find this girl as attractive as other fictional Ew. girls. Oh, we're back to that. No. Okay. Oh. Hello, Doc. Sudden and convenient friend. interest in realism? Screw that. Oh, convenient crap. interest. Really Listen, no, and I don't, and I don't think the people's problem with Abby is her being attractive. It's her being a complete cunt. <laughs> Agree. Well, being can't... evil. Yeah, is the evil. Main problem. Yeah. Naughty Dog spent untold amounts of manpower, dollars, and time in order to make an extremely shockingly realistic depiction of this world, and we're getting we're getting insulted for trying to treat it like a realistic world. Like, really that, that alone ticks me off. Sudden interest in realism. My second last video was exploring the realism of the magic in Avatar The Last Airbender for crying out bloody loud. What do you mean sudden interest in realism? Wasn't uh, the whole point up. of like them, them calling out the names of the other people like, oh, so that it feels like realistic and you feel an impact when you kill you know, these NPCs that don't feel oh, so nameless. Oh, and the oh, reason that they had all this like weird whistling and shit was like this whole other language with specific commands and stuff that uh, that weren't just like at random, but it was to create a sort of sense of realism and an immersiveness in the world. And then just no. sort of snatch that away when it comes to some details. Like the game's trying really hard to be realistic, but you cannot criticize it for not being realistic. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah, like he's it. arguing against a straw man the whole time. Just it's like, who are these people that hate Abby only because of muscles? Point them out. Like, I, I would be if you even search through the depths of the nightmare that is Twitter, I think you would be hard to find people who just say they hate Abby because of her muscles. I don't think you could find a person they hate. It's certainly a Character. Yeah, it's certainly been a point of criticism, but it would not be the only one. The main reason why most people hate Abby is because she killed Joel. She's a terrible person. Yeah, that's well, pretty simple. Yeah, I, 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 like, I would honestly argue to him and be like, oh, people hate her because she's like pure evil. And he's like, what? And I'm like, oh, sorry, I guess I should justify that. Uh, she like sadistically murdered a person. Um, it was kind of fucked up. Uh, she took pleasure in his pain, so, yeah. She sadistically murdered the main character, <laughs> yep. which... Uh, we, we, a game which is presumably i mean i don't know how long the average playtime is of the, the last of us but i would assume it's maybe an 80 60 hour game something like that is it i don't know if it's that long it's been a while since i've played it but um let's say it's a it's a 40 to 60 hour game if you spent that much time getting involved in a character then that's a lot of emotional investment and then to have the character that you have spent 40 to 60 hours becoming invested in just get completely obliterated that's going to have an emotional effect the fact that Naughty Dog doesn't understand that, a game company that, that has a long history of understanding uh, the impact of having a character uh, in, in the form of Nathan Drake, right? Uh, understanding like how important it is to have a character that, that, that plays a role in, in people's emotional um, interaction with the game is just incomprehensible. Yeah, well, I don't well, think it's just challenge. emotion. It's it's like the the narrative structure as well it's it's things not having a payoff it's like when someone starts a sentence and then they don't finish it or it's like um yeah yeah <laughs> you know what i mean it's really like unsatisfying you, you. <laughs> but if you so if you if you spend 20 hours though investing yourself in a story and then at the end it doesn't really come around to a proper conclusion at the end you go well what was the 20 hours for <laughs> yeah well, i mean like spend spend all of your time to this one goal and then don't get it you're like okay. ah, it doesn't matter we got your money uh... well that was no, but... that was what they thought they were doing though right they were like let's challenge the players to gain empathy for this person that they will perceive to be a sadistic horrible person and then you're like it's oh. not just perceiving really is it <laughs> no that's <laughs> another problem with the game can, are we going to talk about the? Can can I talk about the ending for a bit? Because go for it. Please. Because because the dumbest thing about the ending is that the player sees the other side, but the in-game characters do not. So it doesn't make sense for Ellie to make that decision at the end of the game. Yeah, it's weird. But... Yeah, it, it's dumb. In fairness, Joel was playing the guitar. Oh, oh yeah. So he did that, play the that guitar. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, my bad. Weird. Yes, yes, that, Aiden. That's a good point. Is that the the if you're looking at just the, the perspective of the characters, 
they don't have this this omniscient perspective that that is com- yeah that's a really good point man one of the issues yeah, i always have with the game dumb. is abby and ellie yeah, never talk to each other about anything yeah they just and when and when you fight abby she's not sorry that she killed joel she's just telling ellie don't kill me that that's the fight no, stop i don't want to but it's not stop i'm sorry please forgive me so i don't really see why ellie forgave her it's such a dumb ending agreed yeah th- yeah i feel like you're not gonna get much pushback here though you just didn't yeah. get it yeah oh yeah <laughs> didn't understand this, it. this is the last of us 2 had a very high iq ending that you just oh, yeah. you just yeah some I'm have sorry, suggested that these particular Gamer Boy types get violently distressed if they encounter someone they don't want to masturbate to. And that indeed... No! No, no. no that's just a bonus. <laughs> I just, it's, whatever whatever no. works for your video, Jim. Just <laughs> whatever you no, can it's, do. It's no, I... No, why, why is he focused on... He's totally ignoring the narrative problems as to why people have an issue with Abby. Like... So dismissive of yeah. real issues they have. And it's, it, that is really insulting. I, I generally don't find many things insulting, but that's actually really insulting to people's individual agency to say the only reason why you don't like this is because you can't fap to it. Are you freaking kidding me? No. <laughs> That's First off, challenge it. accepted. Oh, sorry, who sues? <laughs> yeah, who sues a con? I, I'm not even sure if you have that capacity. That's that's a tough one, Rags. Good luck with that. Maybe I can go full circle, and <laughs> it's 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 sheer unsexiness. <laughs> Maybe I'll just think of something else, but then uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want you wankless wonder. I'm gonna say yeah. that I could, but I don't want to. His prophecy oh. is for the wank wonder. <laughs> the wank- <laughs> is what this is all for about. This. And I'm not saying that's definitely what's going on. But anyway, who, here's a couple of quotes about Abby. He just said minimal like effort that. on The Last of Us. He's is spreading that all if... over both of his hands. <laughs> like, hey, what man. is he going to do? Like, he's going to, like, rub his hands together like you're trying to start a fire with a stick. Oh, yeah. No rags. No rags. It's that big. That's why he has two hands. That's, <laughs> that's the only reason. Gamer boy types get oh, violently hey, distressed if they encounter someone they don't want to masturbate to. And that indeed pumping out a fat yes. load is what this is all about. And I'm not saying that's definitely what's going on. He really does well, think that this is that we can't masturbate to Abby. Well, that's the problem. That's, isn't insane. It? that's it. He's about to hand out an olive branch. He was just saying, I'm not gonna i I'm not saying something, but then so maybe, but Oh, you say this, this is, is uh, not not yeah. Guaranteed that that's let's the give, problem, let's which give is him a... the benefit of the doubt. He's not going to say it. He contradicted <laughs> himself. He contradicted himself within five seconds. He said, "All of you are only mad because you can't masturbate to Abby." But I'm not saying you're mad because you can't masturbate to Abby. Of course, bro. No, he, he just like, he just seriously though, it. He, he just that is it, a guys. that is a really scummy thing to say. Like, wow. Well, look at all the Way evidence he's been through. What other conclusion is there? I yeah because I masturbated to playing fetch with the dog myself. Oh so hell yeah! It had nothing they, to do with Abby. They had some kind of sexy-ish scenes in there, didn't they? Like they've got a lesbian bit between Dina and um, Ellie. Yeah, but so it's not, not like the game was totally bereft of that stuff. No, the funny thing is the the lesbian scene is more tasteful than the scene with yes. Abby. Yeah, yeah, maybe I jerk I off to the well zombies. Handled. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. So I don't really know why they put the Abby sex scene there, unless it's just really for titillation. Because you could really just cut yeah. it when they kissed, right? Uh, yep. So but they I don't. Didn't. I, I, I really think it's the director's fetish. That's what I think. Because in Uncharted Four, there's also a muscle lady there, guys, and I really think he's just building on that foundation. As Evan just said, they objectified Abby in the game. Yep. Yeah, yeah terrible. they did. Terrible. They could they could have just cut it. I Why don't did I Yeah, like maybe I maybe I want to see that pregnant shit just get fucking <laughs> railed. Maybe that's my thing. Maybe that maybe what that's if... what I like to see. I yeah. mean, well, as it's an historian's brought up, it's like there's no way anyone was wanking to this and that's what made them upset. It's like there was a lesbian scene, but okay. <laughs> but they didn't show. True, but maybe it was enough for some players. You know, it seems like according to Jim that all of them were desperate, so that they'll take anything sort of thing. 
people Elf, who are desperate Geralt. to come play fat the Geralt, last of come us. On. <laughs> Plenty of people's thing would have been Fat Geralt, just saying. But anyway, here's a couple quotes about Abby we found with minimal effort on The oh, Last of Us's go. subreddit. If there's no rule 34 of Abby, does that mean oh, she doesn't Jim exist? Give you the benefit of the doubt. No. Well. Yeah. Oh, so oh so much God. for that. <laughs> no one will. Guys. Oh, so, so guys, I'm not saying that people don't want to fap to Abby. That's why they're mad. So I'm just gonna show some quotes that imply it. Very good, Jim. Oh yeah. No one will good. make loots of her. There is R34 of her in the fucking game itself. Let's not talk about that scene. You know, that's a fair comment. Let's yeah. not. The, the other one was a, yeah, like a straight-up joke. Not, it's, if, please. if a Rule 34 of her doesn't exist, then, wait, go back a tiny bit, what was oh, the exact oh, quote? I can, I can explain it. So, so yeah, uh, the, the joke is that there's a Rule 34 for everything, so if there isn't for Abby, then does Abby exist? Then she doesn't exist. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's just a joke. It's not even saying... Not really saying anything. That's one. Yeah. 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 But in fairness, it, he can interpret it as being, it's denying her existence as a fictional character, which is fucked up. I would say oh, that's more that of an indictment up. against Abby than anything. If there is rule 34 for some, like, not nothing character that's a side thing in some 90s cartoon, I, I, I don't even I'll know. be specific. That new female, uh, <laughs> that new female no, you critter know what from I mean, the... though. There are people who have, like, some, there are people who have crazy obsessions with some side character from a 90s cartoon and have made just pages and pages of pornography related to this thing. But if Abby doesn't have anything, what does that actually say about Abby? I think it does make a bit of a point, right? You I, know I that new that, um that new female Lombax character from the Ratchet and Clank thing? There oh, are, yeah, there yeah. are, there so are currently 742 entries for that character <laughs> on E621. But what's... I, I, don't, I just don't... So she get, doesn't even have a name yet. I don't... Like... I, I do not get the argument uh, because she doesn't have a bunch of deviant artists making stuff about her that makes her not sexy. I, I, I mean, I guess I would say yes, but I, I don't, it is so contradictory because he's saying she's a strong woman who doesn't need to be sexy and she doesn't need to be attractive and she doesn't need to be all this stuff to be a good character, but it's really unfair that there aren't much people freaks on deviant art making porn about her. What dude? I mean, he's just throwing the quote up there, I think, to support that people are obsessed with whether or not she's been, like, sexualized. But it's contradictory. Mm -hmm. if, if, again, if he thinks that she stands as a good character on her own, outside of being sexualized, then why is he mad that she isn't being sexualized? Yeah, I give Jimmy. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Mm. If I was drunk enough, I'd not do it. I'm sure people with muscle fetishes would be very happy. Hey, that's what's wrong with that comment? Hey, there you go. That's funny. Hey, the voice, the voice makes it funny. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't we have to what... make the same argument about the first game because you play as Joel the whole time? Yeah, jo I mean, it's. I just, I don't know what. Come on, Jim. Like he makes sex jokes all the time, and apparently, like, no, nah, this is too far. You fucked it up. Rule 34 will do with Abby. I have my eye bleach ready. This is no Pornhub. We don't post sex. Ow. I don't what even know what that is supposed to be censoring. Probably a... Uh... Tranny dude? Oh, I was... Well, whatever it was, it's a word that isn't allowed, so... <laughs> like, it wouldn't be swear word. Like, your standard swear word, word would have to be... Sorry. I was uh, my last Carol? video. <laughs> my last video got demonetized for saying the word Palestine. So you're really <laughs> welcome to anything you do. We don't wow. post Palestine sex, oh, especially in relation oh, to Rule Thirty Four. The stream is demonetized now. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mauler. It's okay. I, I forgive you. You're in the watch list now, Mauler. Oh no, Jim. He's unironically trying to use obscure minority joke, you know, trolling posts to try and prove that all the people that didn't like Abby is because they couldn't jerk off to her. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And his proof is he got a bunch of comments of people saying, ew, she's not attractive to me. <laughs> Nailed it, Jim. That That's objective, yeah. you know, research there to figure out what the consensus is from a large demographic of people yep. on their reasons for liking a character. I mean, uh, I yes, feel like she's all of a sudden she's super hot to me. I can't, I, I can't explain why, but he must have key convinced me that Abby yes. is super hot. And that means it's now Jim. I like her.
Of course, Good there's job. a transphobic slur tossed in there because Abby has muscles, you oh, see. Tranny. And no muscle girl be allowed in no, game for reason. Oh, yeah, you found someone who thought that she's trans? I, why? First no, off, I, I have no idea why anyone would think that. Um, I can't even blame the guy that even thought she was the trans one first because when you well, yeah. see the sex scene on the internet leaks, she doesn't look like she has boobs. She, it looks like it looks like a chest. I thought it was yeah, deliberately ambiguous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the words of Hideo Kojima, farewell, sausage. Aww. Aww. Real big grown-up man. The very fact Abby isn't skinny and or curvy automatically made her a man in some people's heads. And while I don't like to churlishly throw around people's dating success or lack thereof, I genuinely wonder what some of these people think actual women look like. Um, You've been doing that a bunch uh, already in this video. <laughs> I don't know, man. Why does everybody want to call out no one goes outside? Everyone wants to do it. They're all like, you don't go outside. No, you don't go It's like, look. <laughs> it's, we all... It's, maybe uh, <laughs> Jim is projecting. Maybe he doesn't go outside. Just saying. This is what I mean. Can it's the fit? only thing we have in response. It's like, maybe you don't know what women look like. Oh, got you. <laughs> oh, he thinks no. that she's like not at all an unusual looking woman. And that See, makes me go, I this don't many people they... reacting in this way. And he's like, you all must be doing that because none of you have seen a woman before. Uh, yes, I've never seen a woman before. Uh, fact checked. No, I am the I am the gayest that has ever gayed. I have not even seen a woman. How can I even know that if I'm attracted to them if I have never even seen them? Checkmate. Straight. Checkmate <laughs> Because some people do look like the people they find attractive, but that's only a percentage of the makeup of the human range of body types. I mean, look at the extreme example I set. But um, wait. So you said you said it's surprising people find it weird because they must not have seen women, and then you go on to say there are, there are all types. Look at the extreme that I set. So is Does it extreme you... or is it normal? That's that's the point right I there. Is that there it's... are body types that are far more representative and common and far ones that are far more uncommon. And then in the setting of this game specifically, the uncommon type becomes even far more unlikely because of the situations that need to exist for it to actually be possible. But, but he's ignoring I, us. I go back again to the fact that I think this wouldn't be an issue at all if the game was stylized and was, was not so hyper-realistic. I don't think mm -hmm. anyone would have a problem with a, a hyper-buff lady in like a 2D side-scroller or something like I mean, that. Look at Zarya in Overwatch. Game or something even. Yep. Some gamers out there seem to believe that women can only look and, let's be honest, behave one way. It's not like, hey, no. Yes, I, I, ex I expect a woman to not go around killing people with golf clubs. I, I mean, mea culpa. You're a weird person. What? A, what a, yeah, I, <laughs> I do. Yes, I do expect women to behave a certain way. I expect people to behave a certain way, like non psychopaths, like oh, non violent nice. lunatics. The whole point of the story is that Ellie behaves the same way as Abby, but then no one's criticizing Ellie. Wait, is that a point for Jim or is that a point for. <laughs> Look, um, <laughs> the, the uh, what is, I don't look, I'm confused about the behavior one. Like, like, as if my issue with her behavior is that a woman wouldn't act that way rather than a person. Like, I just be like, what do you, why, why are we separating it like that? That's weird. Um, I don't, it's not what? that I don't believe a person can be a psychopath and you know, sadistically enjoy torturing, it's that I condemn her for you know, enjoying it. I'm like, oh, you're a bad person. That's that's my input. And he's like, wow, you can't handle that some women exist that don't do what you want. <laughs> so bad. Imagine her going through the game and going, wow, what I did was kind of fucked up. Yeah. yeah. He's, 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 he's just throwing out there that most gamers are sexist. Like, just not well, giving a crap. And, and in, in all the criticisms uh, oh I've heard of Ali, like Ellie, I've never heard one saying, you know, she shouldn't have killed Joel because women don't do that. I've never heard that argument. Not once. Women don't kill Joels. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Abby's kill Joels. Shut up, you're all sexist. And when you see him clutching pearls over Tifa's breast size being altered in Final Fantasy VII Remake, or screaming furious vengeance because a drawing of a girl's There should have been worldwide riots. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. These aren't as visible on American game packaging as it is in Japan. It's difficult not well, to assume here's that the thing. these... I don't trust Jim when he talks about this sort of thing. No, of course I don't not. know what he's referencing, and I cannot trust not. him. No, I because I... I, I think I know the lore behind it. Like, I think the there was a guy on 4chan that used screenshots to calculate whether or not Tifa's breasts in the remake were smaller than the original. And he oh, proved yeah. that it was smaller, which is a crazy <laughs> thing to use, right? That That's already crazy. But that to use that as... That, I, that's... I, I think... This, oh, sorry to interrupt. There's like one cutscene that's like ridiculous from Final Fantasy VII, though, where like Tifa is just like bouncing around, and it's the it's so silly. Like even way back then with these pixels, it looks so dumb. And I think people just wanted to see that particular scene in the new game. I mean, I can't it's, blame them. <laughs> what's the problem? I don't. I don't understand the fucking issue. I really don't get it. Like, what's the there are women with tiggled biddies. Why are you mad? Just stop he wishes mad. he could have tiggled biddies. Yeah. Doesn't he, though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he does. <laughs> Jesus. Poor miscreants must be so utterly, crushingly desperate for an actual range of human interaction. Dude, you're, getting, you're, getting, you're off the... Like Jesus. Now, this is crazy. Like you're just calling everyone a bunch of sex-starved lunatics, losers. Local man wow. yells at cloud. Anyone? Yeah, like he's he's mm. just off the reservation, as they say. He's just he's just ran away. And you're like, wait, Jim, the point it's over here. And he's like, no, I love it. In the distance. No, you, know, you guys oh. never have sex. It's like, oh, so I can't. So is that something we could shame people for by their rules? I I can't decide. I don't know what are. I hmm. Cause I, cause I've seen the whole oh, it's, if someone's like a virgin or they never have sex or anything like that, you you can't make fun of them, cause that's shaming them in some well, way. Like, I don't know what the rules are. It's not very nice of you, rags. Yeah. To what? To what? Yeah. To what? To be a rude. I don't even. How was I being rude there? Uh. Hey, wait, what? I actually don't By know. By being a I wankless would... wonder. Oh yeah. well. That's what I identify as, so you can't make fun of me for I'm actually gonna put that in the Godel notes. I wanna call someone a wankless wonder. Wankless wonder. Go ahead, just do it. <laughs> wankless wonder, coming up. Or at least in need of something different to jerk off to. You're really pushing what, that. What is- Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> what- what is he sub- <laughs> Is he, what the hell? It reminds me you of know, the, the no weird, reason, dude. dude, with the constant references to the gay. No. <laughs> it's yeah, almost like he's projecting at this point. Yeah, I, like, I don't often think people are projecting, but this seems like a very, very classical case of projection. Like it's so weird. It's just yeah. weird, man. Yeah. Very so, weird. Uh, so his argument is people don't like Abby because she's not conventionally hot. Therefore, video gamers cannot jack off to Abby. Am I correct? Is that this whole thing? Well, that's the truth, isn't yeah. it? Well, that's kind yeah, of yeah. That's, uh, that's tied in with her being. Yeah, that's tied in with her being unconventionally attractive, though. When you say that, oh yeah, she's unconventionally attractive, then it's sort of implied that I can't jerk off to her. What? Because oh. she's ugly. It's just so weird that he wants to avoid the the enormous many elephants in the room as to why people hate her. He's just like, no, 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 no. It's They're all just no, crowding no, yes. around, and he's just ignoring them. They're not there. Ignore all of the narrative reasons to hate this character. It's just because she is a whammon. Am I right? An unconventionally attractive whammon. That's how he describes it. An ugly whammon. Not necessarily better stuff, just more varied stuff. More than just Rule Thirty Four. There's so much more stuff to look at when you're pounding it. What? Like, you're uh, so... Oh, no, but what no. Are, okay, oh, no. but Jim, uh, please. Uh, uh, can we not... Guys, can we just move the frame to the it's... next one? Cause yeah, but just people like... can't just not be straight <laughs> it's anymore. Joke. It's like yeah, the it's... same. It's over and over and over again. Please. Like, why does he think increase. that... Every time something like this happens, I'll increase the size of people on screen. This is kind of... if if. If we had said something like this, this would be straight phobia. Because it's implying that we can just change our sexualities. All those straight guys, they could just pound it to dudes now. They could just, like, that's just something they could do. 
Well, yeah. how is that any different from us saying, well, maybe a gay person person should just fuck women. Maybe they should just get off to chicks. Well, that's really, 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 really um, biphobic of you. Really? Uh, of I'm him. extremely oh affected, uh, offended. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> so <laughs> disgusting. I it. Stop. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, we all got to get through this together, okay? <laughs> can, can, can we not... <laughs> Oh my god, I know, the sound is It's gonna sound really bad, but I want him to finish already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't boo you for that one. <laughs> Just where where were all these people when Gears of right War? Here. They were right here. They were here. <laughs> that was me. I remember it. playing Gears oh. of War and I was like, wow. This is silly. I, I, just, some wow, cool I don't even play cool these games stuff. and I cackle at them. Yeah. No, and he's he's going back to Gears of War. He already used this argument. But Gears of War. But but now he's game. saying nobody was around saying this when Gears of War. It's like yes, they were. I was yeah. fucking yeah. super into Gears of War one, two, and all three. All of my friends <laughs> were. Yeah. Gears of War was such a hyper masculinized, hyper um uh muscular. Super meat stud beef beef uh, builder. They were hilarious. Chunk man. The little tanks on on feet. That was the yeah. whole, and people made fun of this back in 2008. Like, where are you at? Yeah, I yeah. remember when the first one came out. Like, this is what people, me and my friends were like, oh, yeah, this is fucking weird. They're just meat sticks. And just beef, beef, beef meat hard meat No, you didn't <laughs> exist. Yeah. But it's far more hard believable hard. in the Gears of War setting than it is for Last of Us, though. Well, because everybody like, is like that in the Gears of War setting, except for the, the, the women, men, I guess. It's like different... <laughs> It's an artistic touch, yeah. It's more like an autistic touch, but okay. They were chongos, okay? Oh. Well, I, I like I like the aesthetic in Gears of War. I, I like the armor too. and the weapons, and I, I really do like it. I think it's very pleasing to look at um, in that sense. I, but if we're going to make the argument that Abby is the only one who's been artistically touched, shall we say, <laughs> it just makes it stand <laughs> out. <laughs> Gave us men who were 90% pure grade A beef fortress after a 14 year long. And, and I will also say this I've Gears of War, far more narratively satisfying than The Last of Us 2. Oh, yes. <laughs> we must <laughs> kill the is. evil uh, people from beneath the under the earth people. <laughs> oh, we did. But, that was fun. You make it sound <laughs> like Caveman logic. <laughs> <laughs> but again, what's the issue with Gears? Gears, you know, the whole, if everybody in is a, in a, is a giant beefcake, that's fine. And no one had an issue with that game, including the woman in Gears 2, right? No one had an issue with that. But all of a sudden, it's an issue now, uh, I, only in terms of that Abby doesn't make any sense in a game that is realistically based and driven versus Gears, where everyone is a space marine. There is a mile of difference between those two settings. Oh yeah, just in case it, anyone didn't know, Gears was not trying to be realistic. Let's just put it that oh, way. Oh no, Wait, no. <laughs> uh, also, have, oh yeah, of course it isn't. <laughs> My bad. What isn't? <laughs> Never mind. But uh, the uh, <laughs> I, even the enemies in Gears of War have the same physique. They're super beefy yeah. and meaty. Right. And, yeah. And all the guns are beefy. It's all just. It's all just so. It's almost much. like they're trying to be also internally much. consistent. Oh, oh, how dare oh. they! It's a game where it was like taking a helicopter into Photoshop and stretched horizontally. <laughs> yeah, a little shorter, <laughs> a lot mm. wider. Long wall lifted the planet's resources and decimated the population. No, where the fuck were they? It is During not post-apocalyptic. Stop. Gears of War isn't post-apocalyptic. They have like whole cities in a funded military and things no, like rags. that. Rags, no, it's, it's dark. It's dark and brown, so it's post-apocalyptic. Duh. Like, come on, bro. Like, you can't expect Jim to have actually played this video game, <laughs> given his job as a video game reviewer. Have you seen the, like, just the trucks and Gears of War, even they get overfed on gasoline. fat. It's It's like a really dark version of Lilo and Stitch. All right, well, say, carry on. Yeah, you've lost me on that one, mate. Yeah. Don't <laughs> explain it. I will explain. So okay. Lilo and Go Stitch, ahead. the art style in Lilo and Stitch, things were very bubbly. 
very okay. round. Very, you know, think about the spaceship yes. designs and the guns and the way people were drawn. Think about, mm -hmm. you know, Lilo. Think about, oh, what was her sister? Nani, right? Yeah, yeah. I, so. I actually know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Over bubbles and all the aliens. Very almost swollen, um, not grotesque. I mean, it was just big and bubbly and kind of puffy looking. And Gears of War is like the really dark militaristic version of that. Yeah, yeah. Just to, uh, to confirm your point, Rags, I've, for some reason, I've watched oh, some of the special free. features of Lilo. And, yeah, the, I've watched some of the special features of Lilo and Stitch, and they actually talked about the art style. And they had two cameras side by side, one with straight edges and one with slightly curved edges, showing that that was the aesthetic that they were going with, with all of Lilo and Stitch, making everything not have straight lines. It's slightly curved and just like it was, like it was a slightly inflated balloon. Mm -hmm. Um, um, yeah, I'm so, trying to remember the name of the artist. He, he let's be fair, the artist who uh, did the the character designs for Lilo and Stitch is a porn artist. Uh, that's the, true. Oh no, is well, it Chad Man? My, <laughs> it's not Chad I can't, Man. I can't remember his name. Draw really well. But drew he, porn. He, he is a porn artist, though. Hey, he does yeah. a lot of. A, if he, I could oh, draw, cake, I'd be that, that porn explains porn. why Lilo's sister is hot. Yeah, it sure oh, does, Jesus. doesn't it? Yeah, that it makes sense now. Cobra Bubbles is his stage name. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Fortress after a 14 year long war that devastated the planet's resources and decimated the population. Where you the fuck were the they again. during the release of Borderlands? We and Borderlands 2? Borderlands. And Borderlands the pre-sequel? No. Borderlands is no, this super is... stylized to the point of being yeah. shocking. That's the problem here. He He's ignoring the, the strengths of Last of Us 2 and comparing... The, Okay, in so many quotes, strengths of Last of Us 2, right? right? Like the realism of it. And he's comparing it to these very stylized games. It's 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 like he's ignoring the differences to make his point. It just That's just my yeah. observation. Yeah, he is. He's taken... It, it's like if I was going to compare um, the genre of... I'm trying to think. If I was going to compare... Like some some really silly like World of Warcraft, right? Where it's just fucking magic and dragons and everything's just silly and crazy. And he's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. And you compare that to something much more grounded like Lord of the Rings, you know, and saying, oh, they're both the same. Yeah. Hmm. Same unfair comparison. Oh, Uncharted versus Mario. You'd be like, I don't know why you're comparing them. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, but they, <laughs> they both like jump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can jump. Therefore, them. it's the same game. Wow, bigot. <laughs> Got him. And titles Double from jumping the Borderlands and, and Borderlands Uncharted? 3. I don't remember people complaining about it in Mario. Yeah, everyone was like, oh, Mario's mustache is too plentiful. It was like, no one was saying that. Everyone was okay with it. We're all the well, starved inhabitants of a dead Mario desert world. world. Make Dwayne the Rock Johnson yes. look like this. Yes, Borderlands is shockingly silly. Well, but hang on, hang on. But Borderlands is also sci-fi. Like, you're going after that's it's crazy. not just sci-fi. Well, Border Borderlands is heavily, heavily stylized. Yeah. So I'm okay with it. Like it, it is. Its absurdity is its selling point. At no yeah. point does it ever even attempt to be something approaching yeah. realistic. Prick. Hell, where were all these people telling Lord Humongous that he was just too fucking ripped? I don't know. No yeah, one. That is, no first one cares. Off, yeah, if anything, that just looks like he has a bunch of calories, yeah. regardless of the kind of them. Mm -hmm. It's not ripped. He's just big. It, his name is Lord Humongous. By your thing. <laughs> he was tough to being ridiculously <laughs> big as well. Yeah, he's a very... Also, none of this matters, really though. Like none of this yeah, even matters. Also, what about it? Yeah. Yeah, it's no, all what about no. ism. No, it doesn't Waller, this is defeat this any is of the sort, logical arguments. This is like his conclusion part of the episode, right? Like he's playing the bombastic music. You say like, that, take but that, we have six minutes that, guys. left. Oh my god, you're yeah, right. Jeez. Exactly, yes. You better but be it feels like he's saying because he's made his point, right? Yeah, this is it, it feels like that point in the argument or in the in in the video where you go, huh, take that, bigots. Look at these people and things that you really can't compare. Huh. <laughs> Got you. It's like, Me, he's he's thrown so many arguments he doesn't realize that he's arguing against his own arguments at some point. <laughs> right, as, as he he's posts a photo good. of someone who contradicts his argument, but okay. 
hooked. You're lacking my brain trying to think of the last time anyone had I'm an sure issue are, with Jim. muscles being in a video game and uh, because it's, nothing it didn't what? happen, you fat <sighs> what? fuck. What is he, uh, he's boiled it down to oh, muscles what? being in a game now. That's yeah. <laughs> Even if that was going to be the standard, even if this was just about muscles in a game, you'd still be wrong. Because people will say, yeah, that's like with Gears of War. People say, yeah, that's really silly and dumb. Mm -hmm. And then they play the dumb video game and they have a good time and they move on with their lives. Because it's not trying to portray itself as realistic in the way that Last of Us 2 is. But, but also, how bizarre for us to be talking about La um, uh, Gears of War, a game that is 10 years old, right? Like, why do you have to go back to such an old standard? I just find that bizarre. Can we, can we maybe drop the facade just a little bit about? So, wh why do you reckon they made Abby so ridiculous? So that what they, you... I think that it was just a very a poorly explained, lazy attempt to explain how it could even be plausible she is able to do the things that she does. Yeah, like she In Hulk smashes. Her, ga her gameplay is very much built around Hulk smashing. She has an ability you can unlock, which uh, if she ever kills somebody with Hulk smashing, she gets like a bonus insta kill Hulk smash after it. Right. <sighs> yeah, it's built into the gameplay, which is fine. I mean, there's characters like um, Chris from Resident Evil Five. You know, when he was all built. Okay, in Jesus. Yeah. No, I mean it's fine. Like we've done stuff like this before, where people haven't had an issue with it. It's only when it it is so egregious and in your face and mean towards the player that people start to have an issue. I think. How true. So the the reason they did it was an excuse for the gameplay. You reckon? I don't know. So I think they might have actually been trying to be purposely subversive to the trope of the um, uh, leading female character. Um, that's just kind of a suspicion, and then they ran with it. But could be a bit of bait, maybe, like to see if people yeah. would go nuts over it. And then, why do you reckon? <laughs> and then, why do you reckon Jim is actually defending it? Um, I don't know. It's contrary. Um, it's well, like Last uh, Jedi. It's one of those. I think it's a piece of media that does. Oh no, no, no! I think he's virtue signaling. He's like, you're all sexist and oh, bigoted. Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. why he's defending the game, not why he made this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, one hundred percent. I agree. He, this is definitely a video that shows his side that he's still one of the right ones. Oh, you don't know? say the word right, Rags. How dare you? That's a bad, naughty word. You better say the right. <laughs> He's one of the left ones. Come on now. Oh, if yeah. you're to the left of Karl Marx, you're to the right. Yes. Does, exactly. he, does he make many videos like that? Yeah. pretty. He makes fair... I mean, uh, I, I couldn't point to one. Not slice, directly, so. but he constantly drops, um, uh, I guess, comments um, about and, his political leanings. And he, and, he, loves, yeah. he loves bat ragging on capitalism. He does that regularly. Yes. He talks yeah, it, about how much he hates capitalism in almost every video he's made for the last year and a half, maybe two years. And, is, and his, is shit on capitalism. his Twitter handle also is Citizen Sterling, right? Like his name there. So that kind of hints. Prob is that like a is that like a left thing? Probably, <laughs> right? Like, I just like the, the, you just you just went from you just went from that's the thing, right? Is it is it a thing? <laughs> <laughs> that's it, right? Pro Oh, it's me, Citizen Sterling, one of you folk. Chop, chop. You know, stuff, something like that. Uh, I thought, oh, oh maybe quite... this video is like a, like a deliberate sort of contradicting of the, the usual argument. Like, oh, he sees, okay, everybody's saying one thing, so I'm going to take the opposite route. And it's kind of like a fun thought exercise or something. But the more we get into this, we're up to, what, two minutes worth of footage since I joined the call about <laughs> yeah. two hours ago? Yeah. Um, <laughs> By the second, what? I'm um, I'm starting to think that it's less and less about that because it's just calling everyone wankers all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, literally, <laughs> literally, be every frame of pause. He have you, is have a you bit thought of about a contrarian. The fact that you're a wanker? I, I, don't know. I agree with the statement earlier. He he yeah. is a bit of a contrarian. So so oh, he's, okay, what yeah. he's doing is yeah. he's going against the normal flow. Is that Abby is a bad character? Well, and hang on, is... hang on. It depends which normal flow. There's uh, no. a large kind of progressive leaning group that he is all on board with in regards to this video. No, like I, I mean, no. the the people. Okay, the general point of view is that I think what the general point of view is that Abby is not a well liked character, and what he does is 
to disengage the argument of the other people, he goes, "Oh, you just don't like her because you can't fap to her. That you're you're a wanker." <laughs> Basically, that that's his whole argument, right? Which is going against a, a huge part of or I guess a substantial part of the audience that participated in the experience that is The Last of Us 2. So maybe mm-hmm. he's baiting those people, but the people he's I, baiting will call him out on his bullshit anyway. So Do you not think it's kind of interesting, though, that that he is doing this kind of baiting? Well, well masturbating, you might call it. But, <laughs> well, while I, I would say that he he's wanting to, like, draw people in... Uh, via his masturbating while also playing the victim sort of by saying like you know oh uh, i'm so victimized or, or people are so victimized by this stuff it seems to be to me at least to be a intentional attempt to draw on as many viewers as possible and to get as many sympathy points as possible uh, rather than actually reviewing the game because we know that jim sterling can review games decently we've all seen it and we've all mm-hmm. known over years that he can but it seems that sometimes when he just wants to virtue signal, that becomes the more predominant or important point to him. Also, yes. Goodbye, Theo. Rotate it out. The ro- the bye, the bye. next guest oh, shall be in the moment Goodly they're able do. to access their invite. Who knows when it'll be? Oh, Ooh, who oh, could I'll, it be? I'll, I'll rotate out next. I've got to get back to editing. Racist. Oh yeah, you said you got a new oh. video coming out Monday, right? Ooh, oh hell ooh. yeah. We're going to learn more about history. Like my channel on your channel. That's, that's okay. Wait, what? I just want to say, before you go, Internet Historian, I really love your videos. Just oh, I'll say it. Oh, I'll shower you with love. Oh, <laughs> Stop I being also... so modest, sir. You're a legend yeah. on YouTube. Oh, go on. Yeah. Oh, go on. <laughs> Seriously. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Explain the video. Explain the video. <laughs> Wait, are we wait. So you say you're gonna go in a bit, not right now. Oh yeah, no, not right now. I'll say old next. I no, so just, yeah, nice. Spring, spring to some mind. Hmm. Oh, stop it! Oh, stop. I'm gonna have Jesus to make people a little bigger again. He, but doing he's up? doing the thing again, where he's taking the games with the genre that's really silly, not realistic at all, and super stylized, and saying, "See, people aren't treating this with the same standard as this very realistically portrayed thing." <laughs> Arya, I don't understand. This is I not even... a character really poorly treated. What the fuck are you talking about? Everyone likes that character. What the hell? I don't. So, uh, I brought up Zarya, Zarya. <laughs> and now he's bringing Zarya up as a point for him because he's not smart. But... Well, once again, look, I just can't get over the fact that he's just, he's just blissfully ignoring all of the narrative issues with Abby. So when he makes comparisons, they're just never going to work because he just haven't hasn't acknowledged that po- portion of this whole debate. Well, of course, because that would uh, diffuse his point of talking about how women are oppressed. No, oh, also, also, yes, point in so many quotes. <laughs> like, he doesn't really have anything, really. He's got nothing. You're just jealous of all the points hey, he's really making. This in slow mo when he does that. So. <laughs> This is, mm. I feel, really revealing to his character. He must have such a low opinion of the majority of the gamer, you know. Yeah, that's the group end thing. That, if, you're be in that, that group, right? if everyone, therefore, everyone who's criticizing Abby's muscles must only hate her because they can't jerk off. That's, and he honestly believes that. This is a, like, from everything we've gone through, this is a sincere belief that this is the only reason because he's ignored all the narrative reasons and he's flip flop back and forth as to any lo- the logical justification as to why it doesn't make sense to try and justify it himself. And so he has a horrible opinion of most gamers. Like Wait, that's think, most I of think, his audience. I, think I have another. Worse than that. I think he has a horrible opinion of women. I truly believe that. Yeah. I find that so many people who do this virtue signal stuff, they have a really, really horrible opinion towards women. And you know, they think that we are a, a brainless, uh, just objects that go along with whatever they say. And we're so fragile that we can be hurt by any kind of media representation. That is such abject crap. And then I absolutely, uh, completely disavow. Please oh. stop, Jim. Just you don't Jim know. Sterling, I will keep oh, that. You need him. You need him to defend or, you. I also have a question. Do you really think... I think uh, 
Aiden said this earlier. Uh, Jim is smart, right? Jim is intelligent. Um, is he? Re- yeah, is I, he, I think he's intelligent. Does he? Sh- does he just do these videos? But he he's doing it in bad faith, right? Like he knows he has nothing, but he's still virtue signaling. It, it could it be no? That? I think he honestly believes what he's saying. That he honestly mm. thinks most people yeah. who hate Abby, um, I just hate her because they can't jerk off to her. Like that's his genuine belief. I, I don't agree. Know a... I think that's when he oh, really believes. I think that he believes that, and that's why he makes videos like this in order to um, to white knight for women who do not agree with him. For oh. the majority of women do not think that what he's saying is correct, but he thinks he's standing up for ladies. And it, it's, to be honest, Jim, you know, no offense to you. I know you've got a large lady of your, of your own, but women don't <laughs> like this, okay? Women don't like it. What about the pink hat? Do you like that? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Jim's outfit looks good on some other guy. Like, does that make sense? That whole aesthetic no. could be good on some other person, but not Jim Sterling. I mean, I like the eccentric look sometimes, but uh, it does, with Jim, just come across as desperate sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> Yeah, I'm being generous, okay? <laughs> oh, I hate this. Oh, yes. Shake, shake yep. your... Have you, have you um, spotted a theme with his uh, humor? Oh, it's... <laughs> really long. I'm gonna save this. Here's the thing. As a dude, I actually fell into this trap a little bit, As writes Forbes' Paul Tassie in an article that gets to the meat of the matter. Not like in an angry way, but I did keep waiting for some sort of story explanation as to why Abby had gotten so jacked. But it was never directly oh, addressed but that was outside a of one of line about how she had just lifted a certain weight for the first time. But yeah, that's what I meant. Me, me wanting explanations for what I see in this realistic game, I fell into that trap. Oh my god. Look at this. It, they move on to say they never rag. questioned this about a male character. It's like Well <laughs> Which male character? It, yeah, men and women are I know I know that they hate the idea, but men and women are biologically totally different from one another. You're gonna have to fucking get over it. Like whether you like it or not. They're never going to because I, you know who you're dealing with, right? I know what I'm dealing with. They hate it. They hate it. They don't like you it. You just gotta you gotta remind people like Sometimes it's just. Eh. Why yeah, do um... they really don't like the fact that men and women are biologically different? And I already saw it. If we had a Schwarzenegger running around in the game, I'd still be raising issues with this. Like, really, this is fucking yeah. ridiculous. How is he maintaining yeah, this shit? Good idea. Yeah, good point. If you, I mean, uh, look at Joel, right? Let's let's compare Joel to Abby, or uh, right? Joel, I don't think is as as ripped as Abby. Is he? I don't. I don't think. think we, do we ever see him, like? arms bay I, I, I don't know I, again i said put the two models because i know people have access to this stuff so put the two models next to each other take off the clothes which i i think you can do probably with if you have access to the models then try to take the clothes off and see who is more built is it abby or is it joel i bet it's abby yeah i'd say it's abby as well I would but say on the note about having an arnold schwarzenegger in the video game I would still find that I would sorry I would have less questions as to how that would be possible because he's a guy and guys can just build muscle easier. I'd still um, question it pretty hardcore. I'd I, still have questions, but I would have less, is what I'm saying, than than with Abby. It would be more easily to it'd be more easy to believe. Yeah, but still, I would. I mean, almost my first point of call would just be like, "Fucking hell, they let him eat that much? Wow." Yeah, that that would be <laughs> a, a similar thing about the rationing of food and. The intake yeah, and the, need to maintain it. In the first one, they have all those ration cards, and people are eating hung up barbecued rats. Mm, well, that's <laughs> not the stadium. The stadium they have burritos every day. Yeah, so rat, rat burritos. burritos. But are you are you not buying their rat burritos? Quiet. When I stopped and, and thought about it, I realized when had I ever asked that question about a male character or needed an explanation as to why they were I asked about Gears of War. I was like, how do these yeah. guys look this way? This is funny as hell. But of course I don't I exist. Believe they have the Are you expecting Jim Sterling to be logically consistent? I'd like, it would be funny if I just got, because he's obviously grabbed this because it benefits his narrative. If we just grabbed someone saying, you know, 
I didn't used to question anything, and then I someone brought up that it makes sense that she did it because of his work schedule, and I just accepted it. And then I actually looked into it, and I was like, wow, they're just trying to sell me a bunch of bullshit. And then, and then Jim's like, no, shut up. No, we want to talk about the ones who are like, they realize they're sexist. They're the, that's the articles that Jim wants. Unrealistically jacked, way more unrealistically than Abby usually. Never. It's just assumed as video game default that men are jacked with huge muscles, and if women are muscular, they no, are also it skinny. Isn't. Ugh, just, most games, can, we most can we please just accept that there are biological realities that are, are different between men and women? If you want to make an incredibly out there fantasy or sci fi game, then no one would care. It's only because The Last of Us bases itself in reality that anyone finds this silly. That also, is the yeah. if, if there were no biological differences whatsoever, this would still be a thing. Because you'd be like, yeah, well, this is how all of the men and women of the world are categorized wise. They're just, women tend to be a hell of a lot less muscular, so it's weird to see it. That's all. Out of the unusual, yeah. abnormal. Exactly. I mean, the fact that this, um, whoever is quoting, is uh, was less, you know, prone to question the uh, realism of guys being muscular is not a sexist thing. It's reflecting reality, where in reality, guys are generally far more, it's far more common for guys to be muscular than women. And, uh, like, I wonder if this person would also, you know, feel it's of the same scale of sexism to, to wonder, you know, I've never questioned or wondered about the possibility of seeing a pregnant man versus a pregnant woman, because something is far more common in reality than when it's not and so it's just interesting that they're like if you just switch the parameters around it's just that this guy whoever is quoting is noticing something that is less represented in reality so yeah so let's be really real about that real quick where is the representation of obese women in media because there's very little if we want to display all body types right then where are all the fat women it seems to me like, I, I don't know, I'm just saying that, uh, I guess that it seems a little bit unfair, right? Uh, no. Because that would, if, if a fat woman, he would get mad about, I would just guess, I'm just guessing, I'm not saying for sure, but I'm guessing that Jim will get mad about how it's making fun of obese people, right? Uh, I don't know how you could do it properly without making fun of someone, right? Racist, wankless wonder. Well, so sorry. <laughs> and yet it's perfectly reasonable to think that a woman living in the post-apocalypse on a mission of revenge would indeed get super jacked to be able to take on zombie hordes and enemy soldiers alike. Yeah, you don't, need, really a lot, you don't a... need a lot of strength to take on zombie hordes. Not, not gonna lie. Yeah. It seems like yeah, you just shoot them, just stab them once in the neck and they go down. Well, there's, you know, the... the funny thing is, there's another character in the game that does that without being Jack, you know? Just just a thought. Also, yeah, super, like, of course you're gonna get super jacks. Like, if that's true, then why isn't everyone super jacked? Why is only one yeah, exactly. person super jacked? Like, come on, you're not thinking it, very hard. It's not fair. It's so obnox- her, her being so muscular is also obnoxious to me because it just makes her stand out even more in this. It, oh, it, also, it, yeah, any, any hope of, uh, a live action medieval zombie thing coming from you, Shad. I wanna I wanna see that, okay? We decided. Oh, but like yeah, good. Hell yeah. Not like not like live Game action of Thrones. medieval zombie thing? Yeah. Starring that. who? You. Me. <laughs> oh me. I'll get onto that, mate. I got the swords. I just I just like they needed Last of Us. Have a character like Shad in there who just likes swords and he's yeah. like, fuck this. We're not using guns, you kidding <laughs> yeah. me? That's what I want. I want my I want sword enthusiast representation. The people who are best equipped to handle a zombie apocalypse. And when someone yeah. says, where's he getting these swords from? You're like, wow, you're denying his existence. That is fucked up. Exactly. But... Like, also, Shad, w do you think gauntlets would work very well against zombies? Like, wouldn't it? Mm. Like, against the, the bites? Like, any yeah, sort of armor? And the... Armor would be phenomenal against zombies. Like, even yeah. just chainmail. Or not even just chainmail. Gambeson, all right? They're not going to bite through that stuff. We're just wearing like, th we're we're multiple about... shirts. When we talked about carpet the other day, Rags, or something, did not come yeah, up? Yeah, you could... Like, one of the things that really bugs me about The Last of Us 2 is that they have people specifically uh, whose job is to go out and clear infected from places, and they put on no protective gear whatsoever. Bro, why would they do that? T-shirts, I mean... bro. I'm like, yeah, I would just, like, I would be wearing multiple shirts, and I, I would just 
strap stuff to me. It could be just but paper. Then you books. can't see how hot they are. You can't see their rippling muscles and <laughs> <That's so dumb. laughs> And in case anyone is asking, yes, I do have a whole video talking about the best weapons to fight zombies in from a medieval settings perspective. Is it the mace? Because that would be cool. Yeah. Well, actually, no. The answer was castles. That'd be a flail, right? Fla oh no. Okay. The castle castles. Castles. castles would wreck zombies. Just. Is huh? it a scythe? No, I watch Game of Thrones. They lose it instantly. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on that. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Look, if I have a whole put, video on that too, Mola. If you don't put your trebuchets first, that's your problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah. True. They are like a. They're designed to like act as a shield. You must be stupid if you think otherwise. <laughs> Protect the oh, wall. As a hand, a hand, hand, as a hand, a hand to hand. As a hand to hand. Uh, flails are the best. Yes or no? Flails are awful. I have a whole video on how why they're crap. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I really do. Check it out. It's called Overappreciated Historical Weapons: The Flail. There you go. But, All right, but check why? It out. Okay, I will, I will actually watch it after this. Go watch it. I, I lay it out for you. Real time. <laughs> I'm done. Flails am bad. Okay, I'm Googling it now. Flails am bad. <laughs> Flails am bad. <laughs> <laughs> Any explanation past that needed. Once I saw a social media movement of other muscular women showing off their arms that looked close to identical to Abby's, I realized that we're, we're not in a okay. post-apocalypse, you fuck. Oh yeah, they're not in a post-apocalyptic side. <laughs> Just uh, the fact that we have to clarify that. Are you like, you kidding me? <sighs> Um, for even thinking about this as a story point that needed to be addressed. No, I wasn't vocally mad about it online, and yet my own bias has made me internally question whether Abby's appearance was right. That Trust was your stupid. bias. Whoa, 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 whoa. His internal misogyny kicked in, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> I have so many Unlike things. the gamers, I recognize my own internal misogyny. I recognize my privilege. And I stopped myself. Oh, I, okay, this is, uh, I don't even know where to start with this, but I'll, I'll try to explain. <laughs> this is very hurtful to me as a psychologist, right? Okay, you don't need to overanalyze everything that you do every second to expect that stuff that you're doing is wrong. In fact, that's probably very psychologically harmful and, and disruptive. The fact that people are doing this kind of stuff now, I think is a large reason why people are so sad and messed up is because they think that every second I have to think about what do my actions mean? What do my thoughts mean? Well, don't because most of your thoughts are paracognitive. Most yeah, things that you're doing you are paracognitive. What? Sorry. Sometimes you just want to see a titty. <laughs> that was the translation. <laughs> No, that's correct. Sometimes you just want to see a titty. And overthinking things to this degree not only has absolutely no benefit in terms of the psychological health of the population so far as the data that I've seen, but it it has real manifest harms upon people to think that they're evil and to think that they're bad all the time. Just stop, my dude. Stop. Because you are only hurting yourself and you're not helping anyone. Jim Sterling does seem like the kind of person who would be horrified to learn that he isn't sexless. Sexless? Sex, sex, sexist. Oh. He is sexless. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's correct. It is stupid. Because no matter who you are watching this right now, mm -hmm. you can claim mm -hmm. that you'd have been just as skeptical if Abby were a man, but the fact is you No, because be. men and women are biologically different. Also, you just it said is. you could say you'd be as skeptical, but you would be. But that is because oh. you're a sexist, not for any other reason. I don't know. So, I might... so what, he's saying you wouldn't be as skeptical if it was a guy in a post-apocalyptic setting versus a girl? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, he's like... Yeah, I'm. Yeah, that's, that's what he's saying. And I'm saying, yeah, I agree. If Abby was a man, I would be slightly less skeptical. Same. Still skeptical. Oh. Still skeptical, but slightly less. Yeah. I don't know. I might be older than the rest of you guys, but so I, I've, I've been around. I've never I have met someone that has the same physique as Abby. A oh, woman that's got the same physique as Abby. So You're I just kind of go. Well, uh, I don't, you can you can sort of throw up pictures from social media, 
but it, I've met a lot of people. Yeah. And I've never met one who has the same physique. So have you met anyone in the post apocalypse they, though? What, <laughs> yeah, good point. But why don't they just <laughs> come out and say, look, here's the deal. Abby's an anomaly. We're we're not gonna explain it, but she's just uh, an anomaly. And then and then they can go, you know, she's not representative of what of what the average woman can achieve even with a lot of work now. Why don't yeah. they just do that? And then the whole argument would be shut down. Yeah, and honestly, that could actually be a fine like answer to things that, oh, they're a prodigy, they're just born with it, they're just unique or something like that. Abby just happened to have been born with certain genes that she put on the muscle. And I was like, and you, you know, can, but... You can make her campaign represent that like, parts of her life have been destroyed by her like adherence to the schedule, to her desire to become much stronger, much faster, much more prepared to knock out any possible enemies, and you tie it back to the fact that you, you'd have to alter her dad's death, but you can tie it back to the fact that she maybe was trying to move some shit out of the way of doors and she couldn't quite do it to get to him in time and he was killed and it's <laughs> fucked with her forever. And then, uh, you, you know, like, her friends don't really like her that much because she just, she just doesn't hang out. You know, she's made her life all about it. And you can, we get the scenes something, where she's on her own. Something pivotal, something pivotal on her being weak in a certain situation yeah. and that's been, yeah. like, the motivation all along. Yeah, that wouldn't be brilliant. I would have gone along with that. No, but um, she she's afraid of heights, guys. Doesn't that make just, her human? Boy, that was fucking random. That was that was really fucking <laughs> random, wasn't it? Oh man, we just are at the top of a fucking skyscraper in the apocalypse. Oh no, this is not where I want to be. Right I now. stand by how fucking confused I am about the sky bridges. I will never drop that. It is so fucking no, it's strange. Awesome. I think you're hey, got, right. I got a question yeah. for um yeah. those of you who actually played the game. Uh -huh. Is there anyone, any other characters in the game itself that actually acknowledges Abby's strength as being unique, exceptional, perhaps yeah. even out of the ordinary? Fat actually, yes, yeah, Gerald. Gerald in the end. Really? Okay. It's so. a plot point, which is more obnoxious because, because like, um, yeah, the, the, the scenario is Ellie is lost and she's trying to find Abby, right? And she gets trapped by Fat Geralt and some other guy. <laughs> and she's got Fat Geralt who goes, I know where Abby is. She's thick, right? Like me. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Fucking off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off game. Like, because, like, usually the um, appearance of an individual, depending on how uh, extreme it is, is something that is seamlessly integrated into their interactions with people and general everyday life. And like, if you know someone who's really, really tall, for instance, sometimes they might be teased for being tall. Sometimes they're given clout because they're tall and it's just a, a buddy thing or sometimes that, but it's usually acknowledged or mentioned and it, cause it's always present. It's there. It's in your face and stuff like that. And, you uh, know, have you seen tall girl? Don't even, I saw the ads and I was like, no, <laughs> I'll wait, skip sit. that. Mr. I, I know some guy in chat who has a long history with tall girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do acknowledge yeah. that yeah. it depends on how extreme it, the um, uh, the unique trait is usually. And height isn't one that's like doesn't stand out unless it's like insanely different. But I would say mm. Abby's size would be something that would even perhaps intimidate other guys and stuff or something it would be something that would affect relationships it would be something that would be uh it's squarely in fetish material well because anything yeah like i that think so would, it, it's so bizarre to me because if you want to write a, a realistic game with with realistic characters and what has to be very very strongly based in reality then you have to deal with realities which for example like you said there are well, a microscopic number of women who are six foot five or whatever Abby's supposed to be and who are built like a truck that just it's not going to happen. And it's going to affect every relationship that person has in her life for better or for worse. And doesn't mean anything in terms of like, oh, this is oh, how sexist or how unsexist or whatever the fuck. It just means that it's going to affect you. People who have red hair are treated differently from people who have brown hair. That is a reality. People who of have life. Sold, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ginger's have no souls. I'm sorry. Oh, don't so what if, what if you have it? Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. This is important then. I have a, I have like a third ginger beard. What does that mean? Every third guy, soul is every guy away. I've ever, every guy I've ever met has had like a third ginger beard. I think you're all safe. Okay. I have a oh, soul. Thank goodness. It's oh. been confirmed. Every guy okay. You may continue. <laughs> 
because you haven't been. You've had chances before now to show that skepticism, my friend, in many, we have. many- We have, so. We have. And people have. It's, no, it's so no, interesting no, that no, it's so no, convinced no one has. Everyone no, who's complained about it never's complained about similar things before. And, and no, Borderlands he, isn't post-apocalyptic, also. He, he's got his ears covered with his arms, and he's going, la 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 la, I'm right, covered you're with wrong. with his arms. I'm just oh, picturing yeah, him is, throwing his, his arms arm, up yeah. in the air, just yeah, going back arms, and forth. Yeah. Post-apocalyptic worlds full of dieseled men, and only now, only with Abby, do people suddenly care. No. People who, until now, mm. were among the most likely to excuse a game's shittiness by claiming it's just a game. No. Well, wait, wait, what? Wait. What are you talking about? No one. No. Is he implying? Though, wait, wait. Is he implying though that he agrees that The Last of Us Two is shitty? Yeah, <laughs> well, well, well. Is when saying, he, when he... Your Weekend Warrior, one hundred percent correct. He is saying The Last of Us Two is shitty if it didn't contain abby what the fuck yeah it's like <laughs> i don't know man like when he, when he says shitty this is he referring to like things that aren't realistic things that aren't consistent or just what is he referring to the specifically? game in general <laughs> yeah no no he he honestly because before early in the video he was saying he was trying to say that gamers really ever call out things that are unrealistic which again you know I took particular issue with because most of my channel is built around that very thing, talking about more realism in fantasy, pop culture, and how medieval stuff is integrated. And so it seems like he actually thinks it's rarely ever done, and that game is always justify unrealism in games because it's just games, bro. That's what he's essentially saying right now. Nobody Amazing. still ascribes to that, and there is so much research on this stuff, it really boggles the mind. Well, I mean, Mauler calls out things that are unrealistic all the time. It's just... No. <laughs> no. I think no. you mean nitpicks for 12 hours? Yeah, lies about the uh, fact that he's wow, actually just... sexist. Just just complain about things that... Oh, the little spaceship didn't didn't hyperdrive. Oh, you just hate women. What a nitpick. Does it really matter? Does it really affect the total You're denying the existence of purple-haired admirals. Yeah, lore isn't important, guys. God, obviously. Like, it's just lore stuff. Ignore it. Just... Well, shut the fuck up, kids, because The Last of Us 2 is just a game. Not even uh, a particular- It's just a game! Don't, don't call okay, this so, shitty fucking uh, argument, man. Um, not, not this shitty fucking argument. I've never heard an ESPN sports commentator say, stop treating it seriously, it's just a game. Well, it's funny that he brings this out so late in the game. Like, I'm gonna try arguing directly <laughs> against the point. I'm gonna try arguing the point itself is kind of fucking useless. Now I'm gonna argue that you're all sexist. Now I'm gonna argue you're hypocritical. And now I'm finally gonna argue. It doesn't even matter. It's like, wait, what was all that for then? Here's the thing. In terms of the research, games do have very little impact on the way people think and feel about things. So he is kind of correct on his final point, but he has to go through so much bullshit. Where let's look at the let's look at the fucking contradictions. He goes through one by one by one all of these examples of why games are important and how they affect people, and then says it's just a game. It doesn't affect people. His last point is somewhat correct in the games have a very minor effect on people, but it is a minor effect. But <laughs> he has gone through all of these points that say video games have this huge effect on human psychology, of which there is no evidence psychologically and research based. Play too many violent video games. Wankless wonder. Well, that last Wankless comment is just a game. Five. Seems to uh, it such like a horrible thing for like a person who makes their living off of games it's like contradicting and undermining his very you know job. career and his career yeah. Job. Yeah. it's just a game why why do you review them then why do you... and of course it's contradicted by the fact that everything in this video shows that he doesn't think it's just a game otherwise he wouldn't have devoted so much bloody time right. to it thank yeah. you and good he job care, good point yeah. Yeah. anyway yeah. on with the 23 minute video a <laughs> great one. I mean, it's good. No, it's you, fun. It's a fun zombie game. You can game, just clip it... that bit, by the way, and just any time he has any argument, just pull out the. Yeah. <laughs> if... <laughs> you you cannot simultaneously have the position that games can be very meaningful and deep, and have these themes we could learn from and tell stories we care about and have characters we have these emotional bonds with, 
in simultaneously. And also, and also say, yeah. just, just, okay. but also he thinks they can be sexist and damaging and um, carry harmful stereotypes and everything like oh, that. Again, and so he, so he, belie- he believes pull all of that, and one. then he spe- he spins around and says, "I oh, and it's just a game." Ugh. Yeah, it's completely <laughs> contradictory. It's bullshit. Lame argument, never worked for anyone else. Didn't don't know why he thought it would work for him. It's just a fun zombie game. I'm being very insulting today, and that's no, the part. game wasn't meant to be fun. Didn't you hear? Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, games right. are, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's we, true. We um, need the definitive uh, word from the creators, right? Is that it wasn't meant to be fun. <laughs> what a what a comment to make, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I like that he's like, I'm being insulting today. And it's like, yeah, because you're upset. You're upset that people don't like Abby. Oh, I'm sorry. Because trying to debate this issue on the facts is relatively pointless. The fact is, Abby exists. Whether it's No, she believe- doesn't. <laughs> no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. <laughs> but it, it depends in what abstract way. The character yeah. concept exists, but the actual physical embodiment of the person doesn't exist in reality. Nope. Or not, she's got the arms in a mushroom zombie video game, and she's not gonna disappear if you somehow prove she couldn't exist in the last. Never was the in. What the fuck are you. What? <laughs> yeah, we what were trying to is... make her disappear? That's Bro, interesting. What is could... this argument? That I could you totally. Could... No, go ahead, Aiden. Sorry. Go ahead. No. Okay. Real quick. Does he think that people who dislike Abby believe that their dislike of Abby is going to somehow make her disappear? Because that is some kind of cognitive dissonance that I can't even begin to comprehend or explain. Wiccan Warrior, please, go ahead. I could totally make Abby disappear. I'll just press the PlayStation button and press power off. Easy. Wow! Ew, just, no, you you Easy! <laughs> I prefer Easy. to take him to the extreme. He thinks there's a cabal of sorcerers at the at the top of all of this, and they're casting spells to remove her from the universe in every format. Like oogly goggly boogly, just like sending all these. Hippity little... hoppity, Abby and... is disappearity, something like that. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, also, she's like, gone. Big, big, big brain moment for old Jim here. So, like, I'm not sure he'll ever watch this, but if he actually wants to know the reason why people criticize Abby and everything like that, is because the character sucked. And the audience doesn't want such sucky, crappy characters again. And so by criticizing it, we hope that people will get informed as to, okay, that was a bad way to do it. And then number three is better. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Wait, do you think Jim actually wants to know the answer to his own solipsistic question? Because I think he doesn't. Of course not. No, probably not. No, I actually think he knows the answer. (laughs) He's just ignoring it. Last of Us 2's world. She does, whether you like it or not. Finding a workout regimen that was never... What is, what is this? What is happening? Tell me what it was intended <laughs> to... Tell me its intent. Tell me the intent of a workout regimen that has the name Abby on it and is filled out for the different days. Tell me what that's supposed to mean. I just like this Rags. Rads. This yeah, Rads, he's like, she does exist. Just because you found this thing that means she couldn't exist doesn't mean she doesn't exist. It's like, well, is it, Hang on, is that his Rags. final point? Because everyone's point was that she sucks, but he's not refuting that. He's like, okay, because he's actually almost sideways acknowledged that she's ugly when he says that yeah. she's not conventionally attractive. He's also <laughs> sideways acknowledged that um, she's, she's crap. shitty. Yeah. That, yeah. That the game is bad, the, and, and so his final point is that it exists. Yeah, as, as if wow. as if Good he's been point. battling Good himself this point. whole video, and he's finally boiled himself down to okay, well, she's still there, motherfuckers. It's like okay, <laughs> do, do, I'm the really? avatar. You gotta deal with it. Abby exists. Well, you yeah, gotta the deal with it. That, that is literally the place the only... where we're at. I'm the avatar. You gotta deal with it. It's what the only the point you can get us to agree on. Like, all six of us will be like, yep, she exists. Yeah, yep, true. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Jim, she's still a bad character, though. <laughs> <laughs> ...intended to be so much as thought about for more than a second will not resurrect your precious beloved Joel. The Last of Us 2 came out ages what ago. What a shitbag. What a fucking shitbag. <laughs> so, like, uh, I, I, it'll never be back to I agree with the paladin. Well, it's just so rude. People actually care about this character that has been built up through 
people's oh many my God. hours of playtime. They actually care about this character. And they don't even care anything about the second game. But people have an, a, an attachment and an attraction to this character. And for you to just shit all over him, it hurts people's feelings. Whether or not you, you think that that's valid or not. For someone who cares so much, supposedly, about feelings and emotions and perspective, then you should give a fuck about the fact that people do not like when you shit all over a character that they fucking care about. Okay, that's it. And also, Jim is using the... The Last of Us 2 made a shit ton of money. It must be good. Uh, right? It also had an insane <laughs> drop in sales. And like refunds, the right? Week. Yeah. Don't a shit buy ton that. Of refunds. Guys, shut drop. it down. They're destroying the narrative. Shut it down. Um, also, what what is all this shit about? Like you, you know, the existence of these people. You're denying them, and then you'll in the other breath be like, people who like Joel don't exist because if they do, they're abusive. <laughs> Fuck it up. So what's interesting is that when you if you type in the Last of Us Two sales, the thing uh -huh. that pops up first is the Last of Us Two sales drop. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, what could it mean? Also, I like oh. I like you got Sony's biggest digital first party launch. It's like why wouldn't it be? It's Last of Us Two. It's the Last of Us was huge. It's like you need to look oh. at other statistics to find out whether or not people enjoyed this shit. I also remembered, Rags, since you were ragging on the sales of The Last of Us 2, in Japan, they're doing like a bundle. If you buy this game, you get free copies of The Last of Us 2 or something like that. Like... Yeah, Japan doesn't care at all. And and by yeah. the way, I've seen it being used as evidence that Japan is racist, which is the funniest shit I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh my god. Guys, I, I, was, I was looking through links, and it brought me up to The, the Last of Us 2 Reddit. Let me oh. show you the first image. Oh. Let's get some that, memes. Okay, the okay. First here. image that popped up for me okay. once I went to the Reddit. <laughs> oh, how how fucking wow! How relevant! You'll like this one, Baller. This one's really good. Oh boy. You can, I think a lot of us can relate to this. <laughs> I love the multiple arms. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy. This is all recent. Like all of this is pretty yeah, recent in the in the world of media, you know? What what is what <laughs> why? For what purpose? Does seemingly every media empire want to destroy themselves? I don't get it. I really don't no. get it. Why do you I, all want to die? I think people want to subvert expectations, but they don't understand that. Wait, when don't you know subvert, <laughs> yeah, when you subvert something, you have to say what would work, and they don't actually fill in that gap. No so, shit, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't. <laughs> Top kick. Top kick. Oh, oh, the best thing about this game, it's sold out in Japan. Like, physical copies are sold out in Japan. I okay, it okay, let's be real as to why, okay? Is it because <laughs> there was an, uh, 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 just not enough copies sent to Japan? Or is it because there's so much demand in Nihongo? Or Nihon, excuse me. I I really am wondering which one is correct. Uh, I think I'm people guessing... like it. I think Japanese like it. Janai. I don't believe I, it I... all. Oh! Nani? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yabai, yabai. Yabai, yabai. Yabai, yabai. Oh, we, we brought all the weebs together here <laughs> today. No. Let let our powers combine. I didn't, ya buy. <laughs> oh shit, that meme though. We can warrior, let our False, powers combine. <laughs> we we <laughs> cut the <Wikipoo. laughs> I need you to what? I oh man, these memes like are good. <laughs> They're so fucking good. <laughs> God damn, they put Danny in God <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> I had to I had to zoom out to show the Abby tier. <laughs> I don't have an opinion. That's the ability to teleport. 
Lord is its own tear. <laughs> Oh, guys. <laughs> this no. is a tear no. for teleporting. But, Chad, Chad, if you don't know, that character who can teleport in the game can just appear to save Abby teleport in a pivotal moment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bullshit. Like, teleport uh, behind you. <laughs> Holy it's shit. So good. <laughs> this is pretty good. It's at the very bottom is Abby. It's she's her own tear. <laughs> It's not even like F minus. It's just Abby. <laughs> it's, just, it's because everybody knows. <laughs> Man, these memes are good. Here. I like how A tier includes a baby. Uh, I didn't remember I what the character's name is. Daddies and God tier. <laughs> <laughs> just nobody knows Dad anything about. Is God tier. Well, he is. He is, though. He is. Yeah, Waller, is. you like. You like Terminator too? <laughs> no, who, who's beside Fat Geralt though? I can't see. That's Danny. Can we stop calling him Fat <laughs> Geralt? I feel fucking uh, oppressed or something. No, he is Fat. Oh Geralt. wait That's a second, name. guys! <laughs> Southpaw. What? Southpaw's tweet made it onto the Last of Us Two Reddit. Oh, that was him who posted it. Never mind. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really a beautiful image. I will say the meme game for The Last of Us 2 has been fantastic. And it, it, when it's fueled by passion, it's unstoppable. Yeah. Here's the thing that people don't understand about memes, right? Well, I think that the average person understands because people are way smarter than the stupid fucking media enterprises believe. Is that memes are so much more powerful than yeah. than any kind of media campaign could ever be. And that's the thing, guys. Make memes. They are so much stronger than bullshit that companies put out and try to make popular. Just meme shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, you remember that <laughs> that Darmok episode, right? Like meme. I think me like language is a metaphor. I think memes are that. Just, yeah, memes is the it? DNA of the soul. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I mean, in in a way, yeah. There's there's a lot of research on this, but yeah, uh, basically, <laughs> memes are a way of of conveying information in a simplistic way. So yeah, they are more powerful than language. That's true. Yeah. There's research on like, this. Like, Everyone's laughing at memes right now. I'm trying to yeah, explain exactly. some <laughs> scientific no. shit. Go ahead. No, Aiden. Aiden, no. You are you are explaining why everyone is laughing. That that's the beauty of the meme, right? It's the like power of memes. Memes yeah, are exactly. so because because they are understandable <laughs> by people in any context. They are omni linguistic, right? They they transcend mm. language, and that's why memes are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I, like this one. The way they <laughs> spell Egyptian. Invented 5,000 years ago. Coherent texts. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the last two year old before. I'm coming up pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, that's the thing I hate about Neil Druckmann. When there is a good argument against The Last of Us 2, he ignores it. Yeah. That's a good meme. <laughs> because... <laughs> well, I, you gotta defend you gotta defend your game, you know? It's not like you know, if you're gonna be the creative director and you put out a thing, you gotta at least defend the game. Yeah, but you know you can't you can't put up a good defense, you've got to ignore However, the question. However, I just... <laughs> I would posit the counter example. If you've made a game and you know now that it's shit, despite all of your best intentions, wouldn't it kind of be in your best interest to then shit all over it and make it part of your own meme? No, 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 no. Well, no, that Sony would will never that... trust you to have the job again. Yeah, that would mean that Neil Cuckman was wrong, and that's not possible. Neil is always right. But I think it would. I think it would bring the gamers, the consumer, if you will onto your side by kind of making a joke about it, right? No, but the consumers know. are wrong for what I did knowingly would piss off a lot of people. 
I, I like, think I think if you just embraced it and said you fucked up, people would be oh. more willing. I think people would be more willing to accept your shitty game and would like it better than if oh, you, you mean, just. I don't think so. Uh, I no, think I think there's, I think I think there's a guy on this people. panel that made a video that has a guy that acknowledges his game was shit and he made and it work better. really hard to make it better. I, I remember. Yeah. It, I, I remember watching a, 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 a video from, a, from, a, from, a, from a historian of the internet, by the way. Might yeah, have exactly. shared such a tale. Yeah. No, you, yeah. Can't, you, can't, you can't come out and tell, uh, tell people you're against shit. You just can't do that. You can't. You're not going to You're not gonna win over enough of the audience that it would ever be um, good enough. People would, people would go, oh, good, we're vindicated. And then they'd continue hating your game. And also what would happen is, you know, you'd have your deputy creative due to... Uh, creative director there going yeah i told him this was wrong all along and, and then when it comes to the last of us three they go right who are we going to put in charge neil Druckmann? no well he fucked up the last one he even admitted it and the creative director's going to be waiting in the wings the, the, the deputy going why not put me in charge i would have done it right no yeah. and I, i'd like to add though like i've seen articles where neil Druckmann knows that the game is going to be divisive and then that abby will not be liked and now he's just like ignoring that because even though he knows it it's it's so disingenuous on his part yeah i think he's a bit yeah. between a bit of a rock and a hard place with that but i don't think you can yeah, really say anything you just yeah, gotta present people... the game 110 yeah. oh if i you have, have a question people that you uh you know have to um be accountable to like shareholders and stuff like that if um mm. the failure of the game falls to you you're axed you're gone um yeah also, it really depends on what are we are we talking about. What's the best course of action if you want to uh, make the audience less toxic and angry? Like, well, it, it it seems like the best move you can do is is defend your game and then start going quieter and quieter and quieter and then make a better one in the future. That, that's <laughs> that's always, that is to awful. save that your own skin. Yeah. I, yeah. I do think Aiden has a point about it would gain a lot of good faith from uh, the general audience if you acknowledge mistakes, but that's what you were saying about the rock and the hard place, though, is because that could screw yeah. you over in your own job. Um, I, well, I got but, a question. It, it has the, worked right. for No Man's Sky, right? They came out and they said, whoa, we fucked up. We really screwed this game up. We, we released garbage. And then they came back and said, okay, well, we're going to fix it. And they did everything <laughs> that they could to fix it, and now people are kind of okay with No Man's Sky. Well, no, they, 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 they said that we've we've made mistakes and we're going to continue improving the game. They never came out and said our game's shit. Oh, okay. okay. Sure, sure. Oh, IH, I got a question. Do you think that Neil Druckmann knows he fucked up? Or does no. he believe in the masterpiece yeah. that he made? Uh, no, I he's think like, he, he yes, yes, no. like, I think I think he can probably see the um, the weaknesses in the narrative and the story. And then I think he's also in a very weird position for the sequel because they're going to want a sequel. And now I think they've set it up for these these two characters, Abby and and Lev, to be them. And now nobody wants them as the the sequel character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, no one wants them. But at, at the same time, from a financial standpoint, it's a huge success. So he's he's probably guaranteed the job for the next one. So mm -hmm. it's Is it uh, so? you know he's he's won and lost. So. Um, uh, if, he, not... if, if he makes a decent sequel, people will love him all over again. Yeah, but I, I don't know if he uh, can, I... though. That's the thing. Well, maybe not. I'm not but they're yeah. not like... executive producers in, in movies for a reason. And a, a lot of the time, you know, a lot of the time they fuck with the movie, but a lot of mm -hmm. the time they actually make improvements. And maybe he'll go, okay, I don't want to shitstorm this time. I'll actually listen to an executive producer. He's gonna go. Now that won't work. Now that won't work. Cut that out. Okay, that's Maybe. fair. I'm, I'm just speculating. I, I also um, just don't believe the game was really as much of a financial success as people believe that it is, because it seems that every game store in the country pre-ordered massive numbers of The Last of Us Two. And despite the fact that that the okay, so when we hear about what the sales were for this game, we only hear about the retail sales. That means how many um, copies were sold to retailers. That doesn't mean how many yeah. copies were sold to individual people. So yeah, I don't actually real. believe that the copies that were sold to individual people match the numbers that were sold to retailers. And I I truly believe that the numbers have been exacerbated and overblown. Exaggerated, yeah. I I. I I would say, I would say yes and no. So, 
Um, I do think that they've had monumental sales and, and there's no real denying that. And they've, they've set themselves up for the budget for their next project easily and made a tidy profit. But I would say that um, it seems to me from The Last of Us 1, um, they've, they've kind of set up a business model where um, you, you release part one on the old console and then it moves over to the next generation and then you release the remastered version on the next console. And then that brings in a whole lot more revenue. Uh oh, am I? You can still hear me, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. We are, we are indeed. Okay. So, so it's like, well, this this model isn't going to work if you've fucked up the game, and then people aren't going to want to buy the remastered version on the PS5. Yeah. So see what I mean? Like that's their secondary revenue model. And if mm -hmm. if people really hate the game, and you get all this initial buy in the first place to see, oh, what happens next to to Ellie and and Joel? Hmm. Yeah, so so maybe in the long term the financial success might not be that great, but um, I I think at least five million copies. Hey, it's pretty hard to argue against that. I, I'm just very um, concerned because I, as someone who has followed the comic book industry for all of my adult life, I have seen how comic books have fallen through the same pitfalls, wherein we'll say, oh, hey, this Superman comic sold 100,000 copies, which is a big deal in, in comic books. Comparatively, I know it's very small. But, hmm. oh, this this Superman comic was so, uh, this is uh, hypothetical, it, it has sold so much but the reality is that it sold so much to stores because it was sold so much via the publisher, not via the amount of people who bought it. And I'm not sure what the last right, it sold to the retailer, not to the right. customers. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm saying. And I've seen that so much in comic books that I I expect that some of that is the same case in The Last of Us. Just given the consumer feedback um, versus The Last of Us Two, that I think people don't like it very much. Yeah, I've also, I, this is rumor, but I ha I've heard that um, they've been counting even some of the giveaway um, copies of Last of Us when they're packaged with like PS4s and things like that have been counted as uh, in the sales figures as well. So it's hard to know exactly what they would be. Mm. That's not too too unusual, though. They tend to bundle, you know, the best games with the new PlayStation console. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, the real figures will get released eventually um and uh yeah we'll, we'll find out it's just so hard to tell basically because um again like the the, the companies or the um uh, stores that buy the games are usually the figures that get reported as we see how many figures are bought by publishers or distributors we don't see the actual end result of how many people bought a product and that inherently um inflates product uh, numbers uh, particularly in comic books at least particularly in comic books because yeah. comic book sellers always buy way more than they need but i think the games are probably um susceptible to the same problem yeah well they were, what, what were they aiming for they were aiming for about um three million copies or something was it what was their what was their initial aim and two two point eight million in digital sales so that's yeah that's people. a lot i gotta that's say yeah. though yeah, yeah I mean, that's it's, big it's it's yeah, that doesn't hard, get to surprise me at all, though. It wasn't a success with. Yeah. People really liked The Last of Us, and then they made the second one. Yeah. Some people were like, yeah. Actually, that's hmm. interesting. Point is that a lot of the success of this one was kind of riding off of how much people loved the previous one, and yeah. with how divisive this one has been, it'll be very interesting to see how many people. It's like Rise show of Skywalker, the they... where people yeah. were like, it made a billion. It's like probably could have made three, but TLJ fucking slashed the shit out of it. I, and if it, refunds were typical things for movies, then... Ooh. Well, Ooh. here's the thing. I wouldn't be surprised if the, the lack of sales over The Last of Us 2, which I believe that there are, I don't have the direct numbers right now, but if they blame the, the lack of sales, even though the game is available digitally, they will blame it on COVID. I, that's just my guess. That's just my anticipation. Um, I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they would. Yeah, anything to say that it's not Neil's fault. I think he'd he'd use it. I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, back to oh. Sterling, right? 
Yeah, we yeah. are yeah. finished. Okay, I, I like this this I like this discussion better than the fucking video. I just want to no, point you that don't. out. You just love him. him a piece of shit over and no, over. No, 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 no. And... Jim's about to say something insightful. Come on, Jim. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Leave it shit, Talon. You can't change that. None of us can change it. I know your experience in erasing black people from European history. Whoa. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Is this is this the kingdom <laughs> kingdom come well, delivery? Well, they're, right, they're probably they're either talking about kingdom come deliverance or more. Yeah, now. history has allowed you to believe you can alter the past, but you actually can't. What's uh, up? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We we think that a bunch of black guys running around in these games that are trying to be very historically authentic would be really weird. Yeah. So we're trying to erase black people from history. That is and, no, so and it's presumptuous. No, and wow. it's so insulting to me that he's just ignoring the intent of shut, the shut, game shut. developers, right? Weekend like... warrior, as a brown person, you should shut up and listen <gasps> oh, to Jim Sterling. Oh. oh my God, my internal racismology is is <laughs> is acting up. <laughs> That's my fetish. I just like being erased from history. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So, <laughs> just going back to that, I think you could. He, okay. You could make a medieval story where there's a random black guy in it that's pivotal to the plot. I'm not going to complain. It's just that these guys didn't want to tell that story, okay? And I think it's insulting for you to go, oh, there were black people. Why didn't you put black people there? It's it's just ignoring what the actual developer wants to make out of his game, right? Like, yeah. it's just, just, just it's ignore so... what he wants. Let's just do whatever we want, right? Yeah, exactly. Like... The Abby deal with it. <laughs> It'd be interesting it. to know how many um, uh, black people Jim thinks should be in a medieval setting. All of them. All of them. One hundred percent. To see, just get a number off of him. No. Just. Oh sh man, sh can you believe that if you you boot up you boot up Mord Howe and you go to play <laughs> as 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 Great Britain, you better have a one hundred percent black army, or else you're a fucking racist, you filthy, dirty, evil white supremacist. I can't. Just, a it, just a guess. Just a guess. Could be wrong. It's actually an interesting study, um, uh, finding out what the perspective of you know black people were in medieval times and stuff like that, and it is intriguing. Um, and what you find is that. There were very, very few there. They knew, of course, of them. In actual fact, they they even had, in some instances in different parts of the history, they had almost an exotic kind of mysticism to them because they were, you know, people of the skin color was so rare. And um, and they even depicted one of the saints, the um, um, Saint Maurice. Uh, they depicted him as being black because he was from Africa. There was no actual account of him. It was a Roman soldier that spared the life of a Christian. And so medieval oh, times he became a saint. And um, and because it was from Africa, they actually depicted a saint, a religious figure saint, as a black person um, in medieval times. And uh, and so it's just it's really, really interesting because that actually speaks to what, you know, the lack of really prejudice and biases they had because they were so unfamiliar with them. In actual fact, there's really cool shit like that in history that people yeah. kind of forget because they want to project their weird modernist stuff instead of yeah. portraying the, the neat stuff that's actually happened in uh, the history of the human race, you know? Well, check this out. Um, that's a, a picture of St. Maurice, the person I just mentioned. And look at how they depict this um, This African I looked down person. and saw Jim Sterling, so you had no. me for <laughs> a moment. I was like, like oh, St. Maurice, no. But have a look at that, like decked out in gold and the oh, most damn. epic armor and everything. Pretty cool. Like, like how cool awesome is that? Uh, Pretty big. And... God damn it. So anyway, it's, yeah, it's a very interesting. Uh, it's a very interesting topic, but it's just uh, you know when people say it's sexist to not have black people in a medieval setting, it's like you really don't know much about medieval period, do you then? Well, I, okay, here's the question, right? Is that there were these incredible uh, black empires in Africa. What are the games about those empires if you really want to make these games? Shut if you're gonna make a fucking game about European countries and European empires, then don't play some stupid bullshit. Make a fucking game about black African empires because they were, I agree. They did exist. Yeah. Just yes. and oh my when... god. 
And when you make a when you make a a a thrilling fantasy um, RPG action adventure game with like stealth elements in third person about uh, the unification of the Zulu Empire, um, I think that there should be white people in it for representation purposes because we don't oh, often no, hear about the white imagine. people. There should Africa have been more people time. who were white in Black Panther. I was offended. Yeah, I just. I just hey, want Mo them to be consistent on their principles. Yeah, if you're gonna do just uh, Mali, Songhai, Egypt, whatever you want to do. I mean, there there are games. There's like games like Pharaoh that allow you to be a city builder game at least. But just if you want to make a a game that predominantly features black people, well, then make it about the Mali or Songhai Empire. Why do you have to? I just want to enslave you and so have dumb. them build me temples. And then there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Hey, Mauler, the chat are requesting to see something. I think it might have been the um, the Saint picture, Saint. What's his name? Oh, sorry, Maurice. I was uh, I was I was sorting out something. Um, Saint Maurice. They want, Saint oh, yeah, Maurice. Okay. I think they also wanted um, Gedalb for for something as well. I think it might have been the get, the sudden you could appealing this to. Whole thing. No, I just mean like, it, 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 Jim Sterling's like sudden. You want to erase black people? You're like whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, calm down, yes. movie Bob. It's such a weird, or it's such a weird thing to say, right? I mean, it's, it's he's such just a strong accusation as well. Yeah, he's uh, exactly. he's caked in this like atmosphere. He just doesn't know how to speak in any other way. He's just like, you must be racist. Just... There can be no what? other explanation. It feels so weird. Like, let's roll it back. How weird it comes out. It's of all me. not. Like... Finding a workout regimen that was never intended to be so much as thought about for more than a second will not resurrect your precious beloved Joel. Yeah, the last putting of us black came people out ages in European ago. history isn't going to bring it back either. Change that. None of us can change it. I know your experience in erasing black people from we're European history has allowed you to believe you like, can alter We're talking about this in this video. It's <laughs> fucking I love it. It's weird. such a weird... It's... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly erasing black people. Like, My whoa, experience. What? He says your experience as well, like you, the audience. Like my personal <laughs> experience of me going around erasing black people. Like, shit, I can't believe I found out. Damn. How someone did you know? Who, someone who is wondering why the fuck Abby is so fucking brick built, like a brick shithouse. Might look at that and go like, oh, okay, here they I understand erase the blacks it. Which in any, your... in any other game, in look, like, Think about Left 4 Dead, right? It, just a, a very basic uh, example where you get these little tiny um, uh, messages that are written on on the um, safe uh, safe zones that are meant to display messages to the the um, subsequent survivors, right? That's such a small thing that makes the game feel like it's a lived in world. So why why would you not expect for the the person playing the game? to read something that is put there intentionally as part of the game's message. It is so dumb. Tell me how long I'm supposed to look at something in a video game. Seven minutes. Seven minutes okay. is all I have. Seven to minutes is the limit. Can only, yeah. I think people say, oh, you're supposed to feel this. You're supposed to do that. This is how much you're, so you get this a lot. You're supposed to care this much. We get that a lot for movies. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. You're only supposed to look at this for a second and then not ever think about it or mean think it means something. You're like, why do you think they put it in? Oh, yeah, he was using it for his own argument. It's just fucking right. Weird. Anything oh, that a... goes into a game has to be passed by like three different tribunals of people who say this is okay to go in. So it has to pass Neil Druckmann three times. <laughs> yeah, he's not, he's not big enough. Yeah, <laughs> he's not bigger, bigger. Make her bigger. Make her arms thicker. Mr. Yeah. Drakken, could you put your pants on? Bigger! He's, he, he grabs the little arm slider of the character creation. He's just cranking it up. Like, come on! <laughs> he looks like the Michelin Man, sir. Bigger! bigger. Computer's so overheating. The... Everyone's shaking. Um, like <laughs> Steve, you can't handle the game, sir! More! Yeah. Past, but you actually oh, can't. What's past is prologue, folks. I don't know he's making this argument. Isn't it just a game? <laughs> <laughs> Based IH. This, crazy. this whole video is garbage. <laughs> Just the game? How dare you? How dare you? You're diminishing the experiences of African people. How darest wow, thou? I'm so offended. Abby can't be real, neither can the books. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs>
And whether you like it or not, and it's time to move on. And I'm simply not going to pretend there's an actual valid reason for disliking Abby's existence. Dislike mm -hmm. no, what? Who are you, who are you talking about? There can't even be a reason. There's no reason for disliking a character who literally kills and beats the main character to death. There's no, no. valid reason for that, is there, Jim? Okay. Well, there's, no, there's no valid reason to hate the character that doesn't really change throughout the course of the fucking game. There, there is none. Well, that's because he's already concluded that the reason we don't like her is because we can't jerk off to her. Oh, yeah. That, that's it. <laughs> What a dipshit! <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, I posted something to the to the e apps. So. That's pretty funny. <laughs> An exquisite work of art, I may say. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but let's be frank: the biggest difference between a refrigerator and Abby is that I would definitely stuff my sausage into a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, at least it'd keep you nice and cool. Yeah character dislike the story but when you're debating that the character can't exist especially when she's not no even in the no one's saying that so, so no hang one on. has ever so said can't that exist at ever. all no? okay you just said it's okay to dislike the character and dislike the story oh well but... then those would be the reasons why <laughs> that is why no people don't like her ever no one has ever said the character shouldn't exist no one has ever fucking i mean maybe i don't think she should it, exist whatever no, I think her existence okay. is a detrimental to the human race. That, that's in, what in I think. In fairness, he said can't. <laughs> Has anyone said she can't, can't exist? Yes, that's the I point. Think that... No one is saying she cannot exist. Yeah. That's, that's the fucking point. My argument is her existence is incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. It was a mistake. It was a mistake, yeah. <laughs> Horrible mistake. top 10 least believable aspects of the game, I'm gonna side-eye you. You're trying to say women with certain body types shouldn't be in games, that women- No! Oh, no. Not in no. This game. Look, okay, look. Okay, he's equating <laughs> very valid character concerns with women who look like that shouldn't be in video games, which is well, what anyone is saying. He's kind of gone nuts now, because you can tell he's now dragging, like, um, literally any woman at all. Any woman at all. Yeah. It's like you're, you're saying women who- you're, you're, people should be allowed to exist, you horrible. And you're like, where, dude, oh. we, where are you going? Where are you going? Damn, this is... I, oh my God. I thought I was really, really clever trying to just use a hated character like like Abby to to, to veil my horrible misogynism for all women, literally hashtag yeah. all women. And he discovered it. I Man, I, I worked so really, hard to be careful. Really quickly, in, out. in my doctoral level research, the study that I did to complete my doctoral thesis was basically based on this. It was the idea Weird. that 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 being uh, that being feminine and having a feminine body would somehow disenfranchise women when they played within a feminine body in a video game, and I did not find that because it's not, not what I was expecting to find, by the way. But it, it's such bullshit. I think I remember that video, the one about like with uh, whether or not people choose male or females in MMOs and stuff. Yeah, it's 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 based on that research. That. My researcher was was. Um, dependent on that, which is basically that, um, you know, the idea that, oh, women will only want to play games that that have uh, female characters look strong and not feminine. That's not what I found at all. What I found is that women want to play female characters that look feminine, that have their titties out and their butts out. <laughs> women prefer to play those characters 100%. On. You're, it's not just you're saying characters. women there actually prefer femininity? Characters. Oh my god. I know. Shocking. How but... unbelievable. How also, unbelievable. Aiden. Yeah. Aiden, weird flex that you're a doctorate, but okay. Stop right <laughs> there, misogyny. <laughs> I have a doctorate PhD. in game PhD. boobies. Video PhD. Game. PhD. Weird PhD. flex, but okay. <laughs> but, okay. Cause Just be, kidding. Just... Fair, fuck all... No, fuck all this shit. Like, for real. I... Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe that. It is so crazy to me that ding dongs who know nothing about media psychology come into this field and go, huh, I know everything about media psychology because I watched a video about how women are oppressed. And they just go in and go hard on this shit when you know absolutely fucking nothing and have no clue about. 30 to 40 years of data that have been collected on this fucking area of research just really, really boggles my mind. Really, 
uh, gives me a big old brain thunk. Oh, I'm yeah. so done with it. Yeah, I think I need to Jim start Sterling is I just a P-word. P word, N word, yeah. So, oh my God, racing the N word. Takizi <laughs> didn't like Bella from Twilight. Oh, she made her, she... oh, there you go. That's oh. the level of her research. No, seriously, like, um, when the really? all the whole feminist frequency stuff was coming out, I was like, all right, look, I if I'm gonna disagree with them, I need to read what they're actually writing and give them a fair go. So I decided to open up one of her um uh, her papers that was called first Bella mistake. versus Buffy. Yeah, and I started reading it, and it only took me like a couple of paragraphs in to see some horrible false equivalences, like glaring. I was like, wow, wow, all right, mm -hmm. okay, so that's the intellectual rigor of this. There you go. It was kind of crazy that she happened because she's just, her positions were always so just like, what the fuck? Like, what? you've built this on nothing. <laughs> this Did you hear the one where she was saying um, how? Batman's cape was decided to hide his butt. Oh yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> hey. Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider's watch, butt is presented for everyone. Watch the Joel Schumacher oh, films. They very carefully show you the butt before the cape swipes across it, okay? No, and it's funny because I think that's proof she doesn't play video games because I think there's an I think in Arkham Asylum or in one sequence, Batman's cape gets destroyed, right? And you can clearly see Batman's, Batman's beautiful buttocks. Butt. Yeah. And the fact that there's oh, Batgirl the in there, butt. and the cape covers <laughs> Batgirl's butt as well, but... Yeah, so, you know. Or you could turn no, off also, the and the, and the also he, out of the way. She, she also uses Hitman as an example of violence against women when she's playing the game wrong. She, like, I, I just remembered, oh, thanks Chad, you, you made me remember a shitty Anita Sarkeesian <laughs> video. She uses... Oh I don't know if you watch this, Aiden, or anyone else, guys. I'm just gonna share it. Like, she she uses Hitman as video games violence yeah. against yeah. women argument because she uses the assassin who is supposed to kill his targets to just kill random ladies. That, yeah. yeah okay. The so there's for, yeah. there's yeah. so problems in in that so called data. There are so many fucking issues. I'm I'm not trying to hijack the screen but i'm so angry about that kind of shit where people thank you doctor make... i'm just doctor so Aiden. mad i'm so mad man it's just I'm dr so paladin <laughs> well you can do the thing and, it's and... let the hate right. flow through you you spend, yeah. your, you spend my dude you spend your entire life trying to to show that that games and that media doesn't cause violence because by the way 100 200 300 pieces of research have not shown once that media causes violence in a causal what? relationship. No, no never. Way. No never, way. Never, what? Never, never. I know. So surprising, <laughs> right? And then you have to constantly deal with this shit. And you, and you have the really hilarious thing is that when I started my PhD work, the people who were saying, well, the media causes violence were all the right. And now it's all the left-leaning people who are just like, oh, the media causes violence and we're so angry because uh, we don't like the way they treat women. No, no, no. I can show you every study on every, <laughs> every exact level that shows this does not cause violence. It does not cause sexism. It does not cause anything because media effects do not have this level of impact upon human psychology. It has been proven for 80 years. There is so much research that I can't even begin to cite it. Ugh, that's it. <laughs> hmm. So, in other words, Jim doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. No, he has no fucking clue what he's talking Just about. And if he had any say. goddamn idea, I'd get oh. so mad. Oh, well, maybe that's, that's your internal a... misogyny talking, Aiden. Internalized Oh, misogyny. I guess so. <laughs> With only one or two particular body types should be. And the hateful comments, sexually sneering attitudes, and clinging desperation to oh, scrub out Abby's entire can, can I... presence. Why does he keep appealing to this? No, and also, in the first Last of Us game, there was a fat guy there, right? Yeah, the gay fat guy was there. I don't see anyone I, praising him. I, like, just, I just like... Yeah, Bill, yeah. 
I'm just picturing him. You just your little your little icon appears in the screen with a little pointing. It's like, look, there's a fat guy. Look, <laughs> look at him. Yeah, I mean, no one is saying that these types of people and these types of appearances shouldn't be in these games. It's just such a bad argument. Yeah, Bill. I forgot. I forgot, guys. Sorry. Like, chat is like, Bill, Bill, the gay hermit. Like, okay. I also like him. Okay, I liked every other side character in the first game. But not in the second game. Also, this it's just that's and, it. So Jim is trying to say that the outcry against Abby was for the purpose of getting her removed from the game. <laughs> it's like I'm pretty sure everyone knew that wasn't going to happen. But yeah. maybe removed from the third. Yeah, because the game's though. already made. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey guys, do you think they'll kill off Abby in such a psychotic way in the third game? No, how dare you! I don't know. You? I don't even know if there's going to be a third game at this. At this <laughs> point. You know, yeah, I have no idea what they're going to do story wise. They set up. They set up yeah. Abby and Liv to be like the new Jack and Daxter in the third one, and then it's like <laughs> no one. Wants there's nowhere that. else to go with Ellie. Joel's yeah. gone. Everyone else is gone. And so, what do you? What do you do? Maybe the prisoners in the jail. Yeah, I think well, the thing is. They set up Abby and Lev's journey to where the fireflies are. That's their gun. That's gonna be like the third game, right? Mm. But no one likes them, <laughs> so I yeah. don't know where you're gonna go with it. So they could do a game that's based in between the two timelines of first and second. So like a the one point five. The yeah. sum of us, yeah, sum of us. That's the title of the game. <laughs> Several, <laughs> a, a little that's bit a, of us. That's a yeah. great name. A little bit of us. That's such a good name. <laughs> oh, I want to be like with um, sack boy, a sack boy, a little bit of us. <laughs> Betrays that motive <laughs> far greater than you think any video game has betrayed you because it had a woman with muscles or pink hair. Oh my god, this is oh, oh shut up. Oh. I'm sorry, pink hair just is generally really not attractive at all. But do the DLJ yeah. shit slip it in there because, uh, well, unless he's referencing, well, well, the... okay, Rags, I disagree with you. There is a girl out there that has is good with pink air, hair, and her name is Sakura Miko. So Let's say Can Sakura Miko. Miko. She, she's a she's a VTuber. So <laughs> Sakura Miko. Oh, she's a three D girl. Is that pink hair? I guess it's pinkish. Yeah. Yeah, it could be pink. Yeah, it's Sakura, He's... right? It's kind of pink. Oh well, I mean, she's not real. <laughs> oh, are you saying Abby isn't real? Are you Rags taking wow. away wow. her Abby existence? Wow! Wow! Good job! Good job, Rags. You're erasing You're denying her existence. existence. Black people. I mean, denying looks... the existence of Japanese people. Oh my she god! She just looks like... like an anime character. Oh. 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 Are you denying <laughs> anime? <laughs> I'm actually denying, denying everything. I can't do. She just looks like an anime character. I can't character, do his right? argument. I can't do fucking uh, Jim Sterling's argument say... without laughing. It's, it's so dumb. Fucking <laughs> tell me fine, what to yeah. do, homeboy. I'll I'll she jump on funny. it. Yeah, she's <laughs> just she fine. tell me you gotta say beforehand, and I'll just. I'll just translate it in Japanese, and then you'll sound really cool. Hi, hi, wakarimashita. Ah, wakarimashita! Muji, muji. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Too much! <laughs> what a terrible, horrible thing. turn the stream has taken. Oh, the leadery that has just risen up from <laughs> the darkness. Warrior, just, Weekend Warrior just messaged me on Discord, and or uh, I'll translate anything you want into Japanese. <laughs> Say bing bong in Japanese. Bing bong. Bing bong. Aiden, oh my god. Wow, Jack. Oh Alright, alright. Right. Wow. Internet high five. Challenge, Internet high five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Translate Pneumono Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Oh, fuck. Is that a disease? <laughs> that hang on, hang on. I got your translation. Here we go. Fuck. <laughs> fuck you. I'm not gonna do that shit. <laughs> Fuku. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Uh, there we go. <laughs> Shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushroom. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we need to go back to Jim. He's only got three minutes left. It's a good hi, argument. Let's go back to this good argument. Jim. Come on. Jim. We're so close. Okay. We've almost done it, guys.
<laughs> you fucking babies. I realise <laughs> what a what a place to end for. Dame dame. Chota mate, chota mate. You Stop it. fucking babies. <laughs> Stop mate, speaking mate, in made up <laughs> languages. Gosh. None no, of us just, can I understand. Hate, Enough weebery. We have up. a reputation to protect here. I hate his get up. <laughs> Yeah, Our... Well, he hates your getup. You're just a you're just a, you're just a coin with two lines in it. Oh, why are you hurting me? <laughs> you're a coin with two lines what? in it. That's why. <laughs> Mahler, Wait, why are you? Like, isn't he a fall Mahler, guy? Yeah, yeah, by, yeah, by, yeah, you're kind of like a fall Mahler. guy. Oh, uh, but I but I was a fall guy before fall guy started. Take it's that. It's too late. It's too late. They're more popular than you, yeah. which means now you followed them. Oh my god. So, should I change my avatar to well, like pe People will think you're the one full guy who's like, no, I'm above this. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. I will wear He's got a normal three jacket. Minutes left. What, yeah. could he, what more could he say for three minutes? <laughs> oh, I. Oh, we'll be surprised. Yeah. Oh, Shad, come I on. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> come on. Guys, I've been more than a little That's antagonistic with today's video, and some people would argue you shouldn't oh, be no, antagonistic. Yeah. You'll only rile them up. But what are the other options? When I mean,. One, one of the other options, options is to actually convince them that <laughs> yeah, you're correct. Yeah, use arguments. You'd be right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, do that have a good argument. Yeah, argument. Don't straw man yeah. the position. Don't ignore like, actual argue. valid complaints about fucking Abby. Jesus Christ. I, I mean, very not well literally having sex with Abby. Just, just the the total disdain for the character as a whole. Which is, he called us abusive wankless wankers who are babies, oh. children, all this shit for He's ages. He's calling then... most of the gamer audience that, and, and, then, and then it's it... just get, it's just games, bro. Why why take it so seriously? Well, it ends so, with him saying, "What else can I do?" It's like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, not that. Not <laughs> just like literally How anything about else. That, Jim, not be a piece of fucking shit. Have you tried that? My dude? This video improves if you take out all those fucking insults. Because it's, it's way worse when you insult when you're just categorically wrong. It doesn't, it's just, it's just like, oh. But like, yeah, I'm an, an, well of course, underway with this Mando review, and I'm clearly taking an unpopular position. So, from a strategic point of view, insulting people baselessly every three seconds probably <laughs> isn't going to be a strategy that I decide to Yeah, I was going to say, there are multipliers oh, yeah. here, such as he's really vitriolic uh he's doing it quite a lot and he refutes his own evidence while insulting people it's just it's just like what are you what are you doing buddy you gotta you gotta work on this look at that sneering yeah, he face is. he is not yeah. ugly. wouldn't it be hilarious to see him in an actual live debate with someone about this i mean he's been on podcasts before let's have him on yeah come on jim Get him on. we'll talk to you about arms it looks like the desire, you know. Wrong. You could ignore them. That's <laughs> not very kind. good. You could try and debate their points as if they have merit, but <gasps> they but don't. You've already, you've oh, already come on. Yeah, you've already assumed their points don't have merit. Well, so, that's your first oh. mistake. Yeah, I was gonna say, Jim. And even if they you don't think, think the they same, do, go ahead. They think the same. That's the, like whenever you're like, there's no point debating them because they don't have any merit. It's like, what do you? Why do you think they hold their position? They think your point has no merit. Yeah, they think that they're correct, and even if it's for a reason that isn't correct, they think it is. So you're going to have to do something about that. Something reasoned them into the position that they have. And the only way to, the way, first off, the way to convince them otherwise is not to insult them and call them horrible names. Not this strategy you want to take. Um, it's one. It doesn't work very well. You don't want to be antagonistic because then they won't listen to you or think that you're saying anything in good faith and they won't believe you just out of spite. And even if they do believe you, they're not going to show it. Um, it's... Oh, yeah, that does happen. Like, people will be like, yeah, I was actually convinced, but I was just too fucking pissed off, like, to yeah, say Yeah, and it. they just won't say it, and you'll never know. They, they might end up agreeing with you, but you'll never know, and they'll never spread that to anyone else because just because out of the sheer personal spite to you because you were such an asshole to them. Yeah. They they also do this thing where everything you said is totally invalid because they're against, you're against them in a sexist way. Like, why why would I even talk to a guy that doesn't want Abby to exist? I think he's I gonna go like to that. Bigot. Yeah, exactly. Those glasses look very tired on his head. Do you see the indent it's putting on right there? I, I wouldn't. You're being get very fat phobic right now. And yeah. It really I'm really, I, all I know is like when my glasses rub on my temples, it drives me crazy. And seeing that just makes me. Ugh. Bro, I just got some new glasses. 
but I have to advertise for my panel and they are a little bit tight on my head, even though they're not, my head isn't that bad. But it's just like, eh, can I admit that they're a little tight? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then. Now you've admitted it here. I have. I mean, I think they're a little tight. You can completely determine when you buy from um, Film Room the, your uh, size of your lenses, but uh, they're a little tight. And what can I tell you? I am an open pansexual queer whose relationship with their gender, especially recently, has been a little... Ugh. He's right, you know. This is as manly as it gets around here. I wonder if and people who... Very fun... I, w I wonder if this is like a backdoor that people use for why they can't be manly or don't see themselves as manly. They just go straight to... Like I'm gender just having stuff. gender issues instead of just saying I'm just not a normal. I'm just not typically masculine in the normal way. Like they, I don't know. It's weird. It's I get. So is he saying like he's he's personally annoyed because he's not sure of himself right now or something? I don't. I don't know. No, that's it. One hundred percent. Does he's he not feel Abby in some dis or connected way represents him in some version? Well, I believe that Jim. I don't want to speak for him, obviously. But I believe that Jim does not identify currently as male or female. He identifies as something in between. I, I, I'm, again, not trying to be mean. I is think it just because he's a really shitty man? I think that's just, just how he identifies. And that may be why he's trying. he likes this kind of representation. Again, I'm not trying to be mean. I just think that that is his... But uh, hang on, then. Mind. If that... If that is the case, that's him acknowledging that Abby's gender is, look, it comes across as ambiguous. I would assume so. I don't so. know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, but that might be reading too much into it. It's just odd that is bringing that up in relation to it because it seems like what you feel represented by Abby then? Like, no, that's well, not such a weird. Also, it's a weird thing to make as part of your argument, you know? Oh, it's yeah, definitely one hundred percent weak. I I'm more than willing. I think all of us here would probably be would agree that we're all willing to. If somebody says, "Hey, could you please refer to me by my preferred pronouns?" that we would be willing to do that. But that it's confusing when somebody starts to use that as a explanation for their actions or whatever. Do you know what I mean? If someone came to you in private and said, "Hey, could you refer to me by these pronouns?" I think we'd all be pretty cool with that, right? Yeah. But yeah. With Jim Sterling, it's a little uh, confusing. Yeah. 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 I don't um, know. I wish you'd just I... like critique the game, and then you know, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, yeah. no one cares, Jim. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, actually, to be game, fair, let's just, I'm curious where he's going with this. Let's just. Fucking say. used to spending a large portion of my life being told I literally don't exist. Oh. No oh, one's what? doing that, Jim. No one's doing that, my dude. No, wait, maybe someone is saying that Jim should well, exist, though. Or, or, so or is it that if someone says that he's a biological male, he feels that's denying his existence? Because and he, he, and he sees himself in Abby, I guess? Because, because oh, people are saying it's hard for her to have those levels of muscle, therefore she does not exist, therefore again, denying her existence. Therefore, denying like he's like, oh, like my existence has been denied. This is a this is a weird connection, but okay. I put that up beforehand because I knew this was coming, just to be sure that because I think everyone in the chat and everyone watching this knows that no one here is is a bigot. But just to be clear, just what no one here is a fucking bigot. Besides maybe Jim Sterling, but whatever. He doesn't like white people. Someone did, by the way, uh, you mentioned getting the Joel model. Um, I did get uh, someone sending me this, but I don't, I think this is the only um, upper model for Joel. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's ever a time where you can see his arms. He's always wearing uh, long sleeves. I don't know. Ab Abby's arms looked as thick as that compared to him wearing the jacket on top. So, yeah. yeah. You got to work on that, Joel. You got to work on it. <laughs> He's working uh, on in, in hell. By people in my life. And I've got friends who are being, uh, just having their, their very human rights debated by TERFs. 
uh, uh, galvanized as they are oh, by the uh, of what Ryan. human rights whoa, are being debated whoa, oh now it's getting political Excuse i was about to say we are, I, we are now can I please? so are, are there any doubts about his political leanings at this point i'm gonna I, I, take I back with... everything i just said about how he he deserves some respect because he just insulted turfs and really wow i'm kind of i don't know i'm kind of with the turfs not gonna lie that's a joke dang it that's a joke I just, so I, that's I, I don't trans know. exclusive <laughs> radical feminists. Yeah, like trans yeah, I, I can sympathize with that. I don't. I'm. I'm no typically no friend of feminists, but I can sympathize with the turf. I mean, I just think that that Jim he, here's kind of a problem with people on his side of of the bay or whatever you want to call it. They're always in an increasingly small habitat, right? their habitat keeps shrinking and shrinking and shrinking because they always have to redefine what they are and what they accept because it always keeps redefining itself. So Jim is kind of stuck in a bit of a conundrum, isn't he? Because he cannot be himself or say anything he wants to say without being called a racist or a sexist or whatever, you know? Just, where, did, where did the Lost of Two go? <laughs> what the fuck? Linehan and J.K. Rowling, who is a turf, by the way. By the way, I do understand that I've offended some viewers in the past by saying that J.K. Rowling is a turf. Well, yeah, J.K. Mm -hmm. Rowling acknowledges that there are differences between biological sexes. You and I think that if you're... It's like, if, so if, dare you. If, oh, dare you. Dead worms is right. Let's, Whip it on this one. Let's look at this from the... Let's say you're a super radical feminist type, right? And then you get told that biological men can essentially decide that they're women, and now they get all the things that you've been fighting for for biological women. That's, you know, you think you see how that might cause some issues with feminists. Oh, yeah, you're not allowed to say that, Rags, because that's racist. Also, there's there's a big big been a big war for her on Twitter, right? She's written like all kinds of essays and shit back and forth with all kinds of it's like. I'm just I I thought we were we were talking about fucking Lost of Us too, but he's, you're okay. <laughs> like, not right. it's exactly. Like, what happened, to the game? what happened to the game, guys? Like, yeah, I can sympathize don't with women think who. About it you know. too hard. Don't think Sorry. about it. Rags, you can't think about it too hard because it will inevitably lead to the destruction of your own brain. So just, uh, just accept it. Take it in. The right to be different. It's Debate I don't, it. I don't think you that's know? what's being debated. Is the right to be different? The right to be different. Yeah, that's no this whole. Is... Yeah, oh, they can. Yeah, that's that's not exactly it's, what's being questioned. It's You're not a matter of, of dishonest. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a matter of someone external to me believing whatever the hell they want. It's a matter of them trying to impose upon me what they want me to acknowledge and believe. Yeah, that's 100%. the difference. Yeah, and it's like, I. You can I believe whatever have... the hell you want. It's not. Yeah, we're can... not stopping you. When you have biological males who are competing against biological females. I don't know. Like that's 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 a little more complicated than just the right to be different. Yeah, that, whichever that, end of it you, whichever sort of end of the argument you're on, like, like yeah, we'll, we'll be sorting that out for years, probably trying to figure out how to make it. How do you just just how does it? How do you even make that fair? It's like I don't know because we've got all these rules already about uh, men and women being we... separated into different sport categories. Which is like, uh, yeah, I, hmm. I see the uh, articles was, pop I, up where you know a trans, I, I guess a trans woman, up, yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta get cracking. Yeah, well, you bet. <laughs> this was fun. And uh, have me on again soon. This is good. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll find another it's game controversy to, to wrangle you in on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> sure something else will be released soon enough that's going to be... Yeah. Uh... You're escaping at the right time, sir. It's just about to get <laughs> hotly political. I was just going to say, <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't have just, you know, had a separate video for whatever this is? Because I, I thought we were just talking about whether the no, muscles were I possible. I know. Oh, yeah, wow. really took it it's there, logical yeah. self-abort at this point, really. Um, but yeah, thank uh, you for popping in. And of course, uh, I look forward to whatever new video you're putting out. Mm. Hell yeah. T yeah, absolutely. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Has he oh, been asked yeah. the question? As internet yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, already, because on a previous stream, of course. All right, all right. Never mind. We got him covered. Take care, my dude. Yes. Farewell. Um, all right, let's just let's get to the end, I suppose. To see general people's existences disputed, 
when she's there no! in the video game. They're like, fictional! This is so Why weird. Like, this is all over the place. I don't even know what to do with this. No, fictional he's saying women. that feelings are hurt in real life. And then the fictional people's existence is being validated, which don't hurt anyone because they're fictional. <laughs> so Bruh, what are you talking about? Uh, but, oh my but God. it really seems like he is drawing a parallel between trans rights and Abby, who yeah. is not trans, but it seems like it's an open acknowledgement now that her gender is ambiguous and she looks well, like a man. We've gone to the broadness of wow. just people oh, saying that's a good that... point, Chad. People saying, like, it shouldn't be possible for her to be that way in that environment is denying her existence, thus denying many people's existence of whatever else in, in real life. And it's just like, oh. That's an interesting leap you've just made yeah, there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think but that there's the same thing at all, even this... separate in the fact that they're games in real life. Chad but okay. is completely correct in that, yeah, they're basically saying, uh, or they want to say that, yes, she is a trans woman, but we can't say that she's a trans woman because that would be, I don't know, somehow offensive. Th this is some really crazy yeah. multi-level shit that I well, have like, no if, idea how to... The example approach. earlier with the three arms or whatever, I think, right? If, if we were like, yeah, you, you can't have a third arm coming out of your chest, it's fucking weird. And then he's like, wow, you're denying their existence, much as though people's existence in real life is... And you're like, whoa, 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 where are you going? Come back. What are you doing? Like, that's what I mean. He just gets lost a lot of the time. In the universe for, for that character to have those muscles. Well, it makes sense in that universe because that's it in a universe where clearly Abby does look the way she looks. That's not... Video that's, games don't fucking have laws that we have to go by. Like, universal laws. Yeah, if, if the idea yeah, here is wow. that it's possible because we see it, the fact that it's presented as possible is what the problem is. Because so it doesn't make any sense. Right. Uh, Rags, you're completely correct. There's all kinds of research on this. In that people can be convinced to believe something is realistic if they are presented with a realistic representation of something. However, that doesn't mean that because there is a realistic representation of a thing, that means that it makes people think it is real. That's just, th those two things do not follow. And there is no evidence, data-based, that supports that hypothesis. It's just, it's just fascinating to me. Like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this it, whole it, thing it, is fascinating. It, it's like if a guy in a game points to another guy and says, that's a married bachelor. It's like, oh, I guess that's possible then. It's like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Like, well, but but he said, the guy in the universe said. <laughs> You're like, okay, this then. Is, it reminds me of the, the hyperspace kamikaze in TLJ. The problem is that it has been established to be a thing. That's what causes the problem. Like, we can Sorry. believe it. We believe in the universe. You can do it. And again, that's the issue. That's what yeah, creates exactly. all the problems is that it's shown to be a thing that you can just do. Just saying something that exists in the universe means it's possible doesn't mean that it can't be contradicted by its own rules yeah. in its own universe. Uh, so that point... Is a well, yeah, and humans in the Last of Us universe work exact same way that we do. There's no, like, th there's, there's never a point in the game where they go, oh no, we've got genetic research that has changed blah, blah, blah. It's like, nope, it's based on how we work. And, you know, they could have actually added something like that in, like, I don't know, a warped mutation of whatever does things to clickers gave her massive gains. Like, some bullcrap like that. But you can do that because it is fiction. They could have easily worked out something like that to... Satis give an answer that is somewhat satisfactory, yeah, and what, but they don't. They just instead like, they were like, "She's, she's next to a gym and she has a workout schedule. Good enough, bye." And it's like, "No, no, 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 no." no, no. Yeah, exactly. I, it was an active choice by the developers to not make something that made sense. Yeah, you you cared enough to have that in the game, so that means that we're pull not that we weren't before, but doubly so now. It's something that's worth exploring. It's not a. Deep it's not a debate. It is. You know, some of the That's comments we've looked at here, some of the comments I've seen continue to sprout and spew forth from no, people's I... diseased mouths are still no, literally most... trying to claim... The most annoying thing about those exist. comments he or picked certainly... was that they're probably cherry-picked to, to prove his point also. It's not really the spectrum of the debate. Oh, exactly. exactly. It's, it's not representative point. of what most people are complaining about. I feel like the main yeah. discussion is on the manner in which Joel died. That was like the big, big discussion. And I hear and this a lot from the, the especially lefty types. Like, it's not a debate. 
they just assert things are the way they are. And even though there yeah. is a raging debate going on, they're like, there's no debate to have. It's not a debate. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, it literally is. No, no. It's, it's not a debate. It's either like, you validate her existence no, or you're a racist or a sexist, a something exactly. like that. It's exactly. not a debate. Women can vote. It's like, no, that, that was a debate <laughs> that we had. We had that debate and one side won. Mm -hmm. Like, this is how we get forwards. I mean, if everyone well, can just indignantly indignantly declare that there isn't a debate to be had and they're correct, well, then everyone could do that. And then, boom, well, Holocaust. Yeah, well, that, that is the problem, isn't it? Is that, no, I mean, that really is the issue, isn't it? Well, I mean, that's that, how it happens. It, There's no debate to be had. The Jews no, no, have to be exterminated. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, shit. Turn up for a second, let me speak. Uh, let me use my female voice to speak. But people like Jim want to speak for women, which is really not only condescending, but extremely rude. And I really hate this kind of shit where you want to speak for women. You are not speaking for women. And implying that you do is is just this abstract crap that that does not mean anything. You are just talking out of your fucking ass, you dumb fuck. Do not speak for women. You do not speak for women. And do not fucking pretend that you do. Ugh, it's so gross. Jesus. I mean, at this point, he's kind of emperor of the world speaking. Like, he's like, this is this is how it works. And you're like, all right, then. <laughs> Such unicorn-esque rarities that they shouldn't be seen in a video game. And that's what it all comes down to. These people shouldn't be seen, and these people no. shouldn't no. be heard. No, 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 <laughs> not, no, not yeah. at all. No, that's all right. you, never, you person yeah. of Everyone indeterminate gender. No, if they're not the absolute bog standard factory default setting protagonist. No, yeah, that's, not, that's not. That's not at all. Jesus. No, I, uh, can I also just comment on his like? He dismissed the like the gym schedule of Abby, right? Like yeah. if it made sense, people wouldn't make a big deal out of it. That's another. That's the thing that it will be just a few minutes. Oh, she has a schedule. That's fine. It, but the fact that people are bringing it up in conversations is makes Abby's existence like, like oh my bad. Abby's like physique even more special in that world. It's it's yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's so it's, weird. So if. Sorry, you you finish. No, Shad, like, go ahead. I, I just yeah. hate this just, argument. Yeah, from... just trying to understand his argument and trying to give him the benefit of the doubt here. He's saying, if you do not show these more exceptional um, uh, people who uh, fill in more of the kind of gaps of the human experience, you could say, uh, in video games, they're never going to be seen. That that seems to be his argument. Right? Uh, am I correct? Um, he, like he, that, he's yeah. saying that Something they don't that. want them to be seen. These these theoretical like like, like uh, I imagine he would put us gamers, in the category. Yeah, yeah. It's like ew, we don't want those people on screen. No, stop. Because if we like translate that into the thing that is already snarkily uh, tr re referenced twice in this video about um, black people in medieval you know based history, right? It's like that doesn't mean black people aren't in video games, but that seems to be what is equating it to. Is that if a video game is made to be more historically accurate to represent, say, the medieval period, and therefore black people are going to be very rare, if at all even present in many locations, then he's saying that uh, they're excluded from all video games. So that's no, it's not what's yeah. being said at all. It's yeah, not at all the reality. Again, there's a lot of the empire, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff you could make video games about that I guarantee, particularly I given. Think if the way that video games are right now, people would want to make games about like the Molly or Songhai Empire. I guarantee you will guarantee you will want to make games about those uh, places in history. If you flop, flip it around and say if, if there's a game about, you know, the Aztec Empire or something like that, then I wouldn't expect nor want to see a bunch of white people running around in it. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't mean I'm trying Absolutely. to deny the existence of white people. Yeah. Like, you can't just, once you swap this around, it, not that it works on its own, but it gets more and more silly the more almost identical 
uh, examples that you pull out. Well, similarly, it just falls apart so quickly and easily. If a video says like the only people complaining this, complaining about this, are a bunch of black people, you get in trouble. But if you say it's just a bunch of white people, it's like, oh yay! Oh yeah, up. good it's stuff. Fine. We we can make fun of young white people all the time. That's not a problem. At yeah, white males, white males, yeah, fuck them. We can make fun of them and group them and categorize them as much as we want. As Just don't know, do it to yeah. any of the of the of the precious protected groups. They gamers don't want them to be around. They will scream about oh forced diversity when they see just a no, shred of diversity. No, Games won't. are less diverse no, than real life is. Games are less diverse than real life is. I doubt that. Big I, time. Yeah, I doubt that too. Yeah. Also, I guess women with bionic arms in World War II or whatever that would be diversity. Right? Very diverse. No. You just hate diversity. Cares. Nobody cares. The the ninety nine percent of quote unquote gamers do not give a fuck what race, what gender, what ideology your character is identifies with, as long as they're an interesting character. This has been shown time and time again. So just make an interesting character and shut the fuck up. Well, it's just crazy because yeah. all of this comes from people being annoyed at what Abby did in the game, but he's extrapolated all this crazy shit out of it. Yeah, he's gone pretty far with it. And, like, on his diversity point, it seems to be almost based on a false premise, an assumption that people will not be able to get invested into a property or story or whatever unless their specific race, gender, world experience, whatever, is reflected in the show, which seems very odd because that's, like, almost saying that, you know, therefore I it was impossible for me to enjoy the Cosby show because... It's got black people in it and no white people. Therefore, my race wasn't represented. It's like, no, I was able to enjoy the Cosby show when I was a kid. It's like, and identify and like the characters in and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I think it's vice versa. I mean, so. Sanford and Son and all those old shows. People yeah, were, Fresh, those Fresh were Prince great. of Bel Air. Great. Like, oh, yeah. Those were oh, great yeah, shows. They were, Sanford and Son is hilarious. Why didn't I'm he so want me, man? Well, you couldn't like, relate he, to his issues because he's black. That's so why thing. is there this sudden mindset that so unless dumb. you have, uh, you know, every single gender on the endless list that is now being created, being represented in video games, people will not be able to have enjoy or invest or identify with characters and things like that. Like that hasn't been the experience for all of media before this stuff started to get more traction. So yeah, it just they only had seemed... black and yellow people in Simpsons. Exactly. How do you think? How do you think I felt? I couldn't connect to anyone. I'm not oh black goodness. and I'm not yellow, so yeah. hey, what do I do? I just what am I supposed to feel? There were some doggos in there, though. You sound so oppressed, guys. I'm so sorry. So oppressed. What's being I mean, thought coming from a woman? Thank you. I'm glad you could feel you know? feel the struggle. But look at yeah, me, accidentally falling into the trap of trying to seriously debate people who claim no, you didn't address not seriously debate people. people. No, you didn't you address had any no of the arguments. Point. Yeah, if you were on a stage with somebody like us, if you were in a call with people like us, you'd get fucking destroyed. Well, because he he would go through all the arguments he wrote in this video until he finally says it doesn't matter. That we're like, so why are you here? Like, stop. <laughs> Yeah, like, you could convince us if you had arguments and evidence and things. Yeah, like, isn't, but isn't this proof like get... he's just dishonestly debating people? Quote-unquote debating for views? Isn't, yeah. isn't that... Yeah, this is... Yeah, like what this says to me. Yeah, you're not... He's not debating sitting there alone yeah. in his green screen room. Like, you're not doing it. And if you do consider this a debate, you should treat it a little bit more seriously because you're not going to convince anybody. Give a fuck. And if you They're are going to convince someone with these of kinds of arguments, then they could probably be. I'm not scared of things that are different, Mr. Sterling. I'm annoyed at things that are bad. You feel the monologuing? Is he soapboxing about I something? I missed that. Did he actually say that people are afraid of things that are different? Yeah, he said that. Yeah, could you get it back, Mahler? I, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll like probably dial it back a bit. Oh jeez. Oh god. He's trying to get. Is he trying to get us to sympathize with him oh, after no. he called this terrible, horrible, shitty? You started again. People? I'm very interested. In, I'm very interested in this particular quote because it's kind of a fuck. But actually, don't give a fuck. They're just very scared of things that are different. That's the thing. You've just reduced their whole position down to that, and well, that's not true at all. All right then. Probably. Fear of different things. So what? Are, case, so what? What does he think? people are scared of exactly the, things that are different that's 
ladies they can't fap to. Like, you think, is that is that what they're scared of? Like, well, anything that is different in any afraid. way, no matter how minuscule, is just unacceptable. Just afraid that other people on on the planet do not share his precise political opinions. That's it. Interesting. And that's why they don't thank God for me. Even though they no, should. No one thanks God for Well, at the very least, they should thank God that Joel died, because he was shit. He was oh, shit. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's really just... Yeah, I think that's he's a way just rolling people. <laughs> I think he's that really... Been over. We've we been did over it. why Joel is a pretty incredible character and why he's very, very beloved, and why Joel did nothing wrong at the end of The Last of Us. Yeah, I um, did he, he made absolutely made the correct call. It's a very Stunning juvenile kind of um, The outlook. ending is brilliant. The ending yeah. of the first game is so good. I think Weekend Warrior is right. I think this might be on the part of Jim an attempt just to attract views yeah. by saying he hates, he hates uh, Joel and he hates The Last of Us. Or, uh, See, I don't know. The Last of Us too. He, I, I think he actually stupid. thinks... I don't know. I think he actually thinks Joel is a bad character, but is purposely trolling it and, and etc. Yeah. Like me and Christmas oh, yeah, in Halloween. Him. Like in reality, no, actually, screw Halloween. Um, How dare you? Yeah. No, not, even, not even Max is going to want to go that far, you. just so you know. <laughs> How dare you? Halloween is kind of like a bad Christmas. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's You're the a retarded, in bed, it is, it's, retarded it's in bed cousin people... of Christmas. Yeah, it's like, oh, I, yeah, I could dress up for four hours and get some candies. Yeah. Like, okay, it's not nice, like whatever. The but nice Easily the best. No, no, it's not, guys. It's time to accept the fact that you are denying the existence of Christmas because you like Halloween. <laughs> Christmas is welcome uh, not, to exist. I'm, exactly. I'm not denying the existence of Christmas. I'm just saying Halloween is better. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a bigot argument to me. Wow, yeah. we. It sounds weird. like someone if is liking uh, Halloween makes me a bigot. Have a good so be it. Grasp of reality there. Let's, mm -hmm. let's meet in the ring. Let's fight IRL. Let's <laughs> oh, go. Oh I, oh, I don't want to debate with bigots. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, that's right. All you gotta do oh, it. Yeah. God. Boom. Yeah, there it is. I don't debate bigots. Like, like, why, why are you such a bigot? Come to, Wait. Uh, I forget what. Sh Shad, how long have we got you for, by the way? I'm gonna go there. <laughs> I'll, I am actually reaching about the end. It's um, yeah. nearly five thirty in the morning for me. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I'm all, yeah, I'll just finish also this video in so many. Like, are we done with Jim? Yes, uh, yes, we or, are done with Jim. <laughs> uh, like, thank you, God. Are, you, are, thank are we God. gonna shadow? We seeing you on the back end or? Uh... Come get yeah, you like uh, I'll, I'll have I'll have a nap. You know, I'll take a, a leaf out of Aiden's book and uh, and uh, come back all the stronger. No problem. Yeah, think... We'll be here for a while. Stop it! Yeah. Don't bully me! I don't like this! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. The doctorate is, is oh, spazzing it's, out. It's connected. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, um, are you okay there? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm just having a bit of a meme. That's okay. Having um, a meme. Disconnecting. <laughs> we got static. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's been some how, really how good memes coming out, up, too, to with the fair, stream. It's 8.30 right now. How can you stay up this late? I, I'm so tired. 8.30? 8.30 yeah. p.m.? P.m., yeah, that's a late time to stay yeah, up this way. In, in GMT, it's so late. Oh, really? I'm. It's like 3 a.m. where I am. 3.30. <laughs> Wait a minute. Have you so had so lots you, of martinis? Sorry, more than that, because you guys still have a long ways to go. Yeah, we're only yeah, like, yeah. We've got about uh, we got about twenty four hours to go. <laughs> yeah, six. We did six and a half in one video. Oh yeah. God. So really, that the gym section is that long? Jesus Christ. Well, Jim is Jim is uh he is thick with content. We'll say that. <laughs> oh, he's a thick boy. You got me. You can keep me for about four hours, then I have to sleep. I was gonna no, say, you're welcome to. No, <laughs> you can go you can and recharge or sleep or whatever you want to do. Um, well, yeah. I'm glad we can worry early. It was he's he's my bestie. Oh, oh yeah, bye to Senshi. Hi, what are you I think I'll be what able is... to come back. Uh, um, Suzuki, about... Hyundai, Toyota, Mitsubishi, <laughs> <laughs> Honda, Honda this. 
<laughs> Hentai, makarimash. Uh, sushi, ah, sushi. Ara, ara. <laughs> ara, ara. So, ara. Uh, hi, hi. Hey, hey. Oh, oh no. The we- Sorry. The- yeah, the I think guys, I'll be at a. <laughs> Your Weebry is scaring away Shad. I, I know. No, Shad. Stop it. Shad. Stop it with the Anthony. 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 All these Katana fanboys. It's over. Come on. Deja vu. Deja vu. Shadu. Deja vu. You guys. Did you guys say deja vu? Isn't that French? Katana. Is not the best sword in the world. I hope you guys. Oh. The warrior yeah. son, don't stay there. Nani, Nani. Oh dear. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Making it worse. Uh, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. This is a shame for a display. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Sh- yeah, bye. Shame yeah, for yeah. all. This is a shame this for is, a display. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Terrifying. <laughs> um, okay, well, I really think well. I, so, guys. Please, I think I'll be back. I think I will be back for the home stretch. So for the last <gasps> maybe. So. You gotta like, invite. The the bread bong back for the home stretch. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll be here. I'm in Ireland in the UK, but I'll be Ireland. So <laughs> they're all um, islands. Ireland. Oh, islands. I heard Ireland. My bad. No, Ireland. Oh, no, if I was in Ireland, I'd be dead, dude. <laughs> Why? Why would you be dead though? Oi, Kathleen. It's the all right, guys. Everyone. I will uh, farewell. I will see you later. Um, take care, stay Shad. strong, Maul and Rags. You can do it. I believe in you. Burritos I'll every watch, day. Burrito. I'll watch oh, your yeah. flail video, Shad. Burrito strong. Yes, watch the flail. It sucks. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> okay I think I'll also hop out here, my guys. Uh, but I, I'll i probably be back. I believe Please. in you. I didn't. I believe in you. We can yes. warrior. You and yes. me need to do something together at some point. Hell we'll yeah. Do something fun. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. It's high five. Different. Internet high five. Hell. Hi, hi. Internet high five with that. High five. <laughs> hi. Uh, guys, when I wake up, you'll probably still be on air. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Yeah, yeah. See you around, dude. Uh, okay. Konnichiwa. Have fun with the next video. Konnichiwa. Oh, Yasumi. Indeed. Oh, Yasumi. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. He's fucking. What to you? <laughs> so, bye, guys. Take Hello. care. Uh, <laughs> like we're just like, uh, okay. Um, uh, Tora, Tora, Tora. Da, 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 da. Hello, Mark. Have we letters from Iwo before? Jima? I think Hello there, there everybody. Into this horrible stream. Where the I last samurai. I'm back, baby. Just. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, he managed to going? get back in. Uh, Oh, metal's a cool dude. Let's I got. I did everything I could to keep him out, guys. I'm sorry. No, no. No, you That's didn't. Rude. I did metal's all cool of guy. the things. How <laughs> Mauler, you're being rude. Metal's a cool guy. Ardero, you. Metal's a cool guy. He's crying right now. Look what you did by saying he's cool. You upset him. <laughs> well, he all this weakness. I'm sorry. I think he's okay. He is. He's all right. He's all right. That metal he dude. Yeah, I, I like right metal. <laughs> So, well, um, I, I can't speak in Japanese without it bringing in some kind of huge controversy. No, there's this, no, it's not wrong. It's There's nothing unusual about anything that's happening here. Yeah? Oh, no, okay. Well, I got confused for a second. I thought we were going to speak in Japanese back to me, and then I got confused. Honestly, the most unusual thing is probably that I'm here. Hello, everyone. Right, yeah. So Hello. you're you're actually the one I referenced earlier. The the one who was like, "Hey, VR is actually okay, even even for people who have difficulty moving conventionally." It's like, so, um, yeah. What it's been a, it's been a year VR since you had to there. provide that counter. How do you how do you Almost feel? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, for I guess if anyone is um kind of lost on that, I sent Moeller a video after Jim Sterling was like, "Yeah, VR is privileged goggles, and they're only for the absolutely able-bodied." <laughs> and I'm an amputee who like I lost my leg in 2017, and I bought myself an HTC Vive when I got my prosthetic specifically to be able to train myself to do things like oh, move in weird oh. directions and dodge bullets and stuff, playing Robo Recall. So. Yeah. Nice. Not only that, but while you're dodging bullets, they're committing a hate crime. I don't yeah, want absolutely. to be a little bit too weird, but there um, are a lot of people who would like to do a lot of research with you. Oh, I, I, am, I am in. And we'll pay you to do research with you. Oh my God. Um, now I'm doubling. Contact... Give them my <laughs> 
Uh, uh, contact me after the stream. I will send you the person, the person who will want to do research with you. You want to stick his leg nub in your what? Every single time in the I last few years that I've started dating a new girl, all my friends can say is, what are you doing with the stump with her? I'm just like, oh, God, no, that would hurt me. You guys don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but they got to ask. has been trying to study um, people who have uh, disabilities in different ways, whether it be uh, more natural or unnatural, whatever it is, disabilities. And we are so, so wanting to get people to uh, complete our studies. It is insane. So I will actually give you a study where you can probably make some money uh, get, and get free cash. Uh, that sounds good from, to me. I'm in Canada, though. Is yeah, that a problem? Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not a that? problem at all. No, not at all a problem. I will give you some money, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, on on my favorite podcast for like two minutes, and already Aiden Paladin's giving me money. This is, this is good. <laughs> I, I will try to find a way to give you some money because I think I have a way to do it. So, nice. <laughs> yeah, but I guess for anyone else who doesn't know me, um, I work for Geeks and Gamers. Um, I, I make gaming videos on the Gaming with Geeks channel primarily. That's kind of like the the gaming specific sub brand of Geeks and Gamers. So that's uh, sort of how I ended up here, I suppose. Hmm. Good to have you, sir. And to so, add an EFAT meme, my newest video is a review of Horizon Zero Dawn on PC. So in case anyone didn't know, Horizon Zero Dawn is coming to PC. Oh, we're <laughs> aware of that. <laughs> We've been told about good? a thousand times across yeah, the two years. Okay, well, what do you guys think about Horizon Zero Dawn on PC? I haven't played it. I don't haven't played it. Is it any good? I don't know. It, I haven't it, played it. I haven't played it either. I have no idea. That's why I'm asking you dudes. The port has some issues, but ultimately it still runs a lot better than it does on a PS4. So uh, like if you had the option to play on PS4 or on PC, I'd still say go for it on PC. Oh yeah, I'll um, take a bad it, port on PC uh, yeah. <laughs> any day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the mouse keyboard controls are really good to the point that I didn't, I, I was actually like able to fix the fact that I experienced a glitch where the sort of bullet time, like slowing down time to aim mode wasn't working for me at all. But uh, the mouse aim kind of made it so that it didn't really matter. And I didn't need to slow things oh down to knock things off the dinosaurs because I wasn't aiming with a controller. You know, when I was uh, way back when Max Payne 3 came out, I, I was still playing on the Xbox at the time, and I, I didn't finish the game because of how frustrating it, it is to aim at things, because that is yeah. a very, uh, that's a game that relies, for those who don't know, on basically headshots, headshots, headshots all the time, uh, and, and that's how you want to play the game. A lot of precision work is involved, and I never finished it because it wasn't fun to play. And when I got it on PC, man, some of the most fun I've ever had in a shooter. Yeah, if you, you guys want to help me try to convince Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers to like learn how to aim with the keyboard and mouse, because he's always talking about how <laughs> Titanfall 2 is his favorite game, but he always wants me to play it on a PS4, and I'm like, oh, oh that. No, no, I can't no, like, no. imagine <laughs> playing Titanfall 2 on a controller. Tell him that, please. Oh my god, to me. <laughs> what does that thing run at? 30? No, it's at 60. Um, oh, it, it, it's made god. by um, the same it's guys so who made the Call of Duty games no, initially, so they're uh, they're all about the 60 frames a second. Uh, god, I'm glad. Jeez. Yeah, it's, it's not unplayable on PS4. I'm just not very good. Like, especially now, I've been playing on PC almost exclusively for like the last three years straight, and I, I'm really decent at mouse keyboard aiming. Terrible at aiming a first-person shooter with a controller, though. Also, hello, Cynic Snacks. How'd you do? Hello there. I'm all right. Hey. It's Look, been, man. it feels like it's been ages. When did you last come on, you fab? I don't remember. When Finally, we can get an Italian on. Uh, well over a year ago, I'd say. Damn. Were you on 50? Uh, yes, I was, yeah. Oh, there you go. So that'll probably <laughs> be the year. last time, yeah. It's been a just, year since Phoenix Just That's crazy. Year. I think, um, oh, Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> <laughs> just calm down. Goliath. What? Goliath, go away. What? <laughs> um, well... The next, the next thing we got to cover. Oh, oh yeah, does everyone want to just make sure they got that? Uh, they're in the room. We got a lot of dead accounts in the room now. I'm probably gonna oh, restart it eventually, uh, but for now. There's so much meme merch. I need to scroll up. <laughs> oh, I reposted it as the bomb. Um, oh God damn it! Now I have to scroll back. <laughs> oh, <that's yeah>. it. <laughs> it's in here. So our next video on the plate, if you will, uh, is gonna be something we've been asked to cover for a while, and I just, you know what? I don't know what to expect. It's. It's a ranking of every Star Wars movie done by a oh, no. very oh. wonderful person. 
No. You, oh my goodness. You know him, you love him. Oh, it's, it's, it's by the it's Hebrew Benjamin. himself. Oh no. Okay. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh no, Ben Shapiro ranks the Star Wars saga. <laughs> It could be, it could be fun. <laughs> I hear his wife is a so, doctor. we are going to rank all of the Star Wars films canonically, but we're going to go worst to best, worst to best. I know, we all already know what the best one is, but we'll start worst to best. Okay, do we? Do we? Yeah. Do we? <laughs> I guess. To be you ask. He's referencing He's Empire, talking. right? Just, I hope so. We yeah. saw that the other day, and it held up really well. Let's, let's hope he does And then this is, this is Ben Shapiro no, we're talking ben about. Shapiro I wouldn't knows. rely on him to do anything. What is um? We'll do this. Can can you live shit? Please stop for a second and recognize the high IQ level that Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I've always wanted to see a high IQ level ranking of the Star Wars movie. That's the thing. He's got such a massive galaxy brain that I couldn't even predict the outcome of this. What? Well, yeah. What? What? What, what yeah. game do you want to play with this? Should we have our own list competing with him, or should we just try and guess what his list would be? I'm okay. Every well, yeah. Let me open up a word document. Let me open <laughs> up my. Uh, I will make a list of what I believe his are, and I'll see if they match afterward. In so, fact, I will post it just to make. Let me scroll he's down. Doing I got what a lot of, is I got a lot of notes here on how Mandalorian is shit. He's what doing, is like, everyone's number one worst two. Star Wars movie? And is this just Ooh. the saga? It's not. So like, I think this includes the nine mainline movies plus Solo plus Rogue One. I think that's what okay. we're working with. Okay. All right. Uh, from best to worst, I'm going to think he thinks that... Hmm, all right, I'm just going to make my list, and then I'll... Uh... I mean, what's everyone's pick for worst? Let's just have some fun with this, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, it's a uh, I think it might call. be Last Jedi for me. Anything from the sequel trilogy. <laughs> okay, Last Jedi, okay. I think, did more damage, but I think Rise of Skywalker is probably a worse movie. Yeah. I would agree, I think. I don't even know. Would, They're would, both terrible. Would you agree that TFA is probably oh, the one that does Mahler. the most damage, though? Mahler, remember we did that poll that one time, right after Tross came out? And oh. it was 50-50 on the oh, dot, whether wait. Last oh, yeah, Jedi or Tross was worse? Let's put chat it's... against Ben Shapiro. We'll make a straw oh, poll, no. <laughs> and you, it'll be vote for multiple. You just gotta vote for, well... The worst, I guess, but you can pick like three, and then it should level out to find out which ones are the top I and worst, right? I find it really... Yeah, we need to redo the poll. No, I'm going to do it's a poll really... for the whole set. Okay, yeah, we do that, do that, do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really difficult oh, to try and think about how bad they are in comparison to each other at the same time, so I often like to think, <laughs> which one would I prefer to watch right now out of them? And uh, <laughs> I'm still, like, fucking stuck. I feel like how do I make the is it what because it's not straw poll right what's a what's a poll where you can like pick the order if you know what I mean like like order um well oh. let me ask you this um all you got to do is just list the nine movies say vote for which one's the best and then that will rank them yeah that'll give but you a percentage. I feel like with our it. audience especially what you'll get is it's zero 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 in everything <laughs> except well, for like surely with, we've got I mean how many people do we have watching fuck. 6,300 people watching, so surely... Well, I think it'd be more interesting if they, they were told to order them in quality and then they could get an average. I don't know if we can get anything to do that. Yeah, that, yeah that could work. Um, I guess if anyone in chat knows a good system to do that in, like or should we poll, just but... do like a top three or a top... Google polls. Google polls? What's that? Yeah, give that a shot while I'm making my list here, because this is going to be my list, and we'll see how this ranks up to his. So, are we ruling out Attack of the Clones? Oh, well, I mean, this is the interesting part, right? Because some people will be like, no, that one's the best. It's like, no, that one is. No, that one is. It's like, oh, I don't know how to... That one's the worst. Like, what, which one the worst one is will probably be split across a lot of people. Yeah. Straw poll is all I know. You can make a Google form. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever done that before. Like, I don't, I don't know how it works. I feel like it's going to be a lot more time-consuming than just making a straw poll. To like start adding, I don't know the different. Maybe would it be interesting to do a straw poll if we knock out the OT and then it's like pick the worst? Yeah, that would be most. That would be the quickest way, I think. Or well, well, I guess at that point it makes no difference if we keep it, right? <laughs> I don't know. Four. What about four separate polls? OT sequel trilogy, uh, prequel trilogy, and spin. But then we can't compare them across. <laughs> <laughs> Is the I, Star I Wars holiday order part of the 
Someone in Discord is making one. If someone, if one of the generous members of public are able to generate what I'm talking about, go for it, because I really, I don't know how to do it. What I'm looking for is a poll where you guys get to choose, like, what, like, you order them, and then submit, and then every one of the 6,000 potential people do it, and then we get to see an averaged out where everything ranks, and then we'll compare that to Ben Shapiro's. <laughs> all this effort, all this effort to see if we compare to Ben Shapiro's opinion. It's important that we compare to Ben Aiden, Shapiro. Aiden, statistics, your thing. Can can you help us with this? What? Yeah. What? I, I'm a, a little bit confused. So, what do you want to know about Ben Shapiro's? We're day? talking about <laughs> Star Wars. We're we're I, trying I to know. take I, data from I know, the but... community. <laughs> we're talking about Ben Shapiro, or as we call him, a Jew hope. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Well, wow, wow. That sounds very racist to me. And I don't know if I can, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, you okay? <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> uh, I'm a <laughs> all right. I, I, think, okay, I, I think I'm picking up Pardon. what you're setting down there. I, I, I can't do the meme. I'm sorry. But if you want me to, to dunk on Ben Shapiro. <laughs> In terms of just his um, demographic inconsistencies and inaccuracies, I could probably do that. Like he doesn't but... rank the Star Wars movies like a real Jew does. What, is, what? what do you mean? I don't... <laughs> what are you oh, talking no. about? Oh, okay. I'm... I was just trying to figure it out. <laughs> this is my problem. I can't say anything without somebody. <laughs> oh, you don't. <laughs> You don't like the Jewish people, and I can't say shit without me saying that Ben Shapiro. I don't necessarily ag agree with his. Yeah, I'm just interested in his Star Wars rankings, to be honest with you. That yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's shit. what I want to know. Mueller, be so happy that people can agree with you without having to bring in some kind of weird fucking goddamn religious bullshit. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how much that will factor into his uh, Star Wars rankings. I'm just wondering, though, what you want me to say about mm. Ben Shapiro. That was the, the real question. Do you think his Jewishness at all plays a part in his ranking of these movies? <laughs> Obviously, but I can't say that. Which, I think he'll which find Star a way. Wars movie speaks the most to him as a Jew? Do you think? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get destroyed <laughs> over this. I can't. What am I supposed to say? I'm gonna get ruined no matter what the fuck I say. Okay, so I found this thing called Rankum One. Two, I think three. it would be the Last Jedi because that's like the Holocaust of Star Wars movies. <laughs> <laughs> no fuck sake. What, no matter what I say. Rankum One Two Three kind of does the thing I'm looking for. Yeah. Kinda. No matter what happens, somebody will say whatever I said was anti-Semitic. So, and by the way, not just me, but all y'all guys, people will say that was anti-Semitic. So, y'all just gonna have to deal with that shit. That's all right. We're not. We're, no we one said anything. No one said anything negative. Yeah, the Jews are yeah, fine. They're all right, fine. We can, people. They're fine. I'm trying to make a poll. At the same time, we can do that fun little movie ranking just, game together. I we can all vote. So that'll I, that'll be I, a thing. Just give me a second with this with other poll thing. Fine. I'm just trying to have like a decent ass shit. Um, while not trying to deal with being called the Holocaust denier <laughs> for five. Seconds. Uh, because it's very difficult for me. Because if you don't know, I get called a Holocaust denier like five times a day so oh fuck <laughs> sounds pretty gay and annoying <laughs> it does sound gay really mm -hmm. annoying. all right let me give these written attack of the clones i feel like i'm very closely aligned with the list that rags has put forth yeah, I'm I'm not set in stone on this. Um, i think a couple of them move up and down depending yeah. on how i'm feeling and at, at the time I feel if you asked me a week from now to make this list again, it might be a little different. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty secure on the bottom one, two, three, four, five. I'm really only maybe three, four, and five are really the only ones that I that get the leeway. One and two mm. are super secure, and all the bottom ones from you know after five are pretty 
I I don't think those will ever change. Mm-hmm. Is this list based on what you feel are the objective best movies or your personal favorites? A bit of both. A bit of both, kind of. Um, if I was going to be objective, um, go, go, I guys, think that's probably what puts Rogue One above Return of the Jedi. But I would rather watch Return of the Jedi. So Yeah. Yeah, I think the Return of the Jedi is really high up for me, but I, I completely acknowledge it as a subjective. I just like that movie. I, yeah. It has problems. Yeah. <laughs> I like it to watch, but it's got some real issues objectively in terms of like what the fuck happens and things. Then I guess yeah, I wouldn't also, disagree with that well, at all. Like the, the movie's position within the overall story that kind of gives Return of the Jedi a bit of a leg up over Rogue One. Um, because so it's kind of that's, essential in the context. This is more, this is more for me objective when I had to compare the two because I originally I had them swapped around and then I changed them because mm-hmm. Rogue One for how boring and dull it is, I don't think it has. Then I'm operating a lot from memory, mm-hmm. so I may be wrong, which is why these ones I've you know I, I will go back and forth on. But I feel like Rogue One has less objective issues and more that it's just a dull. <clears throat> unfun movie with characters I don't care about. Like yeah. I would not want to rewatch all of Rogue One at all, but I would definitely I watch Return of the Jedi. Even though I think that technically Rogue One is more solid objectively. Um but it's really um, close. I'd have to rewatch yeah. it again because I my my memory banks on that one are very weak these days. Then it's also too, yeah. you kind of have to factor in the t- the time in which the movies were made and how they compare to other right. movies of that time. Do do this, uh, okay? But do it like this is provided by Kara, so thank you for that. Um, just do it relatively thank quickly, you, thank you. and then while everybody's filling that in in the audience, we will do the game one on screen, and uh, people will probably find that pretty engaging until they all get to vote. So. One moment, I will spam it in the chat for you. In the audience, we will do the My problem is I haven't seen the original ones in like a million years, so I don't even know. Just hit that and you get to vote. Just try it. It's a little awkward. You have to try and figure out your own sort of Mm. thing and then put it into the thing. But, you know, and then we'll be able to get some results. And uh, if any mods are around, please repeat that, uh, that link every once in a while if you can. I just and, realized as well, you can put all of them as the worst. Yeah, well, <laughs> this, this is the thing. So don't hoping, do that. Don't do that. If yes. you, yeah, if you play it uh, like you know, reasonably, then we'll get some interesting results. If you play it goofily, then yeah, it's not going to help. But <laughs> yeah, please you. please be honest with this. We're legitimately curious how they stack up, and it would yeah. be a good, interesting thing to kind of use for the future. So 100%. please do answer these earnestly. Uh, actually, and if you give me the data, raw data, I can do any kind of analysis you want on it. Whoa. Also, all right, here we go. So if you guys, if you want to be able to see what's happening on screen, I can just describe it to you, but if you pull up my, the, the streamer, you'll, you'll be able to see it. We're playing the little ranking game. We might do this for the MCU later as well, but... Oh, that one, yeah. I'm, I'm so, not... Solo or The Rise of Skywalker, which is better? Uh, I haven't seen Solo. Solo, 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 solo I think is better. I, I think Solo is better. Yep, I think we all agree Solo wins that one, so no. easy. Last Jedi or Rogue One? Rogue One. Rogue, Rogue One is way better than Last Jedi. Mm-hmm. Revenge of the Sith or The Force Awakens? Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> Phantom Menace or Attack of the Clones? Attack of the Clones for me. Clones. Attack of the Clones yeah. just edges it out. Oh no, I'm more Phantom Menace. I'm, really? Yeah, I think uh, uh, Attack of the Clones edges it out. Which, so we've got four votes for Attack of the Clones, which means it wins, right? I will say those are super close, yeah. but I do yeah. think Attack of the Clones wins. Yeah, it. don't don't take this too personally. I'm just going to try and do it quick. So, 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 so the average out, if it's 4 to 2 at the very most, then uh, Attack of the Clones wins. Uh, Return of the yeah. Jedi versus Empire Strikes Back. Empire. Empire, Empire. Empire wins. <laughs> Rise of Skywalker versus The New Hope. A New Hope. Uh, new hope. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I that one. I'm, those, even those names, when I hear them, are kind of ironic. It starts off with a new hope, and now we're just hopeless and upset. And <laughs> a new hope versus Solo is a new hope. A new hope. New hope. Last Jedi versus Force Awakens. Oh. Force Awakens. Uh, I've submitted my uh, sub- so answer. the reason why I think I will probably pick Force Awakens as superior is because it didn't fucking annihilate Luke Skywalker. That's uh, yes, yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. It did kind of destroy the world. Um, it kind of destroyed Han Solo, but I mean, this this one, I really don't even know what's the objective choice between the three of them in the sequels, because they're all so fucking bad, but... 
yeah, for me, I would probably... I, I would prefer to rewatch Force Awakens than The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi is miserable. Yes, I would much rather watch TFA. It looks like most people. All right. Uh, Rogue One versus Force Awakens. Rogue One. Rogue One. Yeah, Rogue One, one thousand percent. Just for the Vader scene. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith versus Rogue One. Revenge I'm of the Sith. I'm gonna go with. Me. Oh, oh is this objective or subjective? Um, it's really just your vote. You can treat it how you want. Rogue One versus Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I I, I think Rogue One's more objectively solid. I'd much rather watch Revenge of the Sith again. I think I could make a, an objective argument for Revenge of the Sith over Rogue One. Rogue One has, like, there's no characters. The best character in it is K2SO, and he's a droid. Mm -hmm. You say that like well, it's as, a bad as long thing. as the characters aren't contradictory, uh, <laughs> then there's not an objective problem with it. I agree the yeah, characters are shit, yeah, but I, 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 I would that. so much rather watch Revenge of the Sith. I would gladly yeah. watch Revenge of the Sith. As it is a lot of fun. I would abstain on this one because I don't remember Rogue One well enough. Everyone here likes K2SO. I think that Revenge of the Sith is kind of a shit movie. <gasps> Wait, so what's the votes looking like? Uh, um, put me down for fuck. Uh, put me down for. Uh, I just to be consistent with the rest, put it in with put Rogue One for me. All right, and Metal. I'll say Rogue One. Oh shit, but Mark. <laughs> mainly, mainly because I, I remember. I, I'm better. holding strong on Revenge of the Sith for this one. Uh, <laughs> Next, a toughie. Wait, so was, was this between Rogue One and Revenge of the Sith? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I, I'd probably rather watch Rogue One. And we already know what Aiden said, so Rogue One wins. <laughs> Phantom Menace, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You were the yeah. chosen one. <laughs> and again, just to just to reiterate for chat, I would I would I think Rogue One's better objectively. I would never want to watch it again. I, I would much rather watch Revenge of the Sith. I think it's way more fun to watch. And not even I 100%, dude. Like, I, I don't want to rewatch. Oh, here's a tough one. Revenge Attack of the Clones what? or Return of the Jedi? Oh, Return, oh, Return of, the of the Jedi is better. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were being serious for a second. No. I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> it took me a second to process that. I was like, wait, why is that hard? Oh, this is an actual, <laughs> actual hardwood. Last Jedi or Rise of Skywalker. We did do this a little earlier. Mm. Oh, fuck, uh, I think man. the Last Jedi is better than uh, it's. It hurts coming out of my mouth. <laughs> it stains. I, I would want to caution you. The entire plot is garbage nonsense in TLJ two. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. It's a fuck. Um, I hate them both in completely different ways, and it's hard to pair like compare them. I I guess I would put TLJ on top, but just because I don't even know how he could compare these two different piles of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not even sure, honestly. Yeah, I know, same. right? Well, let, the first so time we asked the poll, it was 50-50 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I don't even know. <sighs> TLJ, because there was a few things that when I first saw it, if I didn't think about them, they were fun, like the throne room fight. When you slow yeah. it down, it starts falling apart. I can't I mean, think couldn't of the you say that about the Skywalker that I liked. <laughs> what about the watery fight, where they fight with water? Isn't that cool? How cool is that? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Very, very cool. Thanks. I, I think my reaction, my disappointed reaction was more audible when watching The Rise of Skywalker. So if I'm going to use that like, as a metric, that's probably I think I was cool. laughing at that point, getting like, like surely a that's... person in a straight jacket. Surely that's partly to do with um, the fact that you saw TL, like, because it broke everything. So but yeah, that, that's the thing. The Last Jedi ruined the world of Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker just world. sucks. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I felt it's it was so hard. I didn't feel investment in the Rise of Skywalker, but I was still invested during TLJ. So it's yeah. almost like there was two different people watching those movies when they yeah, came out, exactly. which yeah, makes it hard I, to I'm compare. But then I could also put down The Last Jedi is the point where I stopped becoming a quote-unquote Star Wars fan. Yeah, I like think a it, lot of people could say that as well. And so the, I went into The Rise of Skywalker not really giving a shit and just wanting it to be over. But that's because of what TLJ did. So I think that maybe that's the the worst. I, <laughs> it's it's, so I, was, I, I was harping while Rome was burning when The Rise was, of Skywalker was playing in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> I was just... It's, I of, keep trying to think of, like, of how to answer this question. It's like, which one would you prefer to watch? And I'm like, I guess... The Rise, Rise of Skywalker? Rise of Skywalker, yeah, because it's just a little bit more action-packed. I don't want to see Luke get fucking 
yeah horribly killed again yeah. and there is technically more stupid dumb action the yeah it's sort of i might be leaning rise of skywalker being better because i don't have to see luke skywalker attempting to murder his nephew yeah plus, <laughs> you could say that's a plus <laughs> yeah oh god and then you do have to put up with stupid zombie palpatine clone <laughs> guy <laughs> well, at least he sounds like palpatine in, in the face uh, again uh, yeah at least he's at evil least he's evil fun <laughs> i uh, um, all right, my vote. I'll go for I'll go for Tross myself. Is that how is everyone else looking? Yeah, same. I'm gonna go with Tross is worse. Oh, oh it hurts. Wait, <laughs> Tross is worse. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, what's everyone picking okay. for the superior? Superior. Uh, I think. T <laughs> <laughs> I know how you feel. Uh, do we hmm. have to choose? Can we just not? <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this one, no, this, no. this one. Yeah, the, on the okay. survey, you can't Here's click what we're two for worst. Heads is TLJ, tails yeah. is Rise of Skywalker. Uh, right. Yeah, fair. Go for Wait, who's tails, flipping? So the Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> today, it's, Wait. today it's Rise of Skywalker. Okay, today it's Tross, fine. Uh, <laughs> today it's Tross. <laughs> today it's Tross. <laughs> uh, TFA versus Tross. I'm guessing we'll go with TFA. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, wake up, wake up every day and flip I, a coin, and I so guess. you know which one you hate more that day. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say the Force Awakens. Don't ask me to justify it. Just <laughs> roll with it. And let's move along. Force Awakens versus Solo. Solo. Solo's better. I'll go with Solo. Yeah. I haven't seen Solo, Solo also, versus Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Oh, Revenge of the Sith for sure. I would go with Revenge of the Sith from memory, but I kind of would need as to see Solo as again Revenge to be sure. Of the Sith for Solo. Yeah. Or Revenge of the Sith. Mm -hmm. Revenge of the Sith or A New Hope? A New Hope. A New Hope. Oh, New, New Hope's better. New Hope, 100%. Yeah. A New Hope or Rogue One? A New Hope. A New Hope. A New Hope. Yep. Last Jedi or Phantom Menace? Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Yep. Oh, uh, <laughs> Phantom Menace versus what? Wait, I thought Aiden was like saying no to that. Are you saying no to that? No, because Wait, what's I had the to think about it again. No. No. What's the matchup? No. <laughs> Oh, the next one is Phantom Menace and Rise of Skywalker. Oh, Phantom Menace is Phantom better. Menace. Oh, Phantom, Menace, yeah. Phantom Menace wins. Uh, Force Awakens, Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Mm -hmm. Phantom Menace solo. 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 Phantom Menace. Um, so I'd rather watch the Phantom Menace, but I think Solo is the better movie. Mm. I almost thought. Oh, that... oh yeah. I've... I was I almost considering is... the reverse of that. I feel like I'd rather watch Solo because I find parts of Phantom Menace boring. The Tatooine mainly. While uh, Solo the is more. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Solo. And um, Phantom Menace. Um, if oh, I'm, mm, oof, I'm very. This is this is a conflict I know, this territory is a tough, for me. This is a tough one that I didn't think to to really match up. Mm. So I it's think tough. In, in a way, the Phantom Menace also destroyed the world of Star Wars by turning what was mystical into just science. <laughs> Well, um, midichlorians, that's a whole thing. Everyone's still debating on midichlorians to this day, like what exactly he meant in the, uh, yeah. in, in the film. I wish that scene was just deleted, because then, they would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just never mentioned again, or referred to at any point by anyone. It's just this weird anomaly. And instead, Qui-Gon just sensed something about Anakin instead of it being that he read his blood. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, okay, but, um, to, is, could it also not be said that metachlorians are a result of the force in you, and that yeah, they're that like they're not the first step? Well, that's what I meant by it's, it's still in debate, like to this day, whether or not it makes sense or not. Um, the case I'll make is that Phantom Menace seems like a movie that was made by a person who had a plan to make a movie, whereas yeah. Solo is kind of like a Frankenstein monster of a few movies that. Hey, you like this, don't you? Of, <laughs> but but a Frankenstein movie can still be better than someone with a bad plan. I guess that's true. But I would agree. I would agree. Um, I just can't use that as the quality determinant. And yeah. I don't. I think. I think Solo is better. Yeah, I'd say Solo is better, and I would rather watch Solo. It's, I would certainly rather watch it right now because I haven't seen Solo since. I feel like I watched it in cinema. Like I feel like that's yeah, how long right. ago it was. So that, that was what twenty eighteen. So yeah, I would way prefer to watch it because I watched Phantom Menace relatively recently. Um, but I don't know how much that matters. You know what? This isn't. Taking it too, way too seriously. I'm voting for Solo, and we care about that can change tomorrow. Wait, what? Okay? We're taking our analysis of Star Wars too seriously? 
what a we bunch would. of I'm voting, nerds. Like nerds. Like I said, I'm voting for Solo, yeah. and that could change tomorrow, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Another coin toss. What, uh, wait, Rags went solo, I went solo. How are the rest of you looking? Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. These are oh, movies about yeah. space children intended for wizards. Damn. <laughs> Does Phantom Fan Menace wins? I'm a dick romancer. I think I'd go with Solo, actually. Sorry. Oh shit, we've locked on 3-3, three, three. you're gonna have to flip a coin. Oh, uh, I'll just change right. my mind. Is... No, you are not allowed to change your mind, Pizza. So, heads is, heads is Solo, Tails is Phantom Menace. You can trust me. Tails. It's always Tails with you. Wait, yeah, well, sorry, I mean, which one was no. Tails? Tails is Phantom Menace. Uh -huh. Revenge of the Sith or Phantom Menace? Revenge of the Sith. Oh, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Revenge yeah, of the Sith. Yeah, Revenge of the Sith. Easy. Revenge of the Sith or Attack of the Clones? I feel like the answer to that's Revenge always Revenge of the Sith. Revenge. Revenge of the Sith versus Return of the Jedi. Return of the Return Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Mm. I would say Return of the Jedi. Even though it's pretty tizzy in a lot of his yeah, parts. it's really tizzy. Yeah. Return of the Jedi or Rogue One? So, oh, that's another... I'm, that's the I'm toughest one to me. Yeah, so this... Yeah. Structurally, Return of the Jedi probably makes less sense. Um, but payoff wise, you know? Yeah. Damn. Ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, I'll say like Return of the so, Jedi. Uh, yeah, I'll be going yeah. for Return of the Jedi. I, um, I ranked Rogue One higher because I was trying to be objective. Uh, but again, I would, m I would much rather watch Return of the Jedi again. So I kept my list consistent based on those parameters, but. You know, if this was a which one would you rather rewatch list, then it would definitely be higher. Mm -hmm. However, I think objectively Rogue One is better, but that's mostly because it doesn't have the same amount of big problems. So, Return of the Jedi was what we're going for. That was my. Vote. I, I yeah. picked. Um, wait, is this between what again? Rogue One and Rogue One and Return of the Jedi. I picked Return of the. I, or sorry, I picked Rogue One. Jedi. Jedi. Mainly for everything to do with Luke and Vader. It kind of just yes, tips the scale that's for the me. Thing. That's yeah. I'll just go more. Yeah. Uh Snacks and Aiden, where, where, where are you going? Um Return of the Jedi for me personally. Yeah, ba based on what I'd rather watch, Return of the Jedi. Which yeah, by the way, this is clearly a really good poll because we go from what we think is actually constructively the best versus what we prefer the most versus what we'd like to watch right now. That's the three <laughs> things we keep going between. I, I would just rather watch Return of the Jedi. That's Yeah, I definitely I think, rather watch that's, Return of the that's Jedi. That's what it boils down to, because when you can't really determine between the two, you just have that that's the only thing I can go go to to get a quick yeah. answer. Yeah. In fact, I think I might swap those two. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to swap those two. I'm going to go with Return of the Jedi. It's just kind um, of, as a rule, I would just prefer the uh, the original trilogy over any other Star Wars stuff. So, it just always uh, ends up being that way. A New Hope versus a lot of Return of the Jedi. New Hope. New Hope. Oh, New, New Hope. Hope. New Hope, 100%. Yeah. New Hope is so good. Empire versus A New Hope. Uh, yeah. Empire. Yeah, Empire, Empire for me. Empire. Empire. Bam, bam, bam. All right, we have our results. Um, and we can compare them with the EFAB fandom results based on 1,150 answers. Apparently, we're Whoa. dealing with... We both have the same number one, both have the same number two, both have the same number three. We, we have Rogue One, they have Revenge of the Sith. Then we have Revenge of the Sith, and they have Phantom Menace. Then Guys. Uh, we have Attack of the Clones, then they have Attack of the Clones as well. Interesting. Then they have Rogue One, then we have Solo. They have Force Awakens, we have Force Awakens, they have Solo. Sorry, yeah, those, those are just uh, flipped. Um, but funnily enough, both lists end with the Rise of Skywalker and the Last Jedi. Huh. Um, yeah, it looks like Solo ranked below Force Awakens for the EFAPTOM. Force Awakens is really bad, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they've been paying, keeping up with like your videos and yeah. the discussions we've been having about it. I got like but 12 hours of ripping it apart so far. Only halfway. Yeah, The Force Awakens is like what I would probably call a fundamentally broken movie. Not that Solo is some kind of deity. Yeah, itself. Solo's not great. Like, you only need to understand, some of these decisions are based off of how shitty the other option is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's kind of like 
well, this is better than the other thing. <laughs> In at least the the one makes. <laughs> at least Han Solo Sorry. doesn't die in this one. <laughs> Um, all right, so what we'll do is I'll have those two... Yeah, how does that, how does that line up with um, the deaths of characters? And do you reckon that has a massive impact on people's opinions of the movies? Just so you guys know, that's that's our list. I just posted in there. And then uh, EFAP's list. Let me get that one as well. Oh. 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 Character to death, I assume, factors in, but I think we were all trying to be like... <laughs> what is the actual best movie of these two or at least that's what i was trying to yeah, but i just that. mean about your unconscious feelings towards the film it must have a bit of an impact on oh certainly and i think that's why ultimately i kind of um or i guess it wasn't a character death but why is eventually conceded to rise of skywalker being better than last jedi i was like well at least luke it rises didn't die. <laughs> i don't I have was... to see luke almost murder his nephew yeah, I I'm an uncle too. So. I agree with this listing of one to eleven. That's a pretty good list, and that makes sense. I feel like the lists we got are pretty, pretty good. The uh, the hours and efaps. You know, you could. You, I think that there's room to breathe. It's very. It's gonna be curious what uh what Ben's is, which we're about to um oh, yeah. check out in a second. We one, one oh yeah, right. oh yeah, yeah. Ben. <laughs> I forgot that we need to find out what this fucking idiot knows or wants. Racist, Whoa, just because he's rude. Jewish. Star Wars film, Phantom Menace, charting in at number 11. Now, I know a lot of people think Attack of the Clones goes here. You're going to be shocked where I put Attack of the Clones. A lot of people say Last Jedi. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Is he starting from the he bottom? Thinks, yeah, that's his worst. He oh, thinks Phantom yeah, Menace is the worst. He thinks uh, that... The Phantom Menace is worse. Okay, I didn't think and... we'd get blown away immediately, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. So, like, I it's not so shockingly horrible that I don't... Like, it's still a really bad pick. I feel if I was forced into debating that point, I could... Tr I don't think I could. I was no. about to say, well, we, got, we got Phantom Menace is number five and number yeah, seven on the other seven. lists. So, averaging out to a six mm. out of 11. And he's put it at number 11. <laughs> That's uh, Dolly. Mm. Has he not seen The Rise of Skywalker? Uh, well, yeah, he, he might be a little bit boomer <clears throat> confused. I mean, let's, he's going to rationalize confused. it, right? Because that's why the video is also, long. Is he an old time Star Wars fan or is he a newcomer? Well, I know, he, ha I know he hates The Last Jedi because he made a video about how much he hated it. So I'm assuming uh, like, it, it won't be that he hates all the prequels and then the sequels. It'll, like, I'm assuming yeah. Last Jedi's got to fit in you somewhere. But. Hey, we, we got rationalizations. It's a 16-minute video, so he's got to say something. Jedi, I hear you. I hear you. Last Jedi is hot garbage. It's a terrible film. A truly terrible film filled with plot holes and stupidity. Phantom Menace, however, is worse. The reason that Phantom Menace is worse is because George Lucas makes a critical error. He thinks that the reason that kids like Star Wars is because they want to see kids. This is one of the big errors that a lot of people who make kids' films do. I mean, Pixar doesn't make this error, by the way. Um... To be fair, Anakin does suck. But like, I don't. Oh yeah, yeah Anakin. Yeah, yeah. But that's not but because he's a kid. That's because yeah, <laughs> it's because he's yeah. written to be shit, and his lines are horrible, and his actors bad. Uh, <laughs> also, I, I, he's like the only. Is... Like, there's way I, more adults I, in the film than kids. What are you talking about? I do well, think there is some. Uh, I don't think it's entirely that. I think that bad kid characters make people dislike them, right? So bad kid character characters are not good however um it does kind of put a film at an inherent disadvantage when you start out with only kid characters right so kid characters are kind of inherently dislikable but it didn't to a it didn't start us off with kid characters and i don't, no, I, agree. I, I, I don't know I'm i don't agree with that kid characters are inherently dislikable what uh, okay <laughs> Doesn't um, Anakin only show up like an hour and a yeah, half? Yeah, I like Newt. <laughs> what about fucking okay. Stranger Things? A lot of a lot of kid characters are very dislikable. Um, uh, I, I sure don't... the kids no, in not, it not in every case, not in every case, but a lot of kid characters are dislikable because um, they tend Kevin to be... McAllister. Yeah, I like Kevin. I don't... Okay, so you're well, Rich Evans. But... The fact that I love, I love Rich Evans. He's the, the, best the fact that it's, that makes them annoying isn't that they're kids though. It's it's going to be something else because there's loads that we like that are kids. So it's like oh, um, cool. basically, it's the idea that uh, it's when people have uh, low agency, but then 
uh, obtain high agency via their whatever perspective they're laid in, right? Which oftentimes is displayed by kid characters, if that makes sense. So it, basically what I'm saying is that you have characters that are said they're not supposed to be able to do things, but then they can, and then, whoa, we it's really neat. <laughs> um, that, wow. that's, that can be frustrating uh, by characters that are kids. Uh, it can be fun, but it can also be annoying, right? That's all I have to say. What about characters that are um, completely impossibly perfect? Or, uh, that's obviously irritating and everyone hates that. But that's my point with the kid characters, right? Is that many people dislike kid characters because kid characters have a problem with being flawed in that it's difficult for some people to write kid characters that are flawed because they don't want to write a child as being a flawed character. So you always end up with this not always, but very frequently end up with this character that is kind of perfect and they're just in a shitty situation. It. It's difficult to move out of it, right? So um, there are some stories that do it well and many other stories that do it poorly. And it's basically based on the author. Hmm. Uh, so I, I mean, I would... Airbender. There's some good good kid protagonists there that are well-loved. I mean, not by Mahler, but, but <laughs> lots of others. <laughs> wow. Racist. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, that would only bolster my point anyway. The, 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 like, yeah, the, the common fact is going to be something other than they are kids. It's going to be something else. Like, uh, if, if you dislike or like them, because I would say it's pretty neutral. Like, it's a child character. Will you like them? It's like, I don't know. Depends. Right, exactly. There's kind of like a, a, a pre a perception, a preception in culture that because a child or because a character is a child, you're supposed to like them. And that's so stupid and and not good for character development because <laughs> there's so many terrible, terrible child characters. Well, if you would if you're talking about like the problem with Phantom Menace is children. I'd be like, uh, <laughs> Sure. Yeah, that, that I, it ain't because they're children. Yeah. It doesn't help, because mm. when children are annoying, they're extra annoying, but when adults are annoying, you're just like, eh, that's an annoying adult. We got it with Jar Jar. <laughs> yeah, what about weird CGI aliens <laughs> that are annoying? Right, 100%. I, I, I don't I, think I, I've ever... Sorry, go, go ahead, Eden. No, I just say that, like, just because an adult is annoying doesn't preclude the fact that a not, that, that a non-adult cannot be annoying. <clears throat> but I, I just, think that like, a big problem of, of the Phantom Menace, more than any other any other specific movie in the Star Wars series is that there are both adults and non-adults that are really, really irritating in that film and that carries on uh, throughout the series. But it doesn't feel like a strong enough point to be able to say that The Phantom Menace is the worst because children. No, I don't like, agree with it, that It's either. obviously the point that sets that movie apart from all of the other movies, but I don't think it's necessarily weighty enough to say that it, that makes it the worst no i wouldn't agree with that either but i'm just saying that it it's a hard movie to get over if you just don't like child actors which has nothing to do with disliking children or disliking kids or hating kids or whatever but let's be real kid actors uh, are very rarely good uh, when they're, they're good it's impressive rather than yeah. what you'd expect right. But I, at the same time, the point I was going to make is I don't think I've ever heard anyone say, man, Goonies would have been a good movie if it wasn't kids in it. <laughs> I mean, if, yeah. you, if you make a good movie that stars kids. Stranger Things. So Stranger no, Things did really it, well. It, it has to be so specifically based around that premise, which I don't think that the Phantom Menace yeah. was based around. I see what you're saying. I don't think it was It's a like a child-oriented story and an idea, like a coming-of-age type beat. Yeah. Whereas this is just happens to be like a kind of a grown up story that has an annoying kid in it. Right. Which I think makes it annoying to adults when they watch it. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, uh, I think it's probably a decent film if you cut all that stuff out of it. But unfortunately, you, you can't remove the annoying child parts from it. That's the thing. When I, I remember when I first watched The Phantom Menace in the cinema, I really enjoyed it. I, I liked Anakin. I didn't have any problems with it. But then I was a stupid child. 
since I have stopped being a stupid child and rewatched it, I've realized how bad it is. Now that I am a pizza. Yeah, <laughs> now that I'm a fully <laughs> grown older pizza. Older than most of you guys. So, I mean, I'm 30, so like I'm probably considerably older than you. Uh, oh, so I'm I... pulling the age card. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying card. I'm trying to pull the age card. I'm just, I, I don't know, because when I saw the, when I saw the Phantom Menace, I think I was 12 or something like that in the theaters. I'm trying to remember. But I was old I was enough to know better. Probably, <laughs> right? I, I was in high school when I saw Phantom Menace, uh, 14, 15, I think. Maybe what 15. was your first? What was your first take on it? I, I actually pretty much me and everyone that I went to go see it with really loved Phantom Menace the first time we saw it. Mm -hmm. But I think that a lot of that might have been like we had never seen special effects like that. Yeah, uh, oh, really. We, yeah, it, people didn't really turn around on Phantom Menace until like maybe a year later. Yeah. Like, and then the same thing happened with Attack of the Clones. It seemed like everyone loved no, it, I, I, and then people would be like, "No, it's even worse than Phantom." I, I distinctly like, remember leaving the cinema with my dad, and he was a big Star Wars fan, and he was the one who got me into it, much like most people. And I remember walking out the cinema, being like, "Wow, that was awesome!" And my dad was like, "That was shit." Well, <laughs> that's my, that was my experience as well, where I thought it was cool. My dad was a huge Trekkie. And he hated it. He, 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 first of all, didn't want to see the movie in the first place. And he's like, I hate this. I hate Star Wars. I don't want to see this. I like Star Trek. I hate Ugh. Star Wars. Look, okay. Smith, not my man, full of Like, oh my God. I tried to say something in the book and I fucked it up. But <laughs> um, no one would have noticed in this quality. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm very <laughs> fluent in Vulcan. I'm never held. I'm sorry, is what? Is yeah, exactly. That, came, a, that came out crystal clear. I understood the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the point is, my my dad was a, a big Trekkie and took me to see the film when I was like, I guess 12, 13. I, I didn't like it and he didn't like it. And we both kind of just went, uh, are we supposed to like this movie? Um, it was a very weird experience for me, I guess, in that we, in, in, in that I had never seen any Star Wars movies, and my dad rented all the Star Wars movies for us to watch in a row, and I didn't really get into any of them. So you, you didn't but, buy a Jar Jar oh, Binks action figure after you saw the movie? No, I didn't. Oh, I, I, was a I was always you a Trekkie. You need to consume better than that, I'm afraid. No, I was always a Trekkie. <laughs> I was always a Trekkie, and I, I didn't understand Star Wars. Star Wars, I, I still don't quite understand it. It's never been my thing, particularly. Um... <laughs> Hello? All right. I was about to say, did we just lose Aiden or did I? And, no, she's. And that is the oh. end of what I think. I was about to cry. I, I thought my internet I, died again. I was like, oh. I do like a good Star Wars movie when I see it. I like good Star Wars movies, but I don't like. But the bad ones just fly right over my head, I guess, is the mm. point. Well, um. I guess we can uh, go back to Ben Shapiro and his Hill House. interesting I was supposed bit. to mention Hill House kids as well. They're amazing and they're super young. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you know, him him bringing up uh, kids is like, what? <laughs> but anyway, let's, let's, let's hear more about why the Phantom Betis is a baptism. Pixar is exclusively about small children. Kids don't actually want to watch kids. Kids kind of want to be adults. Making Jedi Anakin six years old is really weird. And then making Jedi Anakin significantly younger than Padme is super duper weird and becomes even weirder. So he's, um, this is this so... weird fucking set of comments about this, right? So Padme age probably defaults okay. to fucking Phantom Menace 14. Padme is older than Anakin age though. in Phantom Menace. Nine, right? Uh, nine. So five year difference. Yeah, it's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah, that's completely normal. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a Six years bit older bit than my girlfriend. It's a little bit weird, guys. Well, well, at that would, age, well, hang, yeah. I mean, hang on. It would be weird then, then, but it's sure. not once they're older. And people like like to yeah. be like, oh, it's such a weird movie because like she's preying on him when he's so young. It's like there's no sexual shit in the first one, okay? They just meet each other. Right. Yeah, yeah, I agree that there's only weird in the first couple of films. Um, well, I don't know. Did they ever make physical contact in episode one? The later films, it doesn't I'm pretty matter. Sure they, were, they were in the same room once. Yeah, but do they hug or touch? <laughs> no, I don't even like think they're anywhere near each other. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't think that, I think the, if there had been a sexual relationship when she was 15 and he was 
five or whatever, because that I believe is the the generational difference. That would have been really weird and creepy, but it's mostly really at <laughs> 15 and really. Okay, but when, the, so, when those same people are like then, 24 and 19, but then like, this is, I, this is uh, even, like, why are we even discussing this? It's so irrelevant from anything. Uh, why has he brought this up as a critique? Because, 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 because a lot of people do. A lot of people like, oh, you know why I don't like Phantom <laughs> Menace? Because the creepy age difference between the two people who are not actually doing anything romantic whatsoever. You're like, oh. <laughs> well, yeah. Mahler, yes. remember well, okay, the. Yeah. Um, in that case, the... what about the creepy age difference between Qui Gon Jinn and Anakin? Like, they spend far more time together. But they're not romantically. <laughs> Yeah, but neither oh, is uh, yeah. Anakin and Padme. You wanna, oh, yeah. You want to hear the creepy age difference between me and my father? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, weird. Uh, and that's I why I hate order. my yeah. life. Is it, is, uh, excuse me if I'm wrong, but I do find that the relationship is a little bit. But this isn't a Phantom uh, Minute thing. This is a Clone Wars thing. Yeah, exactly. Right. By that point, it's it's more understandable. But because I, they don't have like a different. relationship in the Phantom Menace. They like talk very briefly. Yeah, that's one of our problems with the Clone Wars is that they almost like he, this weird fascination. It turns out that he's had with this one person is weird. How old and it is isn't the, built up? How old is the age difference between Anakin and Padme in five um, years? It's what? always going to be always five, five years. years. They, age age, they age at the same rate. Five years. No, I did. I didn't know, but um. I think that it's a little bit dependent on how old the person is, a little bit, but it's not, it's a little odd. Let's just be real. It's a little odd, just well, the, a little odd. They, they, they are two people that exist in the same universe and they happen to have different ages. I but think that the, a five year difference between people that are 10 and 15 is I'm odd. Say Clone yeah. Wars instead of yeah, but they're not romantically right? involved, so it I'll doesn't probably be that right, relevant. Right, right, right. I, I agree, but I'm saying that, like, when when they become of age, it's not that weird. But in the pre-age, you know, ten to fifteen um, area, it's a little bit creepy. Uh, that's just my opinion. You could disagree, obviously. But what's creepy? Uh, someone being ten and someone being fifteen. What they just what they just their sure. ages are because creepy. Ten and fifteen, them... sure, but they're not romantically involved when they're ten and fifteen. The context. Uh, th like, there's some implication for it, but I, like again, where? I agree. is the like where the most the, the most I'd allow is that you girl? can say Anakin might have had a crush on it, but like what? But again, that's yeah, so yeah, well, yeah but boys, that's young boys fine. have crushes on older chicks because they're just innocent like mm -hmm. that, and they yes, just have crushes so. on girls. I guess so. I guess so. again, I'm not trying to like do anything kind of crazy here, but I he clearly has a, a crush on her from the first film. I don't think clearly. He... I don't think it's clear. Well, I don't remember the scene where right. he's trying to shield his boner or fucking well, he's blushing well, loads well, while well, staring well, at well. her. I'm not thing, like, nothing <laughs> happens. Nothing happens to imply any kind of relationship or any kind of sexual interest. If... But they he just thinks she's like cute. Kids. It's in the first film. He thinks she's cute. I think I, you could think someone's cute without having a sexual or romantic interest in them. Like, and I can also... look at a baby and it's like, yeah, that baby's cute. That's a cute baby. I, I, I can look at animals and be like, yeah, that's okay. a cute guinea pig i agree i agree but i do think that that it was set up very early for there to be a sexual relationship between those characters because and i'm not saying don't take me in the wrong way the story was set up to make a sexual relationship between these characters and that's why it doesn't work is because it was set up prima facie to to be like these characters have a sexual relationship rather than working towards building a sexual relationship between different characters. I agree, it's I definitely mean? not like built up. But I think if I was going to go with it, so because people are referencing the whole the first thing he says to her is he asks, "Are you an angel?" and then he explains why. But I would hardly say that that means that he has a definitive. Isn't it because he's heard there. stories of pilots yeah. that see? angels or then even yeah. if right. even if he has is romantically interested in her that doesn't matter either because because he's nine younger. Yeah. yeah whereas if she but had been to him like oh you're a pretty sexy you little boy it would be like yeah that's fucked up but she you know, a young young boys can absolutely think they have because a, a nine-year-old doesn't know what love and attraction they like they don't grasp those yeah, concepts right. i agree but don't they're you only find it kind of weird and creepy when no i don't think it's weird and creepy and i don't think that it's an, weird and creepy enough to use that as a criticism against the movie either 
because it's just such I, an I'm irrelevant not point. As a, as a no, I'm talking about Ben Shapiro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm arguing against I, I, Ben. Ben, ben is still you. with us, of course. <laughs> okay, hey, I don't find it as, as, a, as a criticism against the film, but I do think that it is okay. All right. Um, are boys attracted to women from a young age? Obviously. Yes. Obviously. Obviously. Oh, and, and, and let's just, go ahead. No, I mean, that's fine. And we should all be accepting of that and not be weird about it. Um, and, however, I, I do find it a little bit uncomfortable when we display attraction between prepubescent boys and prepubescent girls. To me, well, that's just uncomfortable. Well, let, me, let, me, uncomfortable. let me say this about that is I was going to say all of that, all, everything that we see that could, I think, even be generously construed as romantic is from Anakin to her. Yep. I don't think sure. Padme does anything the other way. And if that was the case, I would be on board that it's super creepy. Yeah, because that's um, predatory in a way. Yeah. <laughs> However, because it's a nine-year-old boy who doesn't know anything about anything, just basically, even if we were going to say that he had a romantic Joe? interest in her, it's from a nine-year-old boy yeah. who doesn't know anything about relationships or love or lust or anything like that. And and then sure, when, when anything romantic little does little occur, it's obviously A, not in this fucking movie, and B, later on in their lives when they're both consenting adults and it's fine. So what's, like, there's, I just don't see the issue. I think people are just making an issue out of nothing. Yeah, well, if, if I, Padme I had returned that affection in this movie, I yeah. would be totally on board that that is not okay. Yeah. But coming from a nine-year-old boy, I don't think that it is to be taken in any super deep sort of way other than just the kind of crushes that young boys have no i would agree i would agree that that his affections are are pretty pure and innocent but it does yeah. give off a kind of let's be real weird a uh, totalistic perspective in that it is weird to see a 12 or a 9 year old and a 13 year old hook up no one wants but, to see that but they don't do that i know that's my point is so that, why are we no talking one... about it because my point is that no one Loads wants of things to do don't that. happen. Loads of things don't happen in this movie. We yeah. can't, like, I don't okay. understand. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I'm, I'm very hesitant to jump to the, to the creepy aspect. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I just don't think it's there. I think the fault lies with Attack of the Clones. I, I don't know. Um, my, my only fear, my only uh, problem with the films in terms of the pedophilic aspect of it is that oh if you want to call it oh, if you want to call it what? <laughs> Alright, I've clearly gone there, but if you want to talk about the, pedo the potential pedophilic aspect uh -huh. of, of, of the character relationships is yeah. that, let's be real, it could potentially... They weren't be born on the exact same day, and that is gross I mean, and weird. No, I, I wouldn't not, disagree I that it's not that. possible. I didn't but... say that. I didn't say at all that they weren't born the exact same day and that makes it wrong. I'm just saying that people who might be into this stuff might be kind of weird. That's all. Maybe, that's all. but that's not a fault of the film. Yeah. No, I wouldn't blame it on, as a fault of the film. But Fantasy I would, okay, let me compare it to let me compare it to cuties. Pedophiles. Is it a fault of the film, cuties, that that pedophiles might watch that film and get excited by it? I I don't know. Uh, I I am concerned. Well, I, I about think part of that is like because I think this is just what I've heard from random comments. But apparently, the film is supposed to be how about how that stuff is bad. But yeah. Netflix I marked, seriously marked it. So. I really yeah, seriously yeah Netflix. Yeah, I heard that then, Netflix that, marketed it and described it in a really horrible way, and so people got like they're they're picking up the wrong thing. I don't know, I, but that's I, what I. I don't think that's well, a that's not know. like a fair equivalence either because the Phantom Menace wasn't marketed as having a sexy young boy in it. No, I I don't think it's about well. having a sexy young boy in it, but isn't it about I'm having a sexy kind young of slave a... boy? <laughs> <laughs> it's not about having a sexy young boy, but is it not about having kind of a sexy young girl? No, no, no one's no, sexy. No, no, no. Nobody in Phantom Menace is sexy. There's hey, no sex. Hey, hey. <laughs> There are sexy people. <laughs> it's in the a Menace. completely sexless <laughs> movie. <laughs> it, Palpatine the, is the pretty discussion hard, yeah. of anything sexual I regarding the Phantom Menace is so stupid and irrelevant. Okay, I could be wrong. I could 100% be wrong, but I do not. I, I, I think you're looking a little deep into it. 
Uh, I think ben I, Shapiro well, say, is wait, looking a little deep into what it. What I'll say in uh, defense is this is a position a lot of people have. I've heard it from a couple, and, and like, it does annoy me a little bit because Phantom Menace has its problems, but it's like, oh, come on, leave the film alone. It didn't do any of that. Yeah. Because if well, we were no, to, how, I, I just think this, uh, this is my initial gut reaction to this, too, because that had never even crossed my mind at any point. Like, this whole argument had never even entered my brain because it's just so completely not irrelevant. Well, what do you get called a pedophile 10 times a day? And, I and, think, you know, sorry. you understand the shit. But, um, oh, excuse me. But uh, I do see how people could have an issue with it. Do it doesn't necessarily bother me, no. But I could see how people have a problem with it. That's all I'm saying. I could see where the problem exists. Does it bother me? Not personally, but I could see where the problem exists, right? I, I understand what you're saying. I get why people could see it that way and could pick up the vibes. I don't agree with them. Like, I can agree that yeah. I can understand why people would think that, but I, I mean, disagree. I've been called a pedophile for thinking that the, that, that this film is not a, a problem, right? I've been I don't called think it pedophile. is either. Yeah, I think people who would saying, go that far are crazy people who just I've been to called a pedophile people. for that. So I'm yeah. just saying that... And, that, that it's a thing that has happened, uh, and and to deny it, uh, whatever. But it, it's just a thing that happens. People yeah, will I think those people are crazy. Literally. That's the thing. We those don't see the world as it is. We see the world as we are, and that's all um, I have to say about that. Oh. Well, I, I agree that you're. <laughs> I agree that the film is is not so simply just pedophile or not pedophile, <laughs> but. You're gonna get that kind of shit, man. Like you're gonna get the kind of criticism, and the people will think you're a pedophile just because you don't think the film is pedophilic. People are gonna going think to that someone is a pedophile because it didn't even cross their mind that that was c could be considered pedophilia. It doesn't make any sense. I think Holy shit, I'm, I'm, I'm just <laughs> giving you a. Pers I'm just telling you. I'm. I'm just trying to give you a prescription of what will happen. Are you sure you I'm haven't done or said right. anything I, else to people be could, like, like this? Yeah, people could say that sort of stuff, but those are crazy people. Um, yeah, you're, uh, you're gonna have, they're gonna have to do way better than that. I've, that's uh, yeah, we, we don't listen to those kinds of crazy folks. But, Holy also... shit, man! It sounds like I've come to this uh, an interesting time. <laughs> uh, we, uh, oh, I was gonna say we're gonna have to. You just got you probably just got demonetized there, Mauler. Oh, I've <laughs> several times talk. already, dude. Uh, I was gonna say we have to do some rotating. Um, cause we got we got more people flowing in, and uh, I'm afraid that the next two on the chopping block would probably be uh, Aiden and Mel. <laughs> Mel once again. I made it one minute into the video. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I can't do anything. There's too many people who want to come on, all those selfish right. bastards. I'm out of um, but Yeah, yeah we'll just have to keep the, the uh -huh. wheel a turning. Thank you very much for coming. Okay, bye. Um... Oh, you're bye. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about unceremonious, man. Well, I, I, I didn't boot it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is everyone talking about in this video? So, hey, what's going on? Oh, wait, well, uh, so apparently the Phantom Menace is the wait, worst wait, Star wait, wait. Wars let movie. Me, let me say hi to uh, Will Cuss Bullshit as well. Hello. Because <laughs> he's yeah. also here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, world class bullshitters. Yeah. Mr. Jeff, I assume you're getting. Oh, he's, he's fixing his stuff. Okay. Um, well, yeah, so welcome to Drinker and to Jeff. Uh, gentlemen, to catch you up, we're checking out Ben Shapiro ranking the Star Wars movies, and he's chosen as the worst out of the nine mainline movies plus Rogue One plus Solo. The Phantom Menace is the worst, and one of his reasons is the, the creepy relationship between uh, Anakin and Padme, which I think is unfair. Okay, <laughs> that's there you go. <laughs> right, <laughs> nice I see a great circle. We got a lot to work with here. Uh, oh yeah, so let me repost the um the link actually. <laughs> I was just going to say that how do you reframe the argument as it might have been better if they get, had another movie to develop their relationship like as two yeah. adults instead of having well, one where Anakin's a kid, it, that might have been a better I bet. But I think that's I mean, a different does, argument than kid Anakin. It does I bother have me started him off like, as a kid. between movies. It, it kind of bothers me, but like between movies, Anakin like ages about 10 years, whereas Padme stays exactly the same. But yeah, yeah okay. that's always bugged me. It's good yes. genes right there. <laughs> yeah. I think that the mistake was, if we're going to redo it, stuff, I think the big mistake was having him be young so Anakin darn is almost young unwatchable. In, um, in The Phantom Menace. I don't think he yeah. should have been nine. Like, yeah. I, I think it would have worked way better if he was older. Yeah, I agree with that. But 
we have talked about that in our Phantom Menace videos. And <laughs> there is a there is a there is a Shapiro that needs uh, commenting upon. So Jeff, are you able to carry? to discuss things? I see lights. Yes, uh, yes, I am. Thanks Hello for inviting me. By the way, how do you do? Uh. I guess I'm doing well. I live in California, so there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Uh, we have a bunch of wildfires and then all the COVID stuff, so. Well, <laughs> when you catch COVID, you light on fire. <laughs> I just realized in my, in my avatar well, there, rotation. I, I, I've heard there's a lot of fires in that area, but they're not always natural if you catch them adrift. No, <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Made. No, no. <laughs> they're not always natural. Oh, man like cases like if you arsonists? Get... <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, sorry, I've meant peaceful protests. <laughs> Mostly peaceful. I always get those art. things mixed up. Oh, I thought you meant a, there was a bunch of flamers in California. Oh, okay. Uh, could be. Oh, racist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in my, in my avatar rotation, I'm on like one of the top tier ones. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> Who drew that one? I don't actually know. I've collected so many that I, I, I didn't keep track of the names. My bad, but I love them all the it's same. Um, that looks like me after a pint of brake fluid, man. <laughs> it's like, why well, would draw? <laughs> um, guys, um, that reminds me of Picto Chat on the, uh, oh, yeah. the, the Nintendo DSs. Oh, oh that's a callback. Ooh, good, Picto good Chat. Mm, loved it. That was some good shit. Um... So yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll hang with this seven for a little bit, and then when um, when the next person's coming, I think Mel will have to abandon once again just to fill. You see, I'm abusing him, I'm using him yeah. to fill wherever wherever I can because he's my Bezzy. I mean, uh, he, uh, he's my <laughs> Toady, uh, Igor. That's wow. the one I was looking for. Anyway, <laughs> you know what? Let's we'll roll we'll roll Ben back all the way to before he even gave the thing so that the everyone's got the con. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll right. put him to like. I want I want, okay, the worst. I want to hear. I want to hear Ben's big brain take on this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Star Wars film, Phantom Menace, charting in at number eleven. Now I know a lot of people think Attack of the Clones goes here. You're gonna be shocked where I put Attack of the Clones. A lot of people say Last Jedi. I hear you. I hear you. Last Jedi is hot garbage. It's a terrible film. A truly terrible film, filled with plot holes and stupidity. Phantom Menace, however, is worse. The reason that Phantom Menace is worse is because George Lucas makes a critical error. He thinks that the reason that kids like Star Wars is because they want to see kids. This is one of the big errors that a lot of people who make kids films do. I mean, Pixar doesn't make this error, by the way. Pixar does not make films exclusively about small children. Kids don't actually want to watch. I, I kind of like how he had to search his head for a moment for the word you. <laughs> <Yeah. do>. uh, <laughs> Pixar do not make it exclusively about small children. It's like, oh, much like The Phantom Menace isn't exclusively about Yeah, because there's children. only one yeah. child character yeah. in there, really. And he's it's not it's introduced. Almost like you want to, it's almost like you want to juxtapose the innocence of childhood versus like the horrifying monster that Darth Vader is eventually going to become so you well, can understand yeah. where he actually came from. Of course, I think that was what they're going for. They're like, how does a child turn into such a monster? And that's what the point of the prequels are. It's like, follow his life as he gets, you know, crafted into this expected representation of, of the Jedi, and then he gets corrupted by an evil force. It's like, oh, okay. But um, he does, he's not even in the film in the first, like, 40 minutes. It's like, ah, oh, two these pesky films about children. You're like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I think he's overblowing uh, the, the presence of Anakin in this movie. Yeah. Whether that was a wise decision or not in terms of the storytelling aspect is a discussion for another time, but he's not really in it all that much. Even when he does enter the film, he's sort of a secondary character at most. The, the pod race scene is sort of his big thing. Yeah. Like even the the space battle at the end that he's primarily involved in, it that whole sequence is cutting between like three other battles. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of sounds like it's going like for this one thing they really didn't like and annoyed him so much. It's like, it's the worst film of all of them. Yeah, I was going to say, if you get into the weeds, uh, we got a lot to I talk mean, about Phantom Menace, but... I mean, he might might say something else, but that's what it sounds like right now. Well, yeah, let's let's give it a, let's give it a scene. Watch kids. Kids kind of want to be adults. Making Jedi Anakin six years old is really weird. And then making six, Jedi Anakin nine. significantly younger Jedi. than Padme is super duper yeah, weird and becomes nine. even weirder in the future movies. Everything... <laughs> with young Anakin is almost unwatchable. It's almost um, like he's exaggerating to prove a point. Yeah, <laughs> I would say that he's taking yeah. it far. It's like Anakin's animals. like three weeks old. <laughs> <laughs> he well, had a crush on Padme when he was crowning inside outside of Shmi. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird. Well, the one At least I he wasn't say. aborted. <laughs> While he was like floating around in the womb, he was thinking about where he was going to go eventually when he got out. <laughs> 
Are you a some of that you bad strong me. single parent? I'm glad she didn't abort Anakin. Yeah, I think the system uh, <laughs> hasn't necessarily failed her, but I feel like she could have done a little bit more. Uh, you know, wh where is the father? <laughs> the dad well, <laughs> really high up on my list because I'm happy about the fact that Anakin and Padme seem to have gotten married before they had sex. That's the way you do it. <laughs> well, I think Shapiro makes a good point, though, about kids don't want to watch other kids. They want to be treated like adults. I think yes. some of the most successful, all the successful kids' properties talk up. Like, even if you want to bring up something like The Goonies, which is clearly a kid's movie, the kids aren't framed as, you know, oh, we're, we're like the kids from It are framed a little older than they actually are. They're Same dealing with, the with adult well, situations. Kids, well, can, we don't... kids can project themselves onto adult characters perfectly easily. I mean, you look at the original Absolutely. Star Wars trilogy, they, they saw themselves as Luke Skywalker. It didn't matter that he was 10, 15 years older than they were. They could picture themselves as him doing the things he did. Mm -hmm. That's what imaginations exactly. are. That's how they work. You don't we have don't to see have someone else. You know what's crazy? You don't have to see with someone who's exactly the same like age and race and gender and everything else as you, because like normal people have imaginations and they can project okay, themselves down. into other things. <laughs> crazy how shit like that works, isn't it? I know Wait, it's weird. I, like when I think back to seeing the Phantom Menace for the first time when I was when I was very young, I didn't imagine myself as Anakin because that fucking lame. I, mean, I was I was Obi Wan and Qui Gon and I was some of the guards shooting the droids and stuff like that and I wasn't Anakin. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I was ten years old when that movie came out and I couldn't stand him. I liked Obi Wan and I didn't really love the movie when it came out. Everyone that says you know that movie's made for kids, I was one of those kids that I actually got out of Star Wars because of how much I disliked Episode One when it came out. Well, <laughs> <laughs> everyone joined you eventually. <laughs> well, I, I was just more worried that people would see episode seven for what it actually is as compared to one. One in the hind in hindsight, it's not that offensive compared to what we got later on. Yeah. Um. But yeah, kids do like to watch like fucking Indiana Jones, man. It's like kids love mm -hmm. Indiana Jones. It's not. It was like, don't you know he's four years older than you? It's like, um, I don't really care. <laughs> Look, I'll take a whip and a hat. <laughs> Liam Neeson is fine. Ewan McGregor is fine. They are criminally oh, underused off. in this film. And the, the film just is exorbitantly long. It's really long. I remember seeing it in the theater, being really excited for it and walking out. Yeah. Exorbitantly long. How are they underused? Like, they're in practically every scene in the movie. Yeah, they're in quite Obi-Wan is in the entire movie. Obi-Wan takes a pretty big break in the middle. Okay, so um, let me pull up. So A Phantom Menace is... Let me, uh, there, there's a list right here. Let me pull it up. So, A Phantom Menace is definitely not the longest. It's actually in the middle. Uh, the films that are longer than The Phantom Menace are The Force Awakens by two minutes, Revenge of the Sith by four minutes, Attack of the Clones by six minutes, The Last Jedi by 16 minutes, and The Rise of Skywalker by 19 minutes. Ooh. So, The Rise of the... Oh, it says... Uh, so, oh, so this means Rise of Skywalker, the longest, is longer than the shortest one, A New Hope, by 34 minutes. It's too and, much Star Wars. And yet, which, one, which one feels like it has... It's 34 minutes of the Sith like guys aboard those Star Destroyers trying to figure out how to go up. <laughs> those, those, those <laughs> it's funny, though, because A New Hope feels larger to me in retrospect. It's just like... Kind of. Chunky that's, that's, what, watched, that's what um, happens when you've got efficient screenwriting. And you can cram a lot into a short space of time, but not make it feel rushed. So, so overall, this this one is like pretty basic length for a Star Wars movie, I would say. Yeah, it's right yeah. in the middle, pretty much. Pretty wow, that sounds like it just felt like it was too long. What happened to? Oh, facts well, don't feel about. You. Fuck, I fucked the. It's up. in the middle of the <laughs> list. Well, here's the thing. It yeah, oh. it's the middle of the list, pretty securely. Um, I know when we watched uh, Muller and I watched Empire the other day, which is only three minutes longer than A New Hope. <laughs> Um, and it felt, I mean, it was packed, uh, oh, yes. full of stuff. Didn't feel long at all. Hard to believe um, Rise is so long. I will mention as well, maybe, maybe he's referring to like, how it, like actually pacing or how, how it felt getting through each of the events. Uh, if he's referring to specific length, you'd think he would actually pull up like, is it the longest? I don't know. Yeah, he said long. He didn't say it was poorly paced or that it had, you know, loosely useless scenes in it he did he said, said it was the longest so runtime hmm. facts don't care what you feel about the pacing oh <laughs> it, was, it was pretty good it was it was yeah, not an auspicious not beginning to the prequels okay number 10 last jedi obviously last jedi is just flamingly bad a flamingly bad film Flamingly now, there, bad. There could have <laughs> never heard All that right. one before <laughs> flamingly bad I, also yeah. the way he's saying it makes it sound like it should be 11 not 10 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> but as if he's like, we all know this. It's the worst thing ever. And it's like, oh. Yeah, but, but it's, you it it's worse. <laughs> like, TPM is worse than The Last Jedi because of the kid actor, and he thinks that it's really long? Too long? Because The Last Jedi is 152 minutes compared Way to Phantom Menace 136. I, I, I would rank Phantom Menace above all three of the sequel movies. Me too. Easily. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you see our ranking? I guess Drinker came in after that, but we did do a ranking if you scroll up in the chat a bit. Yo, I was oh, going to oh, say, we, we rank all the prequels over all the sequels, right? Let's see the list. Oh, wow, well, got a lot to catch up on. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> there's first actually, back at number one. There are two lists. Uh, one is from a selection of us, and a lot of them were made on coin flips, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know, on your secondary list, I almost agree I would replace... I put New Hope at number one, and then I think Rogue One, or Solo is better than The Force Awakens, but other than that, I think I agree with this list. The second one, I think, is the community poll. Okay, the community poll. That's, that's, that's the one I like. Um, mm -hmm. just, I don't think... I tried watching Rogue One the other day. I still think Episode 3 has a lot more to add to Star Wars, and it's just a more interesting film than Rogue One. That is correct. Rogue, I, I think I Rogue One yeah, back would, in the future, too. Yeah, I'd probably rank Revenge of the Sith above Rogue One. Pretty sure I abstained on that one because I have to. I need to rewatch Rogue One. Um, I haven't seen it in ages. Rogue One's not bad. It's it's not offensive. It's just watching it. I was just like, meh. Okay, I saw a film. Like it didn't really make much of an impression either way. I care about the characters in Revenge of the Sith. I like in Rogue One they make a big deal about everyone dying, and like the one that hurt the most was the droid. Sure, it was well, pretty cool through the blind. How much of that though is based on you spending six years? watching Anakin become whatever he becomes at the end of the movie hey, maybe, compared maybe. to just like a one-off movie. Uh, I don't know, like hard to say. Like, I mm -hmm. guess I, ultimately though, I just didn't really care a whole lot about the people in Rogue One dying. It's like, oh, okay, this guy's going to die. Then this guy, okay, all right. Now this one's going, okay. I guess the two main characters are going to die too. Yep, they're, they're gone. <laughs> I didn't care about them as much. I When I went into Rogue One, I was just concerned that it wouldn't be more over, overlooking some of the... Uh, flaws of the episode seven that kid come out a year before because everyone was riding that high and i think they kind of didn't make that mistake with rogue one so that's where i am with the movie yeah i wouldn't argue with that it's been a moment where the, the film could have gotten good right there's a moment where ray and kylo look like they're going to team up and then it's going to radically change the history of star wars that suddenly the dark side and the light side are fighting on the same side and all of a sudden the universe i don't feel like the film would be good had they decided to team up like it's still a disaster it, it wouldn't undo all the other horrifying things that had happened up until that point on the on the first viewing i i really liked where i thought it was gonna go at that moment and it didn't and it was just another like it was just bullshit <laughs> how dare you but seeing seeing a jedi and a sith fight side by side although you know terrible choreography aside that was a quite a cool moment Ugh. the first time i watched it the first time i watched it i was like wow. yeah, that's cool. i was like that's that's fucking cool i've not seen that before and it doesn't completely ruin everything about <laughs> the, the the world that this is set in i i think the fact that it immediately follows the death of like the big antagonist of the the series as he'd been presented up until that point just killed it for me like, I was like, I don't care what happens beyond this because it is just nonsense now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was it was going down that path anyway but, but, through but, but it. Was, the was there not a little bit of excitement there for you thinking, like, where is this going to go? Like, in more that, of a curiosity. In that moment, it's like, what's going to happen what? now? Well, while they're fighting. Shat, yeah, but it immediately shat its own pants. But in that moment, I was like, wow, I didn't actually expect this to happen. Type, there, type. there honestly could have been something there if Ray and Kylo teamed up and then episode nine was about Luke and Leia having to deal with these two super powerful young force users. That sounds like a fucking sitcom. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, see, in that fight scene, I didn't, I didn't feel anything because they're fighting a bunch of extras. They're obviously going to kill everyone and it's just going to yeah. be the two of them left. And you know that Ray's not gonna, really going to be swayed because she's too perfect, and you know she's either going to beat Kylo down again or she's just going to run away somehow. So I, I wasn't particularly invested in what was going to happen during or immediately after that fight because I kind of could see what was going to happen. It was it was predictable to a T. Yeah, for me fair. anyway. 
Oh, um, a a slight detour. I'm back, by the way. Uh, but someone ha- was doing some work. Mark Creation Studios was doing some work, and he was able to get the uh, the the shirtless Joel model. Just if you needed that comparison, um, <laughs> he's able to pull that and um, get that all set yeah, up. Abby or just definitely your own personal archives. Abby definitely <laughs> beats him out. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, she's more swole than him for sure. Sorry, Joel. Back to the gym, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Get some more Change of those bigot sandwiches. Just radically. And then <laughs> Ryan Johnson, because he's an idiot, he has them separate off again. And then you get the, the ridiculous Luke Skywalker hologram face off with Kylo Ren. And you, and you get the, the idiocy of a film in which you basically redo the Battle of Hoth. What's he looking except- at? <laughs> something up there, something up, something up the there gun. Really got his attention. The gun, the gun that's pointing at him. Right now. There's a spider like a, in the top right corner of him. It's like, oh. it's a poster of the Last Jedi, I guess. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 gotta, I gotta go take care of that spider over there. His, I hope uh, I can finish up before he moves. His strange Anakin and Padme Junior fan arts that he's got all over the walls. When he's frowning at them, he regrets them. <laughs> You make it on a salt planet, and then you say it's a salt planet ten times, so that people don't think that it's just the ice battle of Hoth. Just once. They just only one said time. it once. Once. Just Why once. Oh. <laughs> Why is he putting us in a position where we have to defend TLJ? <laughs> don't make us do it. Don't, don't do make it. us do this, Ben. All over again when it's obviously just the ice battle of Hoth all over again. They totally should have killed Finn. They totally should have killed. Yeah. Uh, the the what's the name of the the person everyone forgets? Rose. Everyone understands. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, people don't forget her. <laughs> Uh, Try to forget her. KJ Abrams making a name. Shrek. <gasps> Shrek, yeah. <laughs> Killed Rose. That would have at least given it some stakes. The Last Jedi totally destroys Luke Skywalker's character. And this is one of the problems, as we will see when we get to, me to the next one. One of the problems with the new trilogy is that see, it is based on... See, all the things he sh- just listed makes it sound like that's worse than The Phantom Menace. No, Phantom Menace yeah. had a kid. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I forgot. There was a child. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> wait. TLJ had children. a kid. Yeah, little broom, broom boy. Little broom boy. <laughs> yeah. Now, that one, TLJ had characters. a lot of characters acting like children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, Force Awakens. Again, people are gonna think this is controversial. It is not controversial. Force Awakens is a bad film. The reason it is a bad film is not because on its own. Also, it is such a bad uh, film. what's the age it difference is. between Rose and Finn? Do we know? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, you can't really tell the age of Asians by looking at them. Sometimes you gotta, oh, you gotta not. cut them in half and count the rings. <laughs> <laughs> then they die. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Uh. Um, <laughs> look. The important thing is that she she essentially raped Finn, and she she yeah. should be put into rebellion jail. Film. <laughs> <laughs> The reason is because it takes all of your old characters and just murders them in front of you. Yeah, your I agree, chat. Black Literally murders crack. them. It takes all the characters you grew up with and loved and who made your childhood Han Solo and turns Han Solo into a loser divorced dad flying around the universe like Cheech and Chong smoking dope in the, in the Millennium. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Which you know, version of this movie did you fucking watch, Ben? Jesus I mean, Christ. Cut. Apart from the smoke and weed bit, he's right. Where was the weed Cheech and Chong. There's a deleted scene of Chewie just rolling the fattest blunt. <laughs> Snoop Dogg in the background. <laughs> like ever since I discovered that crazy Wookiee shit. <laughs> did, the, did the Death Sticks guy from Attack of the Clone <laughs> uh, Club sect that he was doing the job for or something? And then has him murdered at the hands of his own son because Leia is too chicken to go confront her own son. Now, they tr- as you will see, isn't yeah, she I busy you're... doing like general stuff? Or, or no? I get why she doesn't directly confront him because she is the general and they're having like an armed conflict and she's really important and Kylo's like a leader for the enemy faction. That's the thing. Like at that point, isn't like Han Solo is basically like the stay at home dad. She's the one like out there earning the fucking well, the real, the the real boy. I mean, they're estranged, so they're not even working as a, a team at all. Like, until until they get reunited through <laughs> medium of ray well that's what i mean so like well not what i was saying but like um so how is that her being a chicken just because han solo is out doing his own thing completely separate from her and they don't even communicate with one another i think it's totally 
reasonable that she doesn't just show up to Kylo Ren in the First Order, her being Leia Organa. Yeah. Like, hey, it's me, uh, hey. the leader of the rebellion. <laughs> just come to talk to my son. Who... Son, yeah. it's past your bedtime. Come don't, home. <laughs> don't capture school. me. I want to talk. I know your uncle tried to fuck you up that time, but come on. We're all over it. I feel like Luke wouldn't have told them what happened. He was like, yeah, he just fucked everything up. I don't know. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> you know how we're always saying that can just happen? <laughs> You're going to be shocked by where I rank Rise of Skywalker. J.J. Abrams does try to fix this with some lens flare in Rise of Skywalker. But the fact is that Force Awakens is a is a criminal act against the Star Wars legacy. <laughs> they decided they were going to kill I off agree. all of the olds in order to build characters who are significantly less interesting than the old characters in the first place and kill off your childhood in the process. Yeah, he's, you know, yeah, when, yeah. He, when he's right, he's right. I, he's right. On. <laughs> so yeah, I could not hate years. Force Awakens more than I hate Force Awakens. I walked out of the theater and I thought, okay, that was all right. And then every waking moment since then I've thought about Force Awakens, I've gotten angrier at Force Awakens. <laughs> <laughs> and so it ranks in, in among the, among the worst of the Star Wars. awake at Number night, eight. sweating. Attack <laughs> It was like, like Han's like Cheech and Chong. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Uh, Attack of the Clones oh. is lower than Rise of Skywalker. Right. Wow, like, really? Like he's putting Phantom Menace below Last Jedi and Attack of the Clones below Rise of Skywalker. Wow. Attack of the Clones. Now everybody hates Attack of the Clones. I've heard people say Attack of the Clones is the worst of the of the prequels. It is not the worst of the prequels. Phantom Menace is a worse film than Attack of the Clones. Why? Because Christopher Lee is great. And Count Dooku's character is poorly written, but Count Dooku is the, is the secret hero of the, of the Star Wars prequels. Count Dooku is not um. wrong. He is a separatist from a Senate <laughs> that has been taken over secretly by a Sith Lord. He's the only one who knows this. And he has set off to move on outside of a... Of a... But you can't... He's in league with him, though. Yeah, like, but this is the <laughs> no, weird not, part about rebelling against Wars Palpatine or anything. Lord. He's also Darth Tyrannus. <laughs> Well, I mean, what about that line where Obi Wan Kenobi's trapped in that stasis thing, and he offers him his hand to take them both down? In marriage, one, I assume that was bullshit because he works with Palpatine or for Palpatine. He is well, Palpatine's. Then apprentice. why would he tell Obi Wan that the Senate has been taken under control by a, a Dark Lord? Like, to is that a way to maybe? get? That's. I think that's the thing. This is the part of the. I think this is a huge failing of the movie that this part isn't explored. I agree. There's I think some it's really interesting stuff with Dooku and his relationship with Palpatine. And Palpatine clearly didn't care about him that much because he wants Anakin to kill him. And there's a lot of stuff that could have been looked into here that they just flat out didn't do. Well, I think that's the biggest problem with the prequels is there's a lot of great ideas that were laid out but never executed well or executed at all. So you have a lot of what ifs that you can either sell books for, which cool, it builds the Star Wars universe, but is the single film itself it doesn't stand up on its own trade federation that is instituting tariffs against planets he doesn't wish to see tariffs he's a free trade libertarian count dooku isn't he in league with the trade federation <laughs> i mean potentially i mean i guess it depends on what the trade federation's rules are um but we don't ever really learn about that that's the thing if the trade federation turned out to be a very like actually legitimately noble and interestingly developed agreeable faction in the republic is eh, mm, yeah mm. Mm. <laughs> beyond that he has a pretty good lightsaber battle with both uh, ewan mcgregor and yoda yeah mm. <laughs> the yoda one is a little mm. I mean, maybe at the time, the crazy kind of CGI front flipping Yoda was kind of okay, I guess. But watching it now, it's pretty ropey. Yeah. Like bad choices. It's, it's, such, a, it's such a horrible use of the character as well. He was never about his physical yeah. prowess in combat. That's like, that's the whole point of him. Like you look at him he's, and see this, this like weasened sage. little thing. Yeah. But he's wise uh, and he's powerful with the force. That's I teaching you an important it, moral lesson. I won't defend it not being silly. I always did kind of like it, though. I mean, I I would have preferred we kept him in force mode. That was that was a neat little yeah. back and forth. Uh, but the jumping up and down is a little bit like, all right, well, <laughs> I guess he's doing that now. Because how else can I you do I, it, right? But that's the thing. I guess he has to. Just because of his stature, there's no way you could yeah. realistically have him having a lightsaber duel without him 
Fuck yeah. it. Well, if it's worth well, anything, I, think... I way prefer the Emperor Yoda fight than the Dooku Yoda fight. Oh, absolutely. Alright. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the basic plotting of it is more interesting than Phantom Menace. Now, it does have some of the worst romance in, in the history of film, right? I mean, everything involving Hayden Christensen and Natalie Portman. It's a horror show. It's death. You are smoother than Sam Milady is one of the worst lines in the history. You are smoother than uh, Sam. I, I don't know. Have that. you ever seen Ray kiss in Kylo Ren? That's like uh, his death yeah. right there. <laughs> well, here's the thing. He rates that movie higher than this. Yeah, that's, that's bonkers. Like. We had a guy from Lucasfilm on the channel, and he said that was the directive for episode two, is we want to make a romance film. And I just, I asked him why, and he's like, well, that's what we wanted to do to get more women to watch. Oh. It does it was poorly. Uh-oh. That's been uh -oh. working out for Lucasfilm ever since, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, at least they had a, a plan to execute on top of the whole bring women into the franchise thing. That's what, to me, is that's our plan, and it didn't work. Austin, oh my god oh my god it, it is that film that more than any really destroyed my perception of natalie portman as a decent actress i still think that she is wildly overrated but with that said is it better than phantom menace yes because at least you start to get flashes of what's going to happen in Re revenge of the sith which as we will see actually is a pretty good movie okay number seven solo we'll here we move see. on into the movies that are that are watching um Why is this guy hmm. solo's neck? also i completely yeah. forgot Interesting. Um, we gotta, get, we gotta get three answers. We'll go from left to right. Cynic Snacks, which do you think is better, Christmas or Halloween? Uh, Halloween. Yes! I can't believe this. It's insane. <laughs> Halloween is the best holiday. Yes! Yes! Hey, Mark. Get in here. Hey, Mark, which, which do you think is better, Christmas or Halloween? Uh, I'm also team Halloween. Oh, uh, my God. Halloween. Triple? Where do we oh, find baby. these people? <laughs> this, this year... This year, I might not say that because I've got a girlfriend, but if you're a single dude, Halloween is absolutely the best holiday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Based Halloween. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right, good. I've just... all around. Yeah. Except for <laughs> Triple kill. It's not saying all of these... All these uh, if it wasn't for the rampant uh, commercialism, I think Christmas might have a better chance, but I just... I, I hate the fucking music. I hate all of the just extra shit that comes with it like having a time with your family and stuff is obviously really nice and much more wholesome than halloween but everything else that comes with it really fucks fucks Christmas. Well, Wait, you don't have to engage in the commercialism if you don't want oh to. oh my god yeah all right it's fucking everywhere <laughs> it's impossible you don't, you don't have to buy all that stuff you don't, you don't have, have to, to go outside it. but i have to exist in the world in which it's contained like it's unavoidable well that's unlikely to be a problem this year because we'll probably all be in lockdown again Yay. Or dead. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway, back to Ben Shapiro rating Star Wars movies. <laughs> Watchable. Right, we've now moved into the, the arena of movies that you would rewatch if you saw them beginning on TNT. Right, where you're flipping through and you see a scene and you need to watch it. Right, if you're flipping through and you see something from Force Awakens, like, nope. You see something from Phantom Menace, you're like, double nope. Something from Attack of the Clones, like, hey, hey. <laughs> something from Solo? Well, that's the noise I make for sure. <laughs> 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 I want to watch Ben Shapiro flicking through TV channels. You're just sitting behind him watching him the whole time. <laughs> what do you plan to watch there, Benjamin? <laughs> I know a lot of people are down on Solo. I'm not sure why. I think Solo is amusing. It's it's kind of fun. Oh, good. It doesn't sell out Han Solo's character the way that the the sequels do. Right, the sequels actually destroy Han Solo's character. Well, one mm -hmm. of those reasons is because Solo is a prequel and The Force Awakens is a sequel. Yeah. So even if even if Han Solo was portrayed to be like the shittiest, most worthless, horrible person in his own movie, at least we know he ends up as the Han Solo we know and love. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Meanwhile. They turn him from his whole yeah. his whole hero's journey in the original Star Wars, Han Solo, is from rogue who only cares about himself and is a mercenary to self-sacrificing general in the resistance who's going to get married at the end and have little jedi babies with leia right that's that is his his hero's journey and then they completely revert him back to rogue who only cares about himself in in the in the sequels solo doesn't do that solo is is starting that journey the the problem with solo is that it it sort of gives him the hero's journey before the hero's journey he has to start off with being being this dissolute rogue who is is cynical 
and nasty, right? That, that has to be the hero's journey beginning in episode four. Solo precedes that. He already has sympathies towards the rebellion. He already is showing some aspects of self-sacrifice, which, which is kind of weird. That's the problem with Solo. Also, I will say that uh, the, the Kessel Run is completely missed on. If you take a shortcut in the Kessel Run, it doesn't count as you doing it in less than 12 parsecs. But it's got some amusing... Well, isn't it because he the used way. the technology, like he poured hyperdrive fuel or something into the engine directly or some shit? Yeah, he made the ship snort coke or whatever, and it, yeah. made, it went super... Yeah. Like it yeah, it's tuned out by that point. I, I sort of get what he's saying about like putting Han Solo through the hero's journey before he's even like started his character development in New Hope. So he, you sort of have to press the reset button on him. But I could buy into like he's you know lived a life as a mercenary in the years between, and he's become hardened again, like to to other causes well, yeah, and stuff. So he's selfish film, again. The film ends with him learning that he got to shoot first, right? Like that's what Solo's trying to do. Like, yeah, don't trust much. anyone out there. The he cared, and then he got fucked over. Yeah. So, back to square one, I guess. The The problem I had with the Kessel Run was that they made it so that it's like, the Kessel Run happens the first time Han Solo is actually, like, at the helm of the Millennium Falcon, for real. And also, he fights a Bloodborne boss. Well, yeah, cool. when he dropped Cthulhu into the Black Hole, I was like, this is getting weird. <laughs> like, yeah, that one, that one <laughs> came out of left field. He, he dropped Cthulhu in a Black hole. Yeah, like why did that have to be part of the Kessel Run? Yeah, that could I mean, be a thing in the movie, but the Kessel Run, like I thought that was him getting through a thing fast, not like <laughs> yeah, with other complications included that other people maybe didn't have. Yet yeah, he's got the best time or whatever. Yeah. Sure. And see, like the only way the parsec thing makes sense is if he takes a shortcut because parsecs are supposed to be distance, right? So like, yeah, he did yeah. It in the amount of distance, shortest route. This is uh, when they drop Cthulhu into the black hole, just so you know. <laughs> Believe me, all of us when watching this are like, what? what? That's a thing that just happens. It's just like, oh, this wasn't already tense enough. We need a space Cthulhu monster <laughs> to really ramp up the all tension. Of its, all of its skin Holy gets ripped shit. off first. And then yeah, it was kind of like... It's, like just, it's so just it's so layering so much stuff on that's so unnecessary. They they do the same thing in um, Star Trek, like the two thousand and nine one, where like the enemy, the antagonist <laughs> ship is getting sucked into a black hole, and like it's already getting crushed and blown up and and pulled in, and then the Enterprise fucking starts laying into it with photon torpedoes and phasers and stuff. Like you don't need this. It's it's just, the bad guy's already going to die. That's enough. <laughs> It's just cluttered shit all over the screen. Someone in chat said it's the moon presence from Bloodborne. Yeah, that, oh, that's yeah. what I said. It like, looks like a Bloodborne boss. <laughs> moments. Oh, uh, the robot in Solo is one of the better robots. In, oh. uh, one of, is one of the better the droids. Robot. The, robot? the robot? The robot? No. With Solo, the lady, okay, the I'm going to make a prediction. I think it's because he thinks it's a parody of like feminists. Oh. So that's why he thinks he's one of the best robots. I still don't know if it's a parody or not because it's so well written. It's, still <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't know if it's a parody. I don't know. The conspiracy theory that um, Lord and Miller were fired because someone figured out that L three three seven was a parody is um, that's it's not not totally off base. I, I could see them being an like, amusing oh, theory. One of them. It's an interesting <laughs> one. That's for certain of Star Wars. So uh, Solo ranks at number seven. Rise of Skywalker at number six. So people hated Rise of Skywalker because they are wrong. Really? Rise of Skywalker. I didn't hate has... it because I'm wrong. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Can you go back? I didn't hear that correctly. He said I people think. hated Rise of Skywalker because they're wrong. No, no, he didn't say that. Go back. He didn't well, say that. So this please, means please. that every... <laughs> so what this means is that so... everything he ranks above this and you hate, you're also wrong. <laughs> Because this I, is the tipping point. Now we're at the good ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, Solo ranks at number seven. Rise of Skywalker at number six. So people hated Rise of Skywalker because they are wrong. Oh, Rise no, of don't Skywalker. Say that. I did, I'm surprised. Oh, <laughs> that's, I'm shocked. Um, I don't even know what to do. Please tell me why I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to think six million wasn't enough. No, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> The edge. You're gonna what, cut six this million bad ratings. Twain. Six million's bad ratings for the Rise of Skywalker because everyone hated it except Ben Shapiro. Yeah. If there was six million and one ratings that were bad, they would have gone through. Yeah.
That's what I meant. Has half of the movie is just throwaway nonsense, right? The very beginning where you have the the Millennium Falcon hop hopping and skipping planet to planet is really dumb and useless and very J.J. Abrams. The part of it that's good is that it actually goes back to respecting the legacy of Star Wars. Because Does remember, <laughs> Force Awakens killed off Han Solo for no apparent reason in order to kill off the old to make room for the new. They I mean, Last Jedi, I think it's been for no none of the sequel easy. trilogy respects the legacy of Star Wars. Also, fuck Anakin, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what's I, I, yeah, I, I am wondering. I'm like, have you heard the arguments for why this film is a disaster, Ben? Like, I'm not sure if you have because, jeez, there's a lot of um. Further and kill off Luke Skywalker as a good character, and then kill off the idea that the Skywalker family matters at all because apparently random kids just get the Force. Yes, we've and known that since the prequel. We we've we've thought that since the originals. We've basically had it confirmed since the prequel. If Jedi can't have kids, where do you think the kids are coming from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just, just sprout one... out of holes in the ground. Uh, yeah, Spring out of holes in the ground. Ooh, women have beards. Oh. <laughs> According to some. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Well, it, hmm. which yeah, undercuts the entire trilogy. Rise of Skywalker retcons, basically Rise of Skywalker is, what if I just crap all over Ryan Johnson? And I'm all for it, man. I am all for it. And talks about making yeah, a good movie. That. Yeah, I agree with that. Terrible, Fucking but here's the thing. Point like, scoring. Yeah, Stalin hated Hitler, you know, but... Like, <laughs> is there an end to that? <laughs> there even to be well, I mean, it's implied that I'm just the enemy of my enemy is not necessarily my friend. Yeah. Uh. I just I, I. So the Rise of Skywalker is a good movie because of the directors contradicting each other. Uh. What? <laughs> he hated the Last Jedi so much that even though it's still better than the Phantom Menace, the sheer <laughs> fact that somebody did an anti version of that means that it's good. I I, the, the, I thought he was supposed it, to be Mr. Logic. Hey, I, it's um, still, and the thing is, it doesn't really go as far as it should to try and undo The Last Jedi. Like, it still tries to work within the constraints of what it's established. You know, so you've got things like Ray's parents being nobodies, and then suddenly you're saying, like, oh, well, your parents kind of were nobodies, but your grandparents, well, they <laughs> were somebody. Like, why can't you just say, no, it was all bullshit? It's wrong. We're just resetting that. But it's like you, teleportation you device through force Skype too. <laughs> so I'm I'm all for shitting on Ryan Johnson's changes, right? Yeah, go go that. But then it's like, lol, remember the force? We're fucking with that completely. We're just gonna we're gonna oh we're gonna dip our fingers in there and just oh and you're like oh okay that's not the greatest. Remember the emperor? You're like he's back. And you're like well wait yeah. oh, that fucks up Anakin. He's like no not just that he's retarded. And you're like oh that's <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Damn it. <laughs> And like this, I mean, like oh, but but it but it did a middle finger to Ryan Johnson. It's like, well, yeah, but it also did a middle finger to us. So, like, what do you mean? And itself. Hey, um, you guys know how Ben Shapiro makes his coffee, right? Oh dear, no. He brews it. Ah, <laughs> lame. Uh. Because he's a Jew. <laughs> so he Jews it. It's like that doesn't make sense. No, he he no Hebrew. Hebrews it. Hebrews, yeah, but I Hebrew, it. yeah. I was, I was, I was going through. I, I was wondering why I was the yeah. only one that laughed. <laughs> like, no, well, I, I thought it was pretty. I, I was like, oh man, is me laughing going inter to be interpreted as anti-Semitic? I got that was like a Hebrew. Oh, the fact joke. you haven't left, you're already guilty of a sin that someone uh -huh. else committed. So you're yeah. Just feel, just have fun on the ride. Basically, it is. Sorry, we're going to retcon really this entire history. <laughs> we're going to shoehorn Leia into she was actually a Jedi. We're going to retcon. Luke into why are you throwing why aren't you respecting Jedi traditions? No burning of Jedi books, no throwing away of lightsabers. Why aren't you respecting Jedi traditions? We we retcon Han Solo into, yeah, he's a hero who cared about his son and was willing to self-sacrifice. We retcon everything. We retcon everything. And we make the biggest retcon of all, which is the most important one, which is that Ray is actually Palpatine's granddaughter. Uh, that's now, not a naturally... retcon. Really? Is it a retcon? <laughs> no. It's not a um, retcon. Nothing it's changes just... about the original like statement like, that her parents were nobody. We know... I think the retcon is Anakin's sacrifice. 
Well, so the retconning comes from, uh, remember Kylo said your parents were nobody, and it's like, they are nobody, it's your grandparents that were somebody, and it's like, okay, man, yeah, the, that's, mm. your parents are still somebody's if they're the fucking daughter and son, well, son of, I can't remember which one was her, the Palpatine one, but being the they're offspring of Palpatine makes it. you a somebody. They, they, like, they, no, chose, it, they chose to leave that behind, so they were nobody. Like, but also, selling your child well, to keep that child safe from being killed is a lot different than selling it for drinking money. Also, now I'm getting confused. Are we talking about <laughs> status, or are we talking about, like, I thought the whole point was ability. Like, the reason why she was sad to find out her parents aren't Obi-Wans or uh, Skywalkers or whatever is because that means she has no big, powerful family to belong to. It's like, no, 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 you do, but it's Palpatine. She's like, oh my god, if I... Oh, well, Jesus, wouldn't, wouldn't uh... she be more sad to know that her parents sold her yeah, for well, drinking money? That's... I mean, at least she's worth something. That's the, dude, <laughs> that part makes me so curious about Uncar Plug. It's like, wait, did they sell half a portion? Like, what's, this is the best the place that they could come up with. I need, I need an Uncar Plug story. I need to go through all that with, with, with Uncar himself. I need to talk. To we him. got a solo movie. I want a Plut movie, and it's just yeah. called Plut. <laughs> just, there's nothing else to play. <laughs> just doling out half portions because to people <laughs> to, clar to clarify in a meta sense it was totally it retconned twice in a meta sense it was like jj abrams was totally intending to do something crazy with it there's even um quotes from i think simon Pegg and, and someone else around like 2015 16 where they're like oh yes her hip her lineage is going to be very important and then the ryan johnson was like lol and then uh, JJ was like, lol, I got the controls back now, and you didn't do enough to, like, square it off. I've still got room <laughs> to say that something's gonna happen. But in, okay. in universe, we can get away fully with Kylo just being being weird how he describes stuff. That's, that's, so instead of it was like, in, in TLJ, it was Kylo telling Rey that her entire family tree for generations were all nobody. <laughs> <There was> no <laughs> they just time. kept selling their kids for drinking money, generation <laughs> after generation. <laughs> Uncar Plot has just got, like, generations of Rey's. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> I feel like this should be put on screen, and I want chat to appreciate this excellent joke that Southpaw has made. Very well. Uh, I think that is. I think that's. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. I know if that was me, I'd want it. So, I what? think. Give it a clap. Credit should be given. I think, I think that it. credit should be given. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Disney screwed this up, and they tried to retcon the retcon afterward. Right, they tried to suggest Wait, that, that Palpatine was actually a clone Palpatine. He wasn't actually Palpatine. Okay, I understand. Palpatine died at the end of Return of the Jedi. I also understand whatever, man. What? <laughs> what? Uh, what? what? I wasn't paying attention for a second. What happened? <laughs> Why did that make it make sense? Uh, I also understand. Huh, whatever, man. Like, what? That's, that's an interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, what? Do you, what? what, 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 what? That's specifically why it's weird. Yeah, I mean, can you just say this to everything? Whatever, <laughs> man. I like that. Like, he's like, okay, so he definitely did die. Okay, but he also didn't. Anyway, moving on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, whatever. It's got to actually be Palpatine if this is to have any meaning at all. But it makes sense that she's Palpatine's granddaughter because the most powerful force being in the galaxy is indeed Emperor Palpatine. Is that true? Was. was. Isn't. <laughs> yeah, then he exploded twice. <laughs> And no, now he's he even more powerful than before. It, it just it raises so many questions. Like, you know, did did Palpatine have a harem? Did he have like, you know, a <laughs> wife? Did, you, all these things that are never touched upon because they were clearly never part of the original trilogy. And then suddenly you're raising all these questions. Like, how did any of this come about? Don't know. It's well, never maybe, explained. Maybe there were always just shitloads of Palpatines, but only one of them was like the evil emperor during that time. The rest of them were just kind of roaming around the galaxy, having like illegitimate children just all over the place. Party then... Patine? <laughs> no. It's just like, it's when, when did... Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's yeah, there's too many questions, but like this is, I just don't understand. Ben Shapiro, the facts and logic guy, is having no problem with Rise of Skywalker. When even, if I even try to apply logic to the story in Rise of Skywalker for a second, I I develop a headache. <laughs> <laughs> to do that, it completely solves the Mary Jane problem, which was a huge problem in Force Awakens. That she picks up a lightsaber Mary and suddenly Jane she's problem. fighting. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. <laughs> uh, the marijuana problem with Chewbacca and Han Solo, am I right? <laughs> Mary Jane and tobacco. 
Chewbacca. Ch- Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Is that what the is that what the the the, the Wookiee weed is called? Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca. Um. Yeah, they didn't solve the Mary Jane problem, though, did they? <laughs> <laughs> Mary Jane is named for an un- unidentified dead person, female. That's a Jane Doe. Jane Doe. Jane yeah. Doe. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mary Jane is weed. Is Mary Jane Doe. Palpatine. Yeah. So for her to do that, it completely solves the Mary Jane problem, which was a huge problem in Force <laughs> Awakens. And she picks up a lightsaber, and suddenly she's fighting Ben Solo, who's been training for 20 years and has Skywalker blood. Right now, she's like, well, no, I'm a Palpatine kid. He's one. That doesn't fix that, by the way. Yeah, the Palpatine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm if a Palpatine you're... kid that still had no training and shouldn't be able to do any of these if things. If you're a Skywalker kid, you could do it after 20 years. If you're a Palpatine kid, no training at all. Mm-hmm. And yeah, also, it's, it's, it's an explanation, but it's not a justification. There are people yeah. in chat informing us that he met Mary Sue. We, we know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're aware. <laughs> when did I'm a Palpatine kid. Check this out, right? Like, okay. Got it. That makes sense. Now that makes sense. The they bring back all the old music from Return of the Jedi, which is great. They bring back all of a lot of the old scenery from Return of the Jedi, which is just fantastic. Wow, it works on Ben. Uh, yeah, hey guys, it worked on, worked on Ben. <laughs> the Look, fucking member berries. Things oh, I recognize. They've got, no, they've got no imagination, and they're just relying on nostalgia because there's nothing I, going on now that anyone cares about. I think it's safe to say that now we have confirmation that member berries are kosher. <laughs> <laughs> they allow Han a better goodbye, which was necessary because the way they killed him in Force Awakens is disrespectful. No, that wasn't a goodbye. That, wasn't that was Kylo talking to himself. That wasn't even Han. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was more for like the viewer than for actual Han Solo, who's definitely that dead. was more so they could have Harrison Ford in a movie. I just, we, <laughs> it was it was a memory, and you know what's funny is Force Ghost Han was off to the left, frowning and ho- crossing his arms. He's like, "Fuck you." <laughs> I would never do that, Kyle. Exactly. I do not forgive you, Ben. Ben, you are a fucking piece of shit. Your yeah. mother was wrong. I should never have come to try and save you. They allowed By the way, Luke your mother's a bitch. Goodbye by having him force raise from the grave the X-Wing in the same way that Yoda did, which is really fantastic. As mm. opposed to the idiotic way they got rid of him in Last Jedi. I mean, I basically... like that part. Okay. Like yeah. that, in, in another context, Luke raising an X-Wing out of the water like Yoda did once. That works. But it ain't like this. <laughs> that that ain't like broken this. In the last one. <laughs> Not like this. But that's the thing. The member berries, they stop at that point. It's like, oh, Luke lifted something up for an X-Wing from the water. Like the green alien did that one time I saw in the movie thing. They stop. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think I you can give J.J. Abrams credit for doing a callback at this point. Like, come on. <laughs> sure, he did something that's kind of like a cool thing that happened in the old movies. I mean, but didn't he just shit on TLJ for being like, stop trying to look like Hoth. Stop it. Stop being yeah. Hoth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I suspected that this would happen, that his justifications for this is bad would contradict his justifications for this is good. Well, because Rise of Skywalker does everything wrong. <laughs> so like, it's going to be hard to find a flaw in that one that isn't present in TLJ that he guns for. Like, Joe Biden's it, right? I mean, he just sort of like plots and disappears of old age. And then, just so you can oh, have that well. shot of the two sons like Tatooine, oh, I see the parallelism. Oh, God, Ryan Johnson. Okay, so Rise of Skywalker. I feel comes like the in. crazy old man jokes were were better designed for Palpatine instead of. Yeah. The, I don't know. If I was going to throw in a Joe Biden, haha, he's a silly geriatric old crazy person, man, I would have <laughs> gone with the Palpatine thing. <laughs> it's just, I- at number six because it actually respects the tradition and you get points for that number five like, oh, no, no it doesn't no it doesn't uh, mm. this is this is ben shapiro's 30 pieces of silver oh shit we lost someone drink oh no oh, it was God. drunkledge he dropped his drank return of the jedi so return of the jedi i would say two-thirds of this movie is fantastic and one-third of it is silly everything that is luke and Darth Vader related is just great. The final throne yes. room mm-hmm. stuff is just fantastic. All yeah, of that is great. Uh, uh-huh. it, it, it has great music. The, the dynamic between Palpatine, in McDermott is fantastic. The dynamic between Palpatine and Darth Vader and Luke is the best thing about the movie. Yep. Han becoming a more responsible human being is good. <laughs> the entire speeder scene is actually a very cool scene. Han becoming a more responsible uh, human being, what does he mean? More responsible? I feel Han... like we... Because Respond. he's a general, but he's kind of already doing that in, in Empire. 
yeah, in Empire, he goes out to save Luke, and he, he, there's a lot of stuff that he does. He stayed, um, he stayed with the Rebellion for a guy. while, you know? Absolutely. And I then think... once he gets woken up from Carbonite, well, I guess we're, we're fucking back at it. Job's not done, boys. Well, he's finally fully committed because before he's always like, yeah, I got to go. I'll help out for now, and then I got to go. But mm -hmm. once they rectified the job of the hut threat, then he's like fully, you know, committed to the cause. Not I'm here just because it's convenient type of thing. I mean, it did seem to me that he was committed outside. He had to get that done because that was going to, that's called, like he even mentions that he's they're bumping into bounty hunters. So like, he's got to get it sorted. But like, do you, do you think he would have gone, uh, come back after he paid Job of the Hut? Yes. Yes. Because Luke's his friend. Yeah. He's back. Woo. Like, the fact that he nearly kills himself to save Luke makes me think, and he's clearly invested in Leia. Like, I would assume he'd get it paid and then come back. I was always under, I always thought that uh, Jabba would be like, yeah, you pay me, but it's not good enough. And it would have been one of those, like, Return of the Jedi situations well, yeah, he's just a, a couple years ago. I don't early. think Jabba would have, no, I don't think Jabba would have gotten a rid of such a valuable asset. I was going to say, isn't that, got to be careful as, as a hut doing something like that. Because wouldn't people be like, why the fuck would <clears> I pay you? you? Yeah, why bother paying him back if he just. I have to imagine that, off, maybe. especially Han would probably give him some, uh, you know, a bit on top for the delay <laughs> or something. I don't know. Couple extra I mean, he spoons. tried that in Return of the Jedi. Triple, you're throwing away a deal here. I'm just, I figure if you, he's that shitty, he'll oh, do it Oh, in fairness, though, that was, that was after they tried to steal him from under Jabba's nose. So at that point, I assume he's just punishing them in terms of execution for breaking many laws of any kind. Many, I was going to quote the law. <laughs> I love the idea of John being like Section Forty Three of C Seventeen. You of the Solo. Tatooine Code. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I get bail? Triple the cost. He's like, no, to the Sala. <laughs> On Endor, the the second Death Star and and the plot to trap the rebels is good. Even Lando flying the the Millennium Falcon makes some sense. The Ewoks are are not great. The, the space battle doesn't seem to have tremendous consequences. It's obviously not as impactful what? as the... Well, I, I mean, that's wrong. What are you talking about, Ben? <laughs> hey, I need to know what are you talking well, about. When he says it doesn't seem to have consequences, like, first of all, several major ships from the Rebellion are exploded, but the Death Star also gets exploded. I feel like we get some finality with that space battle, you know? We do. Yeah, sure, sure the space battle there. part's great. I like the space battle part. It's how it all fits in with the Tisby fucking Ewoks. It's the Ewoks, yeah. <laughs> Everyone agrees. It's the Ewoks yeah. that need work. You need... If it was a planet full of Wookiees, it would have gone way better. But even then, yeah. gotta be careful. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You can't just... That's cultural appropriation. That's why I did it. Ewoks <gasps> were invented by a white man, so... I don't... Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. as the New Hope oh space battle. But... In concluding the trilogy, it's good. Also, the, the Jabba stuff at the beginning, uh, there's a great thread I saw from a friend of mine, Frank Fleming, online, where he completely deconstructs the Jabba stuff. And be, like, what was Luke's actual plan? So his plan was, I'm going to send the droids in, and then do they get kept by Jabba, or do they not? Like, if, if, he'd have to then rescue the droids, right? Because if Jabba had kept the droids and be like, okay, here's Han, would they have just left R2 and C-3PO there? No. So he has Lando in there undercover. Lando never actually does anything undercover. Then he sends in the droids to be captured for no apparent reason. Then he sends in Leia to make the trade with Jabba for Han, but now he still has to res rescue C-3PO and R2. No, she doesn't make the trade. She's just offering to sell Chewie. He's a bounty, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Which, you, you, again, like, I'm not actually defending Re Return of the Jedi here. I'm actually just trying to correct him, because, like, it is tismy as hell. It's like, Leia's now going to come in and sell Chewbacca to Jabba. You're like, what the fuck does that help? <laughs> so we're like, down uh, a man, basically, yeah. for no reason. Yeah, but you got <laughs> some credits. Jabba's dungeon. Dude, that opening is so weird when you lay it out. It's like, what in the world is everyone thinking? Then he shows up, but he doesn't actually just brandish the lightsaber and tell Jabba he's going to blow him away, like kill him, unless he releases all of his friends. He proceeds to be thrown into a Rancor pit, which presumably Lando knew about and could have warned him about. Like, the beginning makes no sense. It's fun, but it makes no sense. With that said, Return of the Jedi, the, the, the conclusion of the trilogy is very moving, uh, and it definitely works. Revenge of the Sith is number four. Now, Revenge of the Sith, I rewatched it recently. It's good. It's a good movie. Revenge of the Sith, the last two-thirds of it, is really good. Everything from when Palpatine becomes overtly maniacal to the end. Order 66, that whole sequence is very effective, where you're seeing all of these Jedi get shot down and killed. All of that is really effective. The the Hayden Christensen. Um, I have issues with Revenge of the Sith. We'll be able to get to that eventually. So yeah, we we'll will. do a stream for it specifically. But uh, 
Yeah, well, to 66 is pretty good. Mm. Yeah. I Her like again that part. is Very good. good. It actually Thank works you. emotionally when Ewan McGregor is upset about all of this. Now, Hayden Christensen still can't act, but that's just the, the wages of sin. It's good. There's a lot in Revenge of the Sith that's great. The, the final lightsaber battle is, is excellent. The big flaw in Revenge of the Sith is that the, the sort of rationale for why Darth Vader becomes Darth Vader doesn't really work too well because the question becomes why he still works for the Emperor afterward, right? Because at the, he apparently falls to the dark side because he wants the power to be able to save Padme. Okay, Padme dies. So why is he still hanging out with the Emperor at that point? The Emperor made him a promise. The Emperor didn't fulfill the promise. Well, Anakin didn't, isn't part of what Anakin wants just in general is more power. He really likes yeah. power. He wants the yeah. power. And he, he would tell you it's to help people. And of course, he ends up using it to kill those he considers to be like blights on the universe. Also, doesn't he go off on Padme at the end of the movie, anyways? So he, mm -hmm. he's already like. Yeah, I mean, he's he's he kind of lashes out at her. Well, he's he's furious because <laughs> he, he's loves told, her and cares about her, but... he's told that he killed her. So it's probably even more to send him to Crazyville. Mm -hmm. The Emperor has access to Anakin's old tweets. He'll reveal them. <laughs> 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 Anakin Skywalker is cancelled. Also, we all know that the Sith Apprentice tries to kill the, the Sith Master, so why doesn't he just try and kill Palpatine, like, right away and take control? Hey, give him 19 years, okay? Or a bit more than that, actually. 25, something isn't, like that. Isn't the idea, too, that you want to learn from the Master before you kill him? Like, you don't want to just be like, okay, I'm a Sith now. All right, Master, you're out. <laughs> well, yeah, because the Emperor says maybe together we can discover the power to save people's lives or whatever, right? Yeah. yeah, he has a very tangible, like, in-narrative reason to want to not kill Palpatine. <laughs> of the galaxy, if that's really what he's up to. It's weird that he becomes sort of a functionary in the galactic regime of Palpatine after it turns out that his wife died and Palpatine didn't do anything to, to save him, to, to save her. Number three, I'm gonna go off the board. You ready for this one? Rogue One. Yeah, I... Ooh. <laughs> oh, <interesting. laughs> let's, uh, let's hear it out, I guess. I know, a lot of people want to put Revenge of the Sith or, or ROTJ, Return of the Jedi, on this list at this point. Uh, I, I go Rogue One. I think Rogue One is an actually really well-made film. Mm. Uh, Rogue One is fascinating. It has just enough tips of the hat to the original Star Wars trilogy to draw you in. Also, the ending of it is shocking. Right? No, it this isn't. is one of the new no. Star Wars. I, mean, I think it is completely really? exactly what we everyone thought was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like we knew. How could it have played out any other way? Like I would many have been, people died I would have been shocked if that didn't happen. The beginning. It, is he implying that it's just shocking that Darth Vader is so brutal? Because, like, I mean, he's a Sith Lord. I think it's the whole... I Oh, well, is that shocking, or is he talking about I, I the fact know. that everyone not, dies? Well, I mean, like, the everyone dies part shouldn't be shocking, because it's not like any of the rest of them are any of it should be shocking. Of is he like, holy shit, CGI Leia. <laughs> Expectation oh my god. Yeah, I assume, I assume he's referring to the fact that all the, the characters die. Uh, yeah. But that honestly shouldn't have been shocking. Force films and one yeah, of the yeah, original yeah. kind of Star Wars recognitions is that nobody who's a major character except Alec Guinness dies in the first three Star Wars. And not, not, not a single major Darth character. Darth Vader? Um, <laughs> um, Yoda? But you, you can't... I don't think that's Yoda. fair, though. <laughs> well, yeah, and Yoda. How could you say, like, oh, no major characters die except the ones that do? It's like... What? <laughs> who is a, who's a hero dies in the first three Star Wars, at least not of old age. Right? I mean, Yoda dies of old age. But that, at least if you not set from the parameters that finally, yeah, sure. Eventually, you narrow it down to <laughs> character, like major you character. Yeah, none, of, good, none of the characters of die age. of old age. <laughs> Vader, Vader very, uh, I think he's just saying no major protagonists. I think is the distinction he should have made. But Vader very clearly becomes a protagonist right before he dies. Like that's it, yeah. That's he the, was always yeah. A, that's the whole fucking point. It's, it's his story. Yeah. yeah. I find this weird. <laughs> okay. Rogue One kills off all the main characters at the end, which is wow. a shock. But I remember watching this in the theater for the first time. I was like, whoa, yeah. what, did, what did they just do? They... Yeah, for me, I was just like, oh no, fuck that guy. Fuck. Oh no, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. Don't like, give me ladies, it's a suicide mission. We knew from the original trilogy that they were gonna die. That's the whole point of this story. Yeah, the, the idea is that we don't know any of these people, even though it's set minutes before A New Hope or whatever. So it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Where did they all go? They just set you up with all of these characters who you actually like, and then... Yeah. Uh, nope. Well... Not that's, that's the stretch, ben. <laughs> I, I liked the robot, the blind guy. That was yeah. about it. 
But uh, <laughs> the big the big gunman was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, the gunman yeah. was cool. Yeah, the gun, gun guy. Uh, yeah, teams. blind guy. Blind Where guy people stuff. are either described Blindman. by their disability or the weapon they use. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's not no, great. It's because I can't remember their fucking names. This pilot they just guy don't matter at all. Pilot guy is one of them. Leader guy. <laughs> and of course, the protagonist Joan Dark. <laughs> oh my god, Joan Dark. <laughs> And the lead protagonist, woman guy. Well, that's that's offensive. I'm telling everyone. <laughs> and they kill all of them. Wow. Somebody described. I made fun of them at the time, but they were kind of right. They described Rogue One as an actual war film, as in not just Star Wars, but an actual yeah. war film. And that. <laughs> I, I was waiting for him to correct yeah. himself. It's an actual like war film. War. I mean, like there is war. There's <laughs> one battle. You know, Star Wars. I mean, a lot of rebels get killed, and a lot of stormtroopers well, get killed, and a planet gets blowed up. I think so, he's referencing yeah, like I, it's, I it's, it's full metal. I think I he's referencing it's more gritty. It. It's much more I gritty. I remember when, when Full Metal Jacket, the blind guy, went over the field and switched a button. Yeah, that was my favorite part. Oh yeah, <laughs> that part was <laughs> weird. He used the me. force, okay? Yeah, they used the force a lot in Full Metal Jacket. Well, I mean, remember in Saving Private Ryan when this giant space station appeared over the horizon and blasted all the American troops to smithereens? Ah, oh, it's a secret like, Nazi weapon! Oh, <laughs> like, oh like shit, test. man, I didn't know the Nazis were that prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Saving Private Wolfenstein. <laughs> That's right, I mean, Saving this is about Private human Jar -Jar. sacrifice and what people are willing <laughs> to do in order to accomplish a mission. Including giving up your life if you're, in this case, you know, probably 25 years old, as the main. I mean, like all the, the rebel so, soldiers who die in the original trilogy. I was gonna say, even the opening of battle, a New Hope is pretty like, oh shit, you know. Like what they didn't Holy zoom shit, into babe. their faces, so it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought that people would die in wars? <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. Lives through World One and dies in a New Hope. <laughs> Rogue One is really good. Also, that that final. The final scene where Darth Vader finally lets loose is just ridiculously good. And if you ever watch the mashup of the end of Rogue One and the beginning of New Hope, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I really, fine. I really like the ending scene. I just don't, I don't, I don't know that <sighs> watching the end of Rogue One and then the beginning of New Hope is fantastic. I, I, I just be like, oh, I mean, it fits enough. Yeah, it works. Yeah. It's... Why is the CGI lady a human now? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow, she got. Wow, the CGI wow. just got really good. It's like she's that... really there. Yeah, that often... is, uh, very calm all of a sudden. What happened there? He was fucking Practical ripping sense. everyone's heads off two well, seconds yeah. ago. People often reference that, like, Vader should be much more like, what the fuck, this is, you, you guys just ran away from a war rather than plans were beamed to this ship, you, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. And it's like, well, you know more than that, Vader, you, know, you saw that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you not try to lie and say like we were on a diplomatic mission? I was like, really? In the diplomatic of the mission? <laughs> you, above a fucking above a what was it like an empire? We stock zoomed away place? from an active battle. Oh, I was yeah. physically watching you guys run away. <laughs> He's like, you were there. And like, no, we weren't. We were on a diplomatic mission. Like, I just, I'm pretty sure that I saw this ship like <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes ago in the says, battle like, we just had. Yeah, you, you, you like, were oh, literally no. inside the battleship that I was fighting on. I was like, are you sure? Like, and she looks around at the other I rebel soldiers remember. and they're shrugging. Like, I, I, are you sure? I, just, I, I, well, I like, think... Vader's I not even, like, in the scene. She's saying this to, like, the subordinates of Vader comes. He's like, what's she saying? It's like, oh, apparently they weren't involved. Oh, like, uh, what do you mean they weren't involved? Yeah. What the yeah, fuck? Apparently <laughs> it, it wasn't them. They said they're, they said they're on a diplomatic mission. There must be some kind of mistake. Vader's just <laughs> bullshit. Mistake? <laughs> well, well, he does torture her, so maybe he was like, yeah, you're definitely lying. Why you I'll talk to you just in case. Pretty but I don't sure think your story you're fucking with out. me. <laughs> that was a different cruiser and a different license plate. And he's like, oh shit, you're right. <laughs> we just checked him. Oh, and just yes. take the very end of Rogue One. Where I was Dark looking Vader for a white Honda Corolla. People. And then the beginning of <laughs> episode of episode four, where Darth Vader catches the Tantive Four, and they just mash it up, and it works perfectly. It's beautiful. Number two is a new hope. And there's some controversy over whether New Hope should go in front of Empire. The only reason being that Empire wouldn't exist without New Hope. But that New Hope doesn't mean anything. That's not yeah. that's not why people say that a New Hope's better than Empire. There's plenty of good reasons. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's talking about. <laughs> like the thing is, a New Hope is really fucking good. Uh, yeah. To say yeah. Empire New Hope is the top one is fine with me. I don't mind people choosing either. No, yeah. Same. 
just my argument is always, well, A New Hope is a very complete film, and Empire Strikes Back, while it's great, a lot of that depends on what Return of the Jedi resolves. A New Hope's the only Star Wars movie that you don't need to watch any other one. It's the whole, there it is, it's the whole shebang. Yeah, that's... That's, that's what I enjoy about it the most. It's a, it's a fucking chunky piece of content for one movie, for sure. I, I don't know if I agree with that. I think it flows very smoothly compared to any other Star Wars movie. Oh, yeah, no, so not like Star- not like chunky and smooth like peanut butter. Like there's a lot of like there's a <laughs> like, lot there's of stuff in there. What I mean is you get you get a lot of the amount of time that you're asked to stay. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's what you meant. So I thought you meant just because I've heard a lot of people complain about the pacing maybe, issues of the first movie. I'm maybe like, a better way would be it starts thick. out with a bang and ends with a bang. There's really not much to fix. It's thick. There you go. That's a better. That's a better way. So that's a good it. description. Yeah. You know, thick is good though. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, I've never had a problem with the pacing in uh, New Hope, but I suppose I'd be able to... I feel like a, a common argument for the OT from some people would be like, oh, they're a bit slower than uh, the other one. I'll just be like, hmm. Than modern movies. Always the thing is, like... they're really not that slow, though. I mean, yeah. A New Hope literally starts out with uh, the opening, the, the big battle on the ship, and then each Star Wars movie kind of starts out, you're like, what am I doing? You're in the middle of a story, and you got to catch up. It's I don't know how people complain about that. In the modern day, I and mean, unless it's like Marvel flashing, you know, in front of your face every five seconds, Star Wars, the old ones aren't slow at all. I need a gauntlet with six powerful gems inside it, okay? Otherwise, it's going kapu kapu every scene. Yeah. Is Damn in joke, and of itself sir. a very good movie. Now, I know these movies hold up because I've shown them to my six and my three year old, and they love them. I mean, they are in. That's not a great way to find out if a movie holds yeah. up. As long as yeah. the three year old spawn of Ben Shapiro <laughs> says it's good, then <laughs> damn sure it's, it's good. It's funny because you'd be like, well, at least six of them are like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, 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 it's good. 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 I showed the emoji movie to my three-year-old, and they loved it. So that proves that <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome go. film. <laughs> Into them, I've shown them some of the new movies, not as much. Conversely, is is fantastic. My three-year-old it's absolutely it's interesting. hates it obviously... Citizen Kane. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I don't see any three-year-olds enjoying Citizen Kane. They're gonna be like, "What the fuck like is this?" Part shit? of the end with the sled. He's like, "Oh, is it gonna be a sledding scene now?" Daddy, Daddy, I feel like his <laughs> ideals will eventually break down when the realization that he could have personal power <laughs> 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 consume him. Like, that's right. Dad, that's uh... right, little group hero. That's exactly right. <laughs> no, he just looks at him as rose, <laughs> Like you are smart. <laughs> I, like I, I did grow up watching the Star Wars movies. I probably was like three when my parents showed me the original trilogy, and that's why I remember like always growing up wanting to play with Star Wars toys, wanting to like pretend I had a lightsaber. But I, I was definitely judging them on a different metric than I have now for why they were good. Yeah, it was very much a pretty lights and colors thing at the time. I think <laughs> follows all the beats in Joseph Campbell, so it, it is famously reflective of Joseph Campbell's hero's journey. It's got some some of the best lines in movie history, stuff that everybody quotes all the time. It's got great legit actors like Alec Guinness alongside newcomers. I like great legit actors. Like, what do you mean? Great legit <laughs> actors? They're legitimately actors as in they acted and then received pay. <laughs> <laughs> you they, were, they, they didn't hire any illegal... As opposed to the actors. illegitimate actors who sneak onto set and just start acting. <laughs> they just pretend to be extras. Oh, hey, the Pipeman's in chat. Hello there. That guy, that guy's sweeping. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Pipeman. Hello, how are you? Good EFAP so far. Well, that's really about POV, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the first six hours were quite a disaster in terms of just, oh, dealing with, <laughs> dealing with the Bob. No, sorry, it's it was Jim Sterling. It's the other one. <laughs> it's, it, my brain registered it as Movie Bob. That's terrible, Jim. You gotta get out of that. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And then we moved that on to Ben Shapiro. <laughs> sorry? Did that guy still make content? I haven't heard about movie or Bob, uh, from Movie Bob in a while. Oh, dude, he's the yeah, villain of Ethan 100. He's literally in the meme. We've got to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah, uh, Drinker, have you seen uh, the super meme? Uh, yeah, there's like the, the trailer for Endgame. Uh, they've recut it. Oh, yeah, did you, uh, oh, well, do you see the 20 minute one? They're, they're like the main one. Oh, no, no, I haven't seen that one. Oh, you need to watch it. Hang on, yeah. yeah, I should be able to. I think I linked it in our group chat. If I just scroll all the way to the top, you know. Oh, it's okay. The, but it's uh, the big yeah, okay. everybody should see it. It's kind of um. Kind Twenty of minute. Holy shit! Oh man. yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Good. Good fucking red. Oh uh, yeah, I'll watch that after I'm done with this. Yeah, everybody is essentially making cameos in it. You're even in it, and you didn't even know. 
Wow. Uh, Disgusting. I'll definitely watch it then. I know. <laughs> Alright, yeah, here it is. Anybody who's interested, you should check that out. Put it in a bookmark, you know? Give okay. Alright, Ben. <laughs> Take it away. Like Harrison Ford, the initial opening is so good. I, I actually use the initial opening as an explanation of how politics ought to work in a campaign. Because the initial opening is all Darth Vader. Right? You don't meet Luke for the first like 20 minutes of the film, basically, the first 15 minutes of the film. Okay. And that's because you first have to establish the bad guys before you establish the good guys. It's a good no, lesson for people who are running no, in politics. Don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You, you made that up. You just you made, made that, that up. up. <laughs> you just made that up. Do we have any other examples that makes this the case? But I don't even, I feel like we don't have to. Like the idea that you have to set up your villain before your hero. It's like you can do either. Yeah. Right. I think you have to set up your world and your stakes, sure. ideally, before you set up your hero. Be, which is that's Darth Vader is the function of that. I still think you could get away with like you know if a film opened with just Guy in house and he's in a crazy sci-fi world, but we just watch pieces of the world unfold as he's doing his day to day, and we get to know him as well. You know, you could do it. I suppose. Kind of like I mean, this uh, is a, this the is Lego movie. Your, yeah, yeah, the this... Lego movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, doesn't technically the Matrix? Uh, we yeah. get to know Neo first, don't we? I'm yeah. Can remember? Because yeah. Oh no! The... It, no, there's a cold open with well, yeah, uh, Trinity. Trinity. None of that shit makes any sense to us. It, like, yeah. The first thing that makes sense is okay, Neo. Okay, and then it's only he... once he's fucking out of the Matrix that that gets. Uh, Neo, oh, shut up, Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever want to run a political campaign, first establish who your opponent is, and then it makes it easier to establish who you are. And finally, but he's as you all know, number campaign. one, this is not Yeah, that's a bit of a shit is... equivalency, isn't it? It's yeah, like, a little bit. <laughs> oh, this makes you know sense if... for what I do in my life, therefore. Well, you see, if you, if you, if you establish uh, very quickly an, an equivalency <laughs> uh, in a political sense uh, between the beginning of a, an empire or a new hope, Star Wars would compare that to a political campaign. Like the United States of America, the greatest country that has uh, ever been ever been made, and probably ever will. Why may she stand? This is not a theory, this is not an opinion, it is a simple fact. Empire Strikes Back is the best of the Star Wars movies and one of the best movies of all time. My father assures me that when people saw this in the theaters, they literally could not believe. They, they had to wait until Return of the Jedi came out for confirmation that Darth Vader was telling the truth. People doubted it, even after watching Empire Strikes Back. It's a brilliant movie. One of the things that's great about the movie is it's really about how Han Solo is competent. And one of the things that, that Disney has done with the Star Wars universe that's really stupid is they've decided that basically all the male characters are radically incompetent. In the original Star Wars, pretty I mean, much that's everybody's just everyone now. Everyone's incompetent. I was going to say, even the women are very incompetent too. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it tries to say otherwise, but everyone's incompetent. Oh, yeah. According to the films, the women are doing great and the men are fucking up, but everybody's yeah. fucked. Like, let's but be honest. <laughs> Poe Dameron did nothing wrong. Poe Dameron did nothing <laughs> wrong. And yet he was slapped. He's like Joel. Yeah, Poe and Joel, they just they, they need a buddy cop movie. I'm telling you, Joel Dameron. Poe <laughs> and Joel. Happen. The drinker died again. No, oh, no. Put at their job, right? Princess Leia is competent. Han Solo is competent. Yeah. Luke Skywalker is increasingly competent. Darth Vader is competent. It's a bunch of competent people. You know what makes for interesting plots? Competent people. Empire Strikes. I agree. I agree with that. I miss those days. Yeah. I miss mm -hmm. those days. A lot of older great shit has smart people fighting smart people, and it's nice. But then also, if everyone's incompetent, maybe that would make for a good story too? Uh, don't you get Dumb and Dumber with stuff like that? Yeah, or like Jackass, or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different people who are good at different things working together is something oh, people yeah. like to watch. <clears throat> Back is all about how Han Solo is shockingly competent at all the things he's attempting to do. And how he's a rogue, and all... the, the writing is fantastic, Lawrence Kasdan does a beautiful job with the script. Also, everything Yoda-related is just tremendous, and of course, it has a phenomenal, phenomenal score from John Williams. Empire Strikes Back, obviously, number one on the list with a bullet. I mean, it, it is just, it is, it is not close. Alrighty, well, may the 4th be with you, and in honor of May the 4th, tonight we have an All Access Live. We'll be discussing all of this to be part of the All Access Live. You have to actually become a member over at... Oh, fuck that. I want money. On Star Wars. Hey, man. Let's, let's all discuss our... Uh, rankings with Ben Shapiro live. Let's do it. Did we? I think apart. I think we got one the same. I just. I like the the, the first thing I'd probably say to him is, "So you like the Rise of Skywalker, and you're wrong." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, I'm gonna be like, "What does your wife do for a living?" 
<laughs> Very curious. <laughs> I need to know. But yeah, that's it for Ben's opinions on Star Wars. What do you think? Um, I um I oh I love it. It's mixed. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Wow. I mean, I, I agree with lots of what he says, but I don't agree with how he um, prioritizes the yes. things. I feel like what he says and how he actually ranks it doesn't really... Yeah, it doesn't add up. Add up. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I suppose well, well, there's just so many different things we could do. I think probably... We're gonna have I'm to... going to have to tag out here. Oh, you, absolutely you're gonna, fine. You going to sleepy dismas? What are you doing? No, I, I don't. I don't want to hold up the rotation. Oh, <laughs> I'm just being a good, a good man. I'm being a good man. I'm gonna have don't. to jump out too. I have a bunch of shit to do for the channel this week. So, mm. well, I mean, it was good to good to hang out for for the for the amount we did, and uh, it was nice to see you on 100, of course. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk again in the future. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Around, that's dude. it. Never see you again. Oh. <laughs> Well, thanks, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Yeah, we'll dude. catch you later. Bye. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Mahler, yeah. Rags, Drinker, we'll everyone else. Later, bye. 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 See you. Yeah. What a nerd. Wow, well, doesn't even know yeah, my name. He, <laughs> he said, he said m mumble or something. He was like, yeah, you. Sorry, Crying I person. was silent for the past couple of minutes there. I, connection was all screwed up here. That's all right. That's all good. So wait, Mello, you you are you are you alive now? Dying now? What's happening? I mean, I, I just don't want to hold up the rotation. That's that's all I was uh, I was saying. Right. I'm, I'm doing a bit of now, juggling. I'm gonna now. flump out, I guess. And uh, I'm assuming you'll be going to sleep before you could possibly uh, be. be uh, doing actually, there's some life wrestling, so I'm probably gonna be up for at least two more hours and a couple of more hours after. I'm not really mm. tired right now. I'm I'm just chilling. So if I'm and just just pop me some messages and see if I'm around still. I guess. Yeah. All right. When flooms hit the glooms. Um. I mean, it's because there's a couple of people who are uh, rotating in, and so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get you back. But of course, I shall if That's, I can. Yeah, it's all it's all good. I mean, uh, tomorrow I don't know how available I'll be the day because it's actually Dad Commander's birthday in a couple of minutes. Oh, happy birthday, Dad Commander. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I I guess you'll be done when I'm back from, from my dad's place, I can imagine. Or maybe you're just gonna go longer as you always do, and it's gonna be five million hour long a fop. Fop, you'll say. He's a, a fop. fop. A fop. Yeah, I can never truly know exactly how long these things will go for, you know. Yeah. I mean last time you went twenty four hours and then you uh, you went like Seven hours longer, I guess. I think I even hopped in at the end when you were reading super chess or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining how long it's going to take you to get through the super chess on this one. It's going to be epic by itself. Yeah. <laughs> so, hmm. I mean, we'll do our very, very best. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm just, just just cycling, grabbing some invites as I do. So, uh, well, I guess I'll we'll catch you around. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, you guys have more fun, and maybe see you later. Maybe see you in the next one. All right. See sleep you later. Sleep, cool, man. Nice sleep just small amounts again. of hours we can get back on. Okay, okay. Schlorms. Later. Boy. I don't mind hanging out, but if you have more people you need to rotate in, I don't mind taking off either. We shall see. <laughs> That's actually, <laughs> we oh apparently Team Halloween is currently winning. Yeah, get it. Wow, Team Halloween caught up. Ah. Yeah, Team Christmas kind of took it away at the beginning, but uh, Halloween's just squeaked in ahead now. Damn man, how about it? I mean, I I knew the truth would get out there eventually. I just didn't <clears> think it would be so quickly. Um. Okay. But yeah, see, this is the thing. It's it's funny when you have essentially no schedule whatsoever. You just end up being like, wait, what? 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 Are we even what? What coverage is to be done? Zed? Like, I don't know. Just look around, see see what see what options we got. And I'm thinking with this selection, guess Star Wars is the best option, right? 
out of all the different things we could possibly cover. Also, hello. Well, yeah, I mean, like, if there's if there's one thing we need to talk about more, it's Star Wars for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, not nearly enough Star Wars discussion. I, I need am to... back. I wonder yeah. how many how many hours total of Star Wars talking has been done between everyone combined. Oh, just a few minutes, I'd say. <laughs> what Star Wars? That one with the the snow planet. E the, the Ewoks. It's Hello. it's that it's that uh, movie about space wizards for children. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that one, the one about space, space wizards. wizards. But yeah, so welcome back to EFAP, Satan. I don't even think that's accurate. I think it's more like space monks, more like, rather than uh, I mean, wrong class, Willards, wrong class. Don't you know you deem me? Space wizards, how dare you? Um, but yeah, welcome back to EFAP, Satan. How do you do? <laughs> Very good. Thank you for having me back. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Good to be here. It's uh. We're in the we we we're, we're up to late now for the European side of the world, but America is still in what like afternoon ish. It yeah. is um... oh, close close to evening, I think. Close to evening, so be, somewhere between a line between afternoon and evening. Oh, people are say. saying the it, Snyder Cut trailer is out. Are we are we able to watch trailers without getting hit by copyright? The Snyder Cut trailer is only you can only watch it on the v DC Fandom, which is like um. Almost like the way they did BlizzCon, where you can like buy an online ticket to watch. Oh, the surely, stuff. surely there's a re-upload on YouTube by now, though. Yeah, yeah I it give it a couple only, hours at max. Tricky. Is that something we can do live, or do we get hit with? Depends with if there's issues? any music. Maybe. I, I think it really depends on whether we like it or not. So if it's positive, <laughs> we can stay up. If we don't like it, however, we're coming right down. <laughs> it's very good. Very good. I like. Yes, very good. We yeah. could just uh, say the exact opposite of what we think. So. That everyone, everyone else knows. knows what we really mean, but we'll get away with it. Yeah, I, suppose, I imagine we'll have to wait a bit anyway. Um. Oh, Az got his stream cut for it. Oh, yeah, wait, so did, wait uh, for what? For uh, showing the uh, Lethal Lightning, who's on uh, the Gaming with Geeks channel with me, did a reaction on his channel to the Snyder Cut, and his video got pulled in like ten minutes. Ah, okay. I see. Well, I'm afraid we can't do that, ladies. So the Snyder wait, the Snyder cuts out. It's released. No, the trailer. Yeah. Trailer. Yeah. Oh. I think the, they've have... done a new trailer for Wonder Woman 1984 as well. Do we? Do we DC have? Um, having, like, do we have any news on there. Batwoman season two? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably sometime. But like, it, I think it's eight hours. Their streams going. It started at 1 p.m. Eastern. So like. Probably a little bit to go, and uh, they they only have so many things they could show trailers of. Yeah, the best we could do is all of us watch it, and I mute it on stream, and then we can tell people what we think. But I, I I'm at, what we'll do is try and do that between stream one and two. I think so we can have a chat about it. Uh, does, do we have a date for when it's coming out? At least I assume people are hype. Is it a good trailer? What, what chat? What do you think? Is it a good trailer? I trust chat, even though they're of two minds or several thousand. It's you know. <laughs> I watched it without sound, but what I found interesting about it was I didn't recognize a single shot from the Joss Whedon cut. So well, that can only be a good thing. I know. Like I was like, huh, well, I mean, it seems like it literally yeah, is making it different. And different is there even anything the redeeming about the original Justice League? It's like, not really. <laughs> no. cool Maybe redeem. if you remember that the guy who made it made like Avengers and Buffy, but well, like, that's, it's, a, it's an abstract association, not anything about the actual content. I feel like the the killer argument for that is the guy who made Prometheus made Alien. You're like, oh. <laughs> then you're like, well, at least he didn't make Alien Covenant. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine that making those two instead, like, because he didn't want to do a sequel to Alien originally, right? That's why James Cameron got it, because they would have had him do it. And then it's like, yeah, but I'll do two sequels, fucking fifty years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course, uh, Satan. Which is better? Halloween or Christmas? Mm. Well, obviously it's Halloween. I I mean, hands down. I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, uh, am I the only one here with a loving family? Like, I guess I fucking am. <laughs> <laughs> Satan, you've got a loving family, right? It's like a whole bunch of demons. Yeah, there's nothing more loving than a demon family. Mm -hmm. Literally. Stick together. Well, yeah, I picked I picked Christmas on the basis that it was socially acceptable to drink at like nine a.m. on Christmas Day. So, winner. <laughs> I feel like that's fair. That's a good reason. Yeah, things only get crazy on Halloween once the sun goes down. Well, I mean, <laughs> on, on Halloween, it's it's acceptable for for you to drink, and it's acceptable for adults to eat candy. So you get both of those. 
But you can do it all day. For adults to eat candy. Yeah, every time, candy every Christmas. time someone says Halloween, their logic is totally flawed, and I it's just I, Rags, you said <laughs> Christmas wrong. But I, I like spooky weird. things, and and Christmas <laughs> isn't very spooky. Yeah, I wait. You're enjoying the, holidays wrong, okay? The it's all enjoying the holidays and excitement wrong. of of Halloween. Also, Halloween specials are better than Christmas specials. Don't at me. Yeah. Um, so anyway. <laughs> I suppose, uh, the, so this, this DC fandom thing, are we expecting anything else from it that we haven't already gotten? Like they showed the trailer for a game called Gotham Knights that uh, seems like it's a sequel slash soft reboot of the Arkham games, um, where Batman is not in it, but the rest of the Bat family is playable and there's like co-op. It uh, seems pretty cool. Is there, the Court of did the they Owl. also bring out a trailer for the Suicide Squad? I believe so. I did not oh. see that. Though. I've not seen it. Maybe it's not been released yet. It was uh, okay. supposed to be. There's promo images of um, Harley Quinn again. Oh. Wait, what, what? Oh, for Suicide Squad 2. Yeah. Dude, the I think there's, a, there's a god awful picture of Cheetah. From one... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that looks I... awful. I think one thing we learned from the original uh, Suicide Squad trailer is that not to trust a trailer. Yeah. Fucking okay, don't trust yeah, that, movies that is... <laughs> just at all. <laughs> um so yeah, we Okay, I, there's I, a there's an exclusive sneak peek for the new Suicide Squad. It's about 2 minutes long. Whoa. Again, uh, we probably can't watch stuff like that cuz uh... well, people are saying fandom's free to watch now. I I've seen like tickets for it being sold on like Steam and stuff. So I was like, "Oh, I guess maybe you can like watch it on the Steam client." I don't know. Maybe I just didn't make know. That. Maybe you can watch it for free, or you can pay for it. <clears throat> yeah. If you fall for the scam. Okay, yeah. So by the looks of it, there's no actual final footage in it. It's just kind of like a behind the scenes featurette, just showing the cast walking around in their outfits and falling on blue bags and stuff. I yeah. always hate seeing that stuff before an actual trailer. It's like, yeah. It's like, here, we're going to completely ruin the magic before you've even seen it in the first place. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, from what I saw the, of the teaser of Suicide Squad, the new one, is uh, they have Harley Quinn. In actual outfit that looks good instead of some weird mishmash, sort of like a I don't know, it's like someone dressed her who liked to play a lot of online R MMORPGs. Is found like a tin hat and a, I don't know a blue coat or something like that because it has higher stats or something. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how they dressed her in Birds of Prey. Now they dress her like a human being in the uh, in this teaser. James Gunn's directing this one, right? Oh yeah. no, John. Yeah, John, yeah, James Cena, Gunn. John Cena's outfit looks pretty crap. He's kind of got this weird, like, metal bell end on his head. Did he <laughs> play <laughs> King Shark? <laughs> I mean, I, just knowing what I know about Suicide Squad characters, I think he would be the one you'd want to cast as a big dude, but, um, yeah. I don't know. He just looks like a big dildo, to be honest. Is there something wrong playing. with that? The best kind. <laughs> um, I He's mean, if you're into that sort of thing, then good for you, but I'm... Um... Yeah, I feel like James Gunn can take things that would look silly and make them entertaining to watch, though. Oh, Yondu's in it. Not the actual character, the actor. Yeah, I mean, Michael Rooker. Michael uh, Rooker, yeah. So anyway, I have a video for us. Uh, funnily enough, this is a bit of a throwback. I don't, I don't actually know what to expect. Ooh. I've not seen it, but um, it's, it's unfortunate Jeff just left, because he was here at the inception. But it's okay, because Rags and I were too. The <laughs> Toxic Brood was coined by a particular YouTuber while reviewing, I believe, TLJ and talking about how toxic the world had become, or at least fandom world. And uh, he made a video for the, for, for the Rise of Skywalker, and we haven't seen oh it yet. So who knows what to expect? Did um, he know he figure out how to turn down the input gain on his mic? <laughs> I think I remember this guy. Oh, and we, we might be rotating. <gasps> Let's find out. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, yep. I'm afraid we'll, we'll be trading marks. Okay, cool. Um, All right, there well, can only be one, I guess. Uh, well, yeah. Goodbye, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine. But yeah, um, thanks very much for having me on. I really enjoyed uh, being here. I'm obviously going to be listening to a fair amount of the rest of the show. Chat, thank you for being so nice to me, but uh, I'm not saying I'm horrible too much from what I saw. That's and um, yeah, take it easy, everybody. Congratulations on getting to 100. Thanks for coming. Well, you're and, welcome uh, very much, and yeah. thanks for popping on. Maybe you'll be back. Who knows? We're going to go for another... I don't even want to look how long, much longer we're going to go. We're just keep going. Yeah, right. and thanks for good. voting for Halloween. Yeah, I didn't pay him. Wrong, what? it's fine. It's all right to be wrong in a podcast. <laughs> everyone can see. That's fine. It's all right. I'll get right. girlfriends here. Okay, take it easy, I'm everybody. Names see for girlfriends. Take care.
Hey, Mark After Dark, what's better, hey. Christmas or Halloween? <laughs> uh, you already know my answer, and I, oh, did it, you I, this? I know you're going to be disappointed. It's Halloween. I'm sorry. Wait, you think well, I'll be disappointed? answer. You think I'll be well, disappointed? Well, well, I know that you want cr cr Christmas. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? Well, that's it's... the truth, so we would <laughs> like to hear the truth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I'm predicated Dude. upon the idea that it's good to tell truthful things and not Look, lies. I'll be honest. Yeah, okay. Okay. EFAP 100. Your feelings, okay? You know it to be true. EFAP 100 has been a rousing success. So many Halloween votes have come in. I didn't even know. It's a landslide. I just. I, like, I guess I'm just the only person with a, with a wholesome family who loves him and is kept up good familial relationship with spooky friends, ween. I, think, I, I don't know spooky ween for the win lads i can't wait for Octo like, october i guess it just makes me appreciate that all the more now i guess i get an itch <laughs> on my wrist i pull up my sleeve and it's like i will not tell lies so it's getting burned into my flesh like, so it's just screaming <laughs> rag stop casting uh. spells on our guests <laughs> <laughs> So yes. Uh, wait. Yeah, so if you if you if you cycle up a little bit in the uh, in the watch together, there you guys will be able to find the links you need to get into this. Yes. Uh... We're still watching uh, Ben Shaparo. I think it's French. Also, no, we're not watching him anymore. We finished it. Oh. It was, uh, it was good shit, right, guys? What uh, I mean, it was shit. I don't know whether it was good or not. Goliath, there's, a, right. there's a reason why I mean there's a reason why Ben Shapiro is uh, still in politics and he's not the next you know Neil Gaiman or something. Even though he tried his hand at uh, fiction, it wasn't very good. I I bought it and it wasn't very good at all. There's a reason why That's he's still opinion. a political guy. That's like your opinion, man. You probably you probably yeah. didn't get it. You're the kind of guy who'd vote that the Rise of Skywalker isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that's inaccurate. Hmm. I think it's an easy, solid... What did you put it at? Six? Five? Was it six? Yeah. Oof. Because it did portray the fan the franchise. I did. So. <laughs> it does hurt to hear. It hurts to hear. <laughs> but it's the truth. I'm sorry. Uh, the all the member berries, you know. It's, it's, that's all the, all it did was uh, ruin the entire franchise by making you know Palpatine win in the end. And not only win, but take all the credit from the Skywalker family. It's uh, pa Ray Palpatine... You know what? Uh, Lars Farm, hers now. Uh, Million Falcon, hers now. Uh, X-Wing, Luke's X-Wing, hers now. Luke's lightsaber slash Anakin's light lightsaber, hers now. Everything is hers now, including like the legacy and all the good things that the Light Skywalker's family has done, even though Skywalker family lost. Also, I think all the solos are dead also, if I remember correctly. Good. That's what you want <laughs> as a fan. That's what the fans asked for. Yeah, it was a big petition. Um, I, yeah, I remember everyone wanting to. I remember everyone wanting Rise of Skywalker to just obliterate all the great things the Skywalker family did. Uh, that was it. Now my my hope was that the Rise of Skywalker would end with Luke Skywalker rising from his bed and saying, "Wow, what a terrible dream I just had." <laughs> yeah. Alas, so are you guys ready? Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey! Fucking copyright shit, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Already? Already? <laughs> Quick on the draw on this one. This is a little loud. Ah, uh, uh, no. Please. Uh -oh. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Probably shouldn't Jesus play that one. Dun, dun, dun. No, it, it should though? be okay. It was only a couple seconds. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll guess that was... Still... Why? Stop playing the music! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just mute it. You guys can tell me when I'm safe. And I think we're done. Yeah. Yay. You have no place in this story. You come from nothing. You're nothing. Oh yeah, so for context, I'm pretty sure you like TLJ, but I guess you'll cover that. Did, did he like TLG? Do you remember Raxus? It was so long ago that we covered this. I think I... Hmm... I don't know. I don't... I can't remember. I think so. I think he did, but I can't remember. Because he was so angry at everyone being know. angry at it, right? <laughs> it was something like that. But not to me. <laughs> If only we could learn how to watch movies correctly. I think we'd all be, all be good to go. I just like reviewing. Oh my god. It's gonna happen. Like its own segment. 
the rest of, oh my god. <laughs> so we're 43 seconds in and yeah, nothing. Yeah, I was just gonna say, the, Look, like, the time spent here is like a little bit gratuitous. It sets the, like, the tone. You guys aren't getting it. It's okay <laughs> when I do 30 second intros if my video is an hour long, not mm. 13 and a half minutes. I feel like a lot of movie reviewers are just failed, like, wannabe movie makers. So yeah, they take sure. it out on yeah. their film reviews. They're just like, and they make it as, like, cinematic and dramatic as possible. See, like, I okay. can do it. <laughs> oh, that boy. <laughs> I had a 45 <laughs> minute intro. I'll show them. I'll show them all. <laughs> Little do they know. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't want to make this video. <laughs> You yeah. have become the a very reviewer and apology. To destroy an accepted thing, which makes me happy. Don't sigh when you start fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh god, this is already. I don't even know who this is. This is already did so he, good. Did he just come? Like what? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I just, it's just, it's just funny because I think you could have sighed back in the day, but it's too late now. People have done it too many times. No more sighing. Everyone, stop it. No more sighing. People sighs make me sigh. Oh, is this size. one of the parts where he says, I didn't want to make this video? Well, yeah, we're, we're going to see heavy. if he says that. I don't think he, I think people are smart enough these days not to say that. Ouch. Oh, oh God, Christ. what the fuck? <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> Why is this video so loud already? I know. There we go. Yeah. Oh, my God. A couple months ago, <laughs> I saw Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. And, uh... Would you and... want a fucking medal? Is this video going to be one long sigh for 13 great. minutes? I really... <laughs> well, I mean, he I mean seems... that's what the Star Wars franchise is now. It's just one long sigh. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm getting, I'm getting... This is good. I'm getting into the feel of the Rise of Skywalker sighing. It's like, yeah. wanted to love this movie, but I just liked it. Why? Kind of. Oh. I still enjoyed yeah. watching the film. And there are things about it that are good, but it's not without its what, issues. Like those binoculars now, or... No, the visuals aren't connected. That's just trailer footage. Shut up. It's just random tra- yeah, it's just- it's the most dull- I, Why would you assume what you see- Why would you assume what you see correlates with what you hear? Why, why would you assume that? That's stupid. I'm gonna guess that at least eight minutes of this review is trailer footage. Going Probably bold. Not. Going bold, but I feel like, uh... What, just like looping- <laughs> Just- Rent, yeah, looped trailer footage or just trailer? It's just trailer material. I'm one, I'm ready for the uh, the sad version of the Star Wars music to play in the back to emotionally manipulate us properly. I'm waiting for that <laughs> to come up. Bum, bum, we bum, should do bum. like a, a Star Wars review video bingo and just put all of these fucking tropes on there. He's he's winning so far, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll work. That'd be fun. I'll play that video oh, essay yeah, bingo, man. Just, you yeah. can play it. You can play it. On its own, it's not. That bad of a film. Yeah, well. yeah, what, though, what are the parameters? It's not that bad. I mean, well, I guess we'll find out what the, his parameters are. But, uh, hmm. but as the ending to the entire Skywalker saga, I can't help but feel disappointed at how things turned out. It could have been a whole lot better than this, and that's also why I don't blame anyone who hates this one. It was supposed to be the big finale, the closing chapter, Star Wars' Endgame. Only instead of being as good and epic as Endgame, it just rips it off during- I- I mean- uh, what? <laughs> what, what, what? Excuse me? Um, you-, you <laughs> what? Yeah, th those lines being like- I mean, well, hang on, okay, I am, um, you know- Everyone's but, here, all the Jedi. Like, End Endgame was a disaster ending too. I'm sorry, okay, Endgame's not very well written, <laughs> I'm saying it, I'm putting it out there. <laughs> I feel like it's been put out there before, but I'm putting it out there again. Um, yeah, Unpopul uh, unpopular opinion. Okay, unpopular opinion. You get, I don't you even know. To, what you, have the the you have to preface it. Like, preface it. Is is it is it unpopular or popular to say that Endgame is poor writing in it? I don't know. Well, I don't know that the trend on Twitter is that uh, you just say a popular opinion, but you put unpopular opinion before it. Okay. So, you, so it, you look brave when you say it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Saying I am Iron Man compared to I am all the Jedi, it's like it does come across as like, oh my god, we got the like the discount store one, didn't we? In Star Wars, like, <laughs> what a mess! Ah, uh, raise all the Jedi, and you just have to deal with it, like Korra. No, <laughs> during the climax, and as a whole, ends up being pretty. Meh. When I finished watching The Force Awakens for the first time, I left the theater with a big smile on my face. Unpopular Same opinion: I hate Babu Frick. But after. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> wow. That's just wow. really racist. I can't believe you just said that. I mean, I really, yeah. I really enjoyed the part of the movie of Rise of Skywalker where his planet blew up, but I hate <laughs> it when it turns out that he survived. Mm. Well, uh, you found your way in. I assume you could find your way back out. <laughs> I, I'm just saying this I've not really put too much thought into it but I think Babu Frick might be the best new character that's introduced in the sequel trilogy best sequel so, trilogy character yeah. <laughs> he's, he's pretty good you know you, like, I really liked his character arc uh, Babu Frick, <laughs> Babu Frick. <laughs> I really liked the nah. when he was like hey he, he was, he was, he was the true Frick main man character some ideas. It, 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 it was not what about his methods <laughs> Turns out it was not the Skywalker uh, saga, it was the Babu Frick saga. The, the he was the true hero so <laughs> from the beginning. At the end of the movie when she's like, what's your surname? She just go, Frick. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> like, what, you forgot, what, you mean you forgot it? It's like, no. Ray Frick. Frick. Staring off Ray into the Frick. distance. This just... Frick in the end. I, I, I always hoped it would be Ray Plutt. Yeah. She was... <laughs> <laughs> Ray 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 I mean, have me. some respect for the man who raised you for 20 years, you know? Did hey. you know? I need a scene where Plot is like, Do you know how much I sacrificed? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the uh, argument I always get. Uh, that she was apparently raised by Plot, Uncle Bud or whatever it is. Because his arm appeared Uncle for a few Bud. seconds in a flashback. Yeah. It, yeah. She was sold to, he's a quiet girl. So clearly he loved her. He was like, yeah, I'm going to take care of you, protect you. He grew her up. He took, you know, he made sure nothing bad happened to her. Then she just stole his shit and ran away. <laughs> but if you ask me for more than one quarter portion, I will be very upset with you. <laughs> Abby needs all the portions we can spare. <laughs> She's for the greater up gains. Again. <laughs> After I saw yeah, this, all I said was, okay, it was alright at the time. This has been quite an informative review so far. Uh, if there, yeah, if you if you a few minutes that... into it. If that's your response, why do you feel the need to create a video review? Like, I've seen so many films and gone, yeah, that was all right. I then you can't feel just not make a review to The Rise of Skywalker. Well, I didn't. Yeah, well, you can't just do that. Yeah, and look, you're a pizza. <laughs> look what happened to you. A, yeah, it's such a weak way to begin by saying, like, well, you know, it could have been good, but it wasn't. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I wanted minutes. to love it, but I didn't. It was a 7 out of 10 movie for me. What? The more I, th I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's like, I, yeah. No, I was I was legit going to say that at the 13 minute mark, if he actually says this uh, out of 10, he would have won me back. But no, he lost uh, that chance. Out of 10. Lost it. Uh, it's a disappointing it. ejaculation out of 10. No Is that more. the same ranking Ben Shapiro gave it or was it 6? Oh. Uh, well, he gave it, he, he ranked them from, like he didn't give them a, a number oh, rating. Of, out of 10, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. But it was six on his rankings, so, you know. There's a connection mm. there. There's a through line, everyone. Ben Shapiro and AJ are connected. Conspiracy going on. Yes. Okay, it was alright. At the time, it was a seven out of ten movie for me. But the more I thought about it, it ended up being a six. No more. No less. Now, how? Let me oh, it's gonna be one of those videos. Where you, you have the tiny, the eensy beansy little one line you find for that one Star Wars movie, and you awkwardly so yeah, that, just that, shove that it vaguely into fits with the point I just made. I'm just gonna yeah. cram that in. He said no more, no less, even thing, though he, he changed it like on the fly, implying that it's a shaky six. It's like no more, well, here, no less. If if Yoda says it, they'll believe it. But if it comes from me, they just won't. You know, it won't be the same. <laughs> I'm just nasally movie reviewer number four hundred and thirty nine. Wow. But did you see my long intro? I can do it, you know. Even sounds very disinterested in his own video. How, <laughs> how interested does he expect us to be? <laughs> what I liked about the film first. Biggest positive? The music. In all nine films, John Williams has... There is a video by a YouTuber called Sideways who helps explain yeah. why the music is shitty in this film. <laughs> Everyone yeah. should go watch it. I was impressed even. I was watching it and I was like, oh shit, yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh. But I do feel like it is kind of the people that don't really understand much about composition or music will just say, ah, it is good because John Williams. Well, you know, it, it yeah, and it, made like me, it made me feel good. And, and some of them were like the ones in the old ones. Woohoo. Yeah. It's <laughs> blessed us with amazing and memorable tracks. It's okay, been a blast. Okay, paid for it. Calm down. <laughs> Hearing him compose for these films. 
And knowing that this is it for him, as far as Star Wars, is kind of- Thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He may rest. Did he do this video as like a project he really didn't want to do? Like a school project or something? That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Ah, yeah, Star Wars. I know. Whoever was pointing the gun at Ben Shapiro is now pointing the gun at this fucking guy. Dude, if- if- um, if they get John Williams to do it again, he's gonna be leaving the auditorium in like a dustpan and brush or thing. He's just like, leave him alone, he's done. <laughs> let him- let him live out the rest of his days not having to, you know, carry the weight of every shitty Star Wars film on his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> kind of upsetting, but I'm glad he was able to finish it. The visual effects- Pretty sure he didn't. Uh, wasn't it his son that finished the music or something I remember reading? Or brother? Something like that. Almost certain yeah, he didn't, uh... Get it finished. It's, it's almost the reason why I didn't actually mind the change in musical styles for The Mandalorian. Because it's, it's, not, it's not the same music, but it's, you know, it's a, a little bit different. And, uh, has, yeah, can, that's what not venture the same means, yeah. I think we can, uh, we can, they can venture to new territory rather than to stay with the, old, the same old uh, music. It's still good. I but agree. We, we got a little taste I of like the music in Mandalorian. Mandalorian. That is not what I would call an issue in Mandalorian. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like the music yeah. in Mandalorian. It's good music. Yep. And sets were still amazing. And I gotta give the VFX team props for being able to insert Carrie Fisher into certain scenes. Uh, yeah, good job, necromancers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, That's a big fat no from me. I fucking hate that. <laughs> It just, I mean, it, yeah, look, it comes it across awkward. as awkward. It's just a really ah, awkward dialogue the jigsaw. Time, that means like, we're blood uh, brothers. Yes. How, can we, how can we somehow forever, get man. these lines yeah, yeah, yeah. to fit in with the current story? It, it yeah. just felt, it was just, you could feel them trying to make it work. It wasn't seamless at all. And it would have been just better off without. Oh god, that scene where they're talking, like right here, they were looking at, uh, where they're having a little back and forth, and she's like, "Tell me what to do, Leia," and it's it's literally cut like a fucking Tim and Eric skit when yeah. they take like the bloopers of like the actors and just force them in or something. It's just like these. It's clearly like leftover lines that they're just putting in. They're just getting them in. They're just making it work the best yeah. that they can. It, it was so, like the bit where where Leia's like, "Oh, do me a favor, be optimistic," and they have to construct a scene around that. Yeah. Just... So you're saying instead Never of their underestimate a droid. <laughs> Felt like one that made just, it in. Uh, it's like, right, we need to get ready to doubt a droid so that Leia can say, Never underestimate a droid. Well, I'd seen that <laughs> scene. Um, <laughs> and then it's not relevant to anything that happens ever. Because I, I, it's in reference to. Because originally in uh, Force Awakens, we were supposed to cut to uh, the rebellion or the resistance soon after the, the original Poe scene where he's captured, and then they're like, they're talking about what, what they're going to do, because they, I think the opening of the scene is like, Poe has been captured and the, the, the place has been destroyed, and then they're like, uh, I think they know that BB-8 has the droid, and then they're like, oh, we're fucked, and then she's like, never mm -hmm. underestimate a droid. And so oh, okay. I'd seen that clip already in relation to the Force Awakens critique, and so when I saw that in the film, I was like, ooh, I know where you got that from. That doesn't <laughs> fit. It's even more awkward when you, you know where it came from in the, I don't know, it's, yeah... I guess props to them for, like, the technology of it and the, the painstaking hours it must have taken to get it all done, but Jesus Christ, I, I would have preferred not doing it. Oh, yeah, it reminds me of the fucking, the room, the flower shop scene. Oh, hi, <laughs> yeah. Doggy, yeah. Yeah. there. Bye, Doggy. That, You're my favorite that's, customer. That, uh, that's yeah, me. That You're my favorite it. customer. Okay. Oh, well, hi, Doggy. Bye bye, doggy. Hello. Hi. A dozen red roses, please. <laughs> <laughs> you did that so well. That's me. <laughs> oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. It's just there's just no emotion. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> Is the flower shop lady the person who does these videos? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like her. Exactly like her. <laughs> the dialogue may be unnatural, but making it work into the narrative was not without effort. Oh yeah, okay, it was good because effort. They failed, but they tried. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Therefore, it's you tried. good, and I like it. When is the it, first is thing it the new Star Wars is, it's just uh, movies that, re that get rewards because they tried. It's just one <laughs> big participation trophy. <laughs> 
it's really sad when you start out your review about a movie and you say, let's talk about the good. It's all technical aspects. You're just yeah. like, well, yeah. they did great CGI and like the composing was suitable. And uh, it, like, you know, like it's just, it's like you haven't even gotten to characters. <laughs> like, they, they, they managed to uh, yeah. record the dialogue. <laughs> they managed to turn the camera on. The movie the visual was really good. They, uh, yeah, they, they audio. with a three hundred million dollar budget, they managed to make it look nice. <laughs> that's you know, the, like, that's, that's the, the big thing. Me. Somehow they found a way. Somehow they found a way. <laughs> they had to I, get real resourceful with this yeah. one. They had to really <laughs> pinch those pennies. Scrounge. I tell you what, the rise of Skywalker is like the Evil Dead of the New Age. Like I don't know how they did it, but oh, if there's a will, there's a way. They also managed to make Leia look like she was mostly there. <laughs> <laughs> mostly there. <laughs> Leia was mostly Got a bit there. This shot is kind of awkward. It's like, oh god, it was just the front of her face and a bit of her hair, wasn't it? Oh. Mm. I'd like to see something like this done again, because it's pretty- No! No! no. no. I wouldn't. But let her no. die, Fuck. I'd say kill yourself, but I know that nowadays it's not the end and they can bring you back, <laughs> so I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it in your no. contract. Please don't bring me back from this. Oh, I'd like to see them. If I die, it's the end wrong. of it. Well, this is a really it's creepy if you think about it. Yeah, what uh, if Because now they, that thing, if you die, if you're an actor and you die, they can bring you back and use your corpse as a puppet. Uh, well, not even that. Like, do you reckon they preserve dead celebrities and marionette them around the set? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Something to look at for the actors to react to. Well, no. So uh, there's a there's a movie coming out soon called Finding Jack, which actually stars um, James Dean. Uh, he's been dead for 55 years, but he's you got the leading James role. James Dean, and I was like, wait, <laughs> no, not the porn <laughs> actor, the, the the dead guy who's been dead for 55 years. He's no, I, yeah, I, I was thinking of the famous actor, not the porn guy. Apparently, the <laughs> porn guy named James Dean. <laughs> Neat. How? how? How did they do this? Well, uh, computers. Just straight up CGI and some old photographs, I think. That's fun. Yeah, it's fucking Well, it's one of those, but... like, oh god, we're living in that time now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, would you say that this plays into the themes of uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker with Palpatine coming back and, like, oh, that death is never really gone? Yeah, at best, death is a very, uh, it's not so much the end of life as it is a slight inconvenience at times. Well, it's kind of terrifying so that, like... It, it, yeah, it really is just a bigger CGI budget. What if... That's what death is now. What if Mark Hamill... cloning celebrities and then using their clones as act actor slaves. What if they were like, okay, we want um, episode 10, we're gonna bring back the whole original cast, and Harrison Ford's like, I'm not doing it, and Carrie's obviously dead, and Mark Hamill's like, fuck that, I am out. They're like, we're gonna bring you all back for CGI. They're like, oh yeah, well... All of you. We, we don't need your consent I, we, to have you act in our film. We've got enough think... dialogue that you recorded in the previous movies. We can just like chop it all up and splice it together into entirely new performances. Seeing, seeing as they've been paid by Disney in the past, I think there was definitely a secret like ownership of Soul subclause somewhere in th if anything they've signed. So I don't think they have much say in the matter now. Their likeness will just be owned forever by Walt and the gang. Walt and the gang. So I'm looking forward to the uh, Leia, a Star Wars story, which is just all made of B-roll footage. Oh god, that's going to be great. The, the trailer opens it's with the line. Heard your, you it's just never underestimated Droid. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Also, the performances were great, especially from Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver. Oh. Speaking of which, I really enjoyed Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo in this. From the beginning of the film, okay. I was worried he wasn't going Why? to be a worthy supreme leader. But I gotta say, he was a very composed and intimidating leader this time. Why? I do uh, not think really that I, I would I, I, say those things. Yeah, yeah, I can't marry up what he's saying to reality. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, uh, what try, was he it. intimidating? Yeah, how was he, he a worthy he adversary? jumped on the chain and said, ouch. <laughs> well, uh, I, will I, I fixed word my helmet. If you throw tantrums, you're apparently a very intimidating, a very intimidating antagonist. You have to throw emotional <laughs> tantrums. Though. Yeah, Wait, like I, I'm just guy. waiting for this guy to say, like I was worried he wouldn't be a consistently written character, but uh, fortunately, <laughs> he was. I remember. Anyone remember how uh, Tarkin was? He he threw emotional tantrums all over the place. Now that made him intimidating. Remember how Darth Vader just threw emotional tantrums? <laughs> I know Anakin Skywalker did, but not Darth Vader really. Uh, Palpatine. Yeah. Anyone remember how he just ran off the walls as a crazy person? Uh, even the Joker is more controlled than Ben Solo. <laughs> it's, okay. Yeah, 
It's the sign of a good character, though, a strong character, someone who just flies into a blind, uncontrolled rage the moment they encounter <laughs> any kind of problems and can't uh, can't rein it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, those tantrums, that's what we want in a, in a, in a, a terrifying villain. This guy with those tantrums and uh, just kills people just out of nowhere. He was slightly inconvenienced, though, to be fair, so... That is true. We're leaving that part out, and we shouldn't. We gotta be fair. Remember when there was the the com the conference room and the guy the guy I know what you're gonna reference the, the guy asked the perfectly reasonable mm. question and the intimidating <laughs> yeah. the the composed and intimidating leader Kylo Ren strangled his subordinate for asking such a reasonable quest. <laughs> this is like a old old two dimensional comic book villain stuff like, or James Bond villain stuff. It's not really someone you want to see. And even James Bond villains, when they do that, they're still in control. They're, they're crazy, but they're still in control, and that's what makes them scary. Uh, Kylo Ren says, like, how dare you? How dare you break my safe space? I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> yeah. Time around. Even with the mask. And his redemption could have been. Even had a with the mask, he's more intimidating? I feel like the mask is an intimidation like, thing. Yeah, because Ivan Adam Driver has a face that. It's not an intimidating face. It's a curious face. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's curious. I, his fucking mask looks like it was like like hot glued back together with some red like little paint in it. I don't. It's just yeah. Wow. And just uh, one thing. At least uh, he has implied he had to have a personality trait, uh, which is far more than you what we, you kind of get with Ray because uh, apparently. Kylo Ren is a hoarder. I mean, he he keeps a lightsaber that's, that's apparently flawed. Uh, his sh his helmet shatters, and instead of getting a new one, he just repairs the old one. He's, he picks up all ten thousand pieces and jigsaws it back together. You have odd prerequisites to be a hoarder. <laughs> well, <laughs> very odd. So like, I, guess I think I'll keep why... this treasured family heirloom, and I'll fix this thing instead of buying a new one. That's I don't know if that makes why, you a hoarder. Uh, really. Him and Ray end up being romantically involved because they're both hoarders, like a hoarder. scavengers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah two scavengers getting married like hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep you. Wants her. <laughs> huh. uh, a bit I more significance to the plot, but they still handle it pretty well. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Kylo oh. Ren has the most consistent arc. Oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh boy! Wrong. <laughs> you know when you start. I don't with, care what anybody says. When you start with, I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. Like, uh oh. Stop bullying me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being mad at me because I was happy when they kissed. <laughs> oh my God! Hello there, Stop. Mr. Mr. Blessed Pipeman Vox's Productions oh, himself. Oh hey! Hey! Hello, all you lovely people at EFAP. How are you doing? Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. Wonderful to see you again. So, how do you do? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Congratulations on making it to a hundred. I know it's more as old as you. It? Welcome. <laughs> thank you for being here for our amazing mm. celebration. Oh no, no, it's a privilege. Past. I, I think I was on the the last time I was on EFAP was actually your fiftieth. That was the last time I made an appearance. <gasps> um, just like Peter Man, yeah. just like yep. myself. And uh, what did I do last time here? Oh, that's right. I read I read uh, gay erotica, <laughs> uh, and that's what I'm remembered for. As well as still having that name of Blessed Pikeman. Of all the of nicknames course. I could have had, Blessed Pikeman. I couldn't be Captain Big Dick or anything like that. No. <laughs> That's the name I'm stuck with now. I, and okay, every time I fair. the video, Blessed Pipe Man, Blessed Pipe Blessed Pipe Man <laughs> is a pretty good name considering all the names you could have. And mm -hmm. I think if your name was Captain Big Dick, people would think that's ironic and you actually have a small <laughs> You're dick. compensating. <laughs> Captain Compensation Dick. Yeah, Captain call yourself Captain Small Dick and everyone would be like, oh, it's because he's got a big dick. Yeah. Uh, I think it would be better if it was Unblessed Pipe Man or Cursed Pipe Man. I like a uh, Unblessed Pipe Man. Pipe Man to me is blessed. offensive, okay, to my people, okay? <laughs> so, so what? What are we covering? We're, ah, we're doing, we're doing a Star Wars. We're looking at Star Wars on the. We just that's, well, that's new. Let, <laughs> You're rocking um... the boat there. I don't think you've ever done Star Wars on EFAP. <laughs> Same thing. No, 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 we no, no. We're EFAP. saying it's bad. <laughs> the current coverage. He, he he said that Kylo Ren is the most. Con he's had the most consistent arc throughout, and we had to pause the second he said it. He hasn't even finished the sentence. Um, I don't think he needs to. 
Kylo Ren is possibly... I don't, I don't know how like, you could salvage the sentence from that point. He's possibly yeah, the most before, inconsistent. I've been saying mockingly, oh, he's going to praise Kylo Ren for being consistently written. And <laughs> God damn, he just went ahead and did it. Uh, well, it's really hard for him to be consistent because he keeps having teenager mood swings. <laughs> I mean, that's why he likes Kylo Ren so much. He'd be my suggestion for most inconsistent character in fiction. Like, I don't even know what the <laughs> hell. Every scene, you're like, what's he going to do now? But no, consistent. consistent also, if you want to, because right now it says we've got nine people in the uh, watch together. So whoever isn't in there, including you, Voxus, if you'd like to jump in to make sure. Uh, I think I am in. Uh, I've already. Hang on. I'll see if I can type something into the chat. Uh, oh, I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> in this entire change my mind. Also, that Han Solo scene was pretty emotional. The dynamics between Ray and Kylo. Uh, <laughs> he talked to himself. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just like it was That's pretty emotional. Thing. I was like, okay, with, with the most <laughs> unemotional voice. Like, you can yeah, literally have pretty emotional. Yeah, it's really emotional. Whatever you know. It, was good. it goes totally to show how right easily now. people can be fooled. It's explicitly a person conjuring up a vision so that they can forgive themselves, and it fools <laughs> people, and they think that it's amazingly well-written, deep character stuff. I think that's how tyrants do it. Ah, I feel so bad about killing all oh, these Oh, it's okay, <laughs> Hitler. You did not mean it. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive oh, I you for murdering my family. I forgive Hello, you, Hello, visions Hitler. of people I murdered. Uh, thank you for, for forgiving me. All right, well, that's 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 awesome. Thank you very much for, for visions, my psychotic open <laughs> it's like, visions. Yeah, it's like, what? You think I should invade more countries? Well, you know, I wasn't gonna, but uh, it's just... <laughs> oh, dude, that's the idea. Topic. Han Solo comes to the memory and he's like, Kill everyone. Kill them. Kill them all. <laughs> He's like, Dad, really? He's like, mm. so Hey, Dad told me suffering. to do it, okay? Dad, to Dad told me to go kill out more people. I, I was done. I was completely done. All right? But it was Han Solo who said, go kill everybody. Kylo was just as interesting as it was in the last one. The fight they had in the Death Star wreckage was intense. And that force transference fight they had was intense. pretty dope. Also it was yeah, dope. it was very okay. intense. Fight with, yeah. I was on the edge of my seat. He needs five this. out of five stars. Yeah, it's the fight way he said it, it's like it their dope. dynamic was as interesting as the previous movie. The movie the was good. This part <laughs> yeah. was great. This emotional thing was cool. Emotional, Something intense. See, this and dope. is why you should never take Valium when you're about to do a review. <laughs> <laughs> you get this. It was epic out of ten. <laughs> I thought it was good. Like, was this okay. video just made for ad revenue? Maybe. I think so, I think so yeah. <laughs> Do you think there's going to be a segue for a Skillshare or something? <laughs> you guys, it's going to be a clip of Ray, and she's going, should try Ray, Ray Shadow Legend is the greatest new mobile game coming. <laughs> <laughs> Most is... ambitious RPG of the year. But like you know, you know how he said that the scene was emotional. It's like, what do you do? You want to go into any more depth? He's like, no. Like, oh. No, there was there were some emotions in the scene. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it contains it emotions. That's an is depression emotion. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, hate. <laughs> quite emotional. A lot of hatred there. Yeah. So the Raylo moment was pretty epic. No, 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 not that one. Yeah, this one. He actually I, said epic. no. They he, didn't do anything. They stood there and got zapped. I was gonna say, do you remember that scene? That's all they did. Goes, they lift their lightsabers, then they fall over. That's it. <laughs> That's all that there was. No, the was real Raylo moment everywhere. was like, oh no, I you're back to life. Oh no, you're back to life. Oh no, you're you're dead no, now. No, 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 you, you hang up. No, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. Dude, I would have loved it. That's the end of their forced Skype call. If if she did kiss him back and he came back, she's like, don't kiss me. I, I want to die. Fuck this. I'm out. Okay, <laughs> just let me go. I'm, I'm trying to think like if you're one of those people that really enjoys like fight sequences and stuff like that, like your bread and butter for movies is like like the raid or something like that like it's just like purely like action and martial arts and stuff you say like, like a lot but you don't often compare things no no i was about to compare um <laughs> i think he, he meant like we were mentioning avengers earlier or like that um that at least like for how bad it was at least you could say that like maybe there was an exciting fight sequence at the end or something would, like and that really you like that it's it's great um you got what you wanted out of it what did you get out of the fight scene I, I can't even call it a fight scene. The co end confrontation at the end of this movie. Uh, it was great. They just get zapped, and then she just goes, no, you, and then he explodes. <laughs> wow, you're really underselling the dialogue there. She says, I am all the Jedi, and he says, I am, I am all the Sith. It is very cool. <laughs> you're right, it was really epic out of 10. I'm sorry.
And, and you missed the bit where she did the cross lightsaber, <laughs> which is obviously way better. Oh, yeah, that was super lightning. epic. Do you remember when, <laughs> when loser Luke threw his lightsaber away at the Emperor to, to, compared to Rey fucking... Oh, that was so much better. I bet the Emperor was like, go ahead, throw it. Like, you lose a mentor and all the loser Jedi. And then she pulled out the second one, dude. That was yeah. all fucked, dude. That has never ever been done in anything Star Wars before. Two lightsabers? What Mace, Mace Windu needed that <laughs> second one. That's what we all learned. If he had just had that second one. If only Anakin Skywalker had blocked Dooku's uh, lightning with two lightsabers, he yeah. would have won right there. He would have ended the Clone Wars immediately. Love the trio, man. Ever since I saw The Force Awakens, I've wanted to see these three interact with each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? um, is this a parody oh, video or something? Yeah. I really I, want I, to watch these guys interact with each other. I've really been longing for the main characters to uh, <laughs> see each other. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait to see the main three characters speak to each <laughs> other. Uh, That's amazing. And Has boy, did we it? get and boy did we get an interaction. <laughs> they had a whole conversation together. Woo! Yeah, they had a whole conversation. Two of them kind of hated each other, and that, that then at the end they though. hugged. Isn't it? Isn't it great watching them try to condense like three movies worth of of character interactions and development into about two minutes of dialogue? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I don't. I just, honestly, it made me wonder why other movies waste all that time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, talking to each other and doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I mean, why if that's developed? all it takes for them to be friends, they must be besties with Babu Frick. Like, they probably had just <laughs> as much of an exchange. Well, they Babu probably did have Ray more Frick. actual screen time with Babu Frick. Holy fuck. Taking I think one they do. Last look than each other. Friends. <laughs> hey! Babu Frick. <laughs> <laughs> Go on an adventure. Fight off the First Order as a trio. And this movie gave me that. Yeah. Yes, this movie. Thank you, movie. You, you have to wait for the third exactly of the trilogy to have the three main characters there. do stuff together. <laughs> it's fascinating. <laughs> thank, thank you, movie, for putting the main characters together. That's a new thank, one. Thank this, you, this thank guy's, you so much. Yeah, this guy's benchmark for success in a film is so low. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. So low. The, the characters <laughs> meet up and they, they go on an adventure. It cool. was great. The characters. It's so, uncon so unconventional. <laughs> Yeah, you know the characters that? remembered to breathe. I was really invested in that. <laughs> very not immersive, them, uh, very realistic. Not all of them, though. They I think all Leia had wasn't faces, breathing. they walked around. If you remember correctly, yeah, Leia standards Leia are so low that with the fucking Titanic. <laughs> I would have liked uh, this the movie OT existed. Trail. This movie exists, therefore it's good. I mean, that's where their standard is. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is better than it movies would... that don't exist. We got a new Star Wars. Movie. I don't know. I don't know. Movies that don't exist yet are usually pretty cool because it's your imagination. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> movies that don't exist yet have potential, whereas this has no <laughs> It's This one's done. It's finished. It's, it's all squandered over. it all. Yeah. I also love how we get to see almost all the characters from the originals. Luke, In Leia, this Lando, Wedge. What? <laughs> I didn't. Okay. <laughs> we saw like Wedge! I love, <laughs> I love that guy. He doesn't he just get killed or something? <laughs> what? I, dude, this is Disney behavior. I can't have this, okay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I got, got to, to when see I saw Wedge. Wedge. I got to uh, see the characters. <laughs> this movie's awesome. It had characters in it. Awesome. Well, oh, dude, in that shot as well, Han's new. skin and his hair don't have a clear line between them. Some people, got, some people have scalps like, like that. That looks like bootleg handy cam footage for sure. <laughs> Well, it, yeah. I, I imagine it is, yeah. But fuck it out, it's like, they had the characters from the other one, it's like, we really are scraping the barrel now. Even Han Solo. Let's talk about the title. A lot of people are like, Why is it called The Rise of Skywalker if Ben Solo barely contributed to Palpatine's death since- um, Well, I was, like, talking in the video, that was weird. Well, no, he didn't- it's not that he didn't contribute, he helped. I don't really care Palpatine. that it's called Rise of Skywalker that much, I- uh, whatever. Yeah. Like, obviously it's referencing Rey rising and, and as the Skywalker, right? Is that it? Are we doing it right? Yeah, I mean, I thought, no, isn't I, that obvious? I, I mean, genuinely like... don't think they put that much thought into it. This is yeah. like a design by committee name. It's, it's like this was a holdover name, and it's like, we'll think of something better later. And then they absolutely yeah. couldn't. And it's like, oh, fuck <laughs> this, it, yeah. This is the placeholder, and they just did replace it. They're like, oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we forgot. I guess we have to stick with it now. 
Yeah, I've, I've got a clip of uh, Kathleen Kennedy. And it's... someone asks uh, what the title's about. And she's like, uh, it doesn't actually mean anything. And then she just throws out a lot of words. I, I think it's it's provocative. Uh, you know, and it leaves a lot of lot of questions. Yeah, like, that sounds you're, very you're designed even by fucking committee. Known, you're the CEO. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's 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 they got a bunch of uh, fucking people in a room and just sat them down. And they were like, right, write loads of shit on the board and we'll pick the thing that people vote for the most. I can picture well, it being like, oh, fuck off. I don't know, okay? It's... It... <laughs> yes, like the return of the Star Wars the word. Rise of Vader, Skywalker, Death Star, Palpatine, Sheev. <laughs> there. Are you happy now? <laughs> just, uh, no. we just went with search engine optimization. That was it. So what, 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 uh, people, what do people search for? Uh, Rise, okay, and Skywalker. Okay, put those together. I, I, I wouldn't use search engine algorithms because they'd be like, okay, what do people think of when they do Star Wars? Let, let's just type any old shit in Google. Okay, our new title is Ray Rule 34. Don't know what that is, <laughs> but that should be a good title. Star Wars. I think Star Wars Rule 34. I, Ray Rule 34. I think it's provocative. I think it's uh, very, very... <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. It's like Order 66. That's Star Wars. -y. Yeah, 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 fuck it. <laughs> Ray right. 69. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. Why don't the, just, just mix the old names together and call it the Return of the Sith, and it totally <laughs> works. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and it actually fits with what happens in the movie. And you could argue it's like, oh, it's cool. It combined the two finales to the third finale. Name, anyway. The Sith of the Jedi Skywalker. The, <laughs> the Sith of the Phantom Returns. The Phantom <laughs> Sith. Or it could have been uh, the clones of the Jedi, I guess. No, the, the clones return of the I mean, clone Sith. The clones of the Sith. Oh my <laughs> god! The clones That's what they did. Sith. That's what they what about, did. What about Attack it's of the Skywalker? Attack of the Skywalker. Attack of the Skywalker. Film is all Palpatine and all the evil people running away in fear. Like, oh god, <laughs> they're coming. A new Palpatine. Star Wars, was all, all the Jedi. I mean, technically, all the fucking Jedi are in it. Last Skywalker! Well, he did perform a good deed by helping Rey defeat the Emperor and reviving did her he? life force. If anything, he hurt because Palpatine sucked his life force power out. Yeah, it didn't uh, hurt. It's all very weird. He kinda, like... Yeah, he did the opposite of what you would call contributing. Oh, no, he contributed, just in a different way. Oh, and my I, God. Ultimately, it doesn't matter because Emperor wanted Rey to strike him down, and she did. Yeah. Therefore, he wins. I so thought it was going to be fuck. an ending where Ray looks over his shoulder at the camera, and then we see a smile, and her eyes glow red or yellow, whatever it is, and and as we hear Palpatine's laugh, and then it goes to credits. <laughs> oh, like the like the thriller ending. <laughs> it literally yeah. like, looks like that. <laughs> just like that amazing. exactly. That needs to be the ending. Fuck. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I'd be, I'd be like, hmm, maybe episode ten will be interesting. Who knows? Huh, that's a stupid fucking loophole. <laughs> I would I would have liked her at the end when you've got the ghost Luke and Leia staring at Ray. I would have just like ghost Palpatine shows up and goes, excuse me folks, let me get through here. Hey granddaughter, I guess we're winning this one. What are you two schmucks doing? I want, I want Ray to turn around and say, once more, this body feels kind of weird. This is interesting. Oh, I've got titties. <laughs> oh, this is very interesting. Oh. Well, as oh, she's as she's uh, vaporizing him, he's like, blah, blah, this is actually good, by the way. Why are you actually long. doing this? I'm kind of shocked winning. after I said all that. You still she did. Could have been doing some, did like, you catch force... anything about what I said earlier? <laughs> now <laughs> like, I am all the scene, Sith and all the Jedi. A final scene of her force sexting with the uh, force ghost of uh, Kylo. As she's... So um... they, can, they can be together forever. She's vaporizing him. All the Jedi, like Qui Gon and Mace Windu, are all like, no, 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 no. Oh, you oh, fuck! What are you doing? <laughs> they're all, they're, it's like they're all backseat gamers. Like, no, press the. <sighs> really? <laughs> okay. Well, better reload the checkpoint. <laughs> uh, Ray kept the name it. Skywalker alive by adopting the name, but to me, the <sighs> title wasn't just mm. literal. Remember that scene where all the ships showed up at the end? Yes. That's the rise of Skywalker. <laughs> This can't be real. This can't okay. be. Okay, well, that was um, super the amazing. Rise of Skywalker was, was with us all amazing. along. It was the friends we made. See, that? All See all that I... ship? That's Star War. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny because the First Order can't go up. 
but the other side is supposed to be the rise of Skywalker. Like that's kind of kicking them while they're down, you know. That's... Okay. This is how we're going to win in the end. Okay, not by saving what we love, but loving what we hate, <laughs> loving what we save, <laughs> or killing what we say, saving what hate we we hating what saving Skywalker rise or, or, or kissing <laughs> kissing the Sith on his face. <laughs> the kiss of the Sith. Smooch <laughs> <laughs> of the Sith. Kylo goes into Smoocher, but he's transferred his energy into her. He's like, dude, totally gay. Ugh. <laughs> but if, if he's Ew. kissing Rey and she's got all the Jedi in it, isn't he technically kissing Quagon Yoda? Oh, yeah, That'd be dad. fucking hilarious if he kisses Rey and it's like, mm, good lips. <laughs> <laughs> Although Yoda also, also technically, most recently, his own mum. Everyone, oh, this is a world of possibilities now. Oh, this kiss is a bit too familiar. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disappear now. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder at the end, is all the ghosts pop up like Mace Windu and Qui Gon's like, no, nah, that's not too good of a kiss. I mean, you, you've done this, in here. <laughs> it's all critiquing him and shaming him, and so this is not all that great. What's going on here? <laughs> to be fair, Leia could be like, well, this is not the first time I've kissed a family member. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, it's like, like what? royalty. It rhymes. <laughs> Leia is royalty. Is. So she's, Leia is royalty. Uh, she's probably used to like incest and stuff. So that's not probably too bad for her. Half of the course. Mm. All right then. Yes. <laughs> so now that we've got to that point, let's continue. Yeah, exciting. Well, you know, or rather, the rise of hope. I thought it was going to say rise of hope. The <laughs> rise of hope. <laughs> That would be so ain. It's just like, oh yeah, it started off with a new hope, and now we're at the rise of hope. Like, where have we gone? Like in the journey since? Isn't, isn't hope I feel itself, like we're not making steps forward. Here hope in itself is inherently like a rising thing. It doesn't. No, the rise of potentially something rising in the future. This is pre-rise. <laughs> blood pressure's rising. <laughs> the rise of blood pressure. <laughs> 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 Which is bad no. for Palpatine. I imagine he's very old in that weird clone sort of body. Like, yes, oh, I have yes. terrible blood pressure. <laughs> That's what that big machine is. <laughs> it's just one giant needle. This, this is my blood pressure. <laughs> I just picture it happens. He goes into a new clone. Next day, it fucking conks out too. And he's like, this is shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why do we make this these so shit shitty happens. and old? <laughs> can I have a young clone? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd be in charge of these decisions, but apparently I'm not. <laughs> You've got three of them. Can't you just like mush them together to make a complete one? Maybe well, all of you could have tip, like a uh... scientist there being like, "Well, we could put you into one of the Snoke then, ones." No, well, that's the, thing. <laughs> the Snoke's just like failed Palpatines. No, like, that's a whole the, separate yeah. thing, dude. Look, you, you, oh, you're making up these you... issues. It was clear in the film. There's, Mahler, there's Snoke he's, clones and Palpatine clones. Can you Palpatine believe that clones. he's confused? I know. It's so. I thought it was so I know. clear. People are confused with how this works. It's so. Simple. When I saw the jar of Snoke's, I was like, "Oh, of course." Thing, no <laughs> one Snoke even jar. after Snoke after jar. Snoke died. No one even really mentioned him again. <laughs> it's like a lot. <laughs> Dang forgot about him. Yeah. Like but this, Dang yeah, forgot about like the Iron flo Fleet. Floating <laughs> Snoke torsos hanging around on Exegol. Palpatine kind and... of forgot about Snoke. Mm. Yeah, just kind of forgot. I and also I think Palpatine is working with the same company that did Picard's clone. <laughs> or his synth body. They just made yeah. him old. Like, can you make me young? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope sorry, yeah, you have to be old. Why do people be making this mistake? The, uh, platinum package. He's just got the bronze package where you can only get like old bodies. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> making infinite star starships is probably pretty expensive. Yeah, that's where most of his resources went, I suppose. He just had a little bit of budget left over for like corpse revival. <laughs> Every time, because he has like three Palpatine clones ready to go, and he's like, "Look, this one's pinky finger, this one's wedding finger, and this one's index finger are all tizzy. If you take all the good <laughs> fingers and put them on one hand, I'll take that clone." <laughs> good fingers. No one came to crate when Leia and the Resistance called for help, but Luke showed up and inspired hope. Now, no, this he didn't. No, he did not show up. everyone was confused. They were like, what, "What's no. happening? Oh, is he a is he a spooky ghost?" <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I was under the impression so, that Lando went and fucking rounded everyone up. So I, just I, I think that was it. He was supposed to go off and Skywalker find everybody out. Is the rise of Skywalker confirms that in the previous movie, Luke could have gone there in a very real corporeal form and yeah. done that. But he just didn't. 
He couldn't yeah. be so fucking that... bothered, so he went virtually. So he went there, inspired Hope, and then fucked off again so he could kill himself by astral projecting to fight Kylo. Yes. Okay, cool. But that I makes sense. The... I'm glad we cleared that up. I kind of want a, I kind of want a Star Wars spinoff where it's called Pimp My Clone, and um, you just uh, <laughs> you, you get a clone body, and he's put a, he's, it shows you putting cool things, a tool attachment to your clone, and you can, uh, so your spirit can inhabit a really awesome right. clone. But Palpatine didn't want that. He's too cheap. <laughs> um, Evan Monroe just said uh, they said everyone was afraid in the Rise of Skywalker. This is after the presumed hope is born from Luke and TLJ. But also, um, I stand by this because I think I mentioned it in the in the critique. But it's just like you know the ma word of mouth sort of shit after A New Hope. You're like, yeah, this band of X wings just fucking rolled in, blew up that bitch. It's completely gone. The Empire, they don't know what to do. And it's so crazy because all the groups got taken out. There was like these couple of fighters left, and this, this fucking smuggler dude, like you know, the story, like he came in from nowhere. And he's fucking oh, it was, and he landed the rock. Compare that to, so Luke like arrives and he gets shot by loads of lasers, but he doesn't die. And you're like, how? Like all eighty eighties? Like well, because he wasn't there. You know like, what do you mean he wasn't there? It's like what? So. Like yeah, wouldn't you lose hope? You'd lose hope. Well, oh, how do you even explain really this there. story? We're fucked. Like, how do you explain the story? Like, imagine you're a First Order trooper and just someone at a canteen is like, so what happened? You're like, I don't really know. Like, he was there, but then he <laughs> just disappeared. And Kylo was confused. <laughs> we were confused. We forgot that we could track the hyperspace tracker thing for the Falcon, so we lost him. Like, it, it was all just a mess. <laughs> like, we don't want to It's an inside about. job. It was an inside job. It's a conspiracy. Well, I mean, they could even spin it in an almost positive way where it's like, yeah, this Luke Skywalker guy appeared for like a couple of minutes. We and killed him. Kind of <laughs> yeah. Faded away into nothing, and then we carried on with our offensive operations as normal, and pretty much <laughs> killed the unhindered. entire resistance. Yeah, and they're like, wait, you I let the Falcon like go? Four or five like, might have escaped, but that's Who the fuck it. cares about the Falcon? It's tiny. Uh, I'm now completely instilled with hope, because uh, some guy <laughs> basically did like a fucking hologram dial-in for three minutes. He did a light minutes. show. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, let the Skywalker couldn't be bothered to actually go over there. You just, yeah, uh, less rebels yeah, be escape from did. the Millennium Falcon what, what than not I'd love to hear them Argentina. talking about Finn as well. It's like, oh man, it was crazy. Like, one of these guys was kamikaze and right towards our Death Star cannon, but then you wouldn't believe it, some other asshole crashed right into him. And so, like, one of our guys? No, no, just came right? in at the side. <laughs> there he is. There's the one who fucked our fans. <laughs> Let's do our dinner at her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we felt I... so we felt so sorry for them. We didn't even shoot at them as he was dragging her back towards their lines. <laughs> I tried to put a mercy shot in her, but they wouldn't let it's me. Just laughing and drinking over this so we've, story. We've officially banned her from going on missions now. She just has to stay at the base. <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if they waited until he pulled her right to the entrance of the door yeah. and blew him up? <laughs> <laughs> Thought you made it, huh? Dude, I'm just it's, kidding. It's like this. <laughs> Comically huge amount of flash pile fountain that just goes everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, oh my! God. I was like, Finn, oh, Finn, Jesus. Finn and Luke okay. are raided. Oh my we god! We have hope. We have hope. <laughs> yeah, Luke is out there doing his thing, and Finn is like. <laughs> 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 they kill Finn and Rose while aiming at Luke, but it was just like an accident. It goes Oops. through it because oh, he's not really there. <laughs> yeah, he's not really there. That would be funny. I'll hide behind Luke. He'll protect me. Yeah, I am so fucking tired of being <laughs> oh, <no>. told. <laughs> I can't believe Luke actually came. That's so Luke-like of him and so brave. I'm so tired of being told that it, it wasn't the destruction of Starkiller Base that inspired people. It was Luke standing around and then disappearing. Like, why would... Because, you know, they have those kids reenacting it at the end of TLJ, and it's like, what story are you telling? Like, what was it? What What do you think happened? One where the guy never appeared. He's like a doe, but, like, uh, he's never it never really arrived. Mm. He's never really. I know gone. that reference because of Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone is waiting around for some hero to show up, and he kind of does, but he never really does. They just kind of imagine him that that he does, uh, but he doesn't. And so the story, I guess, is running in to be a hero, and then just kind of running off and disappearing, and letting the bad guys just carry on with what they were doing in the first place, unhindered. I Gentlemen. think this, I think the message would be. It's okay to do magic tricks to distract your enemies. Like, if that's all it takes, all they had to do is go to the casino planet and find, like, the Vegas magician equivalent, get a couple <laughs> of those guys, stick them in front of crate, and just watch the tubers go, oh, they're going to put a magic show for us, and they fuck off out at the back. You know, 
I was like, just oh, thinking, where did he pull that orange from? I didn't even say, oh my god. Uh, from the, um, oh, we can't shoot these guys. Oh, no, these rebels, they're not that bad. I want to know how he did it. Come it's on, like Kylo, don't shoot. Shoot. From the perspective of the stormtroopers, by the way, you look at uh, Kylo and Luke has had his back facing to them, and Kylo put it put his sword through. So it, you you got all of us like say we're all the stormtroopers. We go, ooh, ooh, that would hurt. Then he pulls it back, and then Luke disappears. You're like, oh, I guess he killed him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like he it, stabbed from, him, and then he disappeared. Yeah, like hey, it's, that's it's, just like that thing Darth Vader did to Obi Wan. Exactly. Wow. Like from our perspective, we would just be like, yeah, he killed him. And he just sort of took it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, that's kind of weird. I was expecting more. I'll admit I though, had popcorn and everything. While the lightsaber was in him, he was just standing there like a legend. He just took it. He just he was like, yeah, <laughs> fuck you. I'll fine. <laughs> but it was weird though, and he definitely lost. Wow, I can't believe you're trying to kill me while I'm awake, Kylo. Oh my god. Kylo, I'm sorry about that whole sleepy bad dream thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Movie, he doesn't apologize to Kylo what? at all. Yeah, that was the yeah. thing, the fucking clip, if you guys have seen it up from Sam Witwer, where he's just like, what the fuck was Luke doing on Crate? He's <laughs> like, you came to save my soul? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what is you want to you want to follow that one up, Luke, with any kind of like insightful remark? No, you want to say oh, some wise Jedi, Jedi, Jedi saying, or he's, you know, he's being a wise ass. Jedi. He's like everything you just said was wrong. <laughs> Commit genocide, uh, Luke will forgive you. But you, if Luke has a bad dream about you, you better run away. Oh God, yeah, that's when you know you you're doomed. You just you go to sleep on like a little like armchair near Luke, and you're like, hey, don't <laughs> do anything, okay? <laughs> he's like, what? Please. Don't just don't. You just have to put like a little sticker on your T-shirt, like you know, please don't lightsaber me in my sleep. <laughs> in case of bad dream, please wake up. Do not stab. Yeah. <laughs> in case of wet dream, don't even approach me. <laughs> just, like, old man Luke at a nursing home, just watching other people sleep, just nervously twitching, <laughs> his hand on his lightsaber, like. Oh my god! So many of them are planning a genocide. It's like Luke, chill the fuck out. <laughs> Like, Luke, they're seven. Cool it. <laughs> just twitching in his chair. He's just so amped. He's so ready. In the, the desire to kill younglings as run in the family. <laughs> came to Crate when Leia just, and the just Resistance Just before we go on, for help. Um, I was going to say, gentlemen, I'm going to drop off now. Um, yes, sir. But Extra? it's been an it's been an honor to be part of EFAP 100. Yeah. Um, well done for making it this far. And I've lost track of the number of EFAPs I've been on, but they've all been great fun. Oh, it'll all be on EFAP.me. They keep track of that shit. Oh, nice <laughs> They'll never let you forget. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we will be going for for a while. I don't know if we'll see you on the uh, the back end or not. But you, well, who on. knows? Maybe I'll cycle back around. Mm. You know, no well, one no one's really gone. No, indeed, no. indeed. We look forward to the CGI face of you plastered on someone else's body. Yeah. <laughs> you hold the little bottle. Footage used by your voice. <laughs> what do you think, critical drinker? Scottish slags. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My God, man! It's like Wait. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> you, uh, you, you should go check out that meme though, the link I gave you, because there is there is a little moment with you and uh, Scotland. This is pretty amusing. I think you'll find. Just, yeah, um, yeah. I'll probably watch that when I sign off. Um, but yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks oh, no, for coming. It's been great it's having nice you on. To... You bet. And I'll see you at the next AA meeting. Yeah, looking forward to it, sir. All right, see you later, guys. Take bye, care. bye. See you later. Well, uh, well. He's nice right. gentleman. Oh what yeah. If he's actually drunk. We we <laughs> want him drunk. Okay, that's how it works. Help! But Luke showed up and inspired hope. Now in this movie, when Lando uh, recruits people, that's what they told us. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's, that's how it works, okay? Hope should be less confusing? Hope is I like guess. the sun, okay? <laughs> hope hope is hope isn't hope fuck. Shut up. Hope that's... is like a near perpetual nuclear explosion. Hope is like the moon. Oh, no. Somehow. Hope is imagine she just said fuck off Poe when he asked her question. <laughs> 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 I'm the Admiral. I don't have to answer to you, you piece of shit. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure the Rise of Skywalker is a genius movie because it, uh, it adheres so tightly to the age-old writing advice of tell not show. Tell not show. Yes. Well, to join the strike on Exegol, people showed up. And I feel part of that was thanks to Luke's sacrifice. Luke Skywalker inspired hope. And that hope rose. <laughs> and the four survivors, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Again, like, if you were in a canteen and someone told you the story, you'd just be like, what are you talking about? I don't know. And some of the guys like, I'm so inspired. You're like, by what? What, what, what? what in this story even makes sense? Yeah, the, like, the center of the galaxy mm -hmm. disappears. Like, you would lose hope, if anything. If anything, what, that showed was just pure demoralization. At the end, just like, oh, Luke Skywalker, he, he disappeared. You know, the guy who could have probably stopped. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Um, who have we got? Um, we've got this girl. Um, don't know who she is, but she's really powerful. Yeah, she's great. She can move mountains. Uh, we, we got Jimmy in the back. Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. there's Jimmy. Uh, uh, we got this furry thing. I don't know. He needs to know Han Solo. I don't uh, we know got, Han Solo Yeah, we either. got um, uh, two gay robots. Uh, they may come in <laughs> handy. Um, a half-dead Vietnamese girl. Um, Poe, who's who's really good at yelling Ray, uh, that could come in handy. Um, yeah, because we be do have a Ray. If they pair two up Ray. Yeah. Ray. So, so yeah, there might be a problem there. But other than that, plenty of hope. We got stockfuls of hope. We have an army. We have a Ray. <laughs> uh, also, to be fair, just, Ray is all they fucking need, isn't it? Yeah, this is like a she's like a, a living nuclear bomb with heels. Wait, what? <laughs> She's a, a floating tank, cross sabering healer. She there used to be a time kills. where we could say, "Well, at least she can't fly." <laughs> well, yeah, she can fly now. She flies now. She flies now. <laughs> she flies now. She can email lightsabers to people with her mind. <laughs> I, I just realized this is the same universe that forgot about everything that happened. What, like thirty years prior? But like four people remember what luke did right in this moment and the whole universe is inspired by hope <laughs> yeah well so i mean in that same cantina that guy's like that story doesn't make sense and some other guy goes let me tell you an inspiring story about a lucky group of rebels that took on a giant space testicle and they're like what, what are you talking about you don't know shit and he's like oh, okay it, was, it started way back here. when the 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 space the, the Republic sent these two Jedi to oversee negotiations for a trade dispute <laughs> on the planet. Oh, oh, dude, turns out it's this old Jar Jar, <laughs> old man Jar Jar telling the story. <laughs> no, no, that's not the story. Let me yeah, tell oh, you yeah, the story. Do an old Jar Jar. <laughs> Misa going to tell you something. <laughs> Misa, Misa, the thing is this. Oh, fuck it. Shut up, crazy old man. He's like, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. Misa telling story about Misa meeting Jedi. You don't know, what do you think the likelihood? Again. What do you think the likelihood of an old Jar Jar cameo in a future Star Wars property is? Do you think it's on the cards? I think they should Might just well. go for it at this point for the lels. Might as well. Yeah. Jar Jar just he's just homeless, homeless bum telling everyone how he used to be. He once used to <laughs> a be well a respected senator. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I used to be a well respected senator. Uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh -huh. I had a, I, I was a general. I had a promising military and political career. <laughs> people, I helped the Jedi find the city. People trusted I was me. Best friends with Darth Vader when he was baby. I, I stepped <laughs> in the <laughs> voodoo one sure. time. And they're just like, yeah, just ignore him. That's old man Jar Jar. He <laughs> tells so <laughs> crazy stories. I knew Darth <laughs> Vader as a child. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Also, what happened to all of the plasma shit that was happening in like? the fucking prequel trilogy. You don't see any of that anymore in the wars. Plasma? All those fucking... Because right, now they just shoot them with guns. It was, it was water the weird rolling thing. plasma balls that just kind of disable everything. Those, well, those were pretty neat. Those seem be... So here's one of the issues with and the then Phantom Menace. The, the that... rolling droid crabs. Like, what happened to them? Droid echoes? Oh, I'm sure they're still around somewhere. They were, like, really effective. They're better than stormtroopers. Why, why aren't the Empire... They were the... pretty good. Oh, First order investing in those instead of Stormtrooper Mark II. Stormtrooper Mark fucking zero. There's a II, shit. So Stormtrooper Mark II implies some kind of an upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <These> are, <laughs> they've just got a different a helmet. A prototype of Stormtroopers. They're just the seasonal variant. So I said after the Clone Wars, they demilitarized robots. It's like, well, that's not true because in Mandalorian, we see them. With weapons guarding ships and stuff. Yeah. Also, we had them used as bounty hunters in the OT. Yeah. Oh boy. Massive armada of ships showed up. Rise of hope. <laughs> hello. Oh. Also, hello, hey. CJ. How'd you do? Hello, guys. How's everyone doing? 
Hey. Hey, it's the Great British yeah. Podcast. <laughs> oh look, we got we got the band back together again. That's an achievement unlocked, surely. We we yeah. finally we finally got that crossover. Yeah. Really. EFAP <laughs> and T G P B D E AIDS. We we did it. LGBT. <laughs> we are oh. the Come at night. Oh boy, we're talking about the Star War. Yes. Well, <laughs> no, no, this no, we're talking about the rise of Sky <laughs> Hua oh, oh, why are we talking? Oh, it's the worst. Sky Hua Plague. The worst Star Wars. The worst of the wars. Um, if you want, if you have you got, can you see the link to the to the thing? You can jump in and uh, watch this video with watch us. It. I I am in. I'm oh raring God. to go. I. Oh well. <laughs> Let us continue. He's talking about how. The the rise of Skywalker is represented in the ships at the end coming to save the day. That is the rise of Skywalker. And that hope <laughs> rose when the massive armada of ships showed up. Rise of hope equals rise of Skywalker. Wow. Yeah, so if we just <laughs> randomly change the words, yeah, one thing does become the other. That's right. If you, if you force it, it works. Yeah, if you just change all the words, the Constitution does become Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? That is cool. That is a cool trick. <laughs> it's just a theory. theory. <laughs> oh shit! Change right. Number completely changes its value numerically. It's like, Here we no. go. Here we go. Here we go. Got to do the thing. So uh, I'll ask in order they arrived. Uh, Vox's Productions. What is better, Halloween or Christmas? In, in what sense is it? No, a you don't get to ask Which that. Which do you prefer? Objectively. No. <laughs> just. <laughs> Sorry. Well, see, Halloween has a very dark aesthetic, which I like, but at the same time, there is the seedy element of it, where it is basically home delivery for pedophiles. <laughs> so <laughs> Halloween is a bit dour in that regards. Christmas used to be good, but it got very commercialized, and in some ways, you can't even call it Christmas anymore. You have to call it Winter Fest or some bollocks like that. And also, it promotes obesity. Um, so. Why, why do you go. show up at these houses on Halloween? Hmm? Why do you show up at these houses on Halloween? <laughs> I don't. He um, avoids them. Oh, God. He, he's the one that lures the kiddies with candy. Yeah, and cigarettes. <laughs> I'm all like, you just put your hand in there and you get an extra bar. Come here, children, I've got some Marlboros. Oh, I think I left the Whoppers <laughs> in the back room. If you come this way, I'll get you some. I think I'm more inclined to put I've had some on change my in my pocket if you just reach on in there. Oh, oh my god. I have a Mars bar in my thigh. <laughs> it's like an all you can rape buffet. Oh no. <laughs> That's Halloween. That's pretty much Halloween. Isn't it? So I'm. Mm. I want to On the one hand, answer. everyone hates looking forward to Christmas because you think, oh shit, I've got to buy gifts for <laughs> someone. <laughs> but, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say I like Christmas because that lasts longer. Halloween's what? Just one night? It's four hours, yeah. And everyone yeah. thinks... Fuck that, like that it's the year. month and you're all heathens. So, yeah. And, and also Halloween is one of those dirty pagan festivals, so fuck that. So I'm, I'm going to have to put my lot uh, in. So you're choosing uh, Christmas. Christmas on the basis that the duration is longer. Yeah, it's nice. And also, it's more inclined to get your family together, and family is more important than sweets. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for saying that. I feel like I'm like a, an alien on a different planet. You are an alien. alien. You, you require a particular time of year to get your fuck. family together, you weirdos. <laughs> Halloween is more efficient than it. It, only takes, it does all the joy in just a short four hours, and it's so much better in this fast-paced world we live in today. Ah, shut up. You all got daddy issues. Right. <laughs> That's Says the and one comparing daddy. Halloween to pedophilia, but all right. <laughs> yeah, you enjoy your pedophile holiday. <laughs> I'll be sipping some eggnog and, you know, watching some good TV. This right, is so. your cool Hollywood, uh, Halloween. And cuddling up to ball, your... I, I take Cud it you didn't like it when Santa emptied his sacks into you then. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> I, was more, I was more impressed that he managed to fill my stocking. Yeah, what is it? How can you say that about Halloween when an old man breaks into your house at Christmas? <laughs> Sneaking <laughs> knows into children's doing? rooms and leaving behind presents. Mm. Empty it in his or he'll be hungry room. for something else. <laughs> so, C CJ, well, same question. Uh, well, it's in my name, so I hate them both. Um, if you've ever had to work retail over the Christmas period, it's you'll know. Yeah, 
I I used to work in uh, Sainsbury's and they used to play like the Christmas music. Oh my every god! Christmas. But not only. But what's bad about it is it wasn't just the Christmas music. It was the same Christmas music over and over and over again. Yeah. And worse, worse than Christmas that, fault. I was also next to the TV department, so they'd have the Christmas ads on over and over and over again. It's enough to make you stab, want to stab everyone in the building. Mm -hmm. um, Which also, is why he no longer works at Sainsbury's. Also, I don't get as you know, I don't get as many presents at Christmas anymore. So I Halloween. Don't. These <gasps> are the shittiest reasons for Halloween. Ever. Great, <laughs> excellent reasons. The commercialization of Halloween. Would, uh, sorry, would, Christmas would, is would, a big downfall. I would say a I reason for it. He says it's because he doesn't get as much presents anymore. But, but we can yeah. fix that. It's CJ, no CJ. Financial if we offer you presents for Christmas, will you join the Christmas crew? Don't accept their bribe. Have have a back. We're not evil. bribing Don't them. them. Not, no, no, no. We you automatically assume the worst from people from Christmas, and that, that just shows you're being a bribe. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't bribed him with anything. We're just saying, come and come and be on the Christmas side, and we will give you things for making that decision. Ooh, I never all said I would give him That's anything. The whole point of Christmas, giving look, people I, look, gifts. Yes, I, it's about I yes. Sat, we're giving him gifts. I, I, sat, him I sat on Santa's lap one too many times. I can't bear it again. Did you oh, talk oh, about no. the first thing that popped up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well then, Ooh. one vote for Halloween. One vote for Christmas. You know, no. you can stop Halloween, Santa the from raping the Halloween, you. Everyone the Halloween says Santa comes in better. and rapes you. You, you can just buy yes. your windows. I'm, I'm sorry, but the Halloween parties are better. Oh, yes. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Without a Bullshit. doubt. Because Hall Halloween is better. <laughs> Halloween is legendary. Both of statements are incorrect. They're built on faulty premises. The foundation of your love for Halloween is a flawed one. And that's all I'll say. Also, I like dressing up. All of that was built on a get, faulty and premise. that's acceptable during Halloween. You can dress up as fun characters. Whereas yes. at Christmas, says, not so much. You can just put says, on like a silly hat. You yeah, can wear yeah. whatever the fuck you want these days. Yeah, absolutely, it's a free country. Virus. You're going to have to dress up in your costume and stay indoors anyway. Might as well do it any other day of the week. <laughs> Everyone, the only costume you can wear now at fucking Halloween is a hazmat suit. Everyone's going to be going out in hazmat suits. What do you? Come you can out? paint oh, whatever hazmat. picture you want on your hazmat suit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> also, <laughs> is it is it a sad Christmas? Hazmat you can suit. dress up. Our our what, with like a dick does, flap. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. dick flap hazmat. <laughs> so if you, have to see, if you have to see the rest of your family on Halloween, it's only for four hours. Instead of Christmas, we have this deal with them like what a week. I mean, it's, uh, I say we have a bunch yes, of dysfunctional people who, who uh, yeah, for Halloween. Who does that? Uh, hopefully, nobody. Who what for Halloween? Who visits their family for Halloween? Who does that? I do. Uh, skeletons, I do. Uh, zombies. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, like they're not people, Snack. They're not real. Oh, Wait, how dare you? Family or the people skeletons? Oh, both. Both One are. day my family will be skeletons. Yeah, and then <laughs> I hope they will visit me on Halloween. God, I hope so. And then we it's can like all go. Corpse Bride will. I don't know. Whatever <laughs> oh, yeah. skeletons so, do, we can all go boning together. Is a Nightmare, <laughs> before, go boning. Is a nightmare <laughs> before Christmas a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? Is what? A Nightmare Before Christmas. It's it depends a, on the holiday. It a, it's, it's a Christmas kind of, movie. I think it's, it's a Christmas, Christmas movie. Because it's about a character learning about the Christmas spirit, which is amazing, and it fixes everything. Oh, that's some naive yeah. shit right there. It You're just all movie. liking holidays wrong. Yeah. You're liking <laughs> yeah. holidays. <laughs> You're liking holidays wrong. You're liking holidays. <laughs> You're liking holidays. <laughs> So anyway, uh, Rise of Skywalker. Also, I think uh, Halloween movies are better than Christmas movies as oh, well. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so Halloween Christmas, is Christmas, Christmas only has like Die Hard, that's and that's it. Christmas is trash. <laughs> die Hard the Christmas movie? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I think die Hard is a Christmas movie, and I'll fight anyone that says it's not. Mm, I mean, you can, you can argue that it is set during Christmas, but it doesn't really embody the spirit of Christmas, and it's it not It really awesome. does, though. Protecting Technically, Eyes Wide Shut oh, would be right. a Christmas movie. Then. Iron Man Three, 3 is a Christmas what? movie. Do you not show your kids that every year? Oh, Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> <laughs> Look, kids, this is what happened on Epstein's Island. <laughs> <laughs> we show them every okay. every day, every year, Christmas. We're gonna watch Cuties. It'll be great. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, Have you guys talked about that yet? No, uh, but the, the, the current no, words. That's, not... that's why. I do. I do want to, for the sake of. <laughs> you live somewhere. <laughs> for the sake of whatever the hell is going on with it, right? Uh, from what the word on the internet is, that the film isn't some horrifying piece of shit that that Netflix made it look like it is. That's what. I, that's what I've heard. Apparently, the film itself is supposed to be commentary on how bad mm. it is that. Uh, younger and younger girls are getting sexualized and, and stuff, and so Netflix. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. 
Like you, I think they did it deliberately to cause outrage to increase surely, their. Surely, uh, it's not worth the US risk, US right? Yeah, like that can get them in loads it. of trouble. Definitely an interesting strategy. Targeted toward a certain demographic of people that no one really wants to talk about. All or, you have to do you is, uh, you have to just upset mums. If you upset mums, the internet will all look at what you're doing. Well, <laughs> the issue is that they upset people because they painted it as something that's legitimately like awful. Mm. In their description and well, stuff, like everybody so seeing it. Their description, didn't they? Their marketing is awful. Description. Very creepy description. Very yeah. creepy description. Yeah. Yeah. Because then it was that could be like yeah. this weird. They painted it as this weird anti-conservative thing, and it was just so. Oh, do you mean like because it said it goes against the parents' wishes or some shit about? Well, so, so it's it's her values. breaking away from her traditional religious background by getting okay. into twerking, like, and it's, it's like, like, oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck? <laughs> it's made all the worst. I like the isn't idea it rated that... MA? Isn't it rated mature audiences? It's a yeah, it's rated mature. It's not a kids thing. See that is that's the part that really makes it horrible because then you can have pretty much anything happen in that movie. Documentary. So anyway, Rise yeah. of Skywalker. <laughs> yeah, the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Oh wait, we're oh, doing yeah. that snacks. Did we... oh, a snacks been? He's I was I was Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before we start, quick question though: What do people think about Valentine's? Because I find Valentine's uh, the holiday the that worst. everyone it's... gets depressed Valentine's about. Great. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I Valentine's Day. Yeah, man. I, I have no issue with Valentine's Day. Not very good movies. <laughs> you know, you know more couples break up on Valentine's Day yeah. than on any yeah. other day of the year. I like when you walk down the high street and you look into restaurants and you see all the couples and some of them looking pissed off as fuck. Like they're looking at their phones like, yeah, mm. I'm having a great day. Yeah, we have to go through That's the charade that day of the but year. It's definitely a dog shit Hallmark holiday created <laughs> just to steal money from people. Mm. It's not. Yeah, I don't I don't like I don't buy into it at all. I swear, like no one here is in a relationship. They don't they have broken families. Everything's so cynical. And it's. I just, uh, I'm what fine. It, yeah, I'm, my I'm family okay. is fine. They hang out yeah. all the time on Halloween. And it's also commercialized. It's made to break up, and they just want to sell you chocolate. And then, it's... well, yeah. uh, besides, we don't need I'm... to date women. All I need is a sock and some warm mashed potato. And I'm good for the <laughs> 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 hey, Rags, you like mashed potato, right? <laughs> That was the whole what, mashed potatoes. Yeah, the whole drug stream. You were talking about mashed potatoes. <laughs> I like I like mashed potatoes. Are really good. <laughs> I enjoy potatoes mashed and as fries. And uh, yeah, there's but a you lot enjoy of them fucked. <laughs> I like my potatoes. You like them fucked. <laughs> you want some so, sweet uh, By the way, we've fuck. got we're gonna hit our cap by the time we get to the we gotta carry on with this video, otherwise we might not be able to finish it. So let's we can do this. Okay? Oh no. <laughs> what is the cap? Now, let's uh, so we're at, we started at 2, we're at 12, 2, 22, 10, 22, and we go to 11, 55, so we've got about an hour and a half left. But okay. I'd say probably an hour, because I don't want to risk cutting anything off, you know, put it too close. So, we can do this. This this video, we've only got 8 minutes left. I, I think, eh, sort of. Let's discuss my issues. The pacing, especially in the first few minutes, is pretty rushed. First few minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I mean... But what yeah. happens in the first few minutes? Isn't it just Kylo in the first few minutes? It's, the first it's him meeting Palpatine. Yeah. He's, he's, he's fighting the, pa the pacing is rushed in the first few minutes. Forest, and then they don't meet the spider oracle. No. And instead he meets Palpatine. Um, I would have said the pacing's rushed in the first fucking half, or the whole thing, really. Yeah. Not the first few minutes. That was a weird one. Full of exposition and throws so much at you that it doesn't give you enough room to breathe. I feel 20 more minutes <laughs> could have been that. didn't breathe. <laughs> He's just passed dying out. He missed the, the rest of the movie. movie. That's I just will... the whole movie for me. Remember <laughs> we were talking earlier about which ones were the longest? So, The Rise of Skywalker is the longest Star by Wars movie. 36 and this guy's minutes, like, wasn't it? By, it? Yes, it's by 34 minutes. It's the longest Star Wars movie. And this guy's like, yes, add another 20 minutes. Fuck it. <laughs> I was gonna say as well, uh, the the whole like you can't process enough. I think I talked about it on our first stream about it, but I was trying to think about something stupid they said in the movie, and then as I was thinking about it, the line about how we can't do the holding maneuver was being talked about. I was like, wait, 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 wait! Like I haven't even processed this fucking other thing. Like now you're doing this. <laughs> it's like I need a second. And uh, yeah, lots of shit gets thrown at you so quickly in this movie. Added to make it neater. Also, Rose. 
Why did they sideline her so much? In she because sucks. she's a oh character. My God. She sucks. <laughs> but they didn't even try to fix her or do anything with her. They were just like, yeah, no, get in the gutter. I mean, Good. it's the quick. I mean, they, they've got <laughs> a whole no redemption worth of problems to repair. <laughs> I think the quickest and best, most efficient way to deal with her is to just fuck her off completely, because yeah. we don't have time to waste. Well, evidently, evidently we do, because the whole movie was a fucking waste of time, but... Damage control. An effort was made. In this movie, after her big role in The Last Jedi. Oh. Big. Come on, if anything, she should be part of the main crew. She doesn't no. have to look, like, uh, uh, no. I mean, no. No. what? No. Look, you... Sabotaging the mission? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we as she he almost stated, got them all killed. sexually our, harassing her colleagues. Our main she, crew had like, even. On. She Casey almost got them all killed. How is she? No. Our main crew hadn't even had a scene yet. Let them fucking talk to each other. We can't deal with this. I'm sorry, <laughs> Rose. You have to wait till next movie. Could she have just been, been bumped down back to janitorial staff or something after what she did. Finn was about to save everybody's life, and she's crashed into him. She should be in jail. Mm. <laughs> to have as big of a role oh, as she gosh, did in Last Jedi, just what have we her. Love. Well, this is the thing. I, I do, out of morbid curiosity, want to see Ryan Johnson's episode nine, just to see what what crazy shit he would have done next. Just like, do you think he would have made Rose and Finn a thing? Not hearing a no. I. Uh... Well, it sounds dumb. So probably, yeah, probably. Nah, I think he try and subvert expectations, make make something make, different happen. Make both of them gay. <laughs> <laughs> Tag along for the ride. I've seen the dynamic between all four of them instead of seeing her being reduced to a spec analyst. She's not a main least, character. Well, off. an Asian would make a really good spec analyst. Yeah. They didn't do enough Stop. with the other main characters. There's no room for her. Stop shaming yeah. spec analysts, though. That's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, if they can't handle the characters they have, don't add to the pile. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we add more characters we can't handle, things so people get so confused, they'd stop caring. Everyone's brains just shuts down. It's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and then they're like, what about the holder maneuver? And then Jar Jar's like, yeah, kind of, we are used to that. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> when was Jar Jar here? <laughs> don't, th don't think too hard about it. He's been here the whole time. No <laughs> god plot. In the middle of the fight, is like there's too many of them, and he crashes. They're like, "Oh no, plot!" Like, what? What's happening? <laughs> and then Force go Ghost of Young Anakin appears. It's like, how the fuck does that make any sense? Like, don't think about it. It's, it's fine. fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> is Rose a general in this movie? I a general it, annoyance. Fucking hope not. <laughs> I just no bone general somehow. Uh, you could have had her in the Falcon with Poe and Finn in the beginning of the film. That way no. she can take a second guard there's position. No, there's no room. Let's, let's not. No, literally. No. 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 And we can get some cute banter between Finn and Rose. No. I don't want cute Which banter reminds between Finn and Rose. Are Finn and Rose quips. a thing at all? No. <laughs> I fucking hope not. I don't know. Does his face, face look like, like they're a thing? thing. <laughs> they're not, okay. He was, he was shocked, disappointed, crazy. and confused. That's what happened there. You said they had banter, cute banter? What, what, what was the cute banter when she electrocuted him? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was that's a it's always that's funny a, band. What was yeah, the cute banter cute. when she uh, didn't allow him to complete his redemption arc and sacrifice himself to save everyone? I mean, it's I would it, mm, he he was willing to, which is good enough for me. But is that cute banter though? That was the question. Him dying? <laughs> him? I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 Death is the ultimate banter. <laughs> That's what I was thinking in that <laughs> more precise <laughs> moment. Like, oh, this is this is pretty cute banter with him like plummeting towards the fucking ship. <laughs> it's funny to think about. Like, she's like, "I saved you, silly," or or, or dingus, whatever she says. And then uh, she establishes, you know, you gotta save the things you love. And then you just hear the the cocking of guns, and they're surrounded by stormtroopers. And then it pans away, and you just hear blasting. <laughs> <laughs> you ran into oh him my God. and the crash between no, her ship and him killed him. I, I don't know why she didn't like uh, ju just push Palpatine out the way when he's getting electrocuted if she's so good at sabotage. That would have been some <laughs> really good subversion of expectations. Uh uh, no, you're not all the Jedi. See, I say Palpatine. Now he's going to win. <laughs> Quick question. Yes. You know, you know that line where they're like, oh, the whole we can't do the Holdo maneuver because it was a once in a 
million, million shot or whatever. Shot, yeah. Do they ever? Do they ever then say why? Because I don't remember them ever. No, they, following no, up they on don't it. explain no. how you no. could possibly even begin to fuck up something so insanely. And simple. they fuck themselves, right? So keep this in mind. It's it's absolutely ADR because the person saying it is is like off on their own. It's it's uh, Mary. And then the response mm. from Finn is not Finn. It's it's somewhat like we look at other people while Finn is saying it. It's like, hmm. And then you consider at the end of the movie, the Holdo maneuver is being used like over Endor or something. And so, of course, the fucking geniuses at Lucasfilm were like, wait, why wouldn't they use that against the people on uh, Exegol? And they're like, fuck, uh, throw something in there. Uh, fuck, uh, Finn says it's, it's one in a million. That'll do. Which, to be honest with you, I'm surprised they did that. Yeah, uh, it means that a million people tried it, and that was just happened. It happened to be the one the time where it worked, and that's why they named it after her. The whole don't maneuver. <laughs> don't you see it at the end of the movie though? There's like a split ship. It's like somebody did it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is yeah. they they oh, so yeah, yeah. I think the film as it originally stood, they did everything the way they did it. And then someone oh. was like, lol, let's have a holder maneuver at the end for the cool special effects. And then some guy was like, wait, why didn't they do that on Exegol? And they're like, oh, oh. oh they're like, yeah, Mr. Abrams, for some reason Mr. Abrams, why didn't we... All they had to do with this, the stupid way that they cover up plot holes, is just have them go, yeah, we can't do them on that planet, just can't, sorry. <laughs> like, okay, well, yeah. alright then. It's impossible at that range. I don't know. Whatever. It's a it's a Sibeliach planet. It has Sarab... Mm. There, couldn't, yeah, couldn't, there, there be like here. couldn't there be a line where they say, oh no, we can't do that because Ho Holdo had like a prototype engine that could do that and when that got destroyed, we, we couldn't make any the technology more. technology died like with that. her. <laughs> yeah. or, maybe, or maybe because the ship that she used was quite big and she used it against another ship that was also very big. So it's much easier to hit the opponent when you're doing it. But if you try and do it with, I don't know, a fucking X-Wing. Yeah. You're more like I don't know. Or not like cause enough damage. I feel yeah, like it's not it, worth an the sacrifice. Hyper, an X-Wing mm. hyper base kamikaze into a Star Destroyer would destroy it. Would it though, or would it smash on the outside? It would, if it's moving that fast. I mean, you could calculate how fast a dragonfly has to smack into the windshield of an 18-wheeler to destroy it. So... <laughs> Yeah, an X-wing would fuck up a yeah, Star the, Destroyer. The, so bad. this is the the two the two forms of hyperdrive are the ports itself into another like a dimension of space, then ports itself back out, or goes super fast forward, which people prefer the former. But it looks to us that they're doing the latter in uh, the Last Jedi, and so it's like okay, then so it's about it being fast. In which case, a coin can destroy a Death Star if it goes the right speed. Can't wait for the next trilogy where they've all got <laughs> coin launchers. Well, this is why all the fucking problems came up. It was like, there's so many questions now. And they're like, no, 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 it was just invented. Like, just, just, just invent. Humanity never weaponized things, don't you know? <laughs> a fleet of ships that can do that. And then fit them with droids that have precise calculations and just launch thousands of ships at your, at your enemy. In uh, early naval warfare was built around the idea of ramming into the other ships. Like, it's like the first thing you think about. Angel. No, it's, no like, it's true. It's true. Then he fire ships were like, yeah, I think they're right. and stuff. I can just picture like, there's this general, like, the, they establish hyperdrivers travel. And they're like, so cool. Don't weaponize this. And the general's like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, will, I will not do that. Do. Make Should there have been the some priority. sort of like intergalactic war agreement that says you're not allowed to use that maneuver? Yeah, you can destroy planets. That's okay. <laughs> 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 it's just you can up five planets at once, but hey, you can't run into me. That's a you, war you, crime. You can, just, you can destroy planets as long as you don't speed. Yeah. <laughs> you can destroy planets. Well, could you imagine that? Yeah. You you hyperdrive off, and there's a cop who goes. Mmm. You don't want to get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts slowly following the trail. <laughs> Fucking it's a, it's like a bagging limit for hunting animals, but it's for planets. Every war, you could only destroy <laughs> like five planets. Puts Kylo his head out the window, stop that. Opens, and it's just full of speeding tickets for all the times he's tried to hyperlike. <laughs> Imagine being like the first dude, you own car plot, and you're like, wait, what if we use it for like hurting people? And some other guy's like, what? Yeah, I'm the first dude to think of wow. this. Oh my god. Wow, one quarter portion for you. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Wow, fucking Jerry over there are it. about a couple of moments in the film where Finn and Rose interact in a way that they're still dating but are trying to keep it professional on military grounds. Oh, no, absolutely oh. not. Oh. Not even for a moment. That's some headcanon shit. 
That's some that's some wonderful inference there, my dude. I made non kin like they were just uh, they were just friends. They yeah, didn't end up. I don't even think they were friends. At this it, point. It, they get a bare minimum of interaction. They were amicable. Uh, I just like the idea that he yeah. says that to J.J. Abrams. He's like, I really like how you handled the. They're clearly invested in each other, like they, they're romantically involved, but they're trying to keep it professional. And J.J.'s like, huh? Yeah. No, really. <laughs> that would happen. <laughs> Woman, but yeah, and she wants to focus on her career with the resistance. But Finn, I mean, he's just a lover, you know? He's just a lover. And, mm -hmm. and he's, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you picked up on that. Ryan Johnson just put those two characters together and said, okay, now kiss. Okay. <laughs> and they had no chemistry between each other. Oh, what do you mean? I loved every scene where she's like berating him, and oh, it's so great. Looking at him like a, it kind of like a, it has the same majesty and genius as Picard. But by the end of the movie, you have an on-screen kiss with two random characters. Yeah. yeah. And because it we got don't cut care. from Asian territories because they don't like the lesbians, so... Yeah. <laughs> Asian territories yeah. don't like this Star Wars full stop. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I really hate that they did this. Nobody, just... nobody liked this. <laughs> Everyone was annoyed. It's like, what are you doing? Commit or fuck off. The, the difference between this is in the whole Finn... What's her name? Rose thing. Is that if you just randomly see two people you've never basically seen before kissing, you can be like, okay, well, they're they're clearly in some kind of a relationship, and they're kissing, and, and that's what people do to show, you know, affection and happiness and all that bullshit. But you have when you when you have Finn and Rose, like if they kissed, it'd be weird because we sort of know them and we sort of know about their relationship dynamic. So that would be really odd. It wouldn't be like two random people. Sometimes you could hurt yourself by giving information if you want that kind of a payoff. Has anyone watched back through the trilogy to see if there's any kind of like, uh, you know, background storytelling going on between these two individuals? Um, I don't think anyone's cared Dude, I love too. the idea that it's all don't... told in the background. Like, I swear <laughs> the woman on the left has like one line. Oh yeah, she's, really, she's, the one, she's the one who says they've heard us and they haven't responded or something like that. Yeah, and she introduces Holdo as well. Yeah. I think she's like Leia's second in command, maybe. So... She does but crop up a few times. The I've other unfortunately lady. had to watch all the old fucking films, but yeah, yeah, she's it's just, she is a character. The other one is a random. You go all the way back to Phantom Menace and just scenes in the background, they they <laughs> catch each other while in university. In the next film, you see them sitting down to a meal. The next film, they're like watching a movie together. The next film, you're just like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. The they brutally, story. They brutally <laughs> stab and kill Admiral Akbar, And then we go through the rest of the story. <laughs> That's that's so we their... have to learn about why yeah why they did everything that they did. I was gonna say, will you say like their their plan was to kill Admiral Akbar and take his place <laughs> to rise to the ranks? <laughs> to to be fair, they might not even be a couple. She they could just be really really horny. Yeah, just caught, murder caught has got moment. me so hot. Oh. <laughs> Nothing wrong with getting a kiss in there, you know, when the when the victory happens. Yeah, <laughs> before the PTSD sets in, they realize they've killed lots of people. Though it, it should be mentioned, Peepo is clearly not happy. He's very sad right now. Look at him. He's not. They could even potentially be new Dreadai who are just trying to transfer life into one another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they so, use that line all the time. Yeah, I'm a Jedi. Come here, let me give you some powers. So I have some amount of experience when it comes to transferring life into another person. Plus, that's how the lesboids do it. I don't know. <laughs> they have taught you well. We need no man. I am we... no man. <laughs> that aren't important to the story. So why not give them an on-screen kiss? Nobody wants to see that. Stop it. We it had on -screen kiss. They already had one and nobody <laughs> liked it. Yeah, <laughs> Nobody liked that. Yeah, the there's there's, there's like a poll. Of, of, all the, of all the things that would improve this movie, that is not one of them. There's a poll to vote for yes or no for them to kiss, and yes is just faded out. And you're like, oh, well. <laughs> also, Finn looked genuinely confused after that kiss. That was not like a reciprocated like thing. Nah. He looked like you have a concussion, girl. Like, yeah, it was. It was like, why did you do that? Oh yeah, I needed the scene where he pats her on the head. He's like, good, okay, well, and okay, he goes, ah, sure, you, you, that's <laughs> I hope passed out. Oh thank God. By the end of the film. Or something. If Kelly Marie Tran requested to have a smaller role in this film after all the unnecessary bullshit she got after the last one, Stop. I'd get it. And but it, if was, it was JJ's mm. idea or Disney's. 
I don't think reducing her to a background character was the way to go. Also, Finn doesn't really do much in the film. Does, that, does, does everyone, 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 everyone a background character technically? Except for Ray. Like Ray is the only real character. Everyone else is there to make sure that we know as the audience that Ray is just awesome. Well if you remember, um the whole goal is to get the MacGuffin the McMuffin, sorry. Um and once <laughs> once they get like everything leads to that, they have it, Ray just fucks off. And so yeah. they go home. Like you, you need to remember from the POV of all of our heroes, they, they went home with nothing at that point. Halfway through the film they got nothing. Um Lucky for them, they plug in Dio, and he has a bunch of useful information, which, again, really well written, I have to say. <laughs> I so yeah, they, they are useless. They're just along for the ride. Ray is the one that the story is like cares about. These guys can fuck off. I mean, sure, by the end of the movie, he's proven to be a very determined leader, while also leading ex-stormtroopers into battle. He clearly wasn't at the front of that. Okay, yeah. So a determined <laughs> leader. Uh, okay, I'm sure you could be a really shitty and also a really excellent determined leader. Um, there also, were determined I, leaders on both sides. I like the idea that it's like, what a great leader! If they had tilted their ship, you all would have died. <laughs> <laughs> great job. But also, it's leading ex stormtroopers. Is like, I think they were pretty committed themselves. They didn't. They didn't need much of a push. To be also, fair. what if there was just they should have tried spinning? Okay, I was. I hear, I hear this really good trick. What if there was a stormtrooper with a minigun in front of them right now? <laughs> Down they go. There's no way. Or well, just a, a couple of banana peels. As soon as they slip on that, <laughs> just a bit Bana of oil, dude, grease, banana grenade like from that. Worms. Banana grenade. It's great. I want to see a, a legion of these stormtroopers with cattle prods is going in and fighting off the cavalry charge. All you gotta do is spook the horses and they're fucked. Yeah. yeah. Just zap yell really loudly. Just zap the horse a little bit and they'll run away. And they'll just probably run off the ship. Zippity zappity. Horses are clippity clappity. Which I thought uh, was Are you cool, having a stroke? That's... <laughs> yes. That's about yes. the best thing they gave him to do. Also, apparently he's force sensitive. They could have done something with this. How cool would it have been to see Finn try to crush the command deck using the force? Oh, oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Uh, no, 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 no. Imagine that actually happened in the movie. Wouldn't you scream, what the fuck is going on? Dude. <laughs> I, I would have stopped caring by that point. Oh my god, the idea that he crushes the top of a Star Destroyer just off hand. He's like, let's do it. He's like, oh, I... <laughs> Mine well. didn't work. Let me use brain power. Remember when I was rage? But, but that would be entertaining, though. Let's be honest. I agree. Sure. I would have laughed really hard. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah, for the wrong I, reasons. Yeah, but it would give give EFAP an extra couple of hours to Brilliant. digest that. <laughs> I couldn't Finn just I don't know snap his fingers and the whole thing just disintegrates. That'll it's, work. It's funny to me that like. You know, like when you have a group of friends, you're all just back and forth in about what could have happened to the movie. And he's like, "Yeah, wouldn't it be cool? Like Finn just crushed him at every one of the tables. Like, no, <laughs> they slap. They ass. like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he's like, oh, okay, I, I don't know. I just thought it would be cool. <laughs> Everyone say good <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, mo what he's, that line that he's just said, where they could have done something with this. I think that's kind of like the story of the entire sequel trilogy. They should have done something with this. It would have been really yeah. cool if they did that, mm. but they didn't. What if the communists just force crushed Hitler's body? <laughs> Sorry. I don't fucking know. Uh, uh, even if you, if even if you hate crush the moon force. I, th I think even if you hate uh, the Force Awakens or like that, at least it, um, I'll say that at least it sets some stuff up that could have, even if it was kind of shitty, like, I don't know, they could have done, they could have done something with these characters. It was, it was pretty flawed, but like, it had yeah, I will. I, it had I will potential. back that horse. I will say you could have done something. I know it was a. It was a shit. It's like your car is all, you know, making horrible noises. But you could still, you know, it's something there. And then someone just poured lava all over it. And you're like, no. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's fucked now. When's the next Goodell? That's April. <laughs> Moop is working on it. Okay. He probably wouldn't have been successful, but at least he would have done something with it. Room Boy did something with it. Room Boy did have done something with it. He just That's tried. What means. He could have tried, at least. Yeah. 
discuss How would C-3PO we know what room? he was trying to do if he didn't succeed in doing it? Because you'd see just, the like, windows crack. Clenched his hands and like stared at the Star yeah. Destroyer. And, the camera and then would, nothing happens. The camera would aim right at the thing and then someone in there would be like, Sir, the windows! And they're like... <laughs> and then Finn is yes. like, Oof! Ooch! Oochie! <laughs> Oochie! <laughs> 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 I like I like how he yes people in chat are like what the fuck he lifted the broom and he's like he did something. <laughs> well, I mean he did something. <laughs> I kind of wanted for the for them to like you get the C three PO and like just um, unlock that little thing so he can like, access the Sith language and then he turns evil and starts snapping everybody's necks. That would have been cool. Yes, <laughs> it's so That's good. Like the broom boy. That we have to actually say now. <laughs> like, <laughs> C-3PO getting turned evil by this, this all, all this fuckery, and when they put him onto the, the Empire ship, and a door opens, the soldier's like, who are you? And he goes, C-3-P-O. And then just kills them all. And then yeah, it turns out like that, a Darth Vader uh, scene from uh, Rogue, Rogue One, like a Darth Vader scene, with C-3PO just murdering everybody. And the, uh, the, it turns out that Babu Frick was actually the Phantom Menace all along. He's inside C-3PO operating him. And he was just him. waiting for the opportunity to... Babu Frick was the secret Sith all along. <laughs> yes. The, the, we know how to make good Star Wars, okay? These guys, no. Us, yeah. <laughs> I would, I would have thrown the baby out with the bathwater. You know the scene with the giant snake. Uh, Ray powers just fail her, and they, and she just gets eaten by the snake. And the other two are like, "What the fuck do we do now?" I thought you said Ray and... powers fail her. Oh, <laughs> Ray powers. <laughs> Why does she have Ray powers? <laughs> Ray <laughs> uh, well, she's got so many fucking powers. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, she can do the hand wavy. <laughs> You know, uh, mind tricks. So she, she's powers God. are not things you would learn. Such powers are not things you would learn from a Jedi. C three PO being more involved in the story was a welcome addition, but his subplot was it, makes was it no really? sense. His, his subplot, subplot makes, makes no, no sense. sense. It's like the they opposite of the dag- things we say. It's fascinating. Oh, the <laughs> the sword dagger nonsense. Yeah, okay. Well, at least you picked up on something. Oh, I, I thought that's it was memory. almost like he's exactly wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, this shit doesn't make sense. If he's referring to the fucking crazy ass oh, yeah, knife the, carving the dagger, no. But the the fact that he would sacrifice him, himself essentially to do that, that's I mean, that was fine. I, I don't see like, how that was yeah, bad. I, I'm okay with him doing it. The part that was weird was what he was like, I wanna take one last look at my friends. Like, fuck off, C3 View. <laughs> what do you mean? None of these people <laughs> like you. They're all horrible. That'd be really, yeah, like I said, it'd be really cool. Like, I'm going to take one last look at my friends before you do this, because then I'm going to go and kill you all. Uh, so I'm gonna, I just want to remember everyone before I start snapping their necks and going evil. That'd be cool, because he knows what's going to happen. But he can't tell them. Remember, he can't tell them for some reason. Clue to finding this Sith Wayfinder that leads to Exegol, but his programming forbids him from translating the Sith language. Maybe she wrote it down. All right, real quick, first of all. I agree, was... maybe if he yeah. fucking wrote it down. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> well, Wouldn't that, that count as translating, that? though? What about... No. Well, it, so, if the point on a map, then? That's all kind of, also kind of technically translating. No, no, that wouldn't count as He's translating. He's taking the information and transferring it into another... Well, think, think about it, right? You read directions in French, and someone says, can you read these directions in English? And you're like, no. Can you point to the map, which is a neutral element? It's not like you could have a map in French that you yeah, could still use. Yeah, but you're translating use. that language into another language that the other person understands. Just well, because no, I still wouldn't no. be able to say the word. Yeah, like, you. so French language says go northeast, and then you point to northeast on the French map. French language would say, go northeast. Yeah, go northeast. <laughs> and then, yeah, on the map. And then we'd be like, oh, it's a French map, but we can totally tell where in the fucking star system that shit is. And he's actually been shown to point on maps previously in Star Wars movies, so they're fucked now. <laughs> it's all it's over. Canon. C-3PO can point. <laughs> story has been dest- your story is so terrible. It's been destroyed by the fact that a character has the ability to point at things. <laughs> Dude, you say that as if we, we were already at that point with the whole they don't know which way is up thing. We we're already there. <laughs> I'm just picturing C3PO raising his finger upward. They're like, wait, is that is that? He's like, up. A protocol droid to translate which way is up. <laughs> we only know which way is up in French. <laughs> it's built by Anakin. As a kid, right? So how would he... Well, of course, I <laughs> see, this is where I give some benefit of the doubt. Like, Anakin, I'm assuming, gave him, like, a standard UI or software thing that comes with its own restrictions or whatever, but it is a weird as hell... This isn't well, even the answer. The, the film gives its own answer for this. The film says I that, I... um, the new regulations by the Republic made it so he can't read uh, Sith shit. One second. 
I just like the idea that C3PO can only point in French or something. He can't point, <laughs> point in Sith. Point in French. <laughs> point in Sith. Oh, oh shit. Point in French. How point stupid in of Japanese. me. Why would we even mention pointing? Of course, chat is going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a new meme is born. No, no, that's an old meme. <laughs> it's a, it's a meme that breathes new life every time pointing comes up. <laughs> They've got the, they usually have the nerd person with the pointing, now they got a robot with pointing. <laughs> <laughs> what language are they pointing in? Is it French? It better be French. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm not fluent in French pointing. Uh, I actually, think it might be English not, pointing. We're not allowed to translate, we're not allowed to tell you what, what language looks, we are pointing in. It looks like interpreted the, the dance. Omni <laughs> It's probably English yeah, pointing. That, that fucking I mean, I guess in some languages they'd probably point with a different finger, maybe? Because it's rude to point with your index finger, maybe, perhaps? They just point with a fist. Point with a thumb? <laughs> point with an entire fist at where <laughs> Exegol is, please, c <laughs> You can do the hot, cold shit. It's like, it's like hot, 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 colder, colder. Uh, fuck it, let's just move on. So they go to Kajimi to find a black market droid smith named Babu Frick. Yes! Oh. Babu Frick! Best yeah. The best character in all of Star Wars. Oh, yes. he's amazing. Team Frick. Most in-depth yeah. character. <laughs> to hack into his mind. And the downside to getting him to translate the language is to wipe his memory? How would they get the translation? <laughs> One could argue that the memory wipe took place after the translation process, but it didn't. Because there's a brief scene where we see Babu hack into his mind, and as soon as he says, Wait, I just remembered, there's something else we could try. His brain gets fried. And the fact that Ray walked off as if to say, Yeah, I can't be here right now, indicates that the C3PO they remember was in that instant gone. His memory was wiped at that exact moment before the translation process. It doesn't make any sense as to how they were able to translate it from a memory that doesn't exist. I mean, I don't know how it makes any sense, but well, I mean, they, they seemed... They, they seemed... transferred all of the data in his head into another system. Well, no, but the impression I got was that he there's like a baseline UI for protocol droids and then the personality comes on top of it. They had to delete the personality. Because if yeah. you remember, immediately after he sounds very robotic compared to normal. Yeah. Oh, it, wasn't oh. there something said about how they constantly have to keep resetting them because they become like sentient or some shit? That's like, I don't think that's in. in th that might be in Solo. It's either in Solo or something in the EU. But yeah, like the idea is that once yeah. droids live for too long, they start, you know, being because a little he had yeah. his memory wiped at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sith, didn't he? Yeah. So it's not his first oh, way no. to happen. But wasn't that just at that point? If his memory, if you're just gonna have. R2, restore it later. Why it kill Chewbacca if you're just gonna bring him straight back? Yeah, the film why is full fucking, of that shit. Why fucking mm. do anything if you're just gonna immediately do a full U-turn on it? Mm. Alright, alright. Let's discuss the Sith Lord in the room, shall we? Said it. After seeing the first trailer, I was honestly excited what? to see Palpatine again. Oh. Uh, why? Of course you were. So Stop it. Good. You're the, you're the problem. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't validate it, man. But after seeing the movie, I really wished they hadn't made that move. Well, what were you hoping died. for? What did you actually want yeah, to what happen? Are, what were you gunning for? Like, what would have happened that would have made you say, yes, this was, we got it? Like, it played out pretty much how it could, badly. He and sat there being evil, <laughs> and he was he gave the same ultimatum, kill me and I'll become yay, and then they he kill him. and blasted then his own win. face off with lightning again. again he did all the typical the fucking time. Palpatine things. It looked like he was enjoying himself, though. His performance, as always, was excellent, and he was mostly creepy in this. But they barely explained how he came back. <laughs> he was and, mostly creepy. And he was mostly creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. It's a weird point of, you know, praise. He was all creepy, wasn't he? Was he? Mostly yeah, creepy. Yeah, no, did you forget the bit? Mostly pet creepy. a puppy or anything? Did you forget the, the bit where he was really nice? <laughs> <laughs> mostly creepy. A bit nice sometimes. I don't know about Palpatine being in this. I just really want to know, is he creepy? If yes, I'll watch it. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe, mostly creepy. And that's why he didn't like it. He should have been full creepy. <laughs> yeah, like inappropriately <laughs> hugging his granddaughter. Oh, my granddaughter. <laughs> Give me your power. <laughs> yeah, you <never> <laughs>
creepy. Now suck the power out of me. I'm going to suck all of your power. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sucking No, 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 no. Oh, Where's your boyfriend this. as well? I want to suck his power too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Get suck you off. both off. <laughs> <laughs> This this is what you're referring to where you can, this was the not creepy tweet with part, asterisks. right? He was not creepy, he was menacing, there's a difference. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we found out he made Snoke. But what about him? How did he come back to life after being thrown down an elevator shaft and blowing up? Hard to come back from that one. Let's discuss the well, big reveal. I thought you were reveal. excited I, about I, the prospect yeah, why, of him why, returning, why and now... That, why weren't you thinking I, that when you I first guess, heard it? I think he was hoping for the scene where they flash back, and they show him going down, and he hides in a little compartment, throws out a like, gas grenade, it blows up, <laughs> and he's like, me! <laughs> and he's like, oh my god, it all makes so much sense, that's so good. That's si it's science it's fiction, guys, it's a science fiction. It says you can do anything with science fiction. Also, canon no. is stupid. Yes. <laughs> Well, I mean, as the, the great Quintinius really once said, uh, it's only a sequel if you interpret it that way. <laughs> if you might perceive it as a sequel, yeah. <laughs> I'm not too mad about Ray Palpatine, because Ray being the granddaughter of Palpatine, and Kylo being the grandson of Vader, makes the two a dyad in the Force. Which is oh, you dope. wouldn't Somehow. have said that if you make that bullshit <laughs> up. Yeah, I was going to say, they made that up. What do you mean? <laughs> they're like, a dyad. Just, he says that like it's 2 plus 2 is 4 sort of shit. He's, he's like, of course it makes sense if you put that, that the chess pieces are all coming together, and you're like, no, that's just something they said happens. Well, since when was the Force Dyad a thing? Yeah, yeah no did, characters did, have actually advanced, referred to it. Did, did Palpatine say, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a grandkid, and you should have a grandkid, and, and, and they should hook up? You, you know, no. Because, you that's know, weird, we've been Palpatine. hooking up the whole time, so let's keep it going. <laughs> But She's I do wish family. that they kept her a nobody, and not connect her to the original films. She was more interesting as a I nobody. I got so many mixed messages from you. I don't I understand was... what's happening anymore. Palpatine. I, I just... feel like he's written a bunch of Star Wars opinions in a hat and just picked them out and been like, yeah, this is what I think. So you made this video the same way they made Rise of Skywalker. There's so much... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is actually like a method video. We all know why they made her a Palpatine. Raise and Mary Sue! Fuck this feminist! Oh my goodness. Oh my she is Mary Sue. Hey, I mean, look, guys, it's us. <laughs> In fact, Mary Sue's, the, the, the epitome of Mary Sue is a Ray now, okay? She's more Mary Sue than any Mary Sue I've ever seen. Yeah, she's yeah, the, have, I would say she's the template. More of a, Ray, a Mary Sue. Well, did you not see that one scene at the start of the movie where she's training for like 30 seconds? Oh, right. oh she climbed a thing. Yeah, she climbed up a thing and then she was in the desert. She, trained for she did seconds. a very basic obstacle course. In the third movie, after she's already lifted half a mountain and beat Luke Skywalker, <laughs> we gave her the ability to fly. I just like the idea that you tell people she, she's finally defeated by Kylo in a fight. You're like, oh wow, this is after she's trained. Yes. Okay. Trained and got worse. <laughs> got, she got worse after she trained. I like, it's just the opposite of everything that's supposed to happen. <laughs> she redo everything. So when she absorbed the wisdom of another, of another normal person, she got worse. She should have just stayed the way she was. She should have just she kept was already on. Just keep keep downloading yeah, just, shit. That's how she I did wish it. She right? just could the uh, headbutt lay and get all the knowledge from her brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, Suck and, off and then when Luke shows up as a ghost, <laughs> she's like, "Let me grab your brain." And he's like, "No." He's got all that too. Can you download it yourself from yourself? What if you like, like Uroboros it? Just, just download and re-upload to yourself until you it doubles up. Co like Pokemon, like you, you duplicate shit. I think that would work. This propaganda shit. How's she doing that without training? The only. Ow. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that. Please uh, don't. Ever. We've we've said this before. Random loudness in videos not the greatest choice. Really fucking annoying. Okay. Also. Hello, also I've got more hair than that as well. I don't think this is a nice depiction. <laughs> yeah, it's not a pizza, it's not a dog, it's not Satan, it's not a gas mask, it's not a puppet, it's not a rat. So what is this? Like, what have you no. done? No, no hell forbid that we expect a hero to have some sort of training in a hero's journey. <laughs> we need to stop making such outrageous... Uh... <laughs> no, because that's sexist. I love yeah. the idea that they're at a round table. It's like, what if the training makes them worse? <laughs> <laughs> but why? I'm throwing a fastball at you, JJ. That would really hurt <laughs> expectations. If we practicing makes you worse, yeah, yeah, I get that. I could actually see that happening, really.
they'll never bitch to have characters get training. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's technically happening to JJ. Training just makes you worse. Naturally. The only one who should have a connection is Ben Solo, the last Skywalker. Plus, Ray Palpatine doesn't sound right for some reason. <laughs> yeah, because... <laughs> it doesn't sound right. I don't like it. What, what are these... No part of it sounds right. What are these reasons? Like, I, I don't like it because it doesn't just roll off the tongue like, you know, Derek Palpatine does. <laughs> <laughs> he, I feel like he's he's like he's on the right track. He just doesn't he doesn't know what component pieces to go for. It's like eh, it's mm -hmm. fucking the words themselves. You're like, dude, no one fucking cares about the words. Like, come on. But it doesn't what? sound right. Well, what name do you think would sound right? Peter Palpatine. Oh, it Ray would have to be Jim. something made up, wouldn't well, it? Well, Sheev doesn't work either. Mm -hmm. His actual Ray name. Raby one Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> Rumblo Palpatine. Rumblo in the jump. Ray <laughs> Pipeman. Ray Joel Palpatine. What about Enitap Lap Palpatine? Enitap Lap? That sounds about Star Wars. <laughs> Enitap Enitap Lap. Lap Lap Palpatine. <laughs> Listerine Palpatine. Ray Kenobi has a way better ring to it. Even Ray Solo. Ew. Ray Skywalker? <laughs> Why maybe. Kenobi? I mean, they do make that a thing at the end of this film. Yeah. I don't know. They yeah, say Palpatine. That's why you brought it up, I assume. You shouldn't have so given them good. suggestions. <laughs> Stop it. I was all for the whole uh, Ray Kenobi thing before the third movie. I think because Ray Plutt, as a lot of people have suggested, is the way to go. I just, I just really liked the idea of... Um, a Kenobi raising a Skywalker, and then a Skywalker raising a Kenobi. I thought that would have been really sweet. But no, she's a Palpatine. <laughs> I think that's bullshit. It may seem that way, since Rey's dark nature is alluded to in the previous films. Not yeah. really. She, he's just uh. like, hey, go look around. She does. And he's like, no, not the dark place. Oh, well, it looks kind of interesting. I'm just going to walk over there. And he goes, no! <laughs> no! Why aren't you telling? Didn't, didn't Luke yeah. do the same thing as well? Um, in the Empire Strikes Back. Well, but the, the the way it's framed in the Empire Strikes Back is that um, it's a test, and yeah. it's something that Luke is dealing with in his own head, and he mm -hmm. failed. Like he he chose to destroy, the, and he became that which he was trying. There's a lot of good shit going on in that one. With with yeah. her, it's like you're playing with Lego, and your dad is like, "Don't touch the darker pieces," and you pick one up, like, "Why?" And he goes, "You fucking idiot!" and slaps you. And you're like, "What? I don't understand. Like, what? What did? What?" And you're just like, "I've never seen such power." <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely different, yeah. <laughs> what I just imagine this man looming over his child like just with the fucking JoJo menacing like meme shit. I've never seen such power. Just a step on the Legos. <laughs> she walks on the Lego and doesn't feel a thing because she is the chosen one. <laughs> But it could have been just foreshadowing for her turning to the dark side, instead of being related to Palpatine. Also, how the fuck did Leia know that Rey was a Palpatine? Just... She read the script. What do you mean? <laughs> she sniffed her midichlorians, I don't know. Yeah, no one well, I mean, cares. she didn't... I mean, I think she was the only person that didn't read the script, to be honest, because she was actually dead, so... Oh, right. Well, um, a lot of people... Have said, uh, uh, sorry, Luke said, right, uh, that, that they both knew all along, which I imagine rewatching the sequel trilogy would be quite funny knowing that. But I mean, you know, give her, tell her maybe, let her know, give her well, a. Hint. I don't know what their plan was. If you remember when she's Leia's like, like moping hey. around crying, like, oh, my family, when will they return? It's like, no, bitch, they're, you're a Palpatine, by the way, lol. Le Leia's oh, like, hey, yeah. go go I meet Luke at the end of Force Awakens. She sends like, Ray. like it never came up in conversation. But she... also, wouldn't have Luke killed Rey on the spot? Because we know how Luke responded to uh, Kylo having bad dreams, and Rey slept on that <laughs> island as well. So yeah. at no point in the last Jedi <laughs> does she get skewered by Luke. And if he can, if he's all knowing, sensing, none of it makes any bloody sense. It's an ass pull. Well, I just like that evil she's... solo blood in his veins that made him evil. Because Palpatine, vein... Palpatine blood, that's fine. Solo blood makes you evil. Remember when Luke reconnects with the Force in TLJ and he like he seems to contact Leia? Uh, I picture they were having like a conversation. And he's like, "Do you know you sent me a Palpatine?" She's like, "Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it." <laughs> Wasn't it funny? It was like a prank. I sent you a Palpatine, Luke. 
Ha ha, ha Leia. <laughs> I threw the lightsaber away, and then I sucked on an alien's tits, and it grossed her out. <laughs> you should have seen her face. Uh. She's she's gonna go save Kylo or something. I think she's just fucking with me. She's clearly evil. So what you happened? She, she handed me the light, my lightsaber, and I threw it away. It was really funny because I had your lightsaber in my hut the whole time. Like uh, I just pretend I didn't like lightsabers for some reason. When I threw it, I had attached a string to it. She thinks it went over the edge, but I still have it. I was just, yeah, I was just doing a bit. <laughs> wait, wait. What that actually means a lot to me. What, what do you mean she's going to be the one that saves the resistance? What? I thought it was a meme. Why would oh. you... <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> How? Now, I'm also not too mad at the fact that Rey killed Palpatine. Because, one, she had help from all the Jedi. <sighs> I mean, why did like, they do that uh, just, at any other point ever throughout the entire history? I, when thought, been I, thought he was, I thought he was going to talk about it from a story standpoint, not a mechanics one. Like, can it make sense for her to defeat? It's like, we already, she's already super fucking powerful. Who cares? Like, the idea that she's going to beat him. And he's like, yeah, but she has all the Jedi. He's like, oh, for fuck's sake. The problem is that he's alive in the first place. The fa It was joked that she would kill Palpatine when we found out he was in the movie. And it's like, oh, she vaporizes him. But that's happened to that, him twice before, so. I think they kind of, I think they kind of looked at jokes people were making and thought that was that those were actual suggestions. What if we have Palpatine zap the entire fleet? Well, that sounds good. Write that down. Write that down. Yeah, yeah they're all okay. laughing and laughing, and then JJ's just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> they just didn't pick up on the irony, and loads of people were liking it because it was such a bad idea. Yeah, he tells his like producers like they were laughing so much the the ideas were that good they were shocked at the <laughs> greatness of the ideas. Oh, okay, what's that? My my check's cleared. Great, cool. Wrap it up. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck. What else can I ruin? Oh yeah. Well, well what is he getting his fangs in next? Is it um? Yeah. Uh, I forgot what it was, wasn't it? Lovecraft was... County. He's produced that. He hasn't. Uh, oh, he hasn't... Lovecraft gets shat on like fucking all the time. Uh, just, yeah. uh, but I was, I was gonna say, wasn't it um? He made a deal with uh, was it HBO? Satan. So, <laughs> well, he has a deal with me. Okay. I was gonna say I, he would know. He's right here. <laughs> I renounce. He's all over a bunch of Star Trek stuff. I uh, cast JJ just, out of my DC domain. Stuff. Oh yeah, super uh, uh, DC, DC. He was doing something with yeah. DC, right? That's horrifying. He's doing a couple, a couple more Mission Impossibles. Dun, 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 dun. Um, a half life someone, movie. Someone gave me the franchise assassin a contract for DC, I guess. And then the untitled Quentin Tarantino Star Trek project, which is just going to be an absolute fucking. Oh, don't get me started. I can't wait for all the pictures of alien feet. <laughs> and them just saying the n-word in space yeah <laughs> you, know what, you know what they call the a hammer alien equivalent what do they call a hammer on chronos a bat lift with cheese ah oh. <laughs> yo and two he's also a palpatine and the way i see it it takes one to kill one so it can what wait a minute literally when was that wait, widely wait accepted a... idea they... so they minute. made that up for this movie it Cr takes one to kill one. Writer no one's ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rags just like this. Writer Chris Terrio says he's leaving it to the imagination of the viewer on how Luke Skywalker knew Ray's lineage. What? <laughs> now that's some quality writing. That's when you know you've given the fuck up. It was like, oh, you guys can figure it out. D didn't Ryan Johnson say that about the, the third... Because, well, both... Because there was a deleted scene for Lesson 2 from Luke for Ray, and he was like, so what's the third one? He was like, that's for the viewer. Like, what does that mean? That's not it's, very like, it's for you guys to think about. What is her yeah. third left? Imagine I know... all of your teachers in school had that attitude. It's like, so what are we going to learn today in math class? It's like, don't you... it's up to your imagination. Do you really. see that he's relying on the theme crowd? Because they're going to be like, oh, don't you get it? The third lesson was in the throne room. That was the third lesson. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, what? Bad no, choreography? The third lesson was when you stole a guy's name. That's what I'm saying, is like, when you say shit like this, like, uh, the viewer can figure it out. That's what they relied on, the interpretive crowd. The crowd would just go like, everything means everything, you don't understand. Ah, I was right the whole time! <laughs> Lucky me! But yeah. even if we change all of the information, I can somehow keep the theme intact, and I'm still right, no matter what! Peepo is it's upset, true. I just expanded him. Just, just pretend it is what you want it is, and see how you feel. Oh, yeah. that was the uh, best argument. At the fact that Rey killed Palpatine, because one, she had help from all the Jedi, and two, How? she's also a Palpatine, and the way I see it, it what takes one to give? kill one.
It takes Discussion. a Palpatine Discussion. to kill a Palpatine, also a bunch of Jedi. They said some uh, pretty enthusiastic, supportive words in her mind. And that yeah, game. don't fuck up where I did. <laughs> That's <laughs> what Anakin said. Yeah. The Avatar state. You don't understand. She got a power boot. Dude, I love the idea. She talks to Anakin like, "How do I bring balance to the Force like you did?" And he's like, "Well, I don't." I did. Well, I, I was gonna recommend throwing him down this really big pit on a space station and watching him explode and then yeah. blowing that up a second time. But honestly, after that, I got nothing. I thought that would work, but you know. Apparently I was uh, wrong. I think it's reasonable for me to do that. Hopefully he forgot that uh, that melted his face the first time. So maybe also, he's forgotten that. It also, uh, Palpatine isn't even gone now still. There's obviously more clones of him elsewhere, and he's just going to carry on, on doing Exegol, this Mark shit. Two. You know the old Sith saying, don't don't keep all your clones in one basket. <laughs> <laughs> all your snokes. Um, also, I just like Don't when she's bringing that up. Don't keep in one space jar. When she's yeah. bringing that up to Anakin as well, Obi Wan is like, D "Did he really bring balance, though? Did he? I don't know." D they still haven't really. Mm. I. You ask ten people what that means, bringing balance to the Force. You he's probably like, get ten Ma different answers. Hey, Mace, Mace Windu, come over here. Do you think Anakin brought balance? And he's like, "No, he fucked everything up." <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, interesting. Uh, hmm. Why are you Ayla Sakura, what do you think, Anakin? Bring balance? She's like, "No." <laughs> Stop it, guys. <laughs> if anything, you put everything out of balance. He's like, "Okay, you know what? I didn't have to do what I did." Hey, I fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So it kind of made sense why they went that route. No. But I feel it would have been more significant if Ben helped Rey kill Palpatine. Both of them using Leia and Luke's lightsabers to deflect the Force lightning back at him. Oh, so lame. Yeah, but Ben Solo's a man. Can't have that. Imagine them pushing back and both chanting together, We are all the Jedi. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god. Oh, 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 He's done it. He's actually come up with an idea that's worse than what Yeah, happened. you'd cringe into a different dimension <laughs> if that happened. Like, yeah, right. We are Their all the Jedi. Overpowers the might of the Sith Emperor, leaving them both near death, and Ben uses the last of his strength to restore Rey's energy. Or maybe the other way around. Also, the Ray That's when you know you're doing a great job with your story. It's like, this could happen, or the, the completely reverse. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got this. Uh, this is the, some people use this as an evidence that uh, Raylo is a thing. But in the book, we should like to, they, they like to usually go to the novelizations and stuff to prove that movies were actually good for some reason. But the book, the novelization of Rise of Skywalker, says that it was not a love kiss, it was a kiss of gratitude. So there is no Raylo. Raylo is dead. There is Raylo. a kiss of gratitude. Ah, oh, yes, I've had many. Uh, Kisses of gratitude. That's what they call them. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I kiss my family gratitude on the mouth all the time. Oh no! <laughs> if if uh, I, get, for all you listening, and then shortly gives, after if, die. If, if a woman gives you a quote unquote kiss of gratitude, <laughs> right? That means it's ready to fucking step things up to the next level. Yeah. No, not, not according to the novel. It's just uh, she kissed him out of gratitude and it was it was platonic. Yeah. What, what you do? Especially when it's platonic, platonic just being polite. Like, maybe if she kissed him on the cheek, I'd be like, yeah, uh, when a, no, this was some mouth to mouth. When a lady yeah, does that, that, when a lady does that, what you're supposed to do is send a letter back, a formal letter saying, I appreciate your kiss of gratitude. And that's, uh, there you <laughs> go. No, I'd like to send to you respect your offer. space. I'm respecting your space by kissing your face. <laughs> Hello, kiss was highly unwarranted. A loving embrace would have been just fine. No, it awkward. would have been too much. Let's they just take the loving. Like each other in any just, way. They just stopped to have lunatic. a little cuddle after. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, we come here, Ray. Oh, a little big oh, we did it. You killed your granddad. I mean, we've been trying to kill each other this whole time, and you actually murdered me earlier today. But uh, let's just cuddle it out, I guess. Like what? <laughs> we did it. Yeah. It just gives like Ray one last like foot massage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very very cool. <laughs> she's, she's still unconscious and she wakes up and he's like, is this weird? I can stop. I don't know if this is weird. <laughs> Does it hurt anymore? Does it hurt? This is still my favorite. Because oh. after they kiss, he just dies. I'm just glad the Super Raylo fans weren't in my I know, right? I kissed him, I just died. <laughs> Was it a kiss, or did she just suck the life force right out of it? Yeah, sucked it sucked right the out. fucking soul out. She needed more. Women, am I right? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh my Ugh. god, why? Oh. Why would you even- how could you even listen to this? Like, even to ever into a video. <laughs> I don't mean to do. I don't mean to do a sexism, but it's clearly girls that are screaming at what just happened. 
It just these hit. are the kinds of girls that you don't want to have you give. You kisses don't have these girls give you the kiss of gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or because then you'll immediately die. <laughs> do not but let them. Why suck is there no up. respect for my ears, though? Why must you hurt me? What did I do? Yeah. When I he lift them through them. this, he should know how unpleasant it is to for all sure. living creatures. And every time they do this, Peepo grows in size. Do they really want him to take over the whole screen? I don't know. Uh, was, this, was that <laughs> actually women at the theater screaming, or is that him in the theater screaming at the kids? Uh, <laughs> He was screaming because he secretly likes Rayla. <laughs> this movie introduces force healing, but was actually introduced in Mandalorian first. Which I didn't have No, too they much... made that shit up just to try and justify it. Enough with that horse shit. It was so planned. Mandalorian the episode of Mandalorian healing was like two days before Rise of Skywalker came out. Yeah. And the it wasn't essential to the plot of Mandalorian either. It was just like it, it could have just not happened, and everything would be exactly. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Healing Gr Grief Cargo gets them unbetrayed, if you remember. Oh well, he didn't have to have gotten that wound. Yeah, they could have just not wounded him in the first place. Well, but then there would be he would have betrayed him. Well, here's the thing. There's a lot of issues with this plot. <laughs> <laughs> But then, but then that means his two henchmen would have survived when they should have because they were just doing their uh, jobs. And he would. <laughs> hmm. Well, if you remember, he these talked to them. You know, you know what that conversation was. I want to free these guys, and the bounty hunters were like, "Dude, the entire empire is gonna fuck us up if we do that." And he's like, "Oh yeah, okay, okay," and then he just shoots them. Like, fuck you guys. Much of an issue with, but in the grand scheme of things, it could have been useful in a lot of situations. But there's one aspect yeah. of the force healing in this movie that pisses me off. Poe gets shot in the arm, right? And Ray doesn't heal him. She heals a fucking snake. Yeah, because she's an yeah, asshole. Yeah, I know. What's up with that? Yeah, yeah she no, is an just... asshole. If I could yeah. heal people, I'd be healing people left and right. Yeah, I'd just give up on my mission altogether and just stay back at base healing all of the fucking infantry. I'd start a clinic, pay what you want. I'd be a rich man <laughs> either way. In fairness, <laughs> like, it's not like I he's important. It's, gonna... it's not like he's the best pilot or anything. I think it's kind of insinuated that her using force healing is makes her pay some sort of price, but the thing is, you don't see her pay a price for it. Mm. It just yeah. doesn't say that she does. Well, she, 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 she scratches thing. her hand. She's like, ooh, my hand, ooh. Oh, it ooh, would have been one thing if, they, if she used force healing and she started uh, to de degrade or something. Or, or she, like, get old, like, really so, quickly age. Yeah, or something. That but cool. nothing happens. They just say that something happens, but nothing actually shows. It's another instance of the, of the uh, genius of the tell, don't show. The tell don't shows. I think it'd be anticlimactic if she only has a couple of heals in and halfway through the movie she heals someone and goes, oh, shit, no, I, I healed too much. Oh, I'm going away. Oh. <laughs> it oh, turns boy. into dust. We're actually getting, <laughs> getting a little close to the cap now. It's a little bit spooky. We got this. And Kylo Ren. Oh, I'm sorry. Ben Solo, but not one of her best friends? What the uh, f they're not friends. She hates him. <laughs> not best friends. They've barely even spent time together. They just You're don't like each ben. other. Remember, they have an argument at the beginning because that's character. Yeah. Yeah, you can see could your name just be Ben Wren? I like that better. Ben Wren. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Ray. He could have died at the Battle of Exegol. He needs that arm to fly. She was consumed with, with revenge against Palpatine for killing her parents. She, so, she still could have done it. Also, there are times where this movie shits on The Last Jedi as a response. Yay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? What? Oh, just the gall. Monster We'd never do something like that, would we? No, no, no. The exit call. Snoke's dead. What now? Pulp's mate Snoke and has been the puppeteer. The you, you said you, you were happy to have him back. You were happy that Palpatine <laughs> came back. I don't understand you. Uh, so I think, it's, I think the question from earlier is, is now a yes. He did just make this video with a bunch of opinions strung together with mm -hmm. string. Not even string. They're not even together. They're just random opinions, it, yeah, one after another. Yeah, he string in multiple places and then burned some of the pieces and then replaced some of the pieces of string with, like, bricks and paper clips. And <laughs> <laughs> and paper. <laughs> it's like, sir, we need to make, like, a board of connections. You got string? I got bricks. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing bricks at the board. <laughs> This whole time, Luke couldn't fly off Octo because the X-Wing had been buried underwater for over a decade. No, let's have Luke force lift it up and yeah, have Ray fly it to Exegol. I mean, this guy, he's, you know, he's picked up some stuff. You know, good, I, job. Yeah. good job, good job, good job. I really wanted Luke to say, think... yes, I finally did it. But I wait, finally did it. Luke didn't want to leave. Yeah. Well, no, he decided that he, he would eventually, right? He did it with his projectionisms. Yeah.
Like he exiled fuck. himself deliberately. He didn't. So who gives a shit? Well, no, he's saying he's saying that Luke could have gone to create himself, uh, according to Rise of Skywalker. When you there's actually um some kind of the 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 whatever they release with the movies those um books they said something like the the X wing wouldn't have uh, doesn't work properly because like one of the S foils is torn off to make a door and and other shit. The implication is that that was it was waterlogged. It wasn't gonna work, and so he had to project himself. But the Red Scout goes like Lodo. <laughs> Ray is a nobody. Sometimes you don't need lineage to be important to the story. She's a Alps. You never needed lineage to be important to the story that's yeah, retarded. Mm. I love like, the idea that you... people are referencing Solo as an important family bloodline. It's like, what was so important about Solo before we met Han Solo? Like, why are you treating the- like, he was just a random. Like, why- yeah. why- ugh. Name from rent some dude. Yeah, you can't even argue that it's a good bloodline because he got it from a random guy saying, yeah. You're Solo. <laughs> <laughs> But no, everybody has to be from an important Actually, yeah, lineage. The solo, the solo bloodline begins with Han Solo because it's just a bullshit made up. Yeah, name. and it ends with Ben Solo. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. One generation's worth of bloodline. <laughs> it already fucked up, like so bad. Oh, but it's so <laughs> important to the the poetry of Star Wars. <laughs> I feel that if they built this movie off of what Last Jedi had, instead of constantly roasting or retconning it, but that's what the Last have... Jedi was. Come on, it was please. Roasting and, retconning. and please don't take away the last pieces of fun I had with Rise of Skywalker. It was roasting TLJ. It was funny. Let me have it. When when he says the Jedi wouldn't do such disrespect to a weapon, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, made me do a big smile. Been a but much it did that, it, it, honestly, I know it was, it's funny in a like kind of macro meta way, but it does make Luke appear to be completely fucking schizophrenic. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> like, it just doesn't make any sense at all. It, uh, she's like, "What happened, Luke?" And he's like, "Ah, you never spoke to me. That was an android. <laughs> <laughs> android sent by Babu Frick, D Darth Frick, <laughs> Darth Frick, Lord." <laughs> Oh, Ever since please. I saw The Last Jedi, I've always wondered to myself, now that Snoke is dead, how will they up the ante? Well, not like this. You, well, what do you think you happened? You said you were okay with this. What the they fuck? bring back a mostly creepy emperor. <laughs> <laughs> mostly creepy. Does he remember he said he was cool with this? He was just unhappy with their execution? Does he remember that? Yeah, he said that Palpatine's great, and it's now awesome every... Terrible. Palpatine's great and I love him and I hope they bring him back, but not like this and I hope they don't bring him back. Yeah, because he had a <laughs> section where he was like, how could they possibly bring him back after saying, yay, they brought him back. <laughs> 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 to be I honest, they, his voice has a 420 vibe to it, so yeah. uh, uh, I think that's probably why. He, he sounds like, tired. Yeah. It's like the fact that they, uh, they brought but, back a Palpatine whose face personifies what well, he the sequel trilogy is. It's a dead Star Wars. Yeah. I was going to say, he did start this video by coming, so he's probably quite sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Seeing the rise of Skywalker, do I still think The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi are good movies? Excuse me. Yes. Uh, what about the sequel trilogy as a whole? No. Well, I don't hate it, but I would have loved <laughs> what, what a well, I don't success. hate it. I don't hate it. 7 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate a it. Lot more 7 out of 10. This review brought ending. to you by IGN. <laughs> One that wasn't rushed or badly written. Honestly, they should have postponed working well, on Solo that would fix to make a lot sure of things. The Rise of Skywalker was written well and ended the saga that would in an epic way. And do I think that they should have had what a roadmap for this trilogy? Absolutely. And it's weird because what a well-written movie. We well, part of Toxic Brood now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm so. We haven't gotten any Toxic Brood references. This sucks. <laughs> This was the guy who came up with the waitress story, where the creepy TLJ hater chases the waitress down the alley with the knives and forks. I want that back. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm working on Solo to make sure The Rise of Skywalker was written well, and ended the saga in an epic way. And do I think that they should have had a roadmap for this trilogy? Absolutely. And it's Why would anyone answer that question with no? Who's asking <laughs> these questions? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just like it when they do this stuff. Where they're like, "Do I think it should have been good?" Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do I, do I also think it should have not been bad? Well, yes. Unpopular opinion here. These movies should have been good. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. Yeah. Fuck no. It's honestly the first two films feel more organized and planned. 
And I felt they were headed in the right direction. What about TLJ feels planned to you? What, what does everyone say about TLJ in relation to TFA? It's like, oh, it just shat on TFA. It's as if there wasn't any plan. What do you mean? Nobody talks about TLJ as though it's it, it follows TFA. Like, if no, but it's it's deliberately contrarian. Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> I give up. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, 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 spot on there. <laughs> just feels off. Will I watch Disney's future Star Wars films? Who's asking yeah. this question? And I'm hoping after Baby. The Rise of Skywalker... Just a but... survey he had to take after he finished watching the movie. <laughs> Will you watch the rest of Disney Star Wars films? <laughs> yeah! And for those who think Star Wars is dead after watching this film, it yes. really isn't. We got The Mandalorian. Kind of is, though. Defined dead. <laughs> That's it's not completely dead. Mando. Look, here's a spin off. <laughs> Look, you here's only bought the Mandalorian product. because of Disney Plus. It's got nothing to do with the fucking films. They needed a way for people to subscribe to the shitty streaming service. What brand is popular? Star Wars. Okay, make a Star Wars TV show. It's got fuck all to do with the Mandalorian. And then unsubscribe when it finished. Yeah. yeah. Or Did you see that? <laughs> And therefore, Baby Yoda. Fallen Order was good. Battlefront no, has become an increasingly uh, better game than it was uh, before. No. This is, the, all these comments are met with, mm. <laughs> shut, shut, yeah. shut up. Shut your stupid the reality. Mm. And very soon, the final season of Clone Wars oh, will be wow. released. So yeah. It ain't That's dead. one thing people like. Well, I mean, the, oh, yeah, people, but the thing is, Gloria. so when someone... So, could I have said Terminator's dead after three, after four, after five, after six? It's like, I mean, yeah. The, it depends on what you mean. It's a hyperbolic statement because how the fuck does a franchise isn't? It was never alive, well, like literally. It will, but it will only ever really die when they stop making it. Well, we're refer we're obviously referring to like damage, significant damage, and it, there's no way you could fucking argue stuff because they love to do this. AT AT chat always does. It. It's like, oh, it's dead. Well, why is there a Mandalorian season two? <laughs> <It's> like, okay, <laughs> like. Money, that's it, you fucking cretins. But I think also the fact that it, it, but both TLJ and, well, not even Rise of Star Skywalker, mostly just TLJ, has separated the fandom of this particular franchise, like ripped it in half pretty much. That's, that's an indicator that it's on the way out. People who love the, the, the Last Jedi, they hate the Mandalorian, it seems. Like they, 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 I see so many people who love the Last Jedi just go and say, well, it's, the Mandalorian's bad because it appeals to fans or something. Oh well. Oh, is it oh. is it over? Oh. Uh, Whoa, yeah. dude, look at that. Gross. What do, what do, what do? It sounds like a Ooh, I'd be interested to read some of his letterbox reviews. I bet they're really no. well written. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> also, Rags, you know, we've just, we, we're almost at 2 p 2 a.m. again. We've managed to go around the clock. We're like, ah, we're close to clock the down. actual cap. Clock the night. We're gonna right. rock, 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 and I have to say, rock, since, since like... there are things to be put in order, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to stop there, and then we're gonna have our 20 minute to half hour break, and then we will be back with uh, EFAP 100 Part 2. I'm afraid that we gotta, gotta get things running and in order. But, what a great fucking 11 and a half hours already. Wow. <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> it's only it's only just begun. Um but yeah, that's three you videos we've covered. Good begun. job. Ben Shapiro and AJ and Jim Sterling. We got that we did seven last year. Maybe we could beat that. I don't think so though. <laughs> I've um, still got some Chuck Tingle as well. I know. You know, what? we'll uh, we'll have a chat in a sec about maybe how we're going to schedule everything, but um yeah, if everyone can just uh, say goodbye to the nice chat. Goodbye yeah. to the nice chat. Goodbye, goodbye nice chat. chat. Goodbye, nice chat. Also, Love congratulations on the 100. Oh, thank you. Super epic, and very epic. Very of course, cool. thank you all for joining us as well. It's been very fun. Thank you for having me. Very silly. Very good in that, in that <laughs> way, too. Um, but yeah, uh, you'll find part two, like I said, in like a half hour from now. And uh, we, we will see you there with who knows what. Kisses and goodbye, everyone. Kisses. Goodbye. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.